a new adventure and a new adventure a new adventure embarking into the next era of star wars how long has it been it's more than a year right i think it's been more than a year if we're not including the star wars visions thing which we're not including which we haven't seen not, so in that sense yeah. well that lived and died instantly i don't know that anyone talks about nobody it. talks about it anymore yeah, yeah well that's so. the thing that everyone said it's the most amazing incredible thing that's happened to star wars in so long and it's so amazing but, and then no one gives a fuck anymore <laughs> is that not is that not comparable with a lot of the the output well, that's just like, consumers today Marvel and and shows like on disney plus because people don't really talk about like how many people say man remember in episode two of season two of mando how like they had to deal with those spiders that was that episode i think yeah. I, mean, I remember better <laughs> it's like yeah that was a crazy episode with the frog lady and getting her over to, you know it's so tense like nobody really talks about anything that happens in this but they sure adored show. it say, at the time they were like, you the say time, frog lady i say i say gecko gal gecko might be more appropriate but the point is <laughs> Nobody really talks about what's going on with her anymore, and that's a shame. They could watch like five seasons of Mando, and then you could ask them what season they're on. They'd be like, "Uh, are we on a f I'm watching four Mando. now, six? I'm watching, I don't, I don't even." Yeah. I was watching Mando going adventures. Yeah, jumping around, jetpacking around, and shoot, shoot, shoot. It is entirely about the discourse and the hype at the time, but then afterwards, it's gone, and that's not what I want for mm -hmm. stories. This is peak of cynicality. Cynic cynicalism? What's what are we? What's the word here? Um, <laughs> what would peak cynicism. Cynicism. Peak that's cynicism. probably it. Yeah. The book of Boba Fett, which some people might be like, "What are you? What are you talking about?" And it's like, well, it's a character that had no character beyond very straightforward and a couple of references. I've defended Surface him in the past factor. when people say he doesn't have characters. Like he does. He's just not on screen for very long, and you get to know him very, very quickly, and then he's gone. What pulled him through was his awesome design and helmet. Right, and then and then George Lucas was like, "Let me have another one in prequels. And it'll be his dad." Hey, there you go. Django got to do a little bit more, and then I think he got picked up in third party stuff and and games, and has since. I, I think I don't know if I remember talking to you guys about this, but in one of the trailers, one of the top comments was like, "Finally, Boba Fett's gonna get the respect he deserves." They consider the Sarlacc pit thing disrespect, which is interesting. In a sense, like, I try to think about what I think about that event, right? Because that's that's the Boba Fett thing that thing happened that everyone's like, hmm, he shouldn't have been killed that way. And it's just like, well... Well, you, you saw him for five minutes before that, maybe. Not I even. I guess it's... The I feel like it's a clear example of there is an idea in our heads of a really cool character that we now don't get because he fell into that pit. But we live in the era of, no, he didn't. He didn't fall into that pit. He's okay. He got out. He's all he right. He got out of the pit. He's well, Because I was going to say, like, is it not valuable to have this bounty hunter that's merciless and managed to destroy like the connection our our team had and work for darth vader and also be a mercenary for jabba you're like oh god and he looks so intimidating he's got a rocket the blasters the armor and he gets killed because his jetpack malfunctions while han solo blindly hits him by accident like is there not an idea there of like yeah like a fucking badass brother there he goes because that's how simple it can be sometimes or is that mm -hmm. too insulting because it's a different kind yeah. of... Uh, some people it's might even... not satisfying. Yeah. Um, and it makes me think about all the deaths in media that are kind of deliberately unsatisfying and thus satisfying in some way. Uh, I don't know how I feel about Boba, De Boba Deads, Boba Fetts. It's, uh, it's a strange one. It's always been a strange one. Everyone who's ever seen it is like, oh, that's <laughs> I it. I guess that's it. And um, I know there's theories of, like, George hated him, and so that's why he did that. I find that strange. That's the theory, is it? The yeah, George yeah. Boba yeah, Fett. yeah, I heard. I think he, he hated, hated how Boba popular Fett. Boba Fett became when he was supposed to just be a small character. Um, but Which that's, is weird. You think you'd have the that's opposite a weird reaction? Thing to hate. Yeah. Well, like that people did. love this little character I made. Wow, that's great. But th this situation is just uh, yeah. So some people see like the death as petty, and it's like uh, it might be. I was just trying to look at it from just the film's point of view, which is that look at how the mighty fall. It's the jetpack malfunction. Which you, if you guys remember, they actually reincorporated that in season two of Mando. What are you gonna do? I don't know, but wish me luck. <laughs> That jetpacks malfunction if you hit them. It's like, okay, I guess that's just something they do now. A design oversight that we've never tried to All fix. All jetpacks are the same model, <laughs> yep. the same make. Regardless, oh, well. seeing him back in Mando, everyone went nuts. 
And so Disney were like, right, we can make a show with him, go. Really, Mandalorian was just diet Boba Fett anyway. They couldn't do Django, I guess, because he was dead. Even though they could do, like, a prequel show, I guess. But Which Boba Fett I is... I wouldn't rule it out at this point. Well, and the funny part is, I think there's more potential, possibly, but... Um, because of that universe. That I guess, in a period. sense, there's infinite potential with both of them, right? Because there's so much time they've been alive that you can use. And with Tamura Morrison's age, I imagine you can better do this. This better suits the, the era we're going for, which is Mandalorians, which is post-OT pre-sequels. So, if we were set to make this show, what are, you, what are we doing? And it's like, well, gotta look at every scene that he's even in, in the OT, and then figure out what we can do with the small pieces we know about him. And it, it was funny, he was trying to come up with things, I was like, so he likes women, he, he, he's flirting with some at one point, he, he, he's clearly a fan of money, to the point where he doesn't want his cargo in any kind of damage to depreciate it in any way. And he'll seemingly work as any job, but, you know, including but not limited to uh, just hunting people down. That could be good guy, could be good. Like, it doesn't seem that he gives a shit. Um, in Mando, he's like a honorable man, and like, I will help for the good of goodness, sort of. He seems to be a good guy. The child's gone. Till he has returned to you safely, we are in your debt. Like, rather than a neutral guy. I would know what happened, what occurred to sort of flip him on this... Uh... Well, and I was I saying it free, like, it already seems like if you were trying to do that with him that you'd have to justify it, because, like, he's very straightforward, and to say, like, oh, well, he's uh, he's fighting for honor or something, I'd be like, was he that? Was that his thing? I don't, I don't know if it would be. He's going to respect his opponents, too. That's what the trailer for this had, and it was like, okay. Jabba ruled with fear. I intend to rule with respect. If he had spoken such insolence to Jabba, He'd have fed you to his menagerie. Please. Speak freely. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if Boba Fett used the fact that he's got all these gadgets and weaponry to outplay his opponents rather than having, like, some kind of, of equal playing field, you know? Yeah, I just feel like bounty hunters who try to do that don't live long. We're yeah, gonna and, fight and, evenly and fairly. It's like, oh, so you're gonna just... no. And so, just to make sure everyone's up to speed, he made a robotic stomach for Fennec... Shand, is it? Fennec? Strand? Oh, it's Strand or Shand or something. Just a sniper lady. And so she owes him a life debt, meaning she's with him all the time. I'm glad they brought back that dull, boring asshole. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be great. And then, of course, he... I don't get why they do that. These characters who are just nothings, and they bring them back when they're all just so dull, and no one's interesting. I was gonna say, I was actually gonna ask if you could remind me what even what even are her characteristics. She's sniper lady, that's all I really know. I don't think she even... Maybe this will be her like... opportunity to become something. Because <laughs> she couldn't in the two seasons of Mando, so <laughs> let's see what mm -hmm. we can do here. Well, because you come into this show and you think, okay, so if the premise is Boba Fett's gonna create his criminal empire, we have a formula that could be different from Mando, where Mando's is two action scenes at least every episode. The plot is usually self-contained per episode and a couple of serialized ones. What if we do full serialized here, where we have big arcs for these characters over the course of several episodes? Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Is that what we're going to do, though? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Well enough, uh, I think it was a super chat on Real BBC, but me and Az had the same response, which to someone saying, "Do you think um, they're gonna like fully explore the time from being eaten by the Sarlacc to getting out to what he did next, what he did next, what he did next?" And I was like, "Going from the trailer, looks like we're not doing that at all." But I wouldn't rule out a flashback, um, or just a whole flashback episode, even you know, maybe even that. Yeah, but like I just it's it, it it's almost amusing to me because I'm just like, yeah, this is peak giving the fans what they want, I suppose, which is, he got out of that Salak, okay? Fucking, he fucked it up. He blew it up. He used his pistols, his flamethrower, his jetpack. He got out of there, he fucked it up, and he's badass, okay? You're like, all right. All right. Yeah, just, it's, sure. Um, <laughs> so, if we say so. I have a feeling we will at least get the flashback of him breaking out of it, and it'll be spectacular in some way, right? Like Maybe, yeah. Um, at least to confirm he got out. I... But I don't know if they would save that maybe for um, later rather than doing it early. But then again, it could it could be the way that they open the show, to be honest with you. Who knows? I, uh, maybe this show will defy expectations. Maybe. So yeah, I, was just, I guess I wanted to say quickly, like, it's just if we were making this season, what would you want to make it about? And it's just like, I just don't know how much we have to work with. He's going to try and make an empire at Tatooine that uh, a little 
little crime lord empire and hopefully deal with whoever's going to get in his way. I assume that's all we got to work with. I assume that he's going to have to go to a lot of Jabba's old contacts and workers and say, all right, you're going to work for me now. I am the new guy in charge. Here's why you want to work for me. He goes to Pete from person to person to person, contact to contact, and he needs to establish his network. He needs to make sure the people who don't fall in line are either forced to or made an example of. He and needs maybe to... the arc, you know, of this story is you were a bounty hunter and you were really good at it. Being a leader is different. And so you need yeah. to cultivate a new set of skills. I don't want to work rely... in administration. I want to work in shipping, God damn it! Well, yeah, it's just, you know, be pretty cool I... If he ends up, like, <laughs> giving up cool. the position, you know? He's going to give and it to Finnick. deferring it to someone else. And saying, like, I want to be on missions. I don't want to be fucking sitting yeah. here telling people where to go. Maybe what I thought I wanted for a long time that I wanted to work towards. Maybe I, maybe it was already, maybe I was doing what I wanted to do and what well, I, you know, the whole time. Maybe he's tired of it. what amuses me yeah. is that, that ending part of Mando Season 2 where it's just like, and then he went to Tatooine and killed Bib Fortuna and took the, the fucking throne. And you're like, oh... Did oh, okay. He, well, that's that what was he easy. wanted. It's not even. It's, I, I literally didn't even know that's what he wanted. I was just like, oh. Neither did I. Honestly, it just came out of nowhere. And so now we're dealing with that as being like, well, that was what he wanted. Apparently, okay. okay well, so now just what like, do with it? well, just like um, Boba Fett crawled out of the Sarlacc. Bib Fortuna crawled out of the exploded wreckage of the sail barge <laughs> so that he could get killed again, but okay. not really, but again. <laughs> he pulled a Palpatine. Somehow Bib Fortuna returned. But yeah, that's, I don't know what other pre preamble is we're going to need. I figure this will be as good as the Mandalorian seasons, which were pretty bad. Oh boy, um, yeah, they were terrible. I expect lots of plot armor. I expect lots. characters are just going to be doing combat. whatever needs doing Her to get them to the yeah. payoffs they want. Plot um, carried through by contrivance. Basically no characters acting in logical ways. The action is going to be shit. Let's and if anyone out. says, but it's Robert Rodriguez, like, that was his vi episode, episode 6 of Mandalorian Season 2, and it was terrible. It was terrible. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, Tamura Morrison, though, that's neat. I'm glad we, neat. he's got himself a show. Oh, jeez. Remember when that got you excited? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the last time. It might have been the prequels. Literally, like, Revenge of the Sith, because I fucking loved that when I first saw him. It might have been... I mean, might have been TFA. TFA was a weird experience for me. I still remember partially just being, like, almost blown away that it was happening and uh, yeah, hadn't slotted yeah. in yet with my perception of Star Wars. It was more so this other thing, but I certainly didn't think it was bad at the time. I really liked it. <laughs> How foolish I was. How foolish. This is probably a good start, you know? Tatooine. It's all nice it shots. Nice and clean, too. The most, you know, relatively. Cool. That chair looks uncomfortable. It does. Yeah. And it must be purpose built for Bib Fortuna, right? Because it wouldn't be for Jabba. <laughs> He's in a Bacta tank. I know them. Ooh, Camino. Oh, wow. That looks good. It does. You could, It's funny to compare to the... Pre oh, shit. Oh, wow. I actually used a prequel footage. Well, yeah, because Mandalorian was the first one to stop being like, okay, the prequels aren't actually that cringe, maybe. <laughs> like, yeah. We gotta move to... up to the Sarlacc, then? Oh! Yeah. Wow. There he is. Oh, the flesh looks great. Spoopy. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> what if I get... Yeah, that's... I mean... Bid yourself, bro. Well... He crawled through the sand? Damn. I guess he escaped the... Yeah, there you go. I didn't think they'd do it this fast, but... Fuck okay. it. But he loses all of his stuff, right? So how does that happen? Oh, the shit helmet. It looks cooler. It does look cooler. Oh, they all have great themes. Yeah. <laughs> they have so much money <laughs> to make these. That's... Okay. So the the Jawas are here to, for the sound of the barge, aren't they? So they'll take his stuff as well. Which that, makes sense. That, that works. basically everything they can. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. The, the point that we've been reduced to, hey, it would make <laughs> sense that they would do this. And take this stuff. Well, because I was gonna say, just like it would be really unlucky to come across Jawas for the moment you're knocked out. But then again, it's like, well, there's a reason they're here because of the barge. Damn. 
I want a shoe. Oh my god, is this Dune Part 2? Well, it's, TV shows are so pretty <laughs> these days, aren't they? They, should, they oh, really sure. are. Not a good day for him. Well, good week. He helped you. <laughs> you should appreciate- Oh, what's happened to his head? Is that the sand that did that, or like someone else? I don't know, maybe it's just years of maybe he battle always had damage. This we never saw it beforehand. Yeah. What was it? Well, I guess it wouldn't make sense to say so. Oh, okay. Take this carrot juice. The squirty carrot. <laughs> Is there Take room for another guy on there? <laughs> wow. <laughs> A POV shot? Well, <laughs> if that works, I guess. The friction, though, jeez. Hard I know you're not going that fast, fast, but it's sand. It's coarse, and it is rough. It gets everywhere. I imagine at this point, he's like, things are going to get better now, right? Well, I'm not eating. <laughs> Unless they're going to eat me. I don't know now. Stranger in a strange land. Be curious That's how, how I feel burn. being a Star Wars X fan. Yeah. Also, that oh sound gosh, effect. Oh my gosh, this is That's the stock sound effect. I wish Anakin killed you, you little shit. <laughs> he did, he killed my dad. Look. Oh. Oh, I hate Jedi too. And then they bond over their hatred of Jedi. Yeah. Why would you, why? Yeah, this why would you do this stop. to me? You're so cruel. And mean. All these children. You're hitting me with a sack! We Why is there a tree him. out here? Why is there a tree out here? What are you drinking? <laughs> How are you drinking? How was he drinking that? <laughs> don't think about it. Do you think he wasn't? And he was just trying to look like he was? To look like, I don't care. Yeah, man, oh, we're uh, we're really making Boba suffer, huh? First day. <laughs> He's like a Greedo, but red. What are they burning? For tree Can't logs, isn't it? From their tree. <laughs> or from all the trees out here. <laughs> Look like tree boulders. Oh. Is the doggo... Does it understand the concept of knots? And it's like, and you're undoing time. your knots, stop. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can see you getting closer. Look, this Look, guy's just watching it. Like... <laughs> oh shit, okay. What? Oh. Alright. So what was the idea Sneak, with the dog? Was it just gonna kill him? Cause yeah, cause he was moving around a bit. I thought they wouldn't want to kill him. Is no one else watching him? I guess they're all no asleep. One, no one hear that? You gotta have someone on duty. Okay. Do you want me to cut your bones? You gonna say no? Oh! Fuck him up, Boba. Throw him in the fire. Oh, it's a kid. Oh my god! You'd think Anakin might have had that reaction. <laughs> Uh oh. Um. Where are you going? Good luck, what is, I guess. What's the act, what is what is actually the plan here, Boba Fett, Master Bounty Hunter? Do you want to get a hostage, or do you want to sneak around and get a bantha, or? I guess he didn't have much of a choice. I don't know. Oh damn. No. Oh, that looked bad. We slept dressed. <laughs> this thing is mm. shit. What are we doing? Oh, they impressed, maybe? Maybe. You yeah. hit it a few times with your stick. That is very <laughs> impressive. Oh, now we gotta do a duel? Oh, she's gonna kick his ass. Well, that's not woman. fair, is it? It's it's a girl bounty hunter. She's gonna beat well, his ass. Look at, she's got sharp stuff there, see? But it's I mean, just stick. he can overpower her, right? Because he's bigger. Yeah. No, this is Star Wars. Rags, I Women believe it's Robert Rodriguez. Men. Maybe we'll have a chance. <laughs> I mean, I'm curious. He's supposed to be a skilled fighter. He's Boba Fett, legendary bounty hunter. I mean, he does have only a stick, though. It's he not does a particularly only have a stick. I guess it stick. depends on what happens. Oh. oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's happening? I just want him to grab his stick. Like him grab it with your hands. Man, I'm starting to wonder how he's not unconscious. If you remember, he was using one of them when he turned up in Mando Season 2, so maybe the idea here is he's gonna join this clan. Yeah, and then he earns it or something. Yeah. 
What was the point of all this? What was the point of that, yeah? I don't know. Other than to show that he's shit? Well, maybe he'll beat her at the at some point, you know? And so the axe is... Maybe. Letting us know that he's maybe. progressing. You could probably kick his ass, too. Maybe you'll have a nightmare at the beginning of every episode. I suppose this is their argument for why he's gonna not have it as many scars this time around. The sure. back has removed them. Less makeup, you know? They're lined up to pay respects. I'll let them know you're And I'm pretty sure way. he's lost weight for this role, so good stuff. Yeah, he That's looks cool. good. You could put that on yourself. Knee rockets! <laughs> Knee rockets! <laughs> Knee rockets, oh my god. <laughs> why stop there, Boba? Where are your elbow rockets? So the thing about Mando armor in general, there's so many missing pieces. Ooh, money. No, no, they're chocolate. Oh. <laughs> they're chocolate money coins, yeah. <laughs> I love those. Did you catch any of that? Something about friendship? Jabba has a translator Get a droid. robot. Fuck off. Is that a Wookiee pelt? To the new daimyo. It's an honor to be welcomed to Mos Espa by you, Dr. Strassi. Mog Shays, mayor of Mos Espa and its surrounding plateaus. We were told the mayor was coming to pay tribute. Ah, indeed, yes. With apologies, I understand how one might draw such a conclusion from the correspondence. So you bring no tribute? The mayor's heartfelt welcome. If you had spoken such insolence to Jabba, He'd have fed you to his menagerie. I'm just a messenger. Are there not rules for killing Apologies. previous leaders? There is one other matter, if I may. The matter of tribute. I'm confused. He wants you to pay him. Yeah, thank you! <laughs> I'm the crime lord. He's supposed to pay me. Shall oh, man. Come? Lord Fett offers the gift of your leave unmolested. Hmm. I'm confused as to... I would not be surprised if you receive another delegation in the near future. These two Gamorians were once bodyguards to Jabba the Hutt. Yes! Gamorian guards! Yes. 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 They the did species. not surrender. They were captured alive as a tribute to you, Lord Fett. Their tortured squeals will send a piercing message to all potential challengers to your throne. I recognize that voice. A good evening! Go back to your own country. What the fuck? He's as mad as a wax banana. How are we gonna kill a whole wolf pack with just three silver bullets? It's worse than that, we don't even have a gun. They were captured alive as a tribute to you, Lord Fett. I do not torture. Respectfully, Lord Fett, on Tatooine, you must project strength if you are to be accepted as a daimyo. Would you be loyal to me if I were to spare you? <laughs> oh, all right then. All right, well, all right, takes care of that. This is a bad idea. No, it isn't. Why is that a bad idea? It's a good idea. Why? This what is a word? really In, good idea. This is a good it idea. It means that if there's anybody who's holding out against you, you just be like, dude, I'm not going to kill you. You can work for me. You, you want to be like, if you are working with me, and if you do what I say, I will reward you. If you fuck me over, yeah. I will kill you horribly. You have to give people a reason to be your ally and a reason not to go against you. I'm not being carried around. Oh, Boston Dynamics robot. Yay. Sign they of power really are, aren't they? <laughs> they it's basically are. just our Boston <laughs> Dynamics robots. No, he's going to do things his own way. Oh, oh yeah, look, look at him! It's uh, the blue guy. Bl Glad didn't he's he, doing what he loves. Didn't he blow up on the barge? I guess no, he's the no, blue he, guy. He lived. He, he survived. <laughs> with mid Fortuna. Did you watch Robot Chicken? He survived. Yeah, it could be his brother. It could be, but it could be him, and I prefer to think that. Would you like your helmet serviced and clean while you wait for Madame Garcia? No. Sure. Yeah, take this. They said you want us to clean it. No, Fuck no. It's so the actor doesn't have to carry it around everywhere. But yeah. that's so silly. I know. Yeah, like, well, no thanks. Sense. I'll hold on to it. Not only do I think they wouldn't offer that service, he wouldn't give up his fucking helmet. I don't get how legally it was chill that he just killed a boss and took his place. Yeah, there seems I guess to be some okay kind of that. system here. And yeah, and you'd have people chomping at the bit to take over. I was gonna what? say, how is it one guy walked in and killed Java? Oh, we're taking over. Yeah, let's go, guys. <laughs> Huh. Yours looks shinier than mine. Could you give it to me in a bag, anything. please? I need to put this back <laughs> on my head. I can make the rounds. Why are you just doing give a bag? Jobs. Don't you have people to do this? You, you're, just, you're walking out in the open <laughs> market as a, a new crime money, lord really. with a bunch of money and no times. helmet. With no helmet. Fear. Yeah. They'll probably shoot the helmet, though. They probably will. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there Action you go. scene, boys. Put the helmet on. Do it. Put the helmet on. Jeez, where have these been? That was a really fucking wow. stupid thing to do. Brilliant. 
You're smart. Oh, and there's the right, helmet. And now they're taking all your money. Oh, those are shit. They just inconvenience you if they touch just you. Just fly! Yeah. Also, guys, what are you doing? Just, you just keep poking until they eventually fall over? Is that the idea? Uh, do you want to inconvenience yeah, them? <laughs> do you just want to be like, what oh, this will tickle. Fly! <laughs> okay. Yeah, kick That's it. Kick, it. <laughs> yeah, kick is a great idea. Are you kidding oh, me? Ian's, the Gamorian <laughs> guard. That guy's shield just stopped, by the way. And now they're all stopped. All, all, their, all of their shields are stopped. Yes, I totally believe the Gamorian saved the day. Look God. at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him. It wouldn't be a Star Wars TV show if there weren't nonsensical like violence. Absolute crap uh, choreography. Oh no, we Oh run. no, we give up. We give up. Um, that was too tough for we, us. We, we're, we've been beat. Come on, you're the sniper. This is... Uh, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> he just disappeared. <laughs> he just disappeared. <laughs> he just actually disappeared. Devaporized. He death starred. Justin, yeah, that would have been You could have gone straight through. Our... There's a hole. You can just go straight through. Throwing knives? That. What are oh. you doing? The guns exist in this universe! <laughs> just, why don't they have They're guns? They're readily available. I thought she just... Where'd she go? Oh, oh she's right, around the other side. Okay, then. Throw more knives at her. She's gonna beat them. No, those those suck. Don't even bother. Oh, you got tickled, and now you have to go into your... But what a fucking <laughs> pussy. <laughs> It just feels like we get so little story content, like in Mando and now it looks like in this, where it's like we get 10 minutes of talking for 20 minutes of like fights and spectacle. Yeah, I'm expecting we talking should- Talking doesn't like mean anything. We'll finish on I one more fight now, right? I just wish we had more scenes of people talking to each other, you know? Oh, it's the bad guys from the Mando place. Bad guys from the Mando place? Yeah, I've seen these baddies before in Mando. Oh, these well, guys that jumped in- bikers. Look at them. They got like leather jackets. They Thanks. are like space bikers. Whoa, what? Dig your own graves. I think I spotted that poor Greedo guy. His fingers are all flimpy and floopy, so when he was digging there, the, oh, the gloves were all like fucking up. You, you see that? They're all wibbly wobbling. Yeah. Like they're not actually fingers. Yeah. <laughs> I would like a drink. Dude. Man, you wasted You're so much of You're wasting all of it. What the fuck? You don't look cool when you do that. You just waste water. Yeah. Oh, maybe we're on top of a sandworm. Maybe. That looks like a... Yeah, it looks like a... Critter. Critter. Well, he wasn't long for this world. What a... What Yo, could... it's an orc from Lord of the Rings. Oh, look at oh, this. What the fuck? What? It's Machamp. See you, chump. What the heck? Oh god, Whoa! dude, you're done. What? You are done. Yeah, how are you <laughs> alive? It. So what, does this thing just sit out in the desert and wait to eat unsuspecting? What do these cre what do these creatures eat in this barren dune wasteland? Hey, they, they eat this little water bulb thing. Well, that's not gonna do anything. I guess he's just gonna strangle him. I don't see how else they can end this. No, what are you doing? Do just you want fall it to backwards. choke you? Just go yeah. fall backwards. Yeah. Fall, yeah, just fall backwards. Ah, uh, like, can't reach back. <laughs> what do you mean you can't reach back? Got him. There you go. Wow. Wow, that was so shit. I can't even describe how lame that was. <laughs> oh, we get our shot. I am so cool. I am Chain Man. Oh, he's doing a little kid vision of the yell. How'd you cut his head off? Uh, just pulled real hard of the chain. <laughs> Yo, I traded one of our prisoners for this head. <laughs> That's actually a good point. They'll be like, what happened to the other guy? <laughs> He's dead. I mean, surely they're gonna want the corpse to, I guess, eat, possibly, right? Yeah, like trophies and stuff, I imagine. All the cool fangs. I'd want some of those. I like, I like he's coming yeah, back I, like, yeah, I did that. I ain't I cool? They just immediately knock him out and tie him up. <laughs> like, I, I inexplicably free. killed this creature with a chain. <laughs> what if they, they actually don't have a language? They just make noises at yeah. each other. <laughs> you have earned our respect, Boba of House Fett. I guess we are gonna get a lot of flashbacks in this show then. I'm guessing we're gonna get a whole. Yeah, they'll be persistent. Yeah, I'm done with this. You throw it away. <laughs> this might be. Cherish it. So, why did they capture him? I guess as a slave, Water's but team? now they like respect him as a warrior. That's all I got.
Okay. Oh, that's it. That was that. That was. Oh, we got oh, the same of course. sort of. Of credits. course, written by John Favreau, created by John. That's that's oh, the problem. Okay. So it's not written by Robert Rodriguez at all. I I I don't know why I thought that. Yeah. So we're gonna get the exact same thing as Mando. Yeah. I mean, we can already see that here. Yeah. It's a little bit different, but not much. Need a few action scenes per episode, and you know. Well, yeah, we got our second action scene was fighting that thing. Well, I mean, we technically got three. Uh, which is the third one? The little duel, and then the fight in Tatooine. Like, oh, I the, guess, I guess city. so. Yeah. I, the duel sucks. But... <laughs> it always yeah, just feels to else. me like there's almost like a lack of confidence in their ability to keep people's attention without action scenes. Oh yeah, definitely. But then which they have these long because... sections where they just dig for seeds, and I'm like, which what? is because nothing's did... happening. Like they're not talking yeah. to each other about differing perspectives. There's nothing really going on. I'm not learning it's about a... these characters. I'm not. It's it's I'm... yeah. We're not exploring Bizarre. this world. We're not exploring it's... this potentially hugely rich world. I want to know about the inner workings of establishing a criminal underground network to build it back. Because obviously, when Jabba dies. Everyone else is going to scramble for control, and Absolutely, so yeah. it's probably going to split up into a certain amount. And jo and, and Boba is going to be one of them. And maybe he has the palace inexplicably, but that's all he has. He has to establish that he's someone who needs to be feared. Because as it stands now, he's just a guy with a chick in this palace. And a couple and I guess Gamorrean he, gods. Yes, I feel like just real gangsters wouldn't put up with this shit. They'd be well, like, oh, we're just going to shoot them. Absolutely. W what a shame that we couldn't open with, like, he's like, haha, I'm the leader. And then it's like, you you are joking. All you did was kill yeah. this guy who, by the way, had friends. There's a reason he was on that throne. Many friends. Well, yeah, just, there's... You understand that this is not... You got problems, my friend. Like, you, you got You have a lot, a lot of people who to want with. to take the stuff that you just took. Yeah. Yeah. You don't just you get to, to just... walk into a palace and kill one guy, and it's just all yours now. Well, just, I feel like the fundamental thing is it's safe, to, you mentioned it before, it's safe to assume that Jabba's, like, his empire is, is fractured. You need to, like, you got a lot of people you need to think about, like, working with to try and reorganize everything, but we don't want to do that, because that's, like, complicated. We can't it's have It's complicated, and what, it well, involves talking and dialogue. There's the scene of them standing over a table with a big map, and it's like, alright, so this is what Jabba's empire looks like. This yeah, is what this is like the Gorthax section guy. over here. Moss exactly. Bluebee belongs to the Jingjongs. Like, well, this is the gambling town. Like, this is, you know, we got a lot of casinos, we got a lot of um, bars and things like that. And this is more industry over here. And it's like, okay, let's, you know, let's mark them off the map. Let's, it, like a video game, it's like, here's our problems. All right, let's deal with them one at a time. And then have Economics are half your concern. Like, I know how That's to command boring, respect. Right? I, well, it would be such a great dynamic it's where we have to get a character. You need bookkeepers, you know, you need logistics and financiers and. You need to yeah. you need to make money, and you have to continuously be making money, and you need to ensure that people do what they need to do, and you need to either have them understand that if they double cross you, they're going to get killed, or they need to be in a position where it's mutually beneficial for everyone that he's in charge. Some kind of a system, right? But you just don't have any of that. He's just in charge now, and that's and that's just that. Well, it blows you know? my mind that they've got one person so far that's basically like you're not the boss of me and he's like what yeah you're just a guy who <laughs> like, showed yeah, you up just showed up who the fuck are you who are you why would i course, give you that's, tribute that's the that's honestly what's fucking missing right now is like why not learn about this place that you apparently want to be the crime lord of it's betraying how stupid this is it's like oh yes i am the crime lord this is gonna be great it's gonna be awesome do you know anything about tatooine apparently not you even like he seems to be confused that there's even a mayor this is a post empire world yeah. You know, how is that going to play into it? Again, we talked about this briefly in Mando. They might not care politically for the Empire. They probably don't give a shit. But Imperial credits are a big deal. It's like, oh, now that the Empire is gone, you know, we have to worry about currency rates and what are we going to pay people in and da da da. This could cause, you know, a mass devaluing of money because there's no longer a government to back up the value of this currency. What are we going to do? Well, we can do this and that. Like these things are interesting. Yeah. Instead of these super dumb fights that make no sense. Because next episode we're going to interrogate that one guy and he's going to tell us uh, 
he was sent by Bibbly Bobble, and then we go get him, and then he was. It's, it's not the mayor. It turns out it's a third faction who's trying to sow discontent between the mayor and Boba. Something, something like that. Yeah. Like I think they're going to keep it simple. When in reality, there would be several factions. Many of them would have been trying to take Jabba's palace as like a stronghold. Like mm -hmm. we're supposed to just accept that Bib Fortuna took over, which is like okay, I guess. Didn't seem like the type from what we saw. It looked more so like just a servant, like a Grima Wim Tongue sort of thing at most, but uh, okay. And then he just killed him after however long. And again, I'm surprised there's not some kind of martial law or some kind of like, hey, you just killed him. You can't do that. Like, otherwise, yeah, I mean, why that, aren't everyone you know, killing each other here? <laughs> Because I know we like to say the wild, wild west, but like if you killed someone, they you'd get killed. You you couldn't do that. You They'd have entire <laughs> towns where you had to turn over your guns, and there was a very strict no breaking the rules policy, and you didn't fuck around with everybody because everybody had guns and they'd shoot you if you do something. Killing <sighs> someone in general already something I think you shouldn't be able to do, but killing the leader, like uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get in serious trouble for that one. Because like, his <laughs> number two is gonna be like, uh, no. And think of the relationships Bib must have had to be on that throne. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I guess he you didn't have any gods people. that cared about him. It's, it's so strange. And like, I think the show just wants you to be like, we're, we're done. We, we've done that. He's the leader of that area. There are going to be people in other areas that he's going to have to fight. Okay. And you're like, okay. And his legendary Gamorrean gods, man, the oh, with their little... There's no conversation in Jabba's palace, Bib's palace, where he <laughs> is sitting down with a couple advisors who were in the palace or whatever. Like, he's only got a few people to start with, and he's got a little bit of an element of surprise because he killed Bib, maybe. He's like, okay, what do we have as leverage? What do we have to work with? What are our resources? Like, well, we have these stockpiles and these stockpiles. We have approximately this many of this currency, this many of this currency, this many of this currency. Here's our armament. This is, here's the stock of what we have in the palace. It's like, okay, so what do we do with this? How do we go and do other things? How do we get people to, there's no, there's none of that. He's going to want to hire people who used to work for Jabba immediately because they'll know their shit. And, it'd be, and you could even use the fact that he'd probably know at least a decent amount, but he seems to be kind of unaware of anything here. And I know that it, things may have changed since Jabba's time, but there's got to be some stuff that he's aware of. Like, there's got to be some connections he's got here, which would be cool to make use of. Maybe they will, who knows, but like, this is not a good start. And pretty much what start. I expected. Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. It's interesting to watch these and have them be so wildly different than what we would do. Yeah. Because we're like, we're not going to yeah. waste half the episode with him digging in the fucking sand. We're not going to start off with flashbacks, all right? Because no. we have to establish that he is in charge, or at least he is working towards being in charge. Because the now is more important than the what happened then. We can get to that later, all right? We can bait that, but we have work to do. It's we funny, because I would always already be thinking about repairs. I'd be like, right, so we're going to have to write it so that whoever, Bib Fortuna being in charge, like the people who really matter in Tatooine didn't care about him. They just had him there as a sort of puppet. That's how we can explain that, and that's how he was killed so easily without anyone caring. That's going to have to be our reasoning. Yeah, Bib wasn't really in charge of anything. It was really um, this guy. It was guy just an old who, palace. Yeah. yeah, it's an old palace. It, you know, it fell into disrepair these last couple decades. No one really lives there. It's not an ideal location for a few things. It's been ransacked, and it's been emptied of all of its stuff. There's a few people who hang out there, but it's just, you know, it's just some people. You know, it's this will be our base. We'll build. It's like a video game. We'll build up this base. And we'll add people to it, and it'll become great again, and it'll be full of stuff, and we're going to have CGI singers, and it's going to be great, and we're going to get a rancor. Things will be the tits. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be something we have to work for, because we have shit to do. We gotta go talk to people. We gotta go make connections. We gotta go see what the po who hates who. Who, who, who wants who to take out this here. guy? Who wants to Exactly. Who who hates who? Who can we use on our side to leverage against other sides? What resources do we have to bargain with? What can I do with my personal skill set to, you know, ensure? Th oh, I've got this master assassin, allegedly. That's my right hand woman. That could be really useful. You know, um, who, who knows what we could do? Maybe we could be clever and try to set up an assassination and frame it on another one of the houses or another one of the crime lords. And so they get at each other's throats and they start fighting. And then that means that they're worried with about each other and things of that nature. None of that. It's all just like, eh. How do we get it so he doesn't have a helmet? It's because he go he gives it away to be cleaned and then there's coins in it. And so he can't quite put it on. And so he drops it and then they'll take his coins. He's like okay i wouldn't have left that thing without a bag i'd be like thank you it's so bizarre to, I need to a keep bag. his helmet off 
and I feel like we're going to get lots of that as this show progresses, unfortunately, with how badly, badly done that was. Or they'll just ignore he has a jetpack, as per usual. It's like, you've been blocked on all sides. It's like, um... Except up. What about up? <laughs> like, do they don't up. know which way's up out there. Uh, yeah, that's true. Well, that's Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett, episode mm. one. Yeah, it was yeah. shit. Um... I don't think it's I don't I don't even know if it's worse than the first episode of Mandalorian honestly I just don't I think it's it might be better just because so little happens still very little going for it and it still very managed to fuck that up it. low score but I, I don't know what I would actually give it number wise I don't know I just <laughs> here we go again <laughs> yeah a bit another amazing show same damn production for every one of them. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah, goodbye. Bye. Oh, Hello, please. everybody. On Boba today's episode three. of Boba Fett, the book of... Oh, wait, you're not even on screen yet. <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, now do whatever you want. Hello. Welcome, Hi. everyone, to Hello. the book of Boba That's Fett, book season book one, episode Fett. two, episode live two. reaction What's slash asterisk recorded gonna be by EFAP. Also, Jay is here to join us. We're gonna have Jay saw a big drama. flex of fit in the sand We're gonna and he had to romance. explore along it's with so us. Look at his mucusy goodness. Maybe we'll see more sand. Mm. There'll be some fights and it'll be great. Yeah, we, things will be great. We are excited to see where this story may go. We are the uh, biggest excited. Star Wars fans on the web. On the web zone. Yep. What happened last time? As you said, there was drama. Um, yeah, there was drama. They they went and they talked to somebody and then they got attacked. And then Boba Fett went back into a little pod and had a flashback where he fought Matchamp and won. True. <laughs> that All those things yeah. are what happened. It was right. 38 minutes of content, but... You could be fooled into thinking it was ten minutes. That first episode, there was there was more wrong with it than we'd even pointed out. Do you know that? Do you know I'm, that that's the truth? I'm sure that that's the I'm case. I'm certain. You didn't get everything on one. Not watch even everything. As you wow. were posting on it live, I love it that like uh, the Mandalorian armor is equipped with so many like gadgets and weapons and tools. And they never use the appropriate one. They, they just never do. <laughs> okay, now we need to burn that. Burn it. But no, don't shoot it. Burn it. But no, okay, but don't burn that. No, that's that's what I get watching these shows. Well, yeah, because there were people who were even like, you you seem to be okay with his death and Return of the Jedi. I was like, oh yeah, we've talked before about how dumb it is that he closed the distance. Goes right up to Luke just to try and shoot him. <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh he man. His little thing chopped up. And hey, look, in Robot Chicken, it made more sense. He was drunk. Well, my face is a big letter T. Oops. You okay to fly, man? Hey, trust me, Isaac, I drunk better when I drive! Oh, pardon, foul, you made me drink my spill. I wanted to mention, this was actually pointed out by Fringy in the original version. It got cut because we thought it was, like, answered, but it isn't actually. The complication was, like, when they go into the place, they're like, would you like your Gamorrean guards to be cleaned? Would you like your Gamorreans hosed down and fed while we are sequestered? And then they go off, and then we don't... Well, I thought we don't see them again until they save him, which is kind of just like, okay, I guess that lines oh, up enough. No, 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 it's fine. This won't take long. We can do it right here. I, I thought the whole point of them doing that life. was to explain why the guards weren't there when he got attacked. Only there's this shot where they're coming out and they're right behind them and then they disappear. Yeah, they're just gone. We talked about like the cringiness of it, but I don't think we mentioned just, just outright. I don't know that anybody in universe should be calling themselves a crime lord, especially crime lords. I'm the crime lord. He's supposed to pay me. Shall I kill him? <laughs> it was awkward, yeah. We have an official title that's more, it's I like, mean, not for like tax purposes necessarily, but just because you don't want to call yourself a crime lord. It sounds it's, yeah, it's, cartoon it's the same, as fuck. It's the same, like, same energy as like someone who, who like introduces themselves to you as a pussy slayer. <laughs> Well, that's actually, well, Jay, that's, if you recall, that's actually how we met. Mm. I introduced 
myself to you as a pussy slayer. Well, I've been skeptical ever since. No, be a, it's uh, like it's, calling yourself the chosen one. It's not even just calling himself. It's the way that he does when in in the scene where he's like, "But I'm supposed to be the crime lord." It's like, mm -hmm. oh. do you want to do crime? A lot of people pointed out, and they don't know why we didn't, and I don't know why we didn't. Uh, we were like talking about the Jawas taking all of his coins and stuff. Like, why the fuck didn't the Jawas take his helmet? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, helmet. it's worth way more than the coins. It's a Mandalorian helmet. It's Maybe like they're crazy. stupid. That's true. Maybe they are fucking stupid <laughs> <laughs> they took all of his armor before but they didn't take it this time because it would be annoying no. if they did because then we'd have to go find it but and yet we didn't need any of that because why didn't they give him his coins in a bag instead of in his <laughs> helmet that he needs to wear no put all these coins in your yeah. helmet it's like, imagine, yeah. imagine that's the annoying part of book of boba fett is people just keep stealing his armor and, and he needs to get <laughs> it back, getting it back. Like, oh not again get it back fuck's um, sake Damn thieves! Uh, there was kind of interesting thing about the the Gamora gods are introduced as like you had your bosses being both Jabba and um, uh, Bib Fortuna. These two Gamorians were once bodyguards to Jabba the Hutt and later Bib Fortuna. They did not surrender even after their patron was killed. And then he's like, you were loyal to them, will you be loyal to me? And I just think, like, the most obvious thing would be like, well, you killed the, my last boss. Because <laughs> he's like, I'll spare you if you're loyal to me. And at that point, it's like, I don't know if that loyalty is going to be worth a lot. I guess what we've seen it is worth something. It's just funny to think about, right? Like, we are definitively loyal to our past boss. Like, will you be loyal to me, the one who killed him? You're like, all right. Well, and then he took him out for a test drive immediately, and that worked out well. It did work out well. I yeah. guess it just yeah. makes you think, though, if we did this show in a way that I think would be more interesting, which is less action more focus on actually running this business getting it started yeah. rather <laughs> yeah well yeah exactly if we just focus on that we could have more of these elements coming into play the idea of loyalty and how do you keep people loyal to you how do you maintain your empire how do you deal with people who want to go after their own slice of the pie like that feels to me like a much more interesting story than just yeah. three fight scenes every episode and then scenes where people barely say anything. Imagine the tension you could get in that. It's a problem with Mando, and I feel like it's going to be the problem with this show based on the first episode. There is like so little of characters expressing differing perspectives and just having conversations about those perspectives in this in these shows. So I don't know who these so people are. When, 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 the, the action in this in this is so common. It's like if you remember, like in the original films. When two named characters are fighting, you really get the sense of like, oh, one of these characters like could like very late is like very likely to die or get seriously injured here. There wasn't there was you you're right. There was definitely like not nonsense fights, because like Battle of Hoth, it's like this is consequential. Yeah, rebels are dying. We have to meaningful. escape. We have to form a plan. We got to exactly. get out of here. We got to regroup. Then, the, but, like the the main the... occasions that like the battles aren't consequential that, that pop to mind is like the shit on the Death Star where the stormtroopers let them escape. Which well, so then it is consequential. Yeah, right? well, like, exactly. It's, it's like the fact that the action isn't having the same consequence it normally would is is plot significant. Yeah, and then and then you think like again in Empire Strikes Back when uh, Han is trying to escape with the Falcon, it's like all right, so we're getting character here. We're seeing like how resourceful and and like quick on his feet Han is in terms of getting them to safety, hiding them, finding places to hide, and just his overall competence in navigating the Falcon. It's like man, this is we're achieving stuff here. But here it's just like we need a fight scene, so bad guys show up, and of course, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure we'll get more in the next episode about who they are, but like. I bet you only get like a two minute scene of them talking and then we'll just have a lot of long shots of like landscapes and a bunch of people in really cool costumes and stuff. That's gonna be like, like, I, I would really like to see what I, I think would be really interesting because like a perspective of Boba, right? Like if he's in like a, a fight with someone, like an even fight with someone, he's made a mistake because you don't want to be doing that every day. You don't want to be having like yeah, absolutely. An, an evenly matched fight to the death every day. Absolutely. Or three times an you will know him once. What, what I don't believe he's looking be for honor in. either in his yeah. fights. What I'd be re really interested to see if, like, like, Boba was like a really sneaky piece of shit in the way he fights. Oh well, I mean, that's he was that clever and guileful, and he used to yeah, yeah like a, like I a real at, like ordering hits on people, like and not a soldier. So, like, if if the mayor is a bad guy, I guess the thing would be let's subvert him. Let's not just go and have a big fight scene. It's like let's find ways to screw up with this production. We'll steal stuff on in transit. We'll sabotage facilities. 
It's like, come on, give us, yeah, give we'll us bribe like... his people, we'll get some exactly. spies in there. And then let's see what he does in retaliation into, instead of just sending people to kill us. Like, let's see something a little more interesting than that. I guess it just feels like with this show, I get real worried after that first episode. It's like, you know that there are more interesting things than just people fighting. Like, <laughs> Especially yeah. when the fights are really shit, which is kind when of the like the layer good, on yeah. top of everything that we've talked That's about. True. In the ways that Walt fights one of the like major antagonists of that show um mm -hmm. towards the end that's the kind of shit i want to see boba pulling that's, that's it is interesting to think about that we have a show which is to do with like you know criminal organizations and illegal activities that is establishing networks like great television shows and you're not using that as a point of reference at all well to be <laughs> like, fair what even is the material of this empire well I, I guess the problem is we don't know because they haven't told done us anything <laughs> to establish it or tell us. Yeah. We, yeah. we don't and it feels really awkward because we we kind of expected this with this show. It's like, man, is this gonna be like the template for all the Star Wars shows? Like please don't stick to this template. Please. Like can we do something else? Or at least have the decency to if you're gonna shove combat sequences in Make all the time, really have them be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of that, um, more... one of the top comments on our video was like, if portable shields that can absorb blasters and explosives are a thing, doesn't that like fuck with everything? Like, shouldn't that just be yeah. applied to everyone everywhere in all wars yeah. and stuff? Really, we had this question really with the fucking tech. Gungans 20 years ago. I think they actually followed uh, up with the Gungans on that comment saying that at least with the Gungans, the, they're shown that their shields can be walked through and that, um, you know, like this, they're, they're specialized for just energy that hits them or something like that. But like, yeah, yeah. I think you're still right that those should probably pop up more as well yeah the, the droid echo shields and things like that yeah mm -hmm. and apparently well, yeah, they don't only like... block everything they also electrocute to some degree because the one guy gets thrown yeah, on yeah. it and he's like ah, ah, ah. Oh. think of how expensive those must be to have compared to just like a handgun that you just can can buy anywhere on tatooine and none of them have those no, but I, I, I remember. What uh, I want with a handgun. I remember when I was editing. I uh, I zoomed in on them running away with the things on their back, and like, oh right, they weren't guns, right? <laughs> like, they don't well, have yeah, guns. The last thing this person said was like, maybe the way they balance it is that if you use that shield, you have to use a shitty cattle prod. It's like, yeah, that's <laughs> the only like, way. Oh yeah, you only have it's like Mordhau. You only have a certain amount of points left after you pick the shield. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> not enough points for a gun, but you can have this stick and it inconveniences people stick. kinda. But it doesn't have a yeah. knife on the on the electric thing. It doesn't Boba get no, stabbed. It doesn't seem to work that it way. It would be better if it was just a sharpened piece of metal. It honestly would. <laughs> like it really yes, would. I'm pretty sure he just gets electrocuted jockey. for the most part. I thought he got stabbed. I thought it looked like it. The way he, he was just holding like, his with it and then it goes and yeah, then he's, he's like, like, Oh, oh that no. hurts. Oh that's, uh, that's don't do that again. Oh, bad if you did that. Oh regarding the whole like crime thing. It was another um, top comment. I like reading these out. It's fun. Uh, if you remember Mandalorian Season 2, we had to read out a lot of people who were very angry at us. Shitty writing is shitty writing, regardless of what's popular at the time. Oh, beautiful. That sounds about right. Yeah. Maybe they'd like it if the writers put in some effort. <laughs> yeah. I think we'd yeah. like it a lot more if they did. I, that'd be fucking tits, man. And then Jesse the coming back in with the, the right The returning champion. Jesse, stop it! Stop it, Jesse! <laughs> Bad, oh my bad god. dog. Bad dog. <laughs> this time around, it's a lot of people who are very nice. angry at the show. Um, <laughs> the, the huts are incredibly powerful and they control a lot of the galaxy. After Jabba got killed, all the living huts would have been swarming to Tatooine to avenge him and take back his territory. But hypothetically speaking, let's say Bib Fortuna was allowed to keep his stuff. Why? I don't know, but the writers don't care, so neither should you. There should be a massive power vacuum. Other crime families will try and take advantage of the change in leadership and try to take over the territory mm -hmm. while people who are loyal to Jabba may not like Bib Fortuma, but will try and become independent, or even revolt against him. But let's say that didn't happen. Let's say Bib kept all of Jabba's power. Uh, well, that's stupid, but whatever. As soon as Boba killed him and took his place, the same thing would happen to him, especially since he's a bounty hunter and shouldn't have any knowledge of how it, to run a crime organization, but also doesn't have much pre-existing power. He has a single follower. The skill of, a, of this follower is impressive, but that's just one follower. None of Jabba's forces should obey Boba. 
and all the crime bosses should be on the offensive trying to claim as much of the turf as they can. There should be turf wars in the streets, total anarchy, but instead people are actually giving Boba offerings and respect. And the sniper lady, I don't remember her name and can't be bothered to look it up, actually has the <laughs> gag, the goal, to be offended by the mayor asking Boba to pay him. The premise of the show is beyond stupid and people are going to eat it up anyway. Yep. Pretty much yeah, it. Spot on. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I guess it's just the big thing is there's no reason why we can't have a really cool Star Wars show that is a little bit more cerebral. Your work is more cerebral than I expected. Say some more. Feels odd. Instead of calling him like Fat and Boba, can you call him like Fat Booba? <laughs> You can call him Fat Booba. Fat Booba. I'm not calling him that. He got he got in shape for this. Yeah. Um, what about but flat in a good Uber. way? No. What about Flat Sheen? Flat <laughs> Sheen. <laughs> um, one of the things the uh, people took issue with, there was a couple people saying this is unfair. The whole reason he didn't use the jetpack in the fight was he didn't want to leave Fennec behind. That, that was Bullshit. that's the reason. I don't know. Just grab her by the arm and. Um, what if you flew out of the thing? So how are you going to help? That's how you help her. Well, so is, yeah. I can't do anything here. You so. don't have to. This yeah. thing. Uh, uh, I wasn't suggesting he run away. I was suggesting he get a better vantage point to prevent the cattle yep. prods from hitting him constantly. Yeah. Over yeah, they, and have, over. they have melee weapons, and he can fly. Exactly. Like, like that's. I thought that was obvious. So he just goes up, and then he can use whatever he wants, and he can get behind him as well. I can't believe he just shot a rocket at the shield. It was the stupidest fucking thing. Thing he could have done. <laughs> Fucking blows them all like, themselves up. It's like Jesus. Like, so it's like you remember that, that old Simpsons joke where it's like um that guy's putting challenge. Well, I do have a surprising abundance of Lee Carvalho's putting challenge. Oh. Yes. And the whole challenge is that it's it's a video game where you just select. You're know, like you're 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 on you're the green. You're playing game of yeah. golf. Welcome to Lee Carvalho's putting challenge. I am Carvalho. Now choose a club. I was like select. The, your club and the uh, the strength of your swing, and it's like, oh, you're right next to the hole. Do you want a putter and a, a, a light tap? You have chosen a three wood. May I suggest a putter? Three wood. Or do you want like a what a, a wedge and a power drive? I don't remember the actual names. It's like that. Now enter the force of your swing. I suggest feather touch. You have entered power drive. But, like, they're actually failing the test. It's like, oh, there's a guy right in front of you with a melee weapon. What obvious course of action are you going to take? Oh, you've selected power drive. <laughs> Ball is in. Parking lot. You've selected <laughs> rocket lot. point black. The ball is in. <laughs> Would you like to play again? You have selected? No. <laughs> Would you like to play again? You have selected no. <laughs> <gasps> you got me. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, and I'm hoping that we just don't keep getting examples of him being a fucking moron in fights. This is the part of the mm -hmm. video where we flash forward to a part of yeah. the episode. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's always like, why didn't you use the flamethrower to go underneath the shields as a gap and you would have gotten their feet and stuff? And it's like, yeah, that would be clever, but we don't do that. I nope. saw a comment from someone that was getting some up for us saying, has John Favreau ever done anything good? It's like, damn, yes, he has. Iron Man is good. Iron, Iron Man, is, Man good. is really good. Yeah. He's done Iron Man 2 is fine. I want my boat. Well, it might, it might not be that good, but it's, it's, not, it's not terrible. It's not awful. Just unfortunate, because mm. it's, it's bad as he's awarded to Ed Boba. It's like, ugh. And okay. also did the Lion King. Clearly um, not trying with these, all right? Man, imagine if you were in a position like in life where you're working on Star Wars TV shows, and they're like, eh, <laughs> nah, whatever. Nah, it doesn't matter. It's fine. And it's such whatever. an interesting place to be in, <laughs> yeah. when you don't care about Star Wars TV shows. Someone highlighted, and I, I'm surprised. We, I think we were just so lost on like what the fuck was even happening but um the tuscan raider group decide yes after boba knocked out the dog almost killed the child and escaped we're gonna send him off with the child and the dog i don't um, even yeah. know what was going on there that's just yeah. all that shit is bizarre I also yeah. don't know why they had to go this far away to search for these yeah. water yeah. You guys should be fruits. moving your camps <laughs> to be closer to these things, right? Or do you have a it fixed like location it. where you stay? I, I thought that this was, isn't... Well, surely they're nomadic, right? The thing about Tatooine that we see is that it, it seems to be just sand dunes. 
it's not like the deserts of Afghanistan or something like that where there's like trees and shrubs and bushes and rivers and stuff. It's just kind of rocky and more sparse. Yeah, there's no you know, variety something. to the desert. You're yeah, right. it's just all sand. And so when I see these big ass creatures popping out of the uh, out of the sand, I'm like, what do you what do you how do you live? What do you, yeah, eat, do you eat to be that size? Well, yeah, and it'd be like strong. if you're walking out in the Sahara and then a giant crocodile just burst out of the sand. Like, I'm going to get you. It's like, <laughs> no. What do you, yeah, no. Like <laughs> no. You think about how he kills the creature mm -hmm. and so he's got basically all the leverage he wants. And he did actually make the decision of, I will go back with the kid to the Tuscans and hopefully they won't just keep me as a slave. That was yeah, quite that's, a he was really thirsty. Remember, he was intending to run away with the Greedo alien. He was like, yeah. don't alert the kid, he's sleeping. I know a way out of here. We can get to Anchorhead. I can get us off world. And so instead of doing that, he, he really was like, I'm pretty sure that because I killed this thing that they're going to like me now. It's like, damn, that's a risk, buddy. Was running into the desert also a risk? It well, I'm a risk, so but... he seemed to think not. Well, yeah, that's what he wanted to do at first. Yeah, Unless like he's changed his mind, like, oh, that's not a good idea. Obviously, this will all work out. They're going to like him eventually because that's where he was at Mando season two. So and they're going to yeah. teach him how to fight with that stick. Yes. And Isn't something kind of weird that he needs to be taught fighting now, even though he's already a trained well, fighter. I guess you can it's... argue it's fighting with the sticks different. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess. Because I was yeah, thinking I, about this after I've seen. He never, the, he, he, never he, was, he was sick on the day they taught stick fighting. Yeah. Because <laughs> I thought about this after I watched this, uh, the episode. I was like, why, why do we need him to do training now with the it's stick? It's weird. Django. Django was smart and is like, every minute that I could be teaching you how to fight with a stick, I could be teaching you how to shoot. Yeah. How to use firearms and how to use your gadgets and gizmos and things like that. You know, things you'll actually do, not stick fight. Giz why the fuck would we be fighting with sticks? This is space. What the yeah. fuck? Storm I'm not going to teach you shit. how to fight with a stick. This is how you shoot accurately and quickly. You don't need a stick when you can shoot your rockets and your flamethrowers and your lasers and... Knee exactly. rockets. Lasers. Knee rockets. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even see him that. use the knee rockets. Can you believe didn't it? Didn't even. They put That's him on and everything. Maybe he's going to use them at the worst possible time <laughs> to use his knee rockets. When is Another the shield. worst possible Quick, time? Release the knee also, rockets. I imagine like when someone's holding him by the knee. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got uh -huh. you, Boba Fett. You can't off, stop dude. me now. I've got your knee. <laughs> like, well, why don't you, why don't you think again? Knee trick. The old oh, exploding shit. knee trick. Grab my rocket knee. My knee rockets. No, I know the I'm worst time for him to use his, his knee rockets. He's standing at like a wall that just goes to like the <laughs> to like his his thighs. And the <laughs> and the rockets just, just hit the wall and he's like, oh fuck. Just like I a little short wall, but it's too too high for his rockets to get over. That'd be really funny. Jay, yeah, do you ever get tired of telling unfunny jokes? Oh, Shut up. Fuck. Got him. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the only other thing I really was going to mention is just like, do you think Boba Fett should hate Skywalker, Luke Skywalker? Or Han? Shouldn't he kind of hate them? He's worked against know? them for all the OT, and, and his fight with them ended up with him in the Sarlacc and here, where he is now. Like, or do you think do you think they'll never address that? Like, does he does he blame them, or is he like, well, I was you know it was a fight, business. I lost my business. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe I wonder Sorry, if they'll go into that at all because, of course, I'm pretty sure he's like the contact for Luke in um in Mandalorian season two. So hmm, hmm, I don't know. Um, okay. when Fennec jumped off the the fucking roof and then they ran the other direction and then she got in front of him, I do not have any clue how she managed to pull that off. And yeah. her jump off the roof is pretty funny, actually. He's just like, Eat. yeah. <laughs> He's just like, yeah. oh well, she's gone then. They're just like, nope, she's in front of him. You're like, I okay. The only other thing is just, I don't think Boba Fett is in character. There we wasn't got much character for like for them to stick to, but yes, there is. Uh, I think well, I like... think you're mistaking um so little with not characterized. It's like saying Palpatine's. We've got so little Palpatine, we can barely get it. It's like, well, we've of what we have, we can definitely get who he is. That's what. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> but uh, Boba, I think, is pretty straightforward uh, once we've seen him in the OT. Like, I, I, I agree we get little of him, but um, I don't know that there's much to misunderstand, you know? Um, but that, any kind of doubt, they have 
like exploded into Hero Man, and um, I'm assuming our theory for now will be that they they're doing Hero Man because he's gonna they're gonna do an Avengers type team with the TV shows for Star Wars, where Ahsoka, Boba, Mando. I think they already um, said that that's what they want to do, right? Was it like? Yeah, but but like I guess what I'm trying to get at here is that we're not doing like it's not just a team up in terms of um everyone meets up and different things happen. It's more so like yeah. they're all gonna fight some I don't know big, big alien creature or some guy. shit. Crisis on yeah. infinite. Yeah, like Boba's Tatooines. Boba's gonna be there because he's <laughs> he's a good man and he will help them battle as opposed to he's there for his own fucking reasons or whatever. But I guess we'll see what what they end up doing. But I I just remember when we wanted that from Mando. We were like, let's watch a show where a ruthless bounty hunter makes his way through the universe. Like, nope, he's a good guy. You're like, okay, well, at least Boba Fett show will be that. It's like, nope, who's gonna be the ruthless one? Who's gonna yeah. be the one who just wants to get money? Remember, he's a crime lord. He calls himself that, but he's also just, like, not a bad person in any way, shape, or form. Just doing yeah. more Bill Burr. Well, you know, how, how would we be able to watch him as a main character if he wasn't he's a like, good person? He's like a cute crime lord. Yeah, yeah, you know, how else would we be able to enjoy his exploits if, if, we, if he wasn't nice? Because they're they they're exploits. He doesn't do them anymore. His ploits are all spent. He doesn't ploit anymore. It's true. <laughs> Zombies. Ah. Is watching the previously on going to be basically the same experience as watching the episode? I think so. Kind of. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I highlighted this part. That means this will be important. He'll find the bikers and he'll shoot them. Yeah. They'll be. Yeah, man, yeah, they'll do something later. Tell the mayor I'm here now. He knows. Yeah, that's why I came. Whoa, oh, that's right again. Oh, no. <laughs> they felt the need to show that again. Oh no, I got shocked again. Oh no. <laughs> wow, she lifted him up with that shocky thing? She like lifted his whole body up and threw him? That takes incredible amounts of strength that I don't believe you have. Also, I don't believe that you kicked him off. Yeah, well. Because if you kicked him off, then the fo equal force would be. I, I just. Don't, She's a world class assassin. You. What are you? She has a robot I, stomach, I have, Rags. <laughs> oh, it's true. <laughs> oh, no, no, she's an android. Oh, I think they added Fennec's helmet to that little uh, thing there. Did they? She's a very important character in the Star Wars universe. They ran out of helmets. Jabba's palace. J Jabba Should there be like a road? No, oh, no. Star Wars. You don't need a road. If I was Jabba and I had like all this money, I'd be like, you know what? We need to like put a road or something, or maybe like a guard post, or maybe a cool like a turret on the Man, top. Did they, they walk all they the way back. They walked all the walk. way here. <laughs> Okay. A speeder or something, Jesus. Is the, does the door open for anyone? Is there is there a door opener? She's she obviously. Is there like a ID normal card. door you can go through? <laughs> yeah, you just it'd be like a little door. <laughs> you look so meek. Oh, I was here. What are you doing? Don't be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm complying. Oh, Jeez. And take his mask down. Who sent you? What were your orders? No, I ain't telling you nothing. To inconvenience you. Yourself. Why isn't your helmet on? Why have you well, not taken his helmet off? He no longer needs his head. Oh, that sound effect. Yeah. Eat your da. Do you say eat shit? Eat eat what? I spared your life after you tried to take mine, and you curse me. They tried to tickle you. This show doesn't have the balls Do to have an open yeah. over actually execute someone. Yeah. yeah. He is of the order of the night wind. Assassin for hire. Very expensive. Assassin. Where the fuck were you? Wait, you know this? How do you know that? Do they have uniforms? Oh, yeah, it's Matt Berry. Yeah, Matt Berry. You won't remember a thing about it. And you, my darling, won't remember a thing about a damn thing. What the fuck would anyone want with Canada? No, Dude, I've heard so many comedy roles that Troy is just hilarious to me. <laughs> Come on. Perhaps he fears the Rancor. Still have the Rancor? Uh, okay. No, he died. <laughs> I guess they got a new one. Both also, times, did right. Boba like? What if Boba was like? I was talking to him. <laughs> like, dude, it'd be really funny new... if it was just a fat guy. <laughs> oh, that's what they got now. I'm the Rancor. Uh, I guess I'm gonna eat you. Charge! Charge! Reveal! Charge! Charge! Reveal! Charge! Charge! Reveal! I was sent by the mayor. The mayor sent me. Let me out! It's empty. A oh, it's a good thing he didn't notice there was no feet. Yeah. Visit the mayor. That was lame. That was very lame. Yep. They didn't actually do anything. You're willing to make us believe that he's like willing to die before giving the information, but oh god. What if the, then he just immediately what if the Gamorrean guard was like, oh, he doesn't board. need yeah. his head? That's my cue. Katoink. Yeah. <laughs> why is okay? So why is why is he happy to get like his head chopped off, but like bitten off by a big beast? That's a step too far. <laughs> I'm super he still has his mask on. Jeez. 
At least Boba Why has his helmet on. Like... At least yeah. he does. That's cool. It's Trandoshans. Hello over there. Look kind of floopy with their eyes. Like ah. they do. Is it's like Boba? a weird mix of CGI, and it just doesn't yeah. look. I don't know. It's odd. Hey, look! It's Boba Fett. He That's was here the yesterday. Those, those uh, what are they called? Gamorians. Mm-hmm. Good morning, God. That's the species. There were some short skirts. Let's walk right up to the front <laughs> doors, guys. Right up to the front the door. The guy who tried to kill us. Yeah. yeah, right up to that front door. Hi, everyone. We're here. Are you uh, allowed sorry, to bring guns late. in here? I guess so. I guess so. I am Boba Fett. I'm here to see the mayor. <laughs> but look at this guy. <laughs> this guy looks... He looks like a mailman. Like just... Do you have an appointment? I'm here to return it to its master. Dude, he has a gun for me. It's not funny. Pardon Fuck off. lack of pomp. For your entrance, uh, I might I just put a fucking bullet right over this guy's head right here. I'm not fucking around. Nevertheless, why would the, the assassins know exactly it is who hired them? Why would you not use like a contact or? I'm a assuming it's a lie. I, I feel like it can't be this easy this early in the season. It is the new Daimyo Boba Fett, Your Excellency. Why did you send this man to assassinate me? They didn't really assassinate you. you. They the mayor you. had nothing. <laughs> He's a member of the Order of the Night Wind. Ah, no. then you admit it. Order of the Nightwind. <laughs> LOL. Why are you Lol. standing so weirdly? What are you doing? You're not the even Order looking the down the sights. You're not allowed to operate outside of hut space. <laughs> Thank you for turning him in. Give this man his reward. Oh, okay. Sweet. So the Gamorreans are sitting there like, the we're gonna help. Of your <laughs> what do we... Do we, do we win? I know that you sit on the throne of your former employer. Ben Fortuna was not my employer. It's Jabba, I'm Jabba obviously. Yes. Fucking idiot. One of them didn't employ me, so I don't know what you're talking about. I assume you mean it's that one. Fucking, what a stupid thing to say. Like, are we not gonna address the assassin thing? Who really sent the night wind? I have no motive. As you said, are you still leaving? He would have left if the mayor person didn't. Those who thought otherwise no longer draw I... breath. What did you come here to do? Some advice. Running a family is more complicated than bounty hunting. You said it. Yeah, said thanks. It. Go to Garza's sanctuary. Why? You'll see what I speak of. You just tell me. He's on a quest. We gotta do all the little. Little chapters. I want to see how he does his thing. Dude, I'd love it if Boba's decision here was to just be like, nah, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just don't give a shit. Hey, Max Rebo, are you Do here? You just walk into buildings waving your gun Max, around. Where are people? People he are does. right with that? There he is. Yes. Hey, Max. Max Rebo. Yay. Oh my gosh, have you seen that Boba Pack guy? He's so dumb. Why? Took his helmet no. off again. Do you take your helmet? Oh. Now you're sweating like a gumped on Mustafa. Like a wood. He's not sweating. <laughs> yeah, because that would ruin the makeup. <laughs> the twins have laid claim to their late cousin's bequest. The twins are preoccupied with the debauchery of Hutter to bother with any ambitions on Tatooine. Okay. Um. Oh no, it's the Rancor. The jazz playing stops. <laughs> uh, what is happening? Max is just like, oh, whatever. It's, it's, a, club, it's a club next door. Is the music too loud? Yeah. Yeah, Thank the best you. Player. I'm much more comfortable whenever he puts it back on. Mm -hmm. yeah. just talk about but the Fennec on. still doesn't have her helmet. Yeah, because she's, she's stupid. Does she have her knee rockets? <laughs> oh, I, would I think her helmet is the only armor she even has. Oh. That fan okay. ain't gonna do much for you, honey. Oh, it's Weasel! Oh, they're, they're really touching. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Awkward. I was about to say, goddamn. I don't believe that those guys could carry them. Yeah, that looks like a lot of fucking weight. Maybe they're Look, very It's, it's even heads. like, it's bed or bending. Yeah. <laughs> the Where the fuck were you guys before? Yeah. Really? We're doing the- Okay, finally, we're doing this. Yeah. He's rubbing himself with a rat! <laughs> oh god, it's this guy. Oh my gosh, is it a Wookiee? Ooh, it is a Wookiee. Just Wookie. shoot him! Just shoot him with your gun! He doesn't have armor! Just yeah. shoot him! Yeah. Shoot him with your gun! Yeah. That's yeah, a big now gun. Be better. That is a big gun. Shoot him. You got shoot him. You got men are glad these are not the despots of Durr, and I am not a sleeping trend. The despots of Durr? This territory is mine. I have yes. new rockets. Do you really want to fuck with me? <laughs> you upset my Evil sister. <laughs> Why are the subtitles fucking beige when everything is sand? Oh, like what that. did that do? 
Uh, it no made it go beep. Like, how would you serve this, this, this territory? Do you like even we... know that? Now. Yeah, I guess. Well, no, but we don't know the nature of Bob uh, Bib Fortuna's rule. These guys like, like, why didn't these guys down? kill Bib Fortuna, then? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, why didn't they just come in and take his stuff earlier? I don't believe That's it. That's not fucking hut believes true. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we dealt with later. You just came out here to say that? Dude, the CGI doesn't look as good as the puppet from 40 years ago. The puppet looks fantastic in Return of the yeah, Jedi. Yeah, the puppet looks great. really good. Oh, the, the those two Gamorrean guards are like, oh, thank God I'm not gonna get shot. <laughs> <laughs> I was not gonna be. Well, those two are gonna have a boss battle. Hopefully it's good. I'm sure it'll be incredible. I'm really invested in these two characters fighting because they both look would, cool. No, I would, <laughs> I, I'm like genuinely impressed that we've had like 15 minutes of talking. I can't believe it. But we know I, I so can't believe little. we've acknowledged that there's other huts. It's amazing. Yeah. And they just left. They just left. Don't take your that. helmet off. Keep it Especially on. Especially not now. Yeah. Not right now. Yeah, what if they lie to you? Sniper just shoots him. Alright, I'll we'll be in my backpack tank. No, also, no. I find it bizarre that we're supposed to believe the huts were like, we need to go out today. Why? It's like, we're gonna go look for that Boba Fett guy and tell him this is our territory. What if he says no? But what if he says, well, well then we'll just go home. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the plan. <laughs> Why does he have to be in the back of the tank? Sit down as a night? possibility. He's healing, like, Mantle. Like, we own huh? this place and he's, he's like, healing. no. Look at him. He's using oh, the stick. Oh, look at him go. You're so good at using that stick to fight It's the people. lady that so beat him. So this is him. just posing. Why do they want to train him? Uh, they respect him now. Ow. Why? I don't understand. Why? How is this helping? Yeah, have they figured out a way to talk to each other yet? <laughs> Were you not holding on to that? It's actually made of lube wood. So <laughs> oh <easy>. no. <laughs> Very you wouldn't expect Tatooine thing. to be the place where you'd find lube wood, but here that's it is. Actually, uh, lube wood is actually Maybe that's the Tatooine. one place you would Maybe expect. Maybe they dig it up. They dig it up. Oh look, he's digging for water. Oh, he's, doing... he's like, the, we have a building. fucking slave and I'm doing this? Okay. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. The last <laughs> Teaching slave. the slave how to fight while I dig. Yeah, you never taught me how to stick fight. What if you just hit him in the fucking face? You did the, with that? the that same moves three times in a row. I don't know what changed. Did you learn something? Yeah, he did a good job. Yeah, that's really great, that thing he did. Yeah, that's so cool. Look, this is what we call. This is better than Ray. I mean, uh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, uh, look, another sand monster thingy. It's a sand frog? What the fuck is happening? It's a giggle. God, that looked terrible. Right, we got our first yeah, we got a mobile fan. Just, so it just came out of the ground right next to him, and they shot yeah. him. That's all noble. That's what's. Ha that's just what happened. Oh, oh. Yeah, Bob is like smiling. He's like, yeah, that's great. That they did that. Yeah, good, good it's job. great that they did. That. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's yeah. great. That is his face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was like, yeah, I'm, I approve. Oh man, we were having such a good time a second ago. I don't know for context for this, but Here. I think it's good that they killed that frog. <laughs> <laughs> what are we? What's up? What's happening? What are we doing? It's a oh, is there like a sand one? It's a train. Oh, oh it's a train. Yeah, it looks mechanical. <laughs> it is a train. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, they shot what? The... It's a shooting train. Oh, no, Look that guy. Shot the Bantha. What the fuck? What are you shooting at? I feel like those guns aren't going to do anything. It's expected to be a gun train. Look at Boba rescuing people because he's such a good man. So good. Uh, he's such a great dude. I would appreciate that if this were a heroic character. I'd be like, that's a good touch, but. Why is he doing it? Why did you not just let so, them pass? Why did you do they, that? Is that what they do? They just go past and <laughs> they shoot, just shoot and they things. Go away. It's a gun train. Why, Could why, they hit? <laughs> why did they do this? <laughs> it's just a gun train. Just goes gun through the train. world shooting everything. <laughs> Quick, we have to. <laughs> it's like a Monty Python sketch. It's the like gun train. Game. It's the oh. gun train. Oh no. Sam, it's the gun train. Oh no. <laughs> Why didn't you just duck and wait for. <laughs> <laughs> if you knew, all oh, well, it does we'll is die. drive past and shoot. Just so get weird. to cover. I don't oh, know. It's a funeral. Here, have the sleigh. Oh my god. Look at all the people. I I <laughs> If I were Boba, oh so the tap the fucking tribe is dead. Can someone explain to me why it's, it's a gun train? They wanted to, wanted to have this like tragic scene where like some of the raiders die, but so like how do we train. earn this? And someone's like, I don't know, gun and train, 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 and then just goes away. I like how they just throw them unceremoniously onto just some fire willy nilly. Yeah. They're just like. Fuck that. This is On the culture. pile you go. No coins for the ferryman for you, asshole. You got killed by the gun train. 
That's the biggest insult when you're killed by the gun tree. All you had to do was not just get shot by it. If they carried on doing literally nothing, less of them would have died. Those space bikers again. They assumed tactical git mode down formation. People I bump into each other a lot. I was about to say, this say. desert is pretty small. What? You just go around him, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? The long speeder. You cannot stop the long speeder. I will stop them. I will take rifle and stick. I will take rifle I and will stick. take rifle and stick. <laughs> Fuck the stick. Just take the rifle. <laughs> How are you supposed to get the train? The train is so far away by I, now. Like, You're walking? Bro. Okay, what here you go. Fuck? Bye. He'll be back, guys. Don't worry. Boba Fett's gonna go get cigarettes. He'll be back Oh, he's gonna soon, take the I biker's promise. stuff, I guess. But, like, I don't see how that's gonna help. How is that strapped to his back? He just has a random loop Wait, so on his back. Have we just decided that the gun train is just gonna periodically come back? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. It's Fonzie. <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun. We're, yeah, like we a... have a good. Us. Oh, my, oh, my, no. I'm gonna take your Place chips. Crit. I sure do love chips, and this I love your drink. Now. Ooh, that's how you get. That's how you get coronavirus. Yeah. Oh, cooties. <laughs> You're Whoa. such a fucking cuck, Jerry. It's not right. What'd you just say, boy? He said it's not right. Oh no! They've oh, got no, the little ticklers. Oh no! Not those! Oh no! Not those! Oh my gosh, Boba is gonna save the day. There's a stage light right outside the door. Can someone get the hobo out of my restaurant, please? Why didn't everyone stop to pay attention? It's like, oh, a man walked into the bar. That's <laughs> what happens. He, he looks threatening, Jay. He looks like he's up to no good. During all the gun. Why would you- you shot the gun once! You brought the gun to shoot it once and then pulled out a stick. What the yeah, fuck is wrong? Also, this is like- I thought this was like a training stick, not like an actual- Yeah, why didn't one. he bring like the actual stick? Wow, I got lost. Oh, dude, it's it's wow. Do you know how hard it is to get glass replacements here? <laughs> Easy, because you just burn the sand, There's but that's sand not the sand everywhere. <sighs> So, like, you when have, their friends come back and they're upset, these guys oh, are dead. Yeah, yeah they're, they're only knocked out. You gotta. Yeah, wait. when they wake up, they're dead. I find it funny that yeah, they like, float like, when they're apart. The show the balls to have the main character go around executing them all. Instead, he's just gonna be like, I like this one, I guess. I'm glad we had that scene where he looked Didn't at he them Didn't he say all. it's gonna be back by morning? It's morning now. Well, it could be, like... Oh, they oh, took them all. Man, those poor bar owners, they're fucked. Man, they really figured that they could pad this season with flashbacks, didn't they? I just oh, realized, like, a lot place. of this episode is getting thrown away to this train heist that I guess we're doing. It's essentially like they, could, they just couldn't decide whether to do a season about him escaping or a season about what he's doing now, and they just did both. Yeah. I yeah. could have killed a gun train, but I brought what you, you doing? his baby. What, what the fuck are you doing, you idiot, stupid barbarians? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're fucking what destroying them. What are you doing? They were you could use them for oh, just threw something away. That dude just threw something out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we won't destroy them. And even if you can't, like, use them, you could sell them for money. Money is a pathway to many items. Some would yeah. consider unnatural. Yeah. Some would. This makes it go. Please tell me that's all he's gonna teach us. <laughs> this makes it go. Okay, who wants to go first? The handles get no, pushed you forward. No, you haven't. You, no, you, you haven't. No, you, you? you haven't taught them enough. Oh, He's this, gonna we're going to do a funny. We're going to do a funny. Yeah, we're going to do a funny. Oh. See, funny. Jump to me! Jump! No, wow. why would you? Wait, what? what? Practice Bro it. Oh. <laughs> How many warriors died in training? <laughs> hey, there you go. Oh. You want to see how fast the train goes? Oh, I thought I thought the train. He says uplifting music playing. I thought was what he was saying with his hand. Uplifting music playing. <laughs> it's a montage. There are always a montage. <laughs> hey, he did it. Look. I'm so glad he I'm did it. I'm still unclear on what Whoa. the maneuver is needed for, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Because if someone's next to me in a speeder and it looks like they're about to jump, I'm just gonna be like, oh, I'll, I'll either accelerate. Uh, or, or I'll break. Just saying, by the you way, know, I feel like the gun train is ready for some speeders. 
Probably. Like the gun train it's called the gun train. train. <laughs> like, no one fucks with the it. gun train. Rule number one of gun train. No one. He's <laughs> making. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Searching for those things, I guess. Gun train, gun train, gun train. Gun train, gun train, gun train, gun train. Who wants to die? Did they know it was gonna come this way? Is it, is it just is, is is it legit just a train that drives through the desert shooting them once a day? Like, I, uh, yeah, but it probably has stuff on it. <laughs> like like, like guns. Class? Gun train. I just but by the way, guys, we're called Tuscan Raiders. This is not gonna help our reputation. <laughs> no. Where's it going? I don't what? know. <laughs> Oh god, gun train! I've seen people outside. Shoot them! Like, yeah, I'm for Tuskins to shoot right. Oh we yeah, have I love it. Spotted life, <laughs> destroy it. Guys, get your banthers. Wow. Stop yes. leaving them out in the it's open fucking to be duck. shot. I love. They bring banthers just to become cover. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. why they're here. How did oh, you get that? Come on, these are the easy <laughs> shot. Yep, they. That should Whoa. just happen to all of them. <laughs> What's the plan? What are you doing? Oh, you come on. Scopes. What? what? No, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't no. believe you're making shots. And these last points, too accurate for sand people. Do you know I how don't fast that thing moves? Even with a scope. Like, no. Insanely mm. fast. Tiny target. First shot. Why they just make brain hurts. <laughs> <Get fun>. Nice. Uh, <laughs> happens, you idiot. Oh, you're dead. Oh, I guess what happened to the other speeder didn't happen to yours. Yeah, okay, Boba's that's... got a little bit of that armor. It's oh, fine. It's... <laughs> ah, what idiot? Yep, that happened. Look. Why not just shoot them from God, the hatch? How stupid oh, yeah, are you guys? They can only come out of this hatch. Right. Just, just you aim your gun at it. Here? Fighting on top of a train sucks. Oh my God, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> The dust! Okay, let's try that again. Ah, shit! Redness! All I want is to fight on the top of a train! Had they come out any earlier, they'd all be- There you go! Yeah, there you go. Oh, they've got that as cover, okay. Well, I mean, this still seems over. How are you getting out of this? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What? Wow. what? Alright. <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys! What if that shakes the train and they fall the fuck off? The train! Look at this yeah. little guy. <laughs> Emmy's like, push the gun train, they said. It'll be easy, they said. Go, little robot. Ugh. Go down right. the hatch. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> How did Why that, that happen? happen? Yeah. They, they all have are? guns! They're no. just not shooting. No guns. Yeah, okay, oh. of course. Yeah, why are you? <laughs> why are you running directly into the thing? Why, oh, you, you deserve that death. Fuck you. I really don't believe it's going that fast, by the way, with how he's just seemingly. Like, oh. Well, you sped it up so much, now it's breaking. What? Why? <laughs> he jumped out the window. <laughs> <laughs> is that the droid's protocol? If someone comes in, just jump out of the window. He's just leaving. <laughs> He's like just running no. away. <laughs> what is this gun train? What is the fucking <laughs> point of this gun train? Oh my god! <laughs> like a mechanical shark and James is like, out. And I'm like, why the fuck are you here? What are you doing? <laughs> it's, it's breaking. It's gonna stop. Just leave, I guess. There's nothing on the gun train at all. It's just a gun train. It just shoots people. It's a gun train. He's like, there are no more guns on the gun train. I don't want to run no train. I want to run a gun train. Oh man! Oh, Jeez. I hope you were in a price position. Yes, it also deactivated the floating machinery. Yeah, floating. yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the we fucked. Train is no train. more. Oh, no. we only got one episode of the gun train. Oh, they're all here. Fuck. How did you all run <laughs> here? <laughs> wow, that's actually a good question. How the fuck did you get here? There's oh, look at no all these guns! There's no way that they got here so trains. quickly. Man, if only yeah. Yeah. I used them. This is, like, a side quest in an RPG that I don't give a shit about. Like, <laughs> yeah. like why, why am I doing this? Well, because it's a side quest. I'm Boba. Well, there's a side quest, so I guess I'll finish it. What's the quest? Oh, there's a train with the guns gun on it. I guess I'll kill the people on the train and take the loot. That's literally the episode, except there's no fucking gameplay. This <laughs> it's all cutscenes. Are you going to give us? That depends on how you answer what I'm about to ask. Do you want to get killed? <laughs> <laughs> Are you carrying spice? <gasps> what is the spice? Dune? spice. <laughs> is Dune, Dune spice! <laughs> what does spice look like? 
like that. Wait, were you were you gonna lie and say you didn't have spice on the train that they're raiding? We thought you were uncivilized raiders. We were trying to protect our route. We made this gun train for this uh, purpose alone. We're just trying to protect no our route by like killing everyone. These hands are no longer free for you to pass. These people lay ancestral claim to the moon sea. No one fucking cares. Does Boba give a shit about that? that? I don't know, I guess he does. Ancestral says native rights, I guess. You now travel under the protection of the Tuscans. Under the protection wow. of the Tuscans? Just, you know, the Tuscans would be like, no, nah, the Tuscans guys, will kill them. Jerry. Yeah, they, they killed Jerry and Frida and Andrew and Ryan. And yeah, you are you really sure that the Tuscans aren't just going to kill them because of how many of their sure bodies? Just, no, what are you doing? No, you no. wasted it all. No, no, it's wasted. No. No. Oh my god. It's just like oh, Mad Max. So much. <laughs> no. Is Boba not at least a little stressed out about that? Like, hey guys. Um, <laughs> it's not water, that's how oil. That water is being wasted. It's oil. <laughs> it's oil. <laughs> So he's gonna, he's gonna unite the Tuscan tribes. Uh, well, my question now is, how relevant is all of this gonna be if we have now jumped forward to him trying to be a crime lord? Like, is this, mm. surely this is relevant in some way. A gift. This oh, is the gecko box. No, no, close the gecko box! Eat close it. the gecko box! Eat it. I will let it guide me. It will what guide me. Ah, bastard! What the fuck? Oh my god! Ew. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? There's a fucking gecko in it your brain! It will guide you from inside what? your head! What the fuck what? is that? I was tripping! Thanks. No, I think he just farted in my brain. Dude, what the he, fuck? he was like, things were okay, but now I'm... What's happening? <laughs> like, oh my god! Before you even listen in my fucking nose, bro! I give you guys a gun <laughs> trade and this is how you... I just put a lizard in my head. <laughs> There's what a lizard the in my fuck? brain right now. I'm processing the fact that there's a lizard uh. in my brain. <laughs> is he actually here? What's happening? Is the lizard giving him psychotropic visions? Boba Fett's had a weird yeah. life, you know? The tree. <laughs> the tree I need the tree. it. Oh no. Oh no, no, it wants to... Oh no, it wants to... Oh. This is how you become a Tusken Raider. <laughs> No, it's just like the thing, but different. Uh oh. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? What are we doing? Also, do you remember there was a there was an A storyline? I guess we're not doing that today. Yeah. Nah, fuck you, tree. <laughs> yeah. Ape he's, he's just he's just <laughs> drooling while walking around on the floor, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> All the Tuskens are laughing at him. Ah, oh, his first trip, look at that oh, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> He's like Gandalf, just skinning around. This is a drug that you take by let- by- Just to be clear, they don't put the lizards in your nose, it just goes up there. That's what it wants to do. <laughs> That's it's what it's life cycle is. It just what it, it makes you wander out, out into the yeah. desert. Thank, oh. thank this episode for introducing us to gun trains and nose lizards, man. <laughs> Guys! Guys, he, he he's made totally it. Bad. <laughs> he's got a stick. No, oh, he's got. Dude, dude, he's gonna be like, I made a friend. Like, <laughs> this is my friend. He tried to hug me and showed me visions of my past. <laughs> well, oh, came back from his trip. Came dude, I, I want him to sit down and be like, Was there a lizard? Did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Roll up my nose, or was that part of the vision? Also, my spirit animal is a stick. <laughs> so they Bye. just let him walk off and hope for the best. Yeah, so they gave him like a loose leash and could let him walk up into the middle. Oh, yeah, no! Oh, oh, oh. God. Why is that how it works? Oh. It's attracted to wicker baskets and noses. How did the lizard evolve? <laughs> he said, have, I thought he was like, part of the dream. Uh, <laughs> I knew show it. Me the branch? I just show thought me, was show me the branch! <laughs> oh, is this how he gets his, his proper it's stick? A fine this is his proper this stick. Is a, yeah, yeah proper they're gonna stick. carve his stick out of that. If you need a proper stick, you need to put this lizard in your nose. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I will make the greatest stick from this. Do you have to do this every time you break your weapon? It's like, oh fuck, where's the lizard? Oh, no. <laughs> Not the no. The brain lizard evolved to be on brains. They give you a 
lizard that crawls into your brain makes you hallucinate. So you wander into the desert and find a tree, have visions of your past, and you know to break off a limb and bring it back so that they can make it into a club? Yes. Mm -hmm. What if you just don't find a good club stick? There's well, like oh, you have like a, you just get a twig and you're like, is this uh, is this good enough? No, this is the what outfit he was on with like Mando okay. season two. I'm I'm very thankful yeah. they've explained all of this, by the way. I did need an explanation for why he had clothes. He, he, we, we what we really just see is a scene of him introducing himself to someone as Bobanicus, and then <laughs> then him going, oh, that's too long. I'm not. I, mean, I need to shorten that. You are now a Tusken Raider. <laughs> Oh, okay. I have become Raider. Travel people who live in the middle of the desert sure do like wearing thick black cloth. And yeah. masks. Yeah. Over yeah. Isn't that what you not you don't want to wear? It's like turns out your twig is pretty shit. Sorry. <laughs> Can you get, get the <laughs> lizard? Do you need another one? If I was gonna get like a, a stick to turn into a weapon, I, I probably wouldn't do it while tripping. I would probably like <laughs> try to examine the sticks mm -hmm. with like the most coherent mind. Oh my god, he's got a little vice. Yeah, love it for stick. Hey, my stick! What the fuck? Yo, ow, stop! Ah, stop! I don't see how this is gonna be that powerful, though. I thought the, the main sticks were made stick. of something stronger. It's an actual stick! It's Man, just really a good stick! At this. Maybe this is an awesome tree well, in the middle this of is the lube wood, remember? It's lube wood. Man, that's some pretty good patenting for your first try in <laughs> Alright. Oh, there you go. That makes better sense. Wrapping it in some stuff. He just throws while. it away and is like, I'm gonna use my gun. Thanks. <laughs> this is fucking shit. I do really appreciate you helping me build this nice stick, but uh... We're getting more character uh, development for a fucking stick than any of the characters. We've spent the whole- we only got like 10 minutes of present day story. We spent the most of it here with the yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what a strange story it was. I, I really yeah. don't get why they didn't just start with this stuff and make like ep like this the first few episodes with backstory. If we're gonna do it, yeah. Instead of giving me the little thimble of of like actual main present day story. What are we uh, What are we doing here, man? You must have felt so dumb doing this. Probably just because the people who write this show they're just like I don't know they just, they just the yeah they do this weird dance on the boblia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's it! it was, oh, that was um, no shit. I mean, what are we watching? What, that, what was the point? God, we we came so close to having something there as well because it was like, yeah. hey, the huts, they're angry at him. It's like, finally. Wait, like, no, bite. sorry, we got forty minutes of flashback. <laughs> Four, forty minutes of nothing. Like, oh, okay, they fucking attacked a trade and got some resources, and they like him now. All right, and let's not talk about how dumb that shit was too. RPG quest level story, it, literally, like not even like main story RPG. That was like. RPG, like, side quest, there's a thing in the desert, go kill it. That's your mission. But that's the I main mean, story of the show. Even having said that, it's like, I feel like this is better than Mandalorian. Like, there's an actual story here. More entertaining? I like it there more is, than Mandalorian. There is more like purpose here. That we're doing something with. It is yeah. at <laughs> least got the goal of being like, how did he get from the Sarlacc to where we saw him in Mandalorian Season 2? And right. Even it's, though we question why and how it all happens, it's like, yeah. okay, but we're moving somewhere. I just don't know why we're doing it in this way. Which is better than Mando, where it's just like random bullshit each episode. I still think it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, it's the, it's got the standard issue, right? Of like, how do we connect all of these things together really badly? There's a train that goes through the desert and shoots the Tuscans, so now we're gonna go to the biker guys and knock them out and then steal their bikes and leave those bikers with the innocent people in the bar that we destroyed. And then we're gonna learn how to ride the bikes to then raid the train. <laughs> Which mm -hmm. is driven by this little robot guy, <laughs> Spider. I'm gonna become the boss of the, the Tuscans, and, and then I get a lizard in my brain, and I get a stick. I, I think... carve it into a cool stick. Where are, are there nice places in this galaxy? I, I is, know is that that place, I'm very upset about is that. Is there a place with this dusty, dirty, dooney, barbarian filled, scum crime ridden shithole? Like, are there nice places? We've been in Tatooine for a long time with all the content to do with this. We have. It feels very deliberate because, hey, yeah, remember Mando. Tatooine? That's like the main place you saw when you yeah, saw Star Wars. Yeah, it's not spaceport. That's where everything happens. Well, maybe maybe it'll be the other shows where we get to go to yep. new places that don't suck. Between this and Mando, yeah, they spend a lot of time on just these dirty, dusty planets. It, where, nothing, where nothing interesting is happening, too. I like the opening I mean, meeting was bizarre. It was like... It was. 
There's yeah. so many, like, protocols that we're getting, like, we just sort of sit here and assume that everything has to work the way that it does then. It's like, walking with guns, like, we're already like, whoa, can you even do that? What's your authority? Are you allowed, like, is there security? It, he just walks into the mayor's room. Well, just I, like, I think that's okay. kind of like a big problem, right? We're two episodes in and it's still very confusing what the state of affairs is in mm -hmm. this area of the Star Wars universe. Who's in charge? What are they in charge of? What is the economy of this place? What are the uh, rivalries? It's very unclear to me yeah, what's going world on. Is terrible. I have no idea what the state of anything is. I don't know who's who. I don't know what's what. Nobody acts rationally in this world. Nobody behaves like an intelligent person. So it's just flat out bizarre to mm -hmm. see anything happen. I don't care about anybody or anything in this world. I don't care what happens to anyone. There's no characters here that, that are even mildly interesting. Everything to do with the desert gun train was dumb. All of it. Gun train. They had a gun all train. <laughs> the gun train all appears in the so desert. That's just something that they all accept. It's like, oh yeah, that's the gun train. Like, if you know it comes through here all the time, just don't be in front of it when it comes by. Like, uh, instead of like, just standing up and dying. You know what I would have loved to see? Bo like, the Boba we were discussing before we watched the episode, you know what I feel like he would have done? Just, like, put an explosive in the ground where on its path. Blow it yeah, up. Yeah, and then blow it up. No, we have to do, like, an elaborate speeder chase. And you have, like, people crawling out because they've been... And he just, like, stands on their shoulder and just shoots them in the head sort of stuff. Are you not even sure if, like, he's doing it to help the Tuscans or because he wants to raid the loot? Yeah. That would be a cool way to play with it. It's like, is he playing these Tuscans? But that we've could be decided that he is a hero man now. Like, Boba Fett is just unconditionally a hero. Yeah, I do. He Why is it that whenever, like... A fucking villainous character gets the focus, like, main character status in a TV show. It's like, oh, now they're good. Tell us who's a villain. It's, Don't be a it's coward. A big well, oh, it's a big problem yeah. with Star Wars in general uh, since the, the Disney time. Because I remember Battlefront 2, a lot of people were excited. It's like, oh, cool, we're going to get, like, an Empire story. We're like, actually going to get to play from the Empire's POV. That's going to be cool. But then halfway through, you become a good guy. It's like, oh... Yay! <laughs> and and then it's the same here with Mando. We thought we were gonna get like a really morally grey bounty hunter doing crazy things in he's this crazy galaxy. Hero. And he's a hero, hero straight away. They're all just and then uh, Boba Fett, the established piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> mercenary. Yeah. That's what he's supposed to be. And he's just a really good guy who does selfless things for people. He, he um, believes in the rights of natives. He's, he's he, getting to the point yeah, where it's he, like he Bobo. Like what, Bo? What were your thoughts on the Empire versus the Rebels then, and, and why did you work so hard to kill these people who are trying to, you know, escape Jabba's group? Like, like it's getting to the point where you're gonna have to explain that to us. Well, because this is a very yeah. short amount of time after that. A short amount of time after he helped Darth Vader to put yeah, Han exactly. Solo and Carbonite and delivered him to Jabba and hang well, out with I mean, Jabba, who wasn't a particularly nice guy. Well, he was trying to kill for him, so... To, this show seems yeah. to think that, like, mercenary crime lord is an aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wonder what spurred on this change. What, what, what are, yeah. what is the, what is the show trying to say it is, you know. I don't know what, if the what show was going to give us a reason for it, unless like his near-death experience in the maybe, maybe. I feel like that's all they could be, right? That your near-death experience in the Sarlacc just changed your outlook on life. But yeah. I mean, Boba had tons of near-death experiences in his life. We take the time to explore the time between Mando and the Salek eating part, but then mm. there's so many gaps in there. First, he get, gets captured by them for slave trading. I'm guessing. Then he saves the kid, and then in the next episode, they just train him, and he likes everyone. And when someone gets killed, he goes out on a re revenge tour on the gun train. It's like, why? why? I don't know why, why he's doing anything, how did, really. How did, you bond, just... how did you bond? How long have you been here? And why aren't they giving you, like, other clothes? If you <laughs> It took him a while. It's really weird, because there's still so many missing parts in between the things we're trying to clear up that we didn't know before. And I was like, here, have this lizard, put it in your nose, and have a stick. It's like, okay. And I guess this is There's done so now. So much time on the stick and the lizard spirit quest, and I'm just like, it's, what? It's just not important. Like, I don't, I don't yeah. need to know the I'm origin story of the stick. I, I, I can it. believe, I can believe that he got a stick that was really cool. You know, I don't need the origin story of the stick. Well, to be fair, dude, like, I, if you had asked me, I'd have been like, so he must have fallen into the cell, like, got out. His armor must have been stripped from him somehow at some point by Jawas, and then he he, mm -hmm. he uh, managed to team up with some Tuscans. I can see that happening, I suppose. And he would have spent some time with them in order to get back to his full strength, and then he came into Mando Season 2. That, that must have been it. 
Like I don't I don't actually think that this it's unreasonable to infer pretty much all of that. Yeah, I assume that if he has Tuscan stuff, he yeah. it, we know he was in the Sarlacc pit. The Sarlacc pit's in the desert where all the Tuscan raiders are. So at one point he befriended them and the the story that I could make up in my head instantly is way better than anything you're going to waste my time with in a TV show. Well, soon. You don't the have gun, to the gun train was pretty funny but absolutely dumb as fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, and it took us like 50 minutes to tell the story. Like 50 minutes. And I actually agree with Jay. He was like, what? Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's crazy right now. <laughs> uh, just, do the uh, no. just don't do it as flashbacks. Just start there and tell this in a whole. Because we could have put this and the other flashbacks in the first episode and then just start with episode that is now one and put the things that are not a flashback from episode two in the second episode then. Or alternatively, just have one flashback. Yeah, like it do you don't even need to lead with it. Maybe we should just lead with the current state of affairs. And yeah. then for the whole time, we're like, why is Boba Fett acting in X way? And then we get our flashback episode near the end of the season. I'm feeling that it might even be a possibility that we just get loads of flashback, like the whole season. Um, I'm hoping that this is the end of the flashbacks. I want it to stop. Yeah, I'm begging for mm -hmm. it to stop now. Come on. But like, how does? What if there's just like, what if there's like remember? an equivalent to the gun train next episode? It's like the fucking well, just in the present day, by next time. <laughs> The the next episode of well, so what I worry about is I think that it's done because of the fact that he's exactly the way he was when we saw him in Mando season two now. Mm -hmm. However, yeah. there were no Tuscan Raiders. So have we what still got several Raiders? stories of how they all get killed or how he falls in oh, love with yeah. the woman one and she gets killed? Like, what are we going to do? Oh, God. <laughs> it's totally going to be they all get wiped out and then he's like vengeful or whatever. So it's an interesting decision from like the creative standpoint when you think about, all right, what are we going to do with him? We've got this time. We need to establish characters and stuff. Those are things we need to do. And they say, oh, no, instead we're going to put him with this group where all their faces are covered so we get no easy way to differentiate individuals they can't express themselves emotionally through like acting in terms of like, facial expressions anything like that they don't speak a language we can understand so it's just, i feel like you 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 really lost a huge amount of opportunity to work with a lot of stuff that could be in here i guess he really really wants the tuscan raiders to unite and be strong and powerful i don't know yeah i, I it seems to me that they're I, just using the flashbacks as an excuse to have lots of action scenes that they couldn't otherwise put into the main a plot which is bizarre when you think about not being able to put action scenes into a story like the a plot should have yeah it yeah it it, it that seems like a an excellent place to have these cool small scale tactical sort of engagements small groups against small groups and sabotage and you know, subterfuge and sneaking around and doing some cool stuff and a gunfight here and there but i get we just don't get that we get stick fights and gun trains i wonder what the next episode will be maybe we'll see the huts come back and they'll be like hey presumably this time they're gonna send really people to try and kill him right i assume because they just he should have just put two in their fucking foreheads right there well that's what a mercenary might do but not hero fat that is in 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 civility right there that's what that is rags God, their CGI looked lame. I don't know what they really could have done, though. I doubt they got the capacity to make the kind of puppets that we had back then. I don't know. It would have been great season-long villains. Like, all oh, the huts. Uh, you know, it, it cuts to them every once in a while. What are we going to do about Boba Fett? How are we going to get back huts? Da, 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 their job is stuff. How are we going to do that? And then you have... Well, again, and we stuff. had the potential that you could have it so that the twins were the ones that took hold of Tatooine, but they gave it to Bib Fortuna. They just wanted him to continue everything. That was it. Mm-hmm. But under their yeah. rule, now that he's gone and Boba Fett's taken over, that's a different dynamic, and they need to kill Boba and take. And then by the end of the season, you could kill both the twins, I guess, and it could it could piss off a big, powerful hut. These two were just given Tatooine to take care of or something. I wonder how the mayor will play into all of this. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. I just maybe I, can I just tell don't you more if I knew any of the characters and what's happening. I well, I, I have no idea what's gonna happen for anybody except Boba. I just know he's gonna do the right thing. No matter what. I don't know what will happen as a result of what the characters I know have been told to me. Like, anything could happen in this show, and it stinks. There's no rhyme or reason to any of it. Will this happen? Maybe. Will this happen? Maybe. Boba Fett, Season 101, Episode 2. One. Uh, thanks yeah, for well, watching, so everybody. 
what you bring me. Oh, Mel's gone. <laughs> I'm back. Ah, the Book of Boba Fett episode three. Yay! Episode three. Here we are. We made it this. I didn't know if this would be. Oh, we're just gonna watch the first episode and you know have our funsies and move on with our lives. But no, I guess we're doing the whole damn thing. I love watching Mandalorian season three. Yes. You may think why. That is exactly play. what I'm thinking. I couldn't be happier that we're doing this. I am happy we're doing this. Uh, there's no fucking way I would watch this show if you guys didn't exist. We Funny. don't exist more than yeah. figments of your Oh god. Mm. You've conjured us in your, in your brain to deal with the Star Wars content. <laughs> yeah, it's just you a laughing alone in your room. No, Walking it's not even your room. You're just in a cell. A padded cell with a straight jacket. Oh my god. Book, Book of Boba Fett isn't real, Mola. No, no, no. All of EFAP, the whole internet thing. The channel, it's none of it's real. It's all just your way of coping with your insanity. You're like that girl in Final Destination, too. Oh. The Last Jedi came out, and you were the only you person who disliked it, and you went insane. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, it was... it's gonna get so ridiculous, they'll make a show all about Boba Fett, and he'll, like, fight for the sand people, get lizard in his brain. In the, yeah. The town square. For five hours, mm -hmm. just screaming, Mola, and like, it was very disconcerting. Disney is a huge corporation. Do you really think that they they would, would fuck write up that much? <laughs> yeah. Do you really think that they would write like a story about Boba Fett putting a lizard in his brain to fight a gun train? <laughs> the crazy like, shit those people come up with, you know. It's like, ugh. I want you to think to yourself, Mola, as you're watching today's episode. Mm. I want you to. I want you to ask yourself: Does this really seem like it genuinely <laughs> exists, or is it more likely that I've made this up? In, in delusion. That you were making it up <laughs> no. in your delusion as you were going. You were like, what? Well, okay, this episode's pretty. Oh, gun train. A, ran a wild gun train appears. That's uh, better. Yes. That's the, that's the question to ask as we're watching today. Which of those Does is this more seem likely? Like something somebody would write. Something I just heard that I want to pick at. Mr. Rags, you, you described it as Mandalorian Season 3. If you were to guess at this point, <laughs> which of the three seasons is the superior, do you think, so far? Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good reaction. I honestly do not know. I'm very familiar with Mando season one. Pretty darn familiar with season two. Mm -hmm. And this, ah, uh, just based off of two episodes, it, it I, I legitimately don't know. Like when I called it Mando season three, I think it was because they were all so similar and they were just on that same level of just uh, Star Wars stuff. And you look at I, I think this is more entertaining. I'll say that because of how dumb it is. Mando's stupidity was a lot less, a lot more frustrating, I think, and subtle. Mm. But this, I think, is just it's so clearly stupid. I uh, th they all blend together and stay apart for me. It's a very bizarre situation because I, yeah. I remember Mandalorian season one to me. Was, I remember being like, he really does go on a consistent adventure. It's just really fucking slow and nothing really, really happens. Season two was cameo time where it was just every episode we have a new person going, hello, I've got my own show too, come watch it. And then Boba Fett's formula, what the hell is this? Where he's like, I'm gonna be a crime lord. Oh, oh, I'm hurt. Oh, I'm sad. I'm gonna go in my little tub and go <laughs> and do a flashback for the rest of the episode. <laughs> it's like, stop. They are different, but at the same time, oh, they're the exact same, like, in terms of the problems. I could distinctly tell them apart. If you put three glasses of water in front of me, they're clearly different things, right? Like, I can distinguish between each glass hmm. from the others. What if like, they're separated. Have, like, ice in it? There's, like, a little bit of food dye in each one. Kind of, maybe just a little bit, oh, but yeah, even that... if it was just a glass of water, I could tell there are three individual glasses of water on the table, but it's all glasses of water. I think There's that's just the perfect three analogy, though, you, you, you've come across there, is that the Book that. of Boba Fett and the, the two seasons of Mando are glasses of water dyed different colors. Not they that They taste different, the same, <laughs> they just look, they're dyed maybe slightly different shades of brown. Hmm. Maybe they're they're all different temperatures, but you're looking at them. I think Mando wanted two are different shades of gray, and then Boba Fett is green. Hey. I don't know. I wouldn't put him that far apart. <laughs> hey. I wouldn't distinguish him that much. Fringy, you are aware that Boba Fett's armor is green. I know that it's, it's green, but... And it's okay. There are bad things that can be green. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't uh, yeah, tarnish it's... green. That's okay. Welcome to the part of the show called Comment Showcase. Oh my goodness, I'm so Yay. excited. I didn't know that we were doing a comment show. I figured we may as well. It's fun with Boba Fett. The audience have been quite 
they hate this show. <laughs> so, oh like, my goodness. This one says, if you told me in 2010 that there would be a show about Boba Fett in which he would insert lizards into his nose, be tripping balls, and become a Tusken Raider idoloft, I am beyond <laughs> confused. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. It is kind of unreal to think about uh, that that is the direction they went. Um, there are some people who are happy about this. I've seen them on Twitter. You're in there. Of course, freaks. They're like, Lizard Brain Gang. Yeah. <laughs> Lizard <laughs> They've gang. been waiting for it's this. It's so amazing how I, can't, I love to see that he got his stick made. That was incredible. Oh my, we're learning so much about the Tusken Raiders. We're filling in all the world building we didn't get in the other films. Oh, I'm so glad to see that Boba Fett said the thing that I like. Oh my gosh, I was I'm crying. Just a simple man, like a I man. cried. I can't believe they unironically had someone combing the desert. Star Wars has become such a joke <laughs> that it's taking inspiration from Spaceballs, the thing that's a parody of it. I'm, I am beyond shocked that that's not something that any of us mentioned. Uh, Excuse me. Especially me. Surely we did. Right? I made that joke in the recording, and you cut it out. I don't know what the rake is for then. Oh, he's gonna beat her. He's gonna beat her. It's like Lost Samurai. Yeah. My comment about um, Mega Weapon didn't make it into the final either. Maybe someone spoke over me and it didn't come through in the recording, but I definitely said it. And what kind it... of a shoddy production is this? I quit. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking bullshit. Okay, well, so we'll satisfy the audience. Play the space bull clips now. Are we being too literal? No, you fool. We're following orders. We were told to calm the desert, so we're calming it. Found anything yet? Not a thing, sir. What about you guys? We ain't found shit. I don't know how I would have missed that from you guys, because I just, like, I just, it didn't cross my mind at all, because I was so blown away by it. Just watching someone pathetically comb, like, just a half inch of sand. I was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do so all day, well, I guess. Because, well, yeah, because, so do you guys know what's happening there? Same That's... shot people digging for those fruits, and then there's it's one not... guy with, like, a calm comb. Like, it's <laughs> not the, the they're digging for the water things. They're digging for those, um, I don't know if they're called mud rats the little or something. The, yeah, the little cricket rats things. Yeah, because if you look at the combing <laughs> in the episode, uh, there's always <laughs> a Tusken Raider with a stick, like, watching them. Uh, like, 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 ready to stab anything that comes up. So that's the idea. They're combing to to disturb the little little rat guys. They go blah, blah, blah and then they they kill them. That's that's. Then apparently... they shoot him, and then Boba Fett smiles. Oh yeah, yeah. Then Boba Fett smiles. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's very happy. <laughs> but they, am... He's very happy. Very I just, satisfied. I just don't believe that that's the ecosystem. I just don't believe it at all. <laughs> I, I like, it's so stupid. Like, but that's that's what they want us to think is happening. They comb the desert to get the little rats, <laughs> and then they shoot them. Why don't they just go to a desert that isn't um, like yeah, like why don't they go to the desert from Darmok? Go there where there's like plants and trees, no. but it's still dusty and there's rocks everywhere. So you can be like, yeah, this is Tatooine, but I can believe that a people could like live here because the Tatooine is just sand dunes now. That's it. It's just sand dunes everywhere. Yeah, we love it. Because Good it's thing there are these random. Good thing there are these just these random bulbs full of water. Yeah, for that, some reason, that. just right underneath the the dunes that they could dig up and drink. We kind of just That's accepted fortuitous. that. Like, <laughs> it's a very strange. Like, there's loads of them everywhere. It's like, okay, that's how that works. Where do they come from? There's no no idea. <laughs> just... No idea. What happened to the moisture farmers? Dead. Well, the, the, the Tusken Raiders probably kidnapped, tortured, and raped all of them. And well, the survivors, they turned into slaves. That's not very nice, right? The Tusken Raiders are real cool. I, we definitely don't have any instances of them being barbaric, <laughs> horrible savages. That would be, that's just... <laughs> would be awkward if the show started with them taking someone well, as like, a slave. They just the... kidnapped Shimmy Skywalker and killed her. We never even knew why. Like, hey, those were different <laughs> just Tusken died of... Raiders. Okay, alright. And these those Tusken Raiders... Boba. Yeah, these, those these ones, ones were ones different than the ones... Boba. Yeah, the, the, and these that ones bad. were different from the ones that almost killed Luke Skywalker in A New Hope. Yes. Imagine if they succeeded. What would the state of the galaxy be if the fucking Tusken Raiders <laughs> actually killed Luke Skywalker? Or the Wampa. That's a funny name. What if they way. hadn't ki kidnapped, Wampa. tortured to death Shmi? Is it Shmi or Shimi? Shmi? 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 Not to be confused with the, Smee, the who is Raiders. Captain Hook's right-hand man. <laughs> Tusken Raiders are actually the most I wouldn't want people faction. to think I'm talking about Smee. Don't try to stop me, Smee. 
I'm not a game. I just want to make sure that we're talking <laughs> hey, about look, two different individuals here. Clarity. I, that was always one of my favorite scenes in Peter Pan was when Smee was shaving Captain Hook and he thought he had cut his head off and thought he was dead. <laughs> I've never shaved in this close before. Oh, don't worry, Captain. It, it must be somewhere about. <laughs> I, I see. Good as new. <laughs> Why are you blithering, block? That, that movie that was movie. a trip, man. That's, a, that's an EFAP movie, right there. Their reputation is legendary. This regards the assassin from the previous episode. And the person said, You expect me to believe that a group of people surrounding a guy with shields and tasing him for unknown reasons are not only. Not just a random gang, but they're also a group of legendary assassins. Like, no. They were a gang of legendary assassins? That's how they're yeah, described, can you tell? yeah. He is of the Order of the Night Wind. Assassin for hire. Very expensive. Their reputation is legendary. Well, yeah, that should be what obvious. What is the legend? That they said <laughs> They, one, the legend is that one day they were able to assassinate someone successfully. <laughs> That's it's the legend. One time their you have to wonder. technique worked. Yeah, I'm like, assuming oh, shit, they just actually got him. What they just electrocute you until your heart gives out. That's gotta be it. Are you maybe you die of thirst or <laughs> something? We got you maybe now. they just go. Maybe they go for the old and the weak. Maybe they just they they are dispatched to kill people in like elderly mm. homes, hospice care. To be fair to the legendary assassins, the sons of Korhal or whoever the fuck they're called, the, the Oompels. The Oompels must be judged on the, the, the Disney efficacy scale of competence. Right. Because everyone in this universe is a moron mm -hmm, who mm -hmm. doesn't know what the hell they're doing. I'm, I'm surprised that an interstellar galactic civilization can exist at all. But if you put them on that scale, they're kind of like, hey, legendary. They, they manage to organize and stand in a circle. Yeah, That's they, something. They managed to delay Boba from doing his daily routine. Yeah, so one of them know. just disappeared when he got hit by a rocket <laughs> when he was climbing up the building. That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Remember that one was really afraid of the Rancor? Yeah, yeah, yeah he was like, ooh, don't want to know. It's no, smart to be afraid that. of the Rancor, I think. That's, that's positive. I'm more afraid of rancors that exist, you know, like when the thing's opening up and you just clearly, there's just nothing in there. So theoretical Rancors, rancors don't, don't rancors scare you as much. Exist. Yeah, Schrodinger's Rancor is not as not as terrifying as an actual Rancor. I agree with that. And let us also point out that if you are an assassin, either alone or in a, a guild or group of them, you probably shouldn't have uniforms that are easily identifiable. No, Black Widow is great. Shut up. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm so glad Boba worked so hard at taking down a gun train, which always has the same route, despite not being restricted to a track, in the middle of a desert with a bunch of random speeders with some colony of Tuscans so we can have a lizard inserted into Boba's brain showing him a tree, experience the tree, have PTSD, find the tree, and bring back a branch. Thanks, John. I'm so glad this is Star Wars now. Hey, it's okay that it keeps going the same route. That's not the problem. That's fine. If you have the freedom to completely move anywhere you want, and last time you bumped into a a whole colony of people shooting at you. Wouldn't you just go a easier route or further away? But like, what? The gunfire does nothing. I guess they could go a different route. But like, I would. Yeah, I'd go around, or I'd relish murdering them. There's, there's something to be said about the nature of that trade in the in the world of Star Wars. I suppose, like a lot of people have been talking about whether or not you'd even have trains because you have spaceships and stuff would you don't just it, special circumstances might exist in yeah. which you can't travel through the atmosphere or engines might give out a certain maybe it's signature cheaper? or flying a huh? spaceship requires you know which way up is oh, oh yeah that's true yeah what's oh, that Mahler? maybe it's cheaper i don't know like like somehow it, like i can't imagine but maybe maybe like if like you know how in solo you had the trains on the track mm-hmm and the tracks were going through these crazy landscapes when they should just be flying, you know? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe if you had, like, you have a mine, how mines have, like, minecart rails, you're constantly sending things back and forth over and over and over the same distance in the same place. Maybe there could be room for installing a rail that uses a lower power engine that just goes back and forth to fulfill that specific transportation requirement it doesn't need to change directions other than back and forth and it's the same route every time and it's just made to haul things maybe that's like a situation where you could say like oh okay yeah instead of having something fly around we need to do that instead but yeah in this world it's always seemed like because even the skywalkers had that that land speeder right it seems like just everyone can just afford something that flies 
You'd think. You'd I mean, think. except for the Empire, they had to use those wheelie things that were stupid to transport that volatile, exploding. Oh goo. God! Oh, why would you remind me of that episode? That's the face scanner episode. That is the face scanner episode. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Let's uh, not internalize how dumb Mando is, just so we're clear. You know how uh, Boba Fett, he's been acting wildly differently to how we're used to from the OT. Yes. Yeah, this mm. is like a whole different person. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, so, it's thankfully, uh, after I mentioned that on Twitter, someone generously explained to me why it is that he's acting different. Oh, good. Awesome. I, I, need, uh, I need some light shed on this mystery. Yeah, I was going to say. The comics said that the Sarlacc can have a psychic effect on those it is digesting. So okay. addressing that first point, I don't remember anybody ever saying that. Is that from some fucking book? Is that what's it says going comics. on? The comics said it was from... Cool. Yeah, well, that doesn't matter. Next point. Which which ones, though? <laughs> is it the old ones? Well, so, I'm sorry, hang on, look. But, like, even if that's... Even if we accept that, well, it's just yeah, like... Yeah. Hey, yeah, the comics... Um, let's just accept the comics fully. Yeah, the Sarlacc psychically turned Boba into a different character. That's well, shit. I was going to say, no one and... would like that. Like, you, if, if anyone is ever swallowed by the Sarlacc, they'll come out a different character. You're like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, no? so I mean, so Boba Fett did die in the Sarlacc pit, and some so, different yeah. version of that body just arose and is now yeah. pals with the Tusken Raiders, I guess. Then we've got a near-death mm. experience like that could be an explanation for a change in motivation. Uh, yeah, near-death experiences can change your opinion on a lot of things. I, I, don't, yeah, I don't see the through line. And plus, mm. they didn't do a good... I don't think they did a good job sort of establishing that this was a, a really rough life-or-death thing that he did. It, it actually kind of seemed like it was fairly easy. I'm surprised not everyone didn't get out, you know? Like the stormtrooper who's just there for some reason. Why didn't he just shoot his blaster a few times and get vomited up or whatever? I yeah, well, because that. you say that as if like that's what knife. happened to to um Boba when he set up the fire. Like, did the Sarlacc like regurgitate him? But like, I don't even know. I don't he know. Came out of the sand. Yeah. Up, yeah. Away from the pit. So I'm guess like I guess he just so he, like break crawled out. Maybe I just don't see the through line. Why would that experience yeah. make someone heroic? What to like, me this 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 reveals like a really low bar for just uh character development as a concept it's like yeah hey well something happens to them so it makes sense that they change completely it's like no we need to do a little more yes, than that something happened and that's it it's of course it makes sense that darth vader suddenly decided to move out of the empire and start a bakery on naboo he lost his phone he had kidney stones yeah <laughs> he was in a car yeah. crash of course he started a bakery you like I don't that was a near-death experience that changes people. Yeah, you just I, just, I need more connecting lines. I have, I've also had a few people saying that this is more in line with his characterization from the Clone Wars, which is something I wasn't even aware he was in. I had no clue. That's possible, I guess. Wasn't but... he like five? Or um, what, yeah, you, you have to assume, right? But everything we know about him was from yeah. the OT. Which is after the Clone Wars. Which is after the Clone Wars, so... Unless the Clone Wars see... has like flash-forward episodes or something. I don't know. I think it does. You know what? Maybe episode three holds the answer. Maybe they'll finally explain what happened. I'm excited to find out. Are you? Yeah! yeah. No. Look at that. Great. Everyone's on board. That means eat shit. That was my joke. Do you say eat shit? Was it? That's I'm sorry. <laughs> Those Gamorreans should have like spears or something they could poke. The Gamorreans almost seem like they're only there to be like, hey, Gamorreans. Uh... Empty. Yeah, we're not really bad. What, did they show us that just because... Is he going to get a Rancor then? I don't know. I think it's going to be relevant this episode. I'm still don't even know what Boba Fett wanted there. <laughs> yeah, he came mm -hmm. in to be like, you guys he suck. Came in. What does a blue thing say? Yes, this belongs to us, actually. According to who? <laughs> Galactic Law? So, t that was all pointless then. The Tusken Raiders aren't going to be All of this is pointless, Stringy. <laughs> well, the, but clearly the Tusken Raiders aren't going to be important because we didn't show them in this flashback. Well, to be fair, the previous... they probably will be relevant, but nothing we've done with them will be relevant, if that makes sense. Right, like, yeah. Which is just fantastic. You love to see it. <laughs> you love to see it. Because, dude, we get another flashback. No fucking way we're not oh, getting yeah, another flashback. Oh, yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. You just boot it. Is Spider that a... robot. Is that stop motion? It looks like stop motion. It looks yeah, stop yeah. motion, yeah. That's cool. Oh, it looks kind of. It doesn't look imposed on the shot that well, though. Unfortunately. Here you see the businesses that were under the protection of the name that should not be spoken. Voldemort 
No. You can say Jabba. They Jabba can't say Jabba? He's why can't you why? say Why can't they say Jabba? Apologies, Master Fett. Can you just get on? Who is this robot, by the way? <laughs> like, yeah, it's don't you have, like, a person to do this? Matt Berry. Really good at it? Why can't he? It's, it's Matt Berry. Just Matt Berry. What department is this? Some sort of, uh, homosexual department? <laughs> I don't think I've ever looked in this drawer. <laughs> wow, a gun! <laughs> Sometimes I like to sketch someone as I'm talking to them. <laughs> May I? Bib Fortuna assumed Jabba's mantle. All of this while lining the pockets of Mayor Mog Shares. Everyone is waiting to see what kind of leader you are. Wow, that, that felt more interesting That's... than the show's been at all. Like, well, yeah, because you only have, like, three employees at this point. <laughs> it's so absurd. No, He's all... got Fennec and the two Gamorrean guards, and I guess you and a can robot. include the Matt Berry robot, but is he an employee or a slave? He doesn't <laughs> get paid for this. They got those cups over there. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so yeah. empty. Where are your people? Where are your people? Do you want entertainment? Like a drink? Oh, I am Lord Appeal. I am a what do you mean? You, you didn't tell him your business? Oh, I know him. What is yeah, he was in Barry and other yeah. things. Oh, apologies, uh, That's right, yeah. No one respects you. Enough! Wow. Let him speak. Even Fennec's like, God, you're, you're so always, lame. The streets have turned to chaos. And I am insulted on your behalf at the disrespect these urchins are showing you. Especially in light of the, uh, well, you know, the assassination attempt. Was, yeah, that so was embarrassing. Uh, that was yeah, pretty uh, embarrassing. <laughs> One of my petition. A street gang of insolent youths has been stealing my inventory. Now, this never happened under the other daimyos, and I am insulted on your behalf. And your inventory is water. I grew up surrounded by water. Well, Tatooine was one. <laughs> what relevance is that? I've seen water before. <laughs> <laughs> I know of this water. I modify their bodies with droid parts to make themselves even more deadly. I wow, I can't wait to see how shit they are. The streets mm. and oh my god. Double my tribute to him. It's another RPG quest. Yeah, it is another it RPG is, except the quest giver comes yeah. to you. Now that's service. Yeah. Let me guess, those yeah. evil water... Some people are stealing are my water. Please let me, help. Let me guess, those evil water thieves are going to be good guys. I'm gonna say it right now. Hmm, maybe. Some we guns. guessed the, the twist of the previous quest. Well, because next episode we're gonna interrogate that one guy and he's gonna tell us uh, he was sent by Bibbly Bobble and then we go get him and then he was, it's, it's not the mayor. It turns out it's a third faction who's trying to sow discontent between the mayor and Boba. Something, something like that. Yeah. And the assassins. Mayor has no power. Somebody else is behind that play. That's... I've got my Gamorrean guards <laughs> and their tiny skirts. Oh man, look at these youths. The crime way charges. Then farm your own water. There's something with a gun there. You should be a little bit concerned. Look, old man. Old man. Why would you? <laughs> He's got a gun. <laughs> Shoot her in the fucking head right now in front of these other people. Shoot her in the fucking head. Shoot her, mate. You all should be working. There is no work, mighty Daimyo. I don't believe you. <laughs> what do you mean? Go farm for water. That's work. Turns out the waterman is the evil. Help us. No. No. Hey. Stop. What are you doing? This? Then you will work for me. Why? No. Why? Because <laughs> he needs employees. Right? I, I guess it's true. I gotta have someone press the button. <laughs> Look at his team. It's like I got, I got pig guards oh, at no. this guild. Stole from me. Oh, he was just, just there. Going to let them all. <laughs> What do they owe you? 1,300 credits. For water. Take the 500 and consider it resolved. If you want to continue to do business in my territory. How much Ooh, water? Wait, 13? Yeah, I was gonna say, it depends. We don't know how much the water they stole. Yeah, well, this guy is a legitimate if victim of theft. Continue. That's an unreasonable price for water. You have no idea how much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you have no idea how much. Me. What if that's what it costs just for him to make any kind of profit and feed himself? Cut your prices. The rest of you get Just up, do that. Just cut your me. prices. Oh, okay. Cut the prices of I water. I don't even tell him in what way, like, like how you much. Wanna work? You want to work or not? Hey, remember those guys who stole from that dude? Turns out Boba Fett did this. I was like, oh, sweet. Let's go steal now. And this is better than the, the Tusken Raider crap, but... Rags, he's going to get into that fucking back to tank any second now. <laughs> no! Like, no! Oh, no! 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 No!
Wake no. up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Is this the same shot from the last episode? I think it might be. Yeah. Oh, they're showing us. A hey, look, it's bit Slave more. One. No, 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 you can't no, say no, that. No, 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 it's illegal. But with that starship. It's fire spray. <laughs> you nice. sleep in your clothes like that? There is PJs. Hey, we don't know he was sleeping. Yeah, That's true. I guess he was. Go play with the other, the, the little, what are they, yeah, the, the, clones. the kids here, oh. what are they called, the clones. Did you forget the word for, oh, that looked so bad. Yeah. That looked boy. Bad, yeah. No! No! <laughs> Why did you care about these Tuscans? Uh, Why are I would have not... been fine oh, to go to Kabito oh. for a flashback, I would have been okay Yeah, I was okay yeah, with that. That would have been different. Why don't you just, Why, go to Anchorhead, again. right? To yeah, get a ship off world. Can we be That's done the with the Tuscans, I beg you. Please, I never want to see you know, another living Tuscan to again. Anakin, where are you? They gave him a <laughs> Bantha! Apparently, yeah. Well, he needs something to take To be fair, he range. has been phenomenally helpful for that little crew, so... It's hard to believe that we beaten slaved him just the other week. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God, this means probably no more Tuscans. Oh, I guess we're moving on, finally. WRONG! WRONG! Nice. Well, this has got to be news to him, right? Oh hey! It would be. Yeah. Remember that? The Empire's fallen. Remember that visual that made us think From Mando, there was a chance yeah. Mando, this show could be good. Yeah. Well, the oh, shows it's in new. General. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. Ripperoo. Oh, the... they have guns. I think that's nice. So does he? I bet. He, I can't wait for him to bash people that's with it. Until I want to see what that Panther gets up to. That's what I want to see yeah, now. Just... You gonna let him take those weapons in? Mm. Yeah. Man. Oh, this is the train guy. Very well. I'll take payment. Be on my way. I've spoken with my superiors on Obadiah, and they are unwilling to pay protection to more than one party. We are one party. <laughs> Obviously there's a second party! The Kintan Striders have already collected protection money for the same territory you lay claim to. It's those fucking bikers, I'm guessing, is the other... Oh, the bikers, mm. yeah. Sands have belonged to the Tuscans since the oceans dry. Yes. We are I don't happy care. To do Doesn't fucking matter if people are too hurts. The Tuscans are horrible. If they get an attack by other parties, then who cares who owns the Sands? You know one gunship could kill all of the Tuscans? You will not hear from the Nikto Sand Riders again. Oh. Man, I like how it's just like so, I'll resolve this by killing the bikers. Yeah, we've decided the bikers are evil, the Tuscans are good, I guess. Alright. Well Thanks, I, Boba. Alright. I wonder how many people wow, the bikers okay. enslaved to well, in this. I place. guess it's just interesting, because if he linked up with the bikers, would he have just been on their side? Yeah, yeah, yeah if killed the bikers all the had enslaved <laughs> and then the bikers had all enslaved over. and beaten him the first, would he of, be on their side? The sands of Tatooine belong to the bikers. <laughs> it's the the biker gangs. Land. Biker gangs of Mos Eisley. Can this thing go any faster? I was gonna say, that is a slow transport. I hope no one shoots me. Ooh, are they dead? Or did oh, they kill so someone? Refreshing. Why did you get off and then run? Dude, this is one of the things we said would happen, <laughs> if you remember. Yeah. Yeah, but it'd be nice, but it, yeah, but I wasn't expecting it yet. I'm so glad to be done with the Tuscans. <laughs> it would be nice to be done with the Tuscans. Oh, please, 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 yep, look. Please, yes, yeah! yes, 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 <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, fuck yes! I hope they suffer. I'm so <laughs> fucking happy. Thank God. No one, no more people are gonna get tortured. Are they gonna slave? This though. Shows like this is <laughs> terrible. I'm like, no. This is good. I don't think slaughtering them all was was the solution Man, to them doing slavery. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> no, the... Oh Jay, no, not Jay, you. Jay, oh, like, you. I'm not sure if they should have been slaughtered. All like, yeah. <laughs> No, no, not that, not that one. Yes. <laughs> was that the was that the leader one? Yeah, yeah it was the bikers. That's... Get wrecked. Yeah, you probably should have killed them. You shouldn't have let them live, huh? Yeah, remember well, we know. When you... I we know. know. We know this. They're not dumb. You don't need to show us that. We know. <laughs> yeah. This fucking music. Jesus. <laughs> no, I don't care. It's very. Oh, he's just gonna burn the pile the of bikers them. Bikers are that's, chads. That's their. Uh... We've already established that. That's how they do funerals. Uh, that is. Yeah, that's their custom. Oh, is that the kid stick? Training stick. Oh, the, oh, oh, they yeah. didn't have the balls to show the dead kid, did they? No, I don't think they're uh, allowed I mean, to. Sorry, the younglings, the youngling. Why do you care? But what do you mean? What they were? I will never forget these people who enslaved they taught him me. Him a and stick. I spent three weeks defending from a gun train. <laughs> they made him a stick. Oh, they did. Man. After, after they put, he, they put a oh god, can we? Nose. Can that be it? Can we not do another flashback, please? Uh, yes, no, no more flashbacks. It. There's no way that's it. No. Do oh whoa, thing. what? Um. Oh. um um, why didn't you shoot what him? What the fuck? Why no, didn't you no, shoot it's a, him? That's a Wookiee, mate. You're it's, not it's winning. It's a Wookiee, dude. <laughs> and he's a big one, too. He's like a bear. 
Wouldn't it wouldn't it have been great if the Wookiee brought a gun? Ooh, Throw him into his I'm weapons, sure that's the plan. Why, we why did you just not shoot him? Oh, this is lame. This Where is, is the actual death. what? Where is everyone? Oh, well, uh, grab what? the stick! Good I am the, so Wow. Why is the Wookiee letting him do that? Why why where I I just what What is happening? <laughs> oh my god! Wookie, what are you doing? Hey, gouge out his eyes! We gouge out his mouth. fucking eyes with oh, your hands! Out. What? Uh, just punch it once. Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh, come, come on! You have a gun. Oh, None man. of you has a gun. Ooh. Are you telling me that the, the stupid what? youths are gonna beat the Wookie? I can't Why was it. this a decision that was made? What the <laughs> fuck is this? What are we Why, doing? So, what? <laughs> How is that sticking in him? Why did the Wookiee oh not have a gun? God. Oh, there you are. No, oh, no, there's the Gamorrean guards. Whoa, okay. Where the fuck were Whoa, you guys? The Wookiee fighting Gamorreans. Where were you? That's so cool. How come nobody has a gun? <laughs> Where is uh, he? Oh. It what? wouldn't be did he stop that with his hand? He's gonna go to the- he's gonna fold the pit. He's gonna fold the pit. Oh, no, it's a vampire Wookiee. Why do these kids re- Have a gun, just shoot oh, him. Fennec. Shoot uh, him with uh, the gun! Oh. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a gun! No, she used the gun! My god, I'll take my knife, I'll take the sword. That's like they do! I got a gun, finally. Nope, lol, it's a knife! There's a knife in the What was this absolute disaster, everyone? What were we what were we doing? I've hired all of you. Yeah. All How of you could defend like this. That far in. Ugh. He managed to get to my throat. What the fuck, everyone? Like, why would the hut send their guy, this guy? Boba knows who he is. Yeah. Why would you send and him? Could he and why would you not give him a gun? How could he fail so bad? <laughs> why are you eating chicken with your gloves? Why are you eating chicken with your gloves on, you bitch? Food. Why do they make so much food for two people? <laughs> Who's <laughs> eating all this? <laughs> the Gamorans, maybe. Everyone is watching. Maybe Gormor the Gamorian Gourmets? Mm. Gourmetian guards? I don't know. Well, maybe nice. you should get some actual guards. That would be a good start. And yeah, that's our one action scene. Can't wait for the next one. They sent Chrysanthemum to kill you. And now he's locked up in your dungeon. Are you sure yep. he's trying to kill you? Why, why don't you send back his knife. fucking head? God, that was an attempt at killing Boba. It's like, Wait, yeah, you right. The fact that he what managed to get in and didn't encounter anybody, but didn't have a gun or a knife. Nope. <laughs> Just wanted to strangle, pick him up, throw him. That's all. Mola, would you say this was a better strategy or a worse strategy than hitting someone with a teapot? They showed up to his front door! <laughs> they walked all the way Wait, what here. are you doing? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> what? We've come to apologize. <laughs> oh my god. Just kill him. The, the scene has comedy music under it. The funny. Just fucking shoot the both of them right now. Oh, oh there's your view. Oh, there you go. Thanks for the rancor. Pow, oh. pow. Could have used that floating speeder to just move around. Yeah, it's already here. You can kill it. Yeah, well, I, I love the idea. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that your thanks, stupid thanks. Oh my Sorry. god, it's Machete! Oh, it is. Wait, is Daddy Trey? Oh my it's god, Daddy it is. <laughs> yeah, the episode is saved! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who is that guy? Daddy, Daddy Trejo, Trejo, he's in everything. You don't have a word for syndicate? That's bullshit. Syndicate. And how do I know you're not lying to me? Wait, so we're actually not doing the huts? They're gonna go. We don't want war bad for business. Oh, okay. but it's yeah, not bad for business at all. Here is your prisoner. Here is your prisoner. I offer him back if you renounce all claims to Jabba's legacy on Tatooine. No, of course not. Kill him. On Ilucci and Rimashuk. Why? Why? They're... Why? What? No way a hut thinks what? Tatooine is worthless. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Wait, okay, but so you don't want Tatooine, so why don't you just renounce your claim and get back the Wookiee? Wait, so this the Wookiee's gonna be under our employment now. Uh, gonna employ why did you any know? of that happen? I just I want you guys why. to understand that everyone who tries to kill Boba Fett becomes, like, his 
friend no or feelings. employee. No hard feelings. You're, just, you're such a fucking pussy, Take it from dude. an ex-bounty hunter. Don't work for Scumholes. Ex-bounty hunter, there you have it. Not no, you made a living working for Scumholes! Until that jetpack incident, but you're the yeah, one who flew say, next to Luke. It wasn't the, the, the employees that fucked you over, oh, Boba. It's because you're an idiot. You just introduced him I like and he got a shit boss fight and then he you just sure jogs off into idea? the desert? I'll arrange a meeting with the mayor. No, just show up! Yeah. Don't tell him oh, when you will be oh. arriving. Why does it just lie there? It's depressed. What? Yes. Rancor are emotionally complex creatures. Now the Rancor can't be blindness? evil. Nothing can be bad anymore! So the They're quite peaceful unless threatened. I really? don't believe you. I so don't he, believe. Did he feel threatened when Luke got dropped into the pit? That yeah. Or that, or that, a uh, one Gamorian guard who fell in by accident. I, they're trying to retcon everything to just be this. swell and magical. I want to learn to ride this one. What? Ride what? it? Why? No, ride use it. a speeder or a spaceship. <laughs> you, you can strap guns and Why rockets. Why the fuck do you want to ride a Rancor? <laughs> it doesn't have shields or anything. I guess it would what, be you're, what you're missing is that it would look but, cool. Yeah, yeah but, the, but is that really it? <laughs> it looks silly. Yeah, you I know how many Star Wars fans saw this and went, finale. oh my god, Boba Fett's gonna yeah, ride a Rancor. In the season yeah. finale, he's gonna ride in on a Rancor and it's gonna be crazy. And then if fucking someone will shoot it with a blaster, it's dead. Because it's me, I'm like, I need like a speeder to get around or a spaceship or something and I want to strap strap like rockets to it and I want it to have shields so I don't get shot. I like this. Excuse me, Lord Fett. Not now, I'm busy. We heard back from the mayor's office. He remains completely unavailable for at least the next 20 days. We're not waiting for an appointment. What if he's not in town? If he's not available, maybe he's- Yeah, not that's even... true. He's like, why is, is he in town? Oh, he is? Okay, we now we're not waiting for an appointment. We're also going to walk into the front door. Ah, uh, <laughs> our biker Ooh. gang. Biker gang so our fucking weird fifties bikes in the Star Wars universe. So they had to walk while the people on speeders just. Oh, that does not. That's <laughs> not <laughs> right. That is not right. right. Is this the screenshot you saw, saw Molo? This is the aesthetic mismatch. Yeah, it clashes so hard. An actual real motorcycle yeah, would fit this environment for. better. Yeah. Wouldn't they have security in this well, office? I, I don't know why the mayor people they haven't expected this. Have Action. So if you'll excuse me, I'll see what I'm able to... No, I'm gonna follow you well, right yeah, he's fucking gonna run now. Away. He's gonna run away. Uh, yeah, he's no, gonna you don't let away. him leave. You, you go with him. Guys, he's, he's gone. Did he just lock the door? Y yes. Yeah. 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 Of course he locked the fucking door, you fucking idiot. Moron. God. God damn, you are a thick motherfucker. No, he's tapping the button like, come on, come on. Oh, fuck off, Fennec. Don't you ruin your oh, knife? Oh, come on! Okay. Okay. Alright, then. Oh, that's the door. The door. What if one fucker has to throw a grenade and you're dead? Or just shoot the most of you that isn't covered by armor? Oh, Why does wow. he leave? <laughs> oh, no, car chase. No, no. Oh, we no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm so depressed. Like, th these guys I'm would so maybe depressed. fit on, like, Coruscant, but... Maybe. Yeah. I would allow yeah. them on Coruscant, I think. They're yeah. so slow! Oh god, welcome to the oh. Book of Boba Fett, everybody. No, he did oh, get I'm out so of the glad way. that the robot didn't get hit. This is so awkward. This is the... Uh, no. This is like a car chase you'd expect to see in an episode of The Golden Girls. <laughs> Such a slow <laughs> speed car chase. It's so slow. Yeah. And, but what like, what doing? is at stake right now? It's like the mayor's aide is just kind of casually trying to slowly escape. Let him go. I don't. Why do you care about him? This looks so fucking slow. Why is it's this someone the situation? Else to tell you where the mayor is. Well, exactly. Like, what, what? Did he not expect this would happen? Why is there no security? Why is there no system set up to account for Boba? Uh, where are his gods? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, water. Water's expensive. You guys should steal Ooh. it. That looks so bad. That looks really bad. <laughs> oh, I yeah, bad. That looks pretty wonky. Are these like new heroes that they think people are gonna root for and buy action I'm, figures oh, of? Oh man. I got no clue. Just, they look oh, so it's embarrassing. Dr. Who. What are you doing? Well, just hit them with your speeder. Yours hit is way bigger. Speeder, are they yeah. kicking him? Oh, what? Oh, they. Oh. 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 Uh, 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 why are you letting him do that? Uh, this is so. It's long still going. And boring. This is it's so shitty. Still... It's so cartoony. This, like, this feels like a no, scene what? from what? Ah! Why did oh, you do no. that? This do is the oh, robot no. wants to kill its masters. <laughs> it's an uprising. How, how many? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, Mirrors, look how indeed. cool this is going to be. She is so cool. Look at all those mirrors. Yeah, it's for all of the different things. Oh, okay. What was she, that? She did it. What is this? She, she, she did it. Do you know how upset this is going to make the town oh, at look, you, Boba yeah. Fett? Yeah. You know how pissed off the town is going to be at you? Oh, wow, God, she's badass, so cool. man. She's so cool and amazing. Dude, look at all the she's so stores cool. you just I want to look respect at all this. her. <laughs> Let me respect you. Oh, there he is. Oh, he just got <laughs> <laughs> the jetpack. You just done that the whole time? Where is he? He's with the pikes. Just tell them oh, that! The Why didn't you tell them that in the Why stars? didn't you tell them that? Yeah. <laughs> you did all of it! Now the town hates you, Boba Fett, because you ruined all their floop berries. Why? Yeah, Why? Oh, look, the spaceship. Remember Star Wars has things that fly through the air? Oh, yeah. yeah. You might have forgotten. Just Why is wait. the show so bad? <laughs> Oh my gosh, House Atreides has arrived on Tatooine. <laughs> oh. oh, there's... Right, it's these guys. Yeah, it's these guys. <laughs> these guys were yeah. shit, so... Their masks worry. come in three colors. It saves I like a, their masks. It saves a fortune. Cool. Yeah, I like the mask too. That's it saves a fortune on makeup. And in Halo. <laughs> I like how inconspicuous the spies are. Yeah, man, yeah. you couldn't, couldn't spot them. <laughs> hey, it's those, it's those bikers who ruined the market. Let's kill them. They're going to war. Then we will be ready. Yeah, Please be over. Oh, uh, to ride. All right, we'll be be oh, over. Yes, yeah. it's over. Fuck that. What are shit. we doing? <laughs> what what are we the doing? actual written by John Favreau? Oh, I just I don't know. Created by like what are we doing? I, I'm honestly struggling like to to <laughs> articulate the goal? what I think about all this because it's just like. At it's least like, the Tuscans are dead. Thank God. We saw Danny <laughs> Trejo. We, her, we got like 35 to 50 minutes of just like stuff happening. Just things going on and people getting into fights for no reason. And oh making decisions that don't seem to be informed by what's happening in the story. We sent the Wookiee to kill you. We're sorry. Um, we're leaving. Here's a it's rancor. Now. Here's a rancor. Also, oh, <laughs> hey, let me give you the Wookiee back, all right? Here, here you go. No, we don't want him. We don't yeah, want no, him. Actually, yeah. The Wookiee can leave so we can come like, back later what, in the season. What a bizarre cavalcade. <laughs> like, what? what is happening? There is a shocking amount of not death. Oh, in look, this show movie. about crime no, yeah. syndicates wow. and it's mm. incredibly tame isn't it like it's shockingly it's tame just, why are we doing this premise if we're not going to try and commit to exploring it fully in in well, episode I... four a dude got his arm chopped off by a lightsaber in a bar dude people were incinerated in, this... in episode four we saw the skeletons <laughs> yeah yeah the, uh, the chase scene reminded me like a um molly you're likely to get this reference Ooh. of like you're the only one who will it was like a brum episode Nope. Brem. It was a little. It's a little British kids show um, about a, a, a sentient little car that goes around booping little criminals. And when I say criminals, it's like um, I think one of the only episodes premise that I can still remember now is someone who steals a golden toilet from a toilet shop. So that's the kind of premise. That's the kind of show that um, that I feel we're on sort of tonal equivalence with here. Do you guys remember when this episode started with? people stealing water and then the big drama was was the water being charged for enough we don't even know how much it was charged for we just know how much there yeah, is extra and information there's just no you think we're going back for that well boba didn't even have the amount of information he that's, that's what i'm determine. saying like and we don't know anything about is there a water shortage is no, there we, we have, have no we don't have enough information for have, boba fett to be making have, such a bold decision <laughs> yeah have the tuscans been enslaving an and kidnapping moisture well, farmers they show him nothing but disrespect they clearly stole from this guy and then he's just like work for me they're like yeah okay i'll not yeah. i'll pay off what you stole and piss off him by giving him less than half but you guys are off the hook and i'll give you jobs those those speeder like bikes though what they are so oversaturated they don't feel like they would exist in this world no they you don't they, like they feel they very out of like place they're from the 50s and it's the same they with look their like clothes props. as well they don't look like they aesthetically fit. Dude, they look, I, like, yeah. they look i'm like sure they just flown over from coruscant i'm sure there's people on twitter who love them don't give me that crap about them having they could afford cybernetic weapon body parts and these motor speeder bikes but they can't afford water yeah Fuck off i don't believe you well yeah. yeah they have these incredible speeders you're right and they've got these crazy cybernetics like really crazy and yet they're just what they can't afford to buy water so they have to steal it almost steal feels it. like they, they might have been lying to you but we just we, we assume that they're honest for some reason so this is the thing 
If this were an RPG, you'd have to go around the whole town trying to figure out who's important, who has the power, and who's fucking lying to you. Like, that is a big deal. You have um, to gather mm -hmm. clues and he, intelligence, Boba's and you have to investigate. To like 5% well, makes... of this place at most. Well, the thing is, is Boba just keeps making decisions without having access to information. Like, we- we- That's just... how you run a criminal we... empire. And the amount of fucking times he's walking hey, to the mayor's guys, office these guys with are a gun. Guys, I should employ them. Just keeps walking into the mayor's place like, I demand an audience, I have a gun. And then the mayor's aide yeah. is like, ooh. I oh, better no. run outside instead of just Why saying, oh, the, the mayor you want to see. Guards? This is, this is Tatooine. This is, just say, why does he oh, have no employees? Oh, the fucking hut's left. You scared off they the- They should like, have sent the oh, to kill him. That's so frustrating, by the what? way. Episode hey, look, 2 is like, is the huts are business. involved. The huts matter. Episode 3, nah, it's fine. But like, war nah, is bad for fine. business, but we're gonna send this Wookiee to try and kill you. Not if you, you. win! <laughs> war is often really good for business. Well, no, I mean, I think that it's totally fine if we have, like, some of these crime bosses who want to do things as diplomatically as possible. Sure, but, like, yeah. that seems incongruous with I don't believe sending that about the a huts. Wookiee to kill him. No, I, I don't You'd believe have that to... about the huts at all. You would have to explain and demonstrate that Boba Fett has some kind of leverage over them that is substantial. There's no way that a place like Tatooine gets given up just because they want to be diplomatic when you've had it's such a an planet. iron fist level why, rule. Well, and it's, well, it's, yeah, it's a it's, planet! Does, well, and your previous Boba, custodian was Boba fucking Fett assassinated. Well, it feels like the standard thing. Why would Boba Fett want it and keep it for so long if it was worthless? Was he just a really bad Was he just really boss? into Tatooine? <laughs> it doesn't seem like he was. It seems like Tatooine is really useful. We still yeah. haven't. We still planet. don't even know why he likes Tatooine. Well, we don't know why Boba Fett likes. So Tatooine, Well, that would be yeah. a great thing that they could explain. Is like, well, Tatooine. Why, why would? Why do the huts like Tatooine? Fett... Why does this seg? Why explain like all of the people who know all this stuff are explaining to Boba Fett why this organization wants Tatooine? And and plus, let's be frank, Tatooine's a whole planet. We need yep. to get local. All right? Why? Yeah. How come I, you know, Moss Espa, Tad, you know, Moss Eisley, all the Mosses? Um, we need to find out why. Why does this organization care? Why does this organization care? Why does that organization care? Mm -hmm. And we just don't and we have plenty of time know. to do that, but we don't do it. No. That that's that speeder chase took twelve hours. <laughs> it was so that's lame. an hour per mile per hour. So fucking lame. So yeah, it's it blows my mind. By the way, the. There's so much about the assassination from the Wookiee that's so stupid, but the idea that everyone who works for Boba was in the building. <laughs> and only one of them brought a gun and shoot the one plating on the Wookiee, I think. Yeah, just guns just don't work in this universe, <laughs> shut up. And even when we do see a gun, she takes a knife out of it, <laughs> and I'm just... Yeah, and then throws it at the Wookiee. <laughs> that was <laughs> the funniest <laughs> shit, dude. Instead of just stepping on like, his foot. Rags if finally got his gun and it know was what a else knife. Would do. <laughs> I'm so sad the Boba is so incompetent. Dude, I was just looking yeah. over the fight. Dude, that's a joke. Dude, like, um, the... do you see the part where, like, so he tosses him into all of his weapons, which is, like, nice one, Wookiee. Um, yeah. And then Boba... Because he hasn't already shot him. Boba just struggles with his little gauntlet. He's like, ooh, ooh, what do I have to... Oh, <laughs> and it's like, Why no. does it even have to be on? Just point it at him and press the button. Well, it looked like that's what just he was trying to figure out. And it's like, why is there figuring out for you with this? It's your gauntlet. You've been using it your whole fucking life. You should know how to use it. The Wookiee being like, I'ma beat you with my knuckle dusters, my scythe. I knuckle does. It's like, why couldn't just you just kill him? Just get a gun and shoot him in the face, or get a knife and stab him. Why would you grab him out of the pod and just throw him around? It's the exact same shit with the, um, the assassins in episode one. It's just like, this isn't them trying to kill you. This is them trying to do weird tickly shit. So yeah. that we can have yeah. a fight. A little action scene where everybody throws each other around and uses weird electric whips and fucking God, knives. So I'm strange. A, I'm, a, I'm a tickle for hire. It's just so dumb, and everyone approaching one by one, all getting defeated. And yeah. You know that they were like, isn't this fucking epic? The Wookiee is so powerful, it takes everyone to take him down. It's just like, well, everyone's stupid, though. So like, just... Yeah, it takes ev it takes everyone, because no one, like, shot him No one had a gun. One person well, one had of them a gun, had a gun, gun but they, like yeah, they only shot him in his arbor, and that was it. Yeah, because it's like, this and is then Star Wars. really close to him, so that it could punt it out of the way, instead of standing back. You know, out and of then he happened, reach. of all the places he could stand, it was right on top of the trap door. It's like, right. Yeah. Because of yeah, course. That's lucky. Yeah, they beat, they beat him not because of any skill, but because he decided to stand exactly on the trap door. 
Did he not yeah. know anything about the trap? Why would you send an assassin in who is unfamiliar with the terrain? How did he get in? If yeah, he everyone get over. Why would you send him in without a, a weapon? Seems that well, everyone knows I mean, about it, yeah. but apparently he didn't. Let's go ahead and compare Boba Fett's attempted assassin, second attempted assassination. Apply quotation marks liberally wherever you please with the attempted assassination in episode two uh, of Padme, right? Where that was <laughs> really dumb. That was extremely stupid with the, the robot that cuts out a hole in the glass and then puts some poison centipedes and like, that's dumb. But holy shit, it's so much better. Like, it, it seems that those things would have killed her had they got to her. So that's something. That is something. Yeah. <laughs> but the, and, and the Wookiee clearly thing. didn't want to kill. He, was he just... didn't have a weapon. You sent in your assassin without a weapon. Yeah, not remember the first the time we see him, and he, the first time and we he see punched... him, he has a big gun. What's amazing yeah. too? Yeah, the first time he had a big ass gun, but in this, if he just had a knife, that would have done it. And his knuckle duster that was electrified. I'm I'm thoroughly convinced that electricity in this universe applies just non lethal damage. It just makes it to where it doesn't but do anything. Use it it anyway. go, Ooh, yeah, but he ee, smacked ee. Boba Fett a wookie punch to the face with this electro fisticuff and it did like nothing. Just shoot him and be done with it. Well, it sounded like it broke his back when he picked him up as well, but that didn't do anything. Yeah, I guess it didn't. And Boba Fett didn't gouge well. his eyes out or something. He's just like, well, I guess I'll die. And that's I the touched thing, your face. Didn't that just stop you? I guess we just can't do stuff like that. But how fucking awesome would it be if, if they had a fight that involved stuff like that? Like, Boba really will raw get his fighting. hands as dirty as he needs to. to survive In a survival situation, Boba will do anything. You do not want to push him to that limit because he'll fucking do anything. He'll turn into a goddamn animal. No, -uh, he's... Wookie got to fight the cyberpunk rejects. Cyberpunk is what, yeah, that's it. They, they're a bunch of cyberpunk rejects who show up here. They're so out of place. They're just hanging around by their bikes, drinking their water. Why are they not drinking booze or something? I know of this water something? of which you speak. <laughs> I am I aware of water. I grew up water. near water. <laughs> what? <laughs> I grew up surrounded by water. What I know it, it doesn't cost so I know how you feel about <laughs> I, This for me is such a stupid life. line. I have no idea what that's supposed to do. Like, okay. Yeah. Like, Boba, this planet isn't covered by water. It's not cheap here. Well, I is, know water. On Camino. It's zero dollars on Camino. And I just then realized, by the way, got... the flashback in totality was just the Tuscans died. That's really yeah. all that was. Uh, well, well and also um, that we learned a bit more about the new bad guys the whole God. season. Thank God. bullet train people. <laughs> Yeah, I get the gun train people. Gun train people. Are, yeah, they're the baddies. Sorry. How can I get that wrong? Wait, no, they're not the bad because well, it was bullet the... train is actually a thing. Yeah, bullet trains are a thing, but gun trains are a thing. We saw it. Um, so the well, uh, I was just gonna the say the, guys, the bad guys right? are the they're bikers right now, right? Well, the, no. So the the modern day bad guys the are heroes. the people that he he uh is he's trying to help out, make the deal with the the, the people on the, the train. train people. The past bad guys are the the, the, the bikers. Yeah. Is, it, is the twist going to be that it was the gun train people told the bikers to do what they've done? Maybe. Ooh, yeah. that would be so cool. That would be so awesome. I'm sure. And plus, when really Boba cool Fett not... is told that we've been lied to, it's actually this. He's like, okay. <laughs> I like the, the exchange as well, when it's like, we're not supposed to pay two parties. And then he just goes, we are one party. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's another one. Yeah, there's <laughs> another asking one. for yeah, payment. Yeah, I didn't just say that for no reason. He's got. Have you noticed how many lines like that Boba has? Just really shit dialogue where he says Same, something, and you well, you almost wonder, like, wait, Boba, do you understand what's happening right now, or are you this, trying yeah, to? Yeah, it was the same as. Um, are you lost? You, you, you two people. you you know the throne that your previous employer sat on. I wasn't employed by Bib Fortuna. No, Chap Jabba. <laughs> Jabba was the, yeah, the other like, one. Yeah, yeah. Jabba. Exactly. It is, he was the like one we're talking to. to. Um, <laughs> it's like talking brick to. Um, it's like talking it's to like his son. My my grandma near the end, she wasn't quite all there always, and it's it, you had to talk to her like that sometimes. Boba Fett's but, you know, of course he'd be nice about it. Yeah, what's it, What's Boba's excuse? Well, I think that's yeah. what a lot of people do in these scenes. They <laughs> humor him. Dumb. Like, a lot of characters are humoring this this old man who's very confused. And then we got the Rancor. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can't I, wait sorry, till that I just, shows up later. Like, the, the huts, they spent... Imagine how long it took them to get there just to say, we're leaving. <laughs> 
Sorry, you have a rancor. And they show up Bye. in person. Yeah, well, be yeah, a rancor detected. gift. Why do they, are they that afraid of Boba <laughs> that they'd be like, we better give him a rancor, he might come and get us. I guess imagine, so. Also, imagine how long it took them to get there, considering they insist on traveling by platform suspended on people's <laughs> shoulders. Uh, yeah. Also, I guess Danny Trejo just lives here now and trains the rancor yeah. for him. He's just here now. Well, he's a good friend of Robert Rodriguez's, so it makes sense that he's going to be here. Which is cool with me, and I like him. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, no, but no one, no one, no one agreed that he's allowed to live here. I don't mean I don't have a problem. He, with did. Him he just in this. lives here now. Yeah. He just lives in the palace now and trains the rancor. It's so that's really fun. It's fucking absurd Maybe he, though. There's like, here's your Wookiee back. Nah, we don't want him. Like, what do you? What do you what do, <laughs> but he could totally be a double agent. That would he, like, no, but that would be interesting. But no, but like. Jabba shouldn't have accepted him because of how he's like. No, I won't let your random employee come and live in my Jabba, palace. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. It's so. That's funny. actually true. I, I guess, That's a good point. Yeah, I guess Danny. Yeah, I guess Danny Trejo was like, "Oh, am I? Am I not? Am I? Am I fired? <laughs> hey, look, are you firing me? Is, you can't fire me. I quit. Rent. It's hard to make rent here in uh, Tatooine. Do you know how it is to get water? Do you know the prices? Oh my god. Where, where's the scene where there's the discussion of why is water so expensive? Because this, this, and this. Mm. And then they have to discover why. Why are the prices the way they are? How do we resolve this while trying <laughs> maybe, to yeah, keep Yeah, maybe Boba Fett will be proactive and actually no, no. find to cure more water for no, everybody. No, you know what? You know, what, no, Boba can solve it by saying, you need to do better, Senator. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you need um, to do better, water farmer. It's an interesting comparison, by the way. There's uh, this show where there's this there's a nerdy character, and uh, but she's she's a southerner, and there's a point where um, people are asking um. what it smells like when you've made uh, when you when you're making alcohol, and she immediately says molasses uh, comes up with with different like that's the kind of smell you'd get. And it's just like oh that's neat that she would know that you wouldn't maybe you wouldn't expect her to know a lot about moonshine and shit, but. Uh, because she's a southern, we, we that specific history. There's this reasoning there that why she would know that smell. He's like, okay, I feel like they were trying to do that. They were like, whatever water comes up, Boba's gonna have to say something because he's from Camino. And you're like, what? <laughs> like, water I'm Camino, familiar with know. water. <laughs> he's like, yeah. he's a very water centric character. <laughs> Water is who I am. What are you In talking fact, it's about ninety-eight percent of who I am. <laughs> I just <laughs> my body's so mostly water. <laughs> It's so inept. Like, <laughs> imagine he said that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, water. My body's ninety-eight percent water. I'm familiar with water. I'm I familiar with water. I, I like to water. get wet. Uh, I spend my days in a Bacta tank. I'm familiar with liquids. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why don't you just sleep in a bed like a normal person? Because he's healing rags and he's just flashing. He seems okay. I I don't know. Right? I'm I'm no doctor, but he does seem like he's doing really okay. Other than the incredible stupidity thing. Well, I mean, episode four's flashback will be him trying to hunt down those fucking bikers now, isn't it? That's what we're gonna yeah. get. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't wait until they Maybe get killed, I guess. Maybe this crazy shit with these 50s bike hover things with these... Well, he gains, a, gains another member slash members of his team every episode, doesn't he? Do you think this is the rise right, being like, yeah. see, he's building his empire, while we're just like, It's oh. like the Avengers, Exactly. Mar. It's him building a team, that's what it's... So That's what it's supposed to be. So shitty, though. That's it's just amusing. so shitty. Yeah. Book of Boba Fett is oh, such a shit the, show. The constant not caring shit about show is a shit show. A group of people armed to their teeth coming up to you and just like, uh, no, old man. It's like, okay. There's like two guards. We know who you are, but we don't arrival. respect you. Well, it's the thing. He's just not threatening at all, is he? Yeah, and wherever yeah. Wherever they go, no one even gives a shit. They have like weapons. Like, oh no, you have to wait for an appointment. People armed to the teeth. It's not what? just that no one respects him, which is bizarre. It's that he allows himself to be so thoroughly yeah. disrespected yeah, everywhere. Like mm -hmm. he should shoot half these people. He really should. He needs to like uh, whenever a conversation starts, like he did with those punks. He needs to put one right between the fucking eyes of the first person who steps out of line and says, "Listen up, fuckers." I'm in he's charge. A kind of crime boss, though, right? He's a nice crime boss. Yeah, he's a crime he's the kind Lord. of crime boss you try to kill yeah. and then get a job from. He's like, you know, he's like, I don't want you to think of me as a crime boss. I want you to be think. I thought you to think of me as a friend first and a crime yeah, boss second. Crime mm -hmm. boss second. Uh, you know, um, think of me. As a, I don't want. Well, you <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you're gonna love that when you see it on the the yeah. premiere of this. Focus is fun. What? Um, what? <laughs> what's uh, what's funny? What's funny about that? 
You You'll will see. see. You will see what's funny about that. Do you know when they Use. they attack his uh, his little speeder with their their amazing augments? Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the the guy's foot that he attacks it with is literally it's like, like a jackhammer with yeah, a spike yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, why yeah. is what this the a fuck? thing? The it does the woman's red arm what? does it do anything, or is it just a robot arm that's red? And the hand isn't even a robot hand either. So what does it do? Is it Grab just stuff? <laughs> I guess. I guess I'm wondering why the why the arm is better than the the you know the factory settings arm that you were born with. Well, yeah. Imagine he just pulled out a gun instead of using his small flame arm. Not at this yeah. Time, we can't have guns. Crazy. Or, well, yeah, because that would or be an explosive. Or a do knife. not tell me that the cybernetic is more ex is less expensive than just a gun or a stick. Actually, or thinking a stick. about it, <laughs> could have just if hit he just hit the stick. guy in the head with a stick, it would have been better. <laughs> yeah. No, he, no, he, he, no, he can't get a stick. He doesn't have an, a, a lizard nose. That's like, right. Oh. He doesn't have the lizard vision quest. That's true. That is very true. That's the I only way to obtain sticks. Okay, bye. Bye. Goodbye. What'd you bring me? I'm so ready. What? Hello! My words are now immortalized in the annals of time. Just say that way, you could have said it a different way. Anal. Of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Boba Fett. Number four. We did three. Can you believe it? Uh, yeah, this is a half high point. It's fair to say that in this line of the continuity, we, we already didn't think it was good, but now everybody doesn't think it was good. Like, after episode three, everyone's like, oof. Oofenheim. I hope it wasn't just the bikes. It was just the bikes. <laughs> it was just the bikes. Unfortun mm. Unfortunately, mm. it seems to be that just the bikes were able to flip people on this show being bad, even though the show was fucking garbage from the start. I saw people being pretty mad at the Black Chrysanthemum assassination. That's the Wookiee man. Oh yeah, we don't want to assassinate Black Chrysanthemum. That would be terrible if this established character that was deeply... Oh uh, yeah, we R definitely Rags, I think they that. mean his, his assassination attempt on Boba. Well, you can't tell. They actually mean both. Because he's a oh. <laughs> he's a famous character from like extended stuff, I think. Of course, he was oh, a Wookiee okay. who did badass stuff. He used, apparently he he met Darth Vader. How cool is that? Darth yeah, Vader should have given him the little tidbit <laughs> when you try to kill someone, just bring a gun and shoot them. Uh, oh, dude, Darth Vader could have told him that. Yeah, that'd have been great. Because a lot of people don't know that. They always think like, I gotta throw people around. I watched Terminator Salvation. That's what they do in that. I watched Mandalorian no. season two. It's what the robot did to, to Mando. That's, that's how you do it. Do you remember when he punched his helmet and it went into the fucking hull of the ship? Yeah. He punched him so hard it went into the bulkhead of the starship. That's insane. It was such a like, okay, <laughs> I guess so. So he's, you're just indestructible. We've sort of known this, but it, this is even more confirmation oh, yeah. that you're just Beskar, indestructible. Bro. Beskar, Beskar yeah, it's Beskar, guys. So. I'm happy for him to be indestructible, but my favorite part is that you could just take off his helmet if you wanted, but they just don't. You're happy for him to be indestructible. Punch him. Yeah, basically. Well, kind of. Mm. <laughs> I'm happier with that than I am with the fact that the robot sees that he is indestructible and doesn't just like go, yeah. okay, I guess I'll take this off you, or I will attack you in any other part of your personage that doesn't have this Beskar shit all over it. It's frustrating how much people specifically seem to go out of their way to target his invulnerable parts. Yeah. Because well, most of his body is not covered. We've not had to deal with that anymore, you see? We had, he was like naked, basically. He only had panties on. Yeah. Wherever you so hit him, he's getting when, hurt, right? Now what we do is we don't shoot him. We oh. just throw around and use our little taser oh. knives and... To inconvenience him, yeah. And melee weapons, yeah. We have some memes. Content. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I could have bucked so he lived a, I guess, a significant part of his life was spent on Camino. He that wasn't just one place out of many that they lived. He didn't travel, which seems like that would be a like if your father was Django Fett, you would do a lot of traveling and seeing a lot of places. Wasn't the implication that he did travel a lot, but he lived on Camino? I don't imagine that Django would take his son on all of his missions, right? Like I suppose that means that that's really where their house was, even after everything and before. 
Okay, all right. I, that's fine. I'm just I guess that's where they live. That was the house. I get I guess I born. thought he'd be able to afford better. What's wrong with Camino, Rags? Don't you like yeah. it? Well, it's not a very large it didn't seem like a very large place where they were at, you know? So you'd think that they'd have some place nice and I assume he needed to work there for uh the cloning process. Yeah, to be close to the clones. Sure. So the Caminans, Caminoans or whatever could and then I would have assumed that after that was done, like, well, oh, wait, we got your DNA. Thanks. You can leave. Or, Possibly, or but I can see, like, lo- there being lots of viable reasons that he needs to just stay there so that they can, like, check and stuff from him and stuff like that. Maybe he just likes water. Yeah, yeah maybe he just bunch. wanted all that sweet water. He does it's like water. I have heard that. Wet all the time. <laughs> the end. <laughs> I and mean, that's essentially what you just do. Oh, yeah. look, he's sleeping alone. I'll <laughs> just shoot him. The end. <laughs> the end. Even without a gun, when you are a Wookiee, it shouldn't be hard to kill a sleeping bo- oh, a weaponless boba in a backpack. Yeah, a couple yeah, of comments were neck. like, you just rip his head off. And it's like, yeah, yeah. But no. Yeah. Just choke him. He's basically a sentient grizzly bear. Got this uh, cool bit of uh, cool bit of artwork here. And um, the green is Fringy and the blue is Jay. Relates to our last endeavor. It's too small. I can't read it. Let me Zoom Patient in. Malin Longman is having another episode hey, of Altered. I just said what? green is free. No, 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 no. Very big. Wallaby. Can, can I please actually read it? Longman <laughs> having another episode of Altered Perception. Yeah, you're the, Any you're changes? The... He's gone and made me a co-host. Really? Oh, well then, congrats, Don- Defringloid. <laughs> or should I say, Fringy. Uh, yeah, no. Anyway, we need another reinforced auxiliary guy before his next episode. Oh, you mean the rags? Yeah, I'm sure they will come soon. Enough yes. of the jokes, Dr. X. He don't play along with his delusions. There I am. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, if, if EFAP isn't real, does this mean the Isle of Man flag isn't real? No, no that no, could be real. That real. could be real. No, not real, I made it up. Oh. Big I also made up you, metal, I love that you've see. drawn your own tentacles on the wall. <laughs> yeah, a little spooder. I, I also love that it says, like, Apex on the wall, and any sane person would assume, oh, that must be, like, a reference to Apex Legends or something, but we all know that it's Apex Homosexual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you see Spot as well? Scribbled him on yeah, the wall. Yeah, uh, bottom right. Oh, yeah. So what a God. great meme. I love it. This is, this is good rat. Excellent good rat. rat. Which, that's, that's it for good rat for this recording. <laughs> now, hey, you don't know episode four won't be excellently crafted. That's true. Make baby Benthus. So this is an interesting observation. It's posted to the subreddit. Just, just a bit of fun. Ah, uh, yes, this. Yeah. One of these men is selling water in the desert, allegedly. Profiteering by overpricing. Preying on desperate people because he's greedy. The other is a poor, out-of-work man with his speeder bike who can't afford the high price of water. The main reason for this <laughs> post was just to highlight costume design sucks. It's like, yeah. Well, because it doesn't convey well that they're oh. poor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This guy on the left looks like he works all day. He's got a worn-out... Uh, his outfit's not dirty, but it's clearly worn. And the, the strap of whatever satchel he's carrying, that's clearly seen. A few tattooing sunrises. Yeah. Um, and also a delicious beverage. And then on the right, yeah, nice, nice looking, polished, nice. clean speeder and a nice outfit. Everything fits pretty guy. well. Cyborg guy. Sure, uh, cyborg parts. It's like, I am yeah, poor. Mm. And like, hmm. Are you now? Are you? I don't believe you. I was like, uh, you know what, we're going to get like some person in the chat or the comments being like, what, so poor people can't ever have nice clothes? Like, no, no. <laughs> that does it's... feel like one of those observations that's like, do you actually think that that's what we think? <laughs> or, uh... In terms of people... communicating stuff to the audience, right? This is what we call a failure of doing that. This is a fun little screen. I like fun screens. Asked about the bikers. Morrison, meaning the actor that plays Boba Fett, Tamura Morrison, replied, some of these things are out of our control. We can't say as performers, <laughs> we don't want to work with these people, that's not good enough. They brought a lot of color to it, I thought. They were, they were great. We're working hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, I know what full justice, I, left, I think. I did that on purpose so that you can now highlight it, Jay. They brought a lot of color to it. I thought they were great. That's how I read that. The dot 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 is pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because you can tell he had to think about it. <laughs> what am I going to say about them? Uh, they're great. 
They're great. They're <laughs> great. <laughs> How indicative it is that the first thing he says is some of these things are out of our control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's not my true. fault, I swear. <laughs> I like the idea that he's referring to just like everyone working on Book of Boba Fett. Like the bike has just appeared and we're like, we're going to be in the show now. It's like then, um, the the original filming location of uh, Star Wars is controlled by ISIS now, isn't it? So maybe they're all ISIS members who forced their way into the show. For the first time ever on EFAT Mini Boba Fett, we're going to look at a video before we start. Oh my goodness. A Why famous not? video that's been getting around in relation to Gone with the Wind. Fett. It's not quite Gone with the Wind. I can see <laughs> how you could relate them though. Citizen Kane. All of the quality of Star Wars is Gone with the Wind. Oh, yeah, the only context is this is an interview that took place to the Oh yes, characters. I think I saw that. Yeah. I intend to rule with respect. Ugh. Uh. Hi, I'm Alex from NME, and today we're talking to Star Wars scariest double act. It's Bounty Hunters Tim Marrero Morrison and Ming Na Fuck off. I, I think he said Tim Marrero Morrison. <laughs> I think he did. Tim Marrero Morrison. Tim yeah, Marrero. Uh, Marrero. Uh, these... started out by saying, yes, my name is Tricky. It's okay. <laughs> these kinds of interviews are always funny to me because this, you know that they know. I've got to be as fucking positive as possible so that I can have another one of these in future. Yeah. Sometimes. Maybe they are that excited. I don't know. But they always come across as super fake, like... Well, I guess it's the whole shtick, right, is that they're ultimately marketing rather than an interview yeah. that is specifically trying to achieve some sort of goal in terms of revealing interesting new things. I find the, the actors are fine, usually. Uh, it's the interviewers I always find cringe. You can get some really great results sometimes. The most yes. fucking amazing one at this point is probably going to be Mark Hamill's comments on TLJ. Uh, I don't think any are going to be that, but... How does Tamura Morrison talk about Boba Fett? Let's have a look. Well, I was hoping not to say as much as I have already in the first two episodes. I speak far too much. In fact, in the beginning, I was trying to get past me. Um, the way he keeps looking, is like someone's got a gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's nervous. <laughs> he's nervous. It's like, oh. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. It's like of if course. this were a L.A. Noir, and you're like, hmm. I mean, no, res no, no disrespect for, to the great mouse. Please get me a season two. My lines on to Ming Na, yes, and I thought, excuse me, excuse me, director. Uh, I really feel that Ming Na should say these lines because I want to stay mysterious. Right. I want to stay uh, quiet. But then I, I caught be... on. He wasn't. He wasn't just trying to be a very generous actor, which he is. He was just trying to parlay some of the work to me. He's <laughs> yes. jumping his responsibility. So yeah, but the. Uh, I find that facial expression so fucking telling. So basically, I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Seems like she tried to rescue uh, the atmosphere a little bit there. Um, sort of. I it, sort of see it. It's, it's heading in a particular direction, right? When you say, yeah. I wanted this, and the director said no. Like, so she was like, <laughs> oh, he wanted to palm off the work, even though he's a very <laughs> generous actor. It's like, ha, ha, ha. Then it, Look at his oh, face. He just sort of continues He's like, straight again. Like, no. Yeah. He looks so fucking awkward, and, and I think he says, uh, yeah. Uh, and then, like, trying to get... <laughs> so fucking like, oh my god, what's happening tomorrow? Work to me. He's jacking his responsibility. So, yeah, but the, and even though uh, in... Because, um, well, obviously, John's... Uh, the you know one of the key writers so uh yeah. and so sometimes i'd always say I, I i think this is too much i think this is too much then i'd go to what was the other guy's name noah noah i'll try and get oh noah like, uh, yes noah noah mm -hmm. i remember of course john actually Which went away to atlanta ruined. so i rang noah that night and i said noah the scene tomorrow i'm talking too much this seems to have very different goals in this that's yeah. Tamura <laughs> wants to preserve some semblance of what the character sort of was. <laughs> mm -hmm. And everyone else is like, fuck it, talk. It's what people I mean, want. Talk, talk. In this interview, in this interview, yeah. he's just going in there like, yeah, I want to, you know, I want to say my piece about how I felt. Fennec, is that a name? Yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah it's just hard. here going like, God, I need to. Uh, if, wait, if he doesn't get a season two, then I won't get a season two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We oh. love this job. It was amazing. This Boba doesn't talk this much. I'm mean, look. I've got all this, these paragraphs here. I think we should get rid of it. And John's gone to Atlanta, so don't tell him. And then next <laughs> <don't> time, <laughs> <laughs> which is a great, funny little moment. But you're like, John's gone to Atlanta when they're filming. Yeah. Hmm. 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 He cranked that <laughs> that uh, that script out in 17 minutes, and then he went to go work on his other thing. He needs to ruin. 
if <laughs> it really feels like Boba Fett's season is kind of just this thing. It's more so like just a stepping stone. It doesn't really represent much of anything. Nobody cares about it. Look, it sucks. Pretty yeah. odd. All things considered, but well, Morrison ex- seems to care about it. Oh, of course he does. Yeah, uh, he, I'm he sure she does too. A lot. I'm sure a lot of people do yeah. care about it, and that's kind of the sad part, isn't it? This smile of his is way better than the one in episode two, where he was just like <laughs> with I that agree, that, agree. that desert grasshopper or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> I actually forgot. I was like, Boba Fett's not in episode two. What? It- oh. <laughs> But Boba he is an episode. episode. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, no, he is, well, yeah, he's, yeah, he is. Shut up. <laughs> I had to start talking, I guess. Otherwise, uh, we had to fill in the gaps and give out a little bit of information. And right. Ming's such a wonderful person to to. Sh- yeah, that's about it. It's, All maybe. right. Well, it's just real interesting, ain't it? Yeah. It's amazing how much of these characters are characters and not playing characters. <laughs> yeah. We've talked about the character inconsistencies, but I mean, Boba is talking a fucking lot. Um unusual. It's, it's kind of weird to say, right? It's like, well, anyone can talk as much as they want, right? And it's like, I think the point with Boba talking in a limited amount is that he's he's, he's very focused. The, he's he's choosing his moments. He's words angle where it's it's basically, he doesn't talk a lot, but when he does talk, you're always paying attention because yeah. it's always important. He never, there's never superfluous words. I grew up surrounded by water. Yeah, that's a really fucking strange line. And it, and if it was like a real easy way to also develop Fennec as well, we get more insight into her. She's she's like the right hand man who's always sort of leading the conversations. Yeah. Does and, she have and ulterior and you, motives? Is well, she trying start, to exactly think about you know, what her agenda is and if it if it, uh, season two with well, how interesting it would it be if Maybe we had four. a few episodes where she was constantly the one relaying information, and then one time she says something, and then Boba contradicts her. That'd be really interesting. Oh, like, yeah. Hey, but again, uh, we're um, not going to get that, though. <laughs> The thing is, we haven't met her in the flashbacks yet, and I'm assuming they'll do that, so maybe That's we'll unfair, finally yeah. get our fucking oh. information on Fennec, like, what, how she really well, feels she, about all she's this. Got, uh, well, wait. She has not got much at the moment, which is odd. It's basically nothing. She's basically the uh, deuteragonist of the show. Well, yeah, yeah like, they're so, like, oh, I love Fennec, and it's just like, she just, all she does what is do shoot people, love? that's it. I'd like to like Fennec, but... There's nothing I don't to know like. About her. Yeah, we don't have anything for her character. There's just she nothing there. She has a there. robot stomach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, that's where I, I, she fits I, all I, that she, chicken that she eats with her gloves on. I, I genuinely get the impression that, like, at Disney, they all said, well, you know, he's the main character. He's got to talk a lot, right? You know, how would he, how would he be um, the main character? How could we have a main character who doesn't say much? That's not going to work. How are you going to learn about him? As if, it's like, how many video as if games Mando you didn't happen. Made? Well, like, you yeah, watch Wally. I don't know. Play some well, we just had games. The Mandalorian, two, ep- two seasons of that, and he barely says anything. Yeah. And look at how great that turned out. <laughs> well, they think it turned out great. That's true. They did. How um, awesome would it be if the. In season one, episode five of the first, you know, of Mandalorian, you had that young wannabe bounty hunter and he was inexperienced and plucky and maybe, maybe he was like the kid from Unforgiven, something like that, you know, Mm. and you want to pair Boba Fett with someone who has maybe a lot to learn. Boba respects him for something or he sees some aspect of the angle that I would take with this show is Boba is coming to understand that he is getting old and he needs to start establishing for himself if he wants to stay in the spotlight so to speak and keep in this line of work and if he doesn't want to retire he needs to establish people who will that he can trust that he trains that he that are his protégés essentially that yeah. are his students and that he can teach and tell about the world and that's not only a very useful delivery device for us as an audience but it allows us to have these flawed and somewhat incompetent characters who have a lot of room to grow and improve over the season whereas in this show everyone's kind of an idiot always but they're also simultaneously inexplicably competent like where does finnick have to go from here because she seems to be like many characters, be just the best. Confident. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's just the best. We, she doesn't have anything to learn. Apparently, she's at the top of her game. She has a reputation as a, a deadly assassin sniper, which you would never be able to tell from this. So mm-hmm. it, we have a lot of a lot of yep. places that we just can't go. You're right, because it's TV show time. You've got the time of a TV show, not a film, which means that you ought to be developing more than just Boba Fett. You really should be doing more. And if Fennec is the other main character, which she basically is, I don't know that anybody else is a main character except for Boba and her. Nothing else seems to be being developed. I'm like, what is the time being spent on developing? Because like, we're not really getting much on the world. We've got a lot like of we, flashbacks. It's yeah, so a lot of flashbacks. Kind of it's like it's 
I guess the, the Tuscans unique... are the most developed thing oh, other dead. than Boba. <laughs> well, it is the well, yeah. Now they're all dead. It is the strangely common thing that Mando had a problem with too, where you have more time than you had in the films, but you achieve less. Yep. Where like. The plot of each episode, if you really think about it, is basically very minimal. Character development is essentially non-existent. We don't really have theme working much at all. And we don't learn a whole lot about the world. It's bizarre. It's honestly bizarre how little there is in these shows. Like, you could achieve the same sort of uh, thing by just having... I think, you know, I've seen a, Ma a Mandalorian parody where um, he's like... We're out of milk. Guess we better get some of this new planet. <laughs> I guess that'll be our, our, our task for today. And then he goes and buys some milk. And then the person behind his work is like, well, I need you to do a job for me before I sell you this milk. We'll give you some milk if you kill the warlord monster bandit that's been using our Wi-Fi. If there isn't any milk at the store, where does he go from there? And is there a, a milk shortage? What if someone, what if there's one carton left and he puts his hand on it just at the same moment as someone else puts their hand on it? How does he resolve these conflicts so wait, like jingle all the way with milk wow that didn't exactly go as well as i'd hoped yeah he made, yeah maybe he made a friend on tatooine who runs one of the shops and he goes there one day and it's like it's good to see you and and then the the shopkeeper says the problems he has Dude, and yeah. does the job for him for free and it's like wait why would he do it for free oh it, you bouncy hunter for free the um you must have a relationship the smiths from god of war rock rock what? I'm on a fucking break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Feels like you've got the easy potential of just having a character like that, where once he's back and everything's back to normal in Tatooine, he goes to this, like, fucking weapons dealer, and the guy's like, Boba, it's been yep. so long, and he's just, and they have, like, a friendship, and we can just be like, whoa, because, like, those two yeah. are really good Tims, when Boba's such a fucking ruthless piece of shit, and it's like, yeah, this is a, do you guys, um, I think Fring will be the only one that knows this reference, but House of Cards? Chicken shit move. Frank. I was vetted. Was that a ruse? No. Let's be absolutely clear, you wouldn't have won without me. You're right. But now we have to leave. Frank's got the guy who makes yeah, the, Frank's, the food. Yeah, uh, the guy who makes the wings. Morning, Freddy. Morning, Frank. How's tricks? I can't kick. Wanna go on in? No, why don't you set me up outside? Yeah, um, he's like the only person that Frank treats in a particular way. And it gives you options to get him upgrades and cool gear. And maybe that guy can be used as leverage against him, you know, later in the season. And it's going to be like something that actually matters to Boba and he has to really, he has to, sh you know, make a decision between showing that that guy means a lot to him or not. You know, the easy payoffs. Never mind. Just feels like we got a dearth of concepts that we, we developed for this show. We got told we're making a Boba Fett show, but we weren't quite sure of the story that we, what wanted, we wanted to tell. To do, yeah. Because there are stories to tell. It seems like the only idea that was had is what if Boba became a crime boss? And it's like, <laughs> all right, that's the start. That's the beginning of an idea. So, yeah. Not, so let's start oh, off with the not obvious done question that idea. why. Well, like, not, they so haven't really done they've that. Not, idea, they've not right. done what if Boba was a, a crime boss. They've done what if Boba. But what if Boba like, hangs what around? If he was around, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if Boba yeah, Fett was just kind of around, you know? And this applies to any kinds of writers, right? But if the five of us were a little writer's room and they were like, he's a crime boss, that's all we got as a premise, go make a season, we'd be like, holy shit, the amount of work all we right. got to do. So yeah, much. so where was he Where was he last? Are what we going to explain the gap? Who were his well, the first thing we're going to need to do, why does he we would need to do is put in loads of flashbacks about how he got his stick. No. Need Tuscan oh, Raiders. That's, the, that's what they want. They want the stick. What you were saying about the, the kid from Unforgiven, right? I was thinking like... Is, it sounds a little floompy, but, you know, if, if there was another bounty hunter on that barge who was, like, a young kid and saw what happened to him and so worked to get him out of there, but then that's why Boba feels like some kind of connection to him or something. And I think I read a Star Wars book, and it was many, many years ago. It was one of those Legends EU, whatever it's fucking called, things. Because he set off a thermal detonator, I think, inside of it, and then, like, the Sarlacc, like, puked him out, barfed him all out. 
and someone came and recognized him and like took care of him. And so even that is better than just what we got. It establishes, oh, there's this person who's legitimately willing to help me. Maybe yeah. they want something. I can help them in return. But they're going to have to, while I heal and get better, they're going to have to do some things for me. And I'm going to have to tell them how to do those things. Like, all right, listen, we've got to go to Anchorhead to get off world. And we got to do this and do that. And make sure you do this and that. And press that button to make sure that the cloaking, da, 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 da. And we learn all about how much he knows. We establish his competence very quickly. Yeah, I just I love the idea that he doesn't he doesn't want to teach someone how to be a good bounty hunter, but they save his life, and so he's like, Ugh. you know, like trying he feels to feel compelled to do it. Yeah, and and you know he's not going to help him at first, but then they keep making easy mistakes to fix, and he's just like, that's not yeah. how you fucking do this. Just do that. Use your he gun could be or... frustrated. He could be frustrated seeing them make these obvious mistakes. Yeah, he well, turns um... into it's it's a it's a transition. How does Boba slowly but surely realize he is older than Django ever was, and yes. he is. Yes. He is a, he is assuming kind of a role, a fatherly role that he didn't expect that he ever would have to. And this younger trainee is reminding him of how he is becoming aged and he can't do this forever. It's maybe, gotta have an effect maybe, on a person reaching an age that their parent never got to in this in especially yeah. in that line of work. Well, and maybe I remember my father kind of, maybe, doing my the same kind of work that, that killed him. My dad is older like, than uh, his dad ever uh, got, and he specifically said that once when we were hanging out and whatnot he's like you know i i'm older than my dad ever was and that was like all he just sort of said but it was clearly on his mind worthy of mentioning to me and that's yeah that's an interesting concept mm -hmm. mm. and maybe what? you can do something you know with more of that parental stuff as well maybe the kid that he's uh helping out you know he 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 had a convention you know mom and dad which B boba never had um, yeah because yeah, the, the kid is completely uh, green like has no idea what yeah. bounty hunting involves and then maybe there is something that happens where his family gets brought into it and, and Boba is, you know, it's just like, well, you know, he, he was never in a position to save his dad. Maybe he can make sure that this kid is in a position to be able to protect his family yeah, should the situation arise. It's a lost um, concept that would, could have never worked in Mandalorian because uh, as much as people might want to say it's about someone having like a f taking on a fatherly role or a parental role there's only so much you could do when the thing you're parenting yeah. is is a dumb infant that can't speak or really communicate with you and it can't really learn from you or do anything and it's just sort of just this thing you carry around a potential story where you can communicate with something that's old enough well, for it it's or... the reason why the the format like the god of war format old man and young kid go on adventure is such a potent um formula because it's just a lot of things working at once somebody who has a bunch of experience somebody who's about to enter into the world and become you know the to become an agent in the world i don't know if it was season one or two of better call soul but um there's a there's a guy who's setting up a job and he, he get, three mercenaries uh sign up to do it one of them is mike one of them is like this huge guy how about you give me and man mountain 750 each and send uncle fester there home he's not carrying a gun he's useless the second one is um the guy who plays uh, one of the three main characters in GTA 5. The guy who plays Trevor. We are women, here are free. We are women, here are shout. We are women, have no doubt. We are women, we are free. We are Shut women, the are fuck free. up! Thank you. Oh, my N-word, huh? So that guy, he's there. Steven Ogg, that's his that's name. His, yeah, and he has like a bunch of guns, and then Mike is just this like fucking 90-year-old with no guns and just sort of hunched over. And I think before the, the guy shows up to like take them on the mission, he wants all three of them. He's like, oh, what what are you carrying? Because I, I got this, 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 and then two like backup guns here. Mike's just like, um, a sandwich. is like... <laughs> What? That I think he says like, no fucking way. I'm going on this like mission with Gramps here. Like when we get paid the same, when I'm actually like I matter and he doesn't. And then um, I think Mike says like, you know, fucking try to kill me. You got it. Oh. What the son of a? Oh. Oh. And uh, he ends up like fucking taking his guns and making him uh, unable to breathe just by being more experienced. Wow. Now that's impressive. So many guns, I don't know which one to use. And that's the kind of shit I'd love to see. You know, the the, the, the young buck being all like, Boba Fett, I know what to do, it's this. And then he's just like, no, you're a fucking idiot. For example, Boba Fett would never fall for someone being like, I'm gonna go check the back. I'll be yeah. right back, <laughs> Mr. Fett. And it's like, okay, yeah. he'd be like, no, you won't. <laughs> like, I've never, yeah, because I've never been a bounty hunter. 
on paper. I've never done that sort of thing for tax purposes. I've, ne I've never done this sort of work. And I know that you don't just let someone leave like that. You just don't do that. I shouldn't be more competent at this on the spot than a character who is this thing that writers have all this time to prepare that way. Did he just lock the door? Did he just lock the door? Yeah, he doesn't want you to follow him. That's the what fucking yeah. button. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the button tapping. <laughs> Let me work. That, that's a perfect example as well of something that Boba just didn't need to say out loud and saying it out loud detracts from his character, right? It'd yeah, of course improved. he locked the door. Shut up. It would be improved if, if he just silent. went, ugh. Because, like, we can tell then. He's already figured yeah. it out. He was just He's hoping annoyed. he would. He's annoyed. Yeah. It's not like, even like know, a problem. Like, we're it not just stupid. Annoys we know what happened. Like, I mean, I guess the show is assuming that we're stupid. I mean, because like it made Boba so bit. stupid. It's like if we're not yeah. that stupid, then we have to be dumb as Boba in that scene to not be frustrated by how dumb he's being. Imagine if in the show the guy went into the door, locked it, and Boba Fett instantly almost like rolls his eyes or in whatever way you could convey that. Um, and he just goes around the to the back of the building where the garage door is, and he's just waiting for the guy to pull yeah. out with a speeder. Like he's already he already he's he's done this before. He's seen this routine in this song and dance. And he knows the he building. knows what's happening. Like yeah, and he knows, knows the building. The exits. You want to try that again? No, he needs a speeder crew. The uh, or he just says, "Where are you going?" You know. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, welcome. Do comment showcase. Da -da 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 Ray, all right. Da -da 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 oh, I love Boy! comment showcase. Are they good or are they bad? Uh, what we favorite bum, bum, part of the thing. I know, um, my favorite part's when it ends. Oh, wow. Wow. Just Man. leave then. Sure, I'm glad they made the Rancor super emotionally complex with mental issues. I'm so glad they're not dangerous and less provoked. If you ask me, the blue Twi'lek dancer was asking for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. She was green, moron. <laughs> Yeah, she's green. I'm sorry. Jay is correct. Oh, good job, Jay. Thank you. I, I, I do my best. Because I couldn't remember what color she was because she's brown now. You don't see the world through that lens, Rex. That's right. I don't. The rancor is super emotionally complex it's because nothing is allowed to be evil anymore. Everything has to be. Yep. Yeah, that's hey, you can be emotionally complex fine. and evil. Just like they are not they prepared like, no, for that. Also, it's not evil. Yeah, they're not prepared for that. The Grand Corps. Mm -hmm. No, no, Grand Corps are great. They're awesome. You could ride on them and everything, and they'll love you. They're like big dogs, and they're just wonderful and great. The moment that the trainer in the Return of the Jedi, he's like really sad that the Grand Corps is dead. There's something about that that almost works because it's just this feral, ravenous beast, and yeah. only the Beast Master has this kind of connection to it. And it wasn't evil before. It was a hungry creature. Like it's an animal that feeds on stuff. And it was being kept in a dungeon where its only food was the prisoners it was being sent. It wasn't like it was fucking evil. True. It, this would be as weird as doing this with any, like, ravenous creature you find in the wild. Oh, yeah. You're just like, it's a depressed... The Sarlacc man. pit. He's, he's pretty chill. Yeah. Like, really? Okay. The Sarlacc is just an emotionally complex hole in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> And it just needs to be loved and cared for, and then it'll be wonderful, and it's great, and you could ride the Sarlacc to wherever you need to go, because, yeah, there's just nothing can be... <sighs> Finnick throwing her knife into the Wookiee's hand, I don't care enough to look up his name, means he now has more weapons than he can. <laughs> 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 Maybe he can use oh, it to God. cut someone's throat while they're sleeping. I don't know. Yeah, he can he can use the knife to open up the panel on the door and then just open it. I like how the mayor's aid dude is threatened by Fennec showing that she has a pistol and doesn't bat an eye at the big ass rifle she's carrying or the many weapons Boba is carrying. It is kind of funny that she's like, I do have a pistol. It's like you have all of the stuff, but yes. You have many, 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 yeah. Oh, he has knee rockets and <laughs> scrotum cannons and elbow. <laughs> On the next episode of Dances with Sand People, the Teletubbies arrive to impose a tax on trade routes, particularly those trading in tubby custard. We will never learn their motivation for this, but it will lead to a cool climax where Booby Feet has to fight Dick Dastardly in an episode of Wacky Tatooine Races. That was I'm a game Wacky for uh, that was a game for GameCube, right? Wacky Tatooine Races. It was a Nickelodeon uh, oh, yeah, spin-off show. Of course. I love Booby Feet. He had like uh, it was a bit unbalanced. <laughs> Booby Feet had the best weapons. His icon was the blue-footed Booby. Mm-hmm. Cut to a Booby picture feet. of the blue-footed booby here. I remember that back when Disney's acquisition of Star Wars was announced, Robochick made a sketch where a character bemoaned that the whole franchise would be simplified, defanged, and overall bastardized. I hate how right it was. In episode 4, there were like burned corpses and stuff, and arms are severed. 
Oh yeah, yeah. And here you just have death is implied. And also... everyone gets zapped by electric. Ooh. Yeah. The tickles. Ow. Boba is literally the worst crime lord to ever crime lord. He's let <laughs> multiple assassination attempts on his life go unpunished, gets constantly disrespected by everyone, even offers them some of them a job, and punishes his own vassals who give him tribute, uh, turning them against him. There is no way this man should be alive by the end of the season. Will yeah. be. A accurate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Imagine they kill him in, in this episode. <laughs> it should have been the Wookiee that killed him, and that's probably how everything should have gone. And we would we would have been like, well, the story's not very interesting, but it made sense that he died there, like because he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, I mean, we would be in, we well, it would be a character assassination of Boba, but it would be inconsistent with what we know about Boba. Yeah, if it were only this show, uh, I guess. Yeah, I am beyond speechless. How do they manage to <laughs> mutate Star Wars into this? A franchise with near unlimited potential. A franchise with behemoth space cruisers, lightning fast starfighters, malicious force wielding villains, triumphant heroes, ancient legends, countless species and cultures, infinite stars, and such rich and fascinating history turned into <laughs> Jack Hammer leg goes stub stub. <laughs> <laughs> Stump, stump. <laughs> if it wasn't for a loving family, EFAP, and those few diamonds in the rough, I would never have had to suffer through this current butchering of beloved franchises. So, it's safe to say that uh, our audience is not liking Book of Boba Fett. Um, they are very wise. <laughs> they are. <laughs> very much so. But hey, episode four could turn it around, right? No. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it, you know, it, it, someone will be great. They were just saving it up. Um, We've just been edging. You've just been edging? No. That's not what I said. Not what he said. Oh. That's not what I said, no. I'm collecting on behalf of the Tuscans of the Dune Sea. They're All of the Tuscans of the Dune Sea? <laughs> he represents Does this all. tribe not have a name? That was another way there... to criticize his whole we are one party thing. It's like, this Tuscan's fucking everywhere, bro. And I don't even know if they fucking hate each other. Who knows? It was so sad. Oh yeah, they, they really so fucked sad. that up when they enslaved him. That really fucked it up. There is no work, mighty Daimyo. Mm. You better fight as good as you talk. I like how he didn't like even question that there wasn't any work. He's like, oh okay, well. This reminds me of Batwoman, and it's like you'll work for me. It's like where are you getting your oh, money from? It's like don't show him shooting I the guess. fucking amazing art. By cutting out all of the stupid stuff of these scenes, they make so much of them look like they could have been okay. I don't know, dude. There's still plenty of stupid <laughs> this left. This is still really dumb. <laughs> look at this. I'm guessing Wookiee Man is not done. Though it would make no fucking sense to have brought him in just for that. If I was those two big slugs, I would want just, like, machines to carry me around. And I would want it to be closed off with maybe, a like, an awning of some sort to oh, keep the sun off yeah. me. It's kind of unreal, the amount of, like, how far they went to go visit him. They would have cooked. They would have popped. In popped. person, yeah. They're you know how slugs love the desert? <laughs> it's so stupid. Do you stupid. think that, um, you know how there are snails and there are slugs? Do you oh, think no. there's like a kind of hut that has a shell? Oh, oh my no. god, really? We're not even well, we're not even humoring the idea of not flashbacking? We're just flashbacking? Well, to be fair, Boba Fett did seem a real uh, like a really shellfish person. Uh, <laughs> Rags, how uh, do you make jokes? We're about to get flashback immediately. Because uh, I gotta enjoy myself the before I suffer. The Tuskens are dead and you're laughing? <laughs> yeah, I am. Fuck yeah, yeah we are. Uh, uh, it's exciting times. I bet that horn's awesome. worth a lot of money, like as a trophy and stuff, as some kind of a cool Maybe thing. Maybe Bantha you horns take, are like, not that great, because they're like the same material as Bantha nails or something. Ivory. Maybe, but like the shape of them, and they, they probably like make cool decoration. Why was this? Wait, where's this? Destination? This is Jala's Palace, isn't is it? it? Yeah, it is. It looks yeah. like Jala's mm. Palace. Look how many people they had there. Three. Four. Oh. Five. Five. Oh, six. 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 Then they have guns. <laughs> what? This cannot stand. This is weird. This yeah. is unacceptable. Why are you coming so, here? So, yeah, I was about to say, so the That's idea here is he, he lost his know. Tuscans, and so now he's like, well, time to take over Jabba's palace. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> Why don't you just go back and be like, hey, isn't he still in, like, their good books? Isn't he still an ally of theirs? I would have thought so. Why wouldn't he be? Yeah. I guess if he's trying to take over the place, I guess they would burning? be hostile, but why? Face no, chicken. But he's made no hostile action to them yet. Why does everyone eat with gloves? Why are you eating with gloves? <laughs> I don't understand this world. I don't oh, understand gonna feed this. Oh, he's going to the panther. He's oh. nice. No. Nice guy Boba feed him. Come on. Does the panther eat meat? Do they eat meat? I don't fucking know. 
I mean, there's no. I don't even know what they mean. Here. So that 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 it's always supposed to believe. I guess that, that is a predator creature. I guess it hunts. What the fuck yeah, does it eat? It, yeah, it hunts with its lightning <laughs> I mean, quick I guess speed. It hunts. <laughs> That's of very course. generous, Jay. <laughs> they chase down smaller creatures in the a wild. A star! Oh, a star! No. It's Christmas! Oh, do you guys know Jesus what that has is? Been born. Jesus is no. born! Jesus. He's been born again! What's the birth of Jesus? It's the birth rags, of Christ, more or less. Metal, do you not know what that is? Oh, wait, no, no. Uh, hold up. When was there flares in Tatooine? I don't know. Oh! It's this celebration. Oh, yeah. yes. oh right off. Oh. He just happened to be in the fucking area. Sure. Nice. That's great. Hey, I'm Boba oh, Fett. <laughs> Do you happen and, to need a mechanical stomach? <laughs> and they well, didn't bring back the body, because that's stupid. I swear to God, if he crafts it on the spot, I'm going to lose my shit. Oh, is she going to kick his ass? She's out, right? We don't know that. They, she could be She could be wounded and still kick his Pimple's ass. Pimple's stomach was glomp. That doesn't mean anything in this topsy-turvy <laughs> world where people eat chicken with their gloves on. <laughs> Oh my god, Vinic shit. Thank you. So we have already spent like five and a half minutes of just nothing, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Do you want to check well, the yeah, pulse or something? No? Once you have them talk about how they're going to take over the world together or whatever, that's it, right? We're done with flashbacks? I, I hope so. Be. You've literally told us everything. She's well, we dead, bro. Her her She's absolutely <laughs> dead. <laughs> so long. I'm going no, to take why this didn't... corpse back to my camp. I wouldn't be surprised if he checked her pulse while his gloves were still on. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> I can't feel anything. <laughs> you know what, right? It would have come through strong. <laughs> oh, because no. This is no. What are those things on your head supposed to do? They give her power. That looks like it's distracting to have that bright oh, orange light in it front does. of your eyeball at night. Ooh. Nice bike, nerd. No school like the old dude, if school. You guys really don't fit in the vibe with Tatooine. No, it doesn't. Um, if he sets her on a table, uh, he's like, fix her. And they're just like, this is a cult, <laughs> bro. Ah, uh, she's, she's, I found a mortally wounded woman. No. I will take her to a bar. I, I mean, if it's the only place around, I guess. Well, no, no, th this, this is actually, I'm going to give him some points. This is, he's going to get a stomach a mod for it. But like, the problem oh, is, right. this is well after it's she'd be dead. Place. This is ridiculous. Why does he want to save her? I don't know. Also, this is just cyberpunk. This is just cyberpunk 2077, right? It wants like, to be, for sure. Like, these styles are just, these don't fit. Aren't you a little old to be here? Aren't you what? a little old to be here? What do you mean? Why? What if Why I just need an eye or something? No walk-ins. Appointment only. Have you explained that she That's needs it to survive and you'll say, pay surely him? money will do it. Yeah. yeah. Why, Why do you bother? Yeah, why do you care? Well, you you're just trying to corpse, and you're like, Oh no, I hate death as a bounty hunter. That upsets me. Would he go this far for a Tuscan? He didn't seem to give a shit. Also, a, a cut to the stomach, and you can just have any person. What is that on your hand? That is your hand. Oh, bro, that is so cool, bro. Better than just having a hand. Luke Skywalker had a hand that was a hand, and it was a robot hand. Also, I don't want my little saw right next to my thing that grabs stuff. That seems like a bad idea. Also, a mechanical well, stomach. That tool looks like... really unwieldy. Wouldn't it just be easier to hold those tools? Yeah, that's what I was saying with the mechanical hand thing, you know? He's wearing like, nail don't you polish. Have to... This is just cyberpunk stuff. But you have to be yeah. a doctor, right? You can't just... You have to be, like, a, a doctor. You have to understand, like, he does. organs. He does. And... Look at him go. Oh, okay. Wow, Rags doesn't believe there can be black why does doctors. The, why, does the, why does the part where her body is cut looks like metal? I guess because he had to put a rim on the outside of it. He had to give her a rim job. Uh, oh. You know what this is? They were they wiped her out in that episode and then they were like, wait, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't. People love mm. this character, so we have to bring her back. No one's ever really gone. Oh my god, it, it's I feel like I ate two dozen pipes. <laughs> oh, so stupid. Maybe he'll explain does, himself. I don't know. Can, can she eat now? Like, can she still eat yep. and shit? It's fine. Yeah. Well, it yeah, you don't need like a doctor to turn wait, these biomechanical. Things into well, no, Rex, I assume, I assume that he was medically qualified. Like he's gotta be. Why why would we assume that he wasn't? I saved your life. Why though? Yeah, when he opens though? that by pushing in, doesn't it leave little bits inside you'd of think, it that you think? What did you do to me? I brought you to a mod parlor on the outskirts of Moss Eisley. The best I could do under the circumstances. Pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty insane that you're alive. Take the black melon. The what? The black, the black melon. Black That's melon. what they're called. Yeah. The yeah. Black melon. Oh, it's edgy melons. <laughs> wow. The only the only melon. melon that Boba Fett would eat is a black. You'd melon. think she would need many days to heal, it some but it's fine. It takes some getting, used to. It takes some getting used to. Really? You think? You think so? 
to drink something and with with time wait he said with time you start to crave it are they addictive <laughs> of the mid like crap is that what that means you are master assassin fennec shand i take it i'm worth more alive huh i'll pay double my bounty i don't want money why nope. not he's why do you not want what? money he's a different man even though money just saved it but it's fine i am boba fett don't. Yeah, she should know that name. Yep. Boba is dead. No, oh, let me explain to you. And they have a flashback, and it's just what? everything that we've seen before. <laughs> the Simpsons line! Boba is dead. I was. Father McGrath! I thought you were dead! I was! I was rescued by the Sand People. Well, that's not <laughs> that's really, no. That's not, <laughs> that's not what happened. No, rescued <laughs> by the Sand People? Why is the, why is the show disagreeing with itself? <laughs> you have <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome, my they friend. They enslaved yeah. you and beat you. Speed bikers defeated Tuscans? That's highly unlikely. No, it, it seems to be is extremely it? likely. That unlikely? I Why? It, it, it seems like if you just had a gun and a speeder, you could kill all of them. Yep. The Tuscans yeah. don't even know how to use a speeder. <laughs> yeah, and they clearly just love to get mowed down. They're like just a tier above Jawas. Help me recover my fire spray gunship. If the ship is yours, why don't you just ask for it back? Because I might not like the answer. Oh. No? Without my you might as well try, right? Spacer. Without your armor, you're less persuasive. Yeah, what? what? No, fucking... you're Boba Fett. Be yeah. a badass without it. You have it. contracts with oh. them. He needs. He wants his ship back, and he's not willing to do it non hostily because he believes they might say no. But I'm so sick of this desert, dude. What a dude. stupid fucking reason to have an episode. This is the episode where he gets his ship back, by the way, if nobody else fucking noticed. I think they I'm gathering that might uh, be what we're doing. Where did you get her weapon from? I don't know. I guess she has it I now. I guess they left like her with it. Yeah. Right? Oh. Even though okay. that would this be a one of my valuable complaints ass before. weapon, but okay. Absolutely, that was one of my complaints about Mandalorian. You're taking that with you, it's very valuable. Let's take a closer look. No. Hmm? It's not a knife, but... Oh. Not a knife. <laughs> now we yeah, know that, that rifle you know, is that incredibly weapon is really valuable. valuable. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it has mm -hmm. knives in it. It's incredibly valuable. <laughs> is she controlling this, or is it just... I don't doing know, I'm waiting to see like a little screen on her rifle. God, guys, do you remember in Suicide Squad where... Captain Boomerang had a boomerang that had a camera on it, and he could see on his phone. Yeah. And then when the boomerang got destroyed, I think they threw the phone away. Because <laughs> <laughs> that movie's really good. Guys, don't fall. Uh, I, honestly, I would love to see the Gamorrean guards trying to chase that little thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're free now. Oh, the breath. Ugh. Ugh. Nasty. Yeah, I agree with Fennec. Now go. Find other Benthus. Make baby Benthus. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go. What the fuck? Why is Boba Fett? Boba this Fett, dialogue? everybody. You're free to roam the Dune Sea. Yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> I mean, this was this was you more exciting, and you fed me, but it's surely okay. he would sell the Bantha, right? Like, what? no, he's Boba Fett. He's so nice. Are they just, are they, hang on, is this how it works? Are they just around and occasionally you pluck one out of the desert to just ride for a while and then put it back when you're done? Are they like mm -hmm. Boris bikes? <laughs> What's next for you? I'm gonna find my armor and I'm gonna kill that bloated pig who double crossed me. Who? Take double crossed stone. you? Who? You wanna hit a gotra. Why not? You're a hunter. I'm tired of working for idiots who are gonna get me killed. No, that was you. That's your. Oh, yeah, you're the one who. You went to Luke you with a lightsaber. That up. was you. You bitter old man. You can't take the fact that you <laughs> fucked up. My Great instead of my tangle with my my scrape with death reminded me of oh, my own know. age and I no. fuck it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Dude, what a valuable little thing. Jesus yeah. Christ, this is insane. Where are all these people when... Okay. Oh boy, we got an action scene, huh? Too many gods. No, there aren't. Then we time their Half patrol. Most of them seem to have melee weapons. Also, it's, it's you two. I mean, you can't be killed, so you'll be fine. And, and again, most of them are Gamorrean guards with little sharp sticks. So Why don't you... Like, you're an ally of these people. Why don't you go in as if you're going to be friendly and then double-cross them? Like... Well, that's a better option, but I still I think option A is the best one where he just goes. Rats! Hey, rats! We I are the rats! My, I want my ship back. You got to do it to the bottom too. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, oh, um, oh, okay. 
What about the bottom? It's still a nah. steel bar. Oh, I know that sound effect. Like it's, it. it's from a different Star Wars movie. I'm gonna oh, figure okay. that out at some point. Can we highlight how the, fucking the incredibly heat, useful Fennec is? Get back to him. soup frog. I got to boil <laughs> you slowly. Like the stories. Like, man, could Boba have found any singular person that's more useful? Than Fennec? No, probably not. Why would you want robots cooking food? Don't you want someone who can taste it to cook your food? Oh. Well, I mean, if the robot is programmed and understands the recipe, the combo, he doesn't need to taste it. He'll know how well, to make it. Well, one of well, that's what Gordon Ramsay I always says is you should well, taste the food to make sure. Food. Yeah. I am literally just a chef. Do not kill me. All right. Just no, shoot it's it. It's gonna be a fucking. It's gonna do. It's General Grievous! <laughs> it is legit General doing Grievous. that. Just shoot it with your gun! No, that's silly. <laughs> okay. Why? Slit its throat. Slit its Sorry, robot throat. Slit its throat. <laughs> that... No, the salad. It's Just start making food. Pretend you belong here. <laughs> oh, another little robot. What is this? That's a droid. What the fuck is that one supposed to do? Is that the alarm robot? How did wow. you miss? What are we, what are we, what are we doing? So what is this? What are we doing? Use your- Cool! Use your gun! Yeah, at this you... point... Isn't that alarm enough by now? <clears throat> Why are we watching Boba Fett try and catch the little- Oh, hey, the frogs got away. What are we- <sighs> What is this cartoon shit? Where did you come from? Gotcha. You won't have the balls to kill it, will he? Who I am? Yeah, because they made it cute, so they're not gonna kill it. Yeah. I am Boba Fett. Shut up! Okay. We all know you're Boba Fett, mate. Oh, wow. Turned oh, so itself slighted. off. Turned itself off. Boba. Press the button again. I guess can he assumes someone else will turn it on later? Or maybe there's an internal well, switch that it can... Because it's still, like, a, it there's still no... exists. Like, it's storing data. Exactly. There's no, there's no reason to not destroy that thing, really. It's, it's so cute. bad. This is the worst possible way that assaulting Jabba's palace could be. But it was fun. Look, it's Slave One! It's the starship Slave One! No, I don't think that's what it's called, Rags. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Rags, they wouldn't want to associate Star Wars with slavery. <laughs> that's true, they would never want to make that happen. <laughs> we wouldn't want that. Oh no, more things without guns. Why don't you go to the left of Slave One? It's not called Slave One, it's Fire Spray. I like <laughs> that just, that just if dumb. you're at range and you have a gun, they can't do shit. Why are oh, you not yeah, using your advantage? What are what? you doing? Why? What? Why are you punching you, them? How are you <laughs> punching a Gamorrean guard out, what? you scrawny little woman? You have guns. Use the guns. You're risking less Oh, they're sound. here. Oh, oh, here we go. They Finally. showed up and started shooting. I can't wait for them both to be killed. Very easily. Hey, at least you're utilizing cover. To be fair, this is where she should dominate. Why are you leaving cover entirely to shoot? That's what I mean, this is where you're supposed to try and write something that impresses Get the ship us. And leave. About you're not even using game. your sights, you're just pointing. I guess it was unlocked. That's good. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, what? Just you leave that has now. In it. How do they get out of the gate? Isn't the gate closed? Oh, I guess they all forgot she was there. Oh, wow. that explodes Why? when you shoot it? Wow, what was in the... there that explodes? I'm surprised they had the balls to kill a gong droid. We, no. we need to move our exploding robot into the middle of this battle. <laughs> I'm just waiting for one of them to be like, Boba, you could have just fucking asked. Oh, God, give that guy a raise. Fight? Is he going to weigh it down? Why were you not faster? Oh. All right, so that's taken care of. Okay. Yep. The Morians have, like... Ow, no, oh, no, wow. that will fuck your spaceship up. That's bad. No, no, that's like stone. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, no, Boba Fett. What are you doing? I guess Slave 1 is made of Beskar. <laughs> uh, it probably is at this point. Well, yeah, you're driving into a okay. wall, I think. <laughs> like, that's more so the problem. What are you oh, doing with your arms? Cool fighter stance? What are you doing with your arms? She had stomach surgery hours ago. No, not my rifle. Yeah, that's right. Cane. You better. You want to take that? Yeah. Wow! Holy fuck! Mm-hmm. Very good shot. Hey, she's Fennec. <laughs> what was that shot? Uh, she's How cool. Yeah, I knew that. What is it that she even shot? A weight that stops the door from. I don't. Fuck off. How is that weight anything close to the weight of that door? I don't know. It's made of best <laughs> What the fuck's the rest of the episode about? I don't care. Well, remember the 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 the, the fish guys? They come in a Tatooine to take oh, yeah, over I guess the pike. 
we'll get future times. Oh, I'm so Guys, bored. you know, they grew up surrounded by water. Shouldn't you double check to make sure that it's space worthy? Like, seriously, no, it's been a long, it's been a while. And you, you should really check. into a wall. Yeah, you could have structural integrity issues. Where would you like to be dropped? I'll go for the ride. Don't you have things to do? No, uh, apparently not. Um, all right. I well. hope they give us more than that before the season ends. She, the she couldn't even say something like, flashbacks. well, I've, I've got some business on Axios Prime 8 or whatever. And she's like, oh, well, I've got something there, too. I'll hang with you until we get there or something. Something. Wait, where, oh, what's is happening he just going to go ahead oh. and shoot the fuck out of the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that okay. Is. yeah. That's okay. That's what we're doing. Oh, wow. It's just funny that he's decided they're evil and worthy of erasure compared to anyone else. <laughs> what? How do you know these are the ones? How do you even know? <laughs> Whatever. That seems like a waste. Imagine that was if a waste. One, of these, one of these guys as he was dying was like, those Tuskins, they, they kidnapped my brother. They, they probably him, did they kidnap his brother. They probably did. And you yeah, killed me. I mean, that's probably She's not. She doesn't even know the context. <laughs> oh, I, you, you I guess that's the revenge guys. I guess he told her. Sound effects. Are you gonna no, kill the Sarlacc? <laughs> it's not- Drop a grenade oh, in there. No. Surely- He, actually, he might he actually- Is he, gonna is he really Sarlacc? gonna shoot the Sarlacc? He is. He is. You shouldn't have eaten me. <laughs> this is a scene that's happening. This is what an actual scene doing? that's occurring. You're taking revenge on what is essentially just this creature that exists to eat. Really? The Sarlacc pit. That's where I was trapped all those years ago. Years ago? Oh, years ago? Where I was trapped years ago? Were you with the Tuskens for years? said so his armor is in there, Probably so. No, he's looking for his armor. How would it, why would his armor be in there? It's not, it's not, you crawled out with it. He Don't knows the jar was took it. armor on. Do you not have clear recollection of this event? He literally knows the jar was took it. This scene is happening. Yeah. We're watching this. What are we this. doing? We're watching I, I really needed a, a Starlight POV shot. Oh great, now I'm blocking out all the lights so I can't see shit. He can generate one, right? He can like turn on a light. What are we doing? I can't see a thing. No, no, <laughs> no shit! You're <laughs> blocking off the light, you fool! <laughs> why do you think your armor's in here? You know the jaw was took why it. Is it why is it out so with open? It? Why, why is it like a gaping hole? I thought it had a mouth. Well, also, mouth. I it had a beak? A mouth that was yeah. yeah. On the extended editions, it does it does have a beak that comes out. Yeah. It's it, was be never this, it was never beak. just a wide gaping anus. Yeah, the jump scare is going to be the beak. Yeah. If they've decided the beak is canon, they might not have. Oh. Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah. Well, the beak is canon. It made the noise! Oh, come the <laughs> fuck on! Oh, it's it is spaceship. not more powerful I'm sorry. than a starship! I'm sorry? <laughs> yes, your that ship is, is just strong. simply not powerful enough. Okay, this starship... You know, it's stronger than the, the, the rocks travel. that Jabba's palace is built out of, <laughs> but not... <laughs> uh, not a little tentacle. How do you know what that button does? Yo, I guess he told her. <laughs> In between scenes. This is ridiculous. This is the Sarlacc pit button. If we're ever eaten by a Sarlacc, I want you to press the black button. I love that the problem is that she can't reach the button. When you're building this button, I need you to put it Why would you have so a button that is not acceptable? Oh, oh, it's a seismic charge. No. Dude. Oh. Dude. That was that the most insane. dangerous oh. fucking they played oh, wow. Fucking, they played the fucking death star blowing up music. Good thing it was oriented that way. Good Jesus. God, Boba Fett is cringe. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe, look at the way the, sh the ship is facing. No way lo losing a seismic charge was a good idea. That could have killed them. Yeah. I know, I, it's it a good, like killed. I said, it's a really good thing that thing was oriented horizontally. Huh. <sighs> and but like, just it, to be clear, it, the Sarlacc it, pit is stronger than the, the, the Slave One's thrusters. Yes. That's insane. Which is pretty unreal. I just can't believe that it, it booped out, rolled off the ship, rolled under the thing, into the Salak's mouth. Like, yeah. really? How fucking lucky. And he went inside to look. Why? You know the jaw was having oh, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry, just to be clear it, as well, now it's canon that the um now that it now it's canon that you can't reach the seismic charge button from the pilot seat. Why <laughs> would you design a ship that way? Yep, I don't true. know why you would have the seismic charge button. But we saw it in the in the in the what are you pouring on him? Well, I think it was you grew up surrounded by water. <laughs> <laughs> you should have taken like your robe and stuff off before this, you got it all gunk. Sucks. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. How why is it this bad? How many times have you been hired to do a job that was avoidable? They only took the time to think. 
How many lives could have been saved? Why do you care about that? Oh my god, new boba sucks. I'm tired of our kind dying because of the idiocy of others. It's no, not, that was that you. was you. You were the one who picked the main Cut your gun in half. Joppa didn't tell you to kill yourself. I'm going to start a house. I need brains and muscle. <laughs> well, you're out of neither. <laughs> yeah. You have both. No, she has neither. Oh my god. Living with the Tuscans has made you soft. Oh my god, she's so right. Stupid Shouldn't and weird. have. No. Maybe strong. It's made me strong. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> can only get so far without a tribe. Oh, uh, shut up. No, it's not uh. true! You're living proof that's not true! <laughs> if... Uh. Oh. Is that them saying we're done? We've caught up. Maybe. God. Because, I guess they got the rest of the palace because, Yeah, because he got the armor in Mandalorian, so we're done now. And she agreed to be with him because he said, I'll, kick, I'll look after you. Which is something that you get from your fucking employer anyway. Especially if your employer wants you to actually succeed. There you go, he's fully healed, we're good. He's right by an open window, someone could just... Yep. Like, hop in and take all of his stuff. This is not where you want to be. You are completely healed. No, there's uh -huh. clearly a scar oh. in between the, in his forehead right but there. The scars on the inside. Oh. No, but there's... Okay. Alright, there's clearly a scar he's on your forehead, a, he's but... He's wearing a different kind of panties today. Nice. Oh! oh that's the kind of luxury you get as a crime lord. Still, Many panties. No hey, hey Max Rebo! Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's on our head? I like how he's got a little visor there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> it's great. Uh, he's oh, there he is. Like so what's he's this? like, man, I am shit at my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that would- no, you would've just spilled that all over your face. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, there was no there was liquid in there. in there. Why is he so angry? Said at these Trandoshans who are having fun, he's like, I hate fun. I hate fun. <laughs> oh, that one, had, that one had right. CGI water in it. Is that not CGI a- CGI water is my favorite bad? kind of water. Dude, careful spilling water everywhere while wearing your stupid electric knuckles. <laughs> yeah. They're happy, they're having a good time. What are oh, you doing? Are you right. drunk? There must be beef rags, there must be so much beef between him and this Trandoshan. <laughs> Why are you upset? Not the um, ficus! Ow! These poor people! Security! Well, Security! Isn't this Boba Fett's place? Like he owns this yeah, or whatever? This doesn't happen, yeah. right? This is the for business. Do something, Security with please? Guns. He's assaulting the patrons! Shoot him. Shoot him. Does the casino- does this casino not have, like, guards? I want to help my friends. You're beating them up. This guy's a hero. He's like, oh, I gotta help my friends. I think you've made your point. What point? Oh, oh that's, I need to stop the woman the is talking. <laughs> Why are you what? saying that? Oh, there he goes. Angered them because he was a slave or whatever. You were a legend. Exposition. Sand and drew crowds yeah. by the thousands. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, your knuckle dusters are more feared than blasters. Bullshit. No, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> Fuck off. No way. God, you're wow, just not even trying to lie. Oh, this, like, what a fun this time. is so cringe. Well, this is... I like the eyelids, how there's like two levels of side. eyelids. Yeah, that, that was a cool <laughs> eyelid. I'm glad that I like, appreciate them. I just feel sorry for these these guys who are having a great time with their friends. I will wipe your debt off the books. He, oh, he's man. he's assaulting everybody. I'm I assume sorry. you're lying. I'm sorry. Do you get the reward? That's the reward that you get for assaulting all the people. Oh, beat everyone up. I'm gonna <laughs> make it. All of these people in he's the bar be lying. are thinking, "Oh, if I beat a load of people up, I can get my bar tab removed too." Oh. Oh my God! What the fuck? <laughs> yes. Well, so he's going what? to jail, no, right? No, you can't do that. Is he not going to jail? Is no. he allowed to do that? These poor Trandoshans. They were having such a good time, and then this guy just what Bombs the fuck? What, and he just leaves? Why did you come what, here, Boba? What, what, what did what, you- what? what? Oh, Max, just get back to work. What are we doing? What the fuck was that? Looks like you could use a job. Oh, oh man. Man. There, there we go. go. Just how, like, like everyone the else. work with Boba Fett is to do something wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> deal for people, rip off their yeah. arms. Hey, you want a job? Boba oh, Fett the band of, of chuckle fucks. <laughs> His reign ended in a ball of fire on the Dune Sea, and then... Fiona the ball of fire apparently did not get Bib Fortuna. You were all once <laughs> captains under Oh, it's been funny. This should have been an episode. What do you mean, right one. to the throne? What does oh, that even mean, right to the yeah. throne? He just shot him and said, I'm taking over. But were thwarted by his guile and treachery. The helm on. Mm -mm. I'm here to make a proposal that's mutually beneficial. The Pike Syndicate are mustering troops in Mos Espa and are draining Tatooine of its wealth. 
Why do you deserve to be the Daimyo? Yeah, it's a good question. What prevents us all from killing you? Nothing really. What we want. Yeah, nothing really. Oh, uh, that okay. seems dangerous. A a rancor? The How big is that Rancor by Dude, now? Dude, he's mm -hmm. fucking giving a job to the stupid little droid, too. <laughs> That That's Rancor is like not a, that big. Yeah. That Rancor cannot not, reach no, up they're there. They're not on the trapdoor anymore, so Please. what now? Sit. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> yeah, be sitting no. anywhere fucking near that, are you kidding me? I'll stab. Like, I guess sit. the <laughs> point is that Boba Fett's on it, so it's okay if they're on it. Fuck if, that! Boba Fett owns conflict. the creature. I know, I, I'm trying to make, make sense of it. Oh, have this is a world where people eat chicken with gloves on. I try to make sense of this world. Since when can that fucker translate? I thought that was his point. I thought that's what he was for. No, they said the first episode they don't have a protocol droid to translate and now oh. that fucker is translating did you catch any of that something about friendship we really need a protocol droid master garfollowquox asks what it is that you are proposing yes i love that I yes fight, i will vanquish these interlopers who threaten our planet all I ask in return is that you remain neutral. You you have not made any offer to them. You, you have, haven't. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. He's not on the trap door, by the way. He's not on the trap door. Oh. You okay. you haven't offered the them anything. Slide. Why did they agree to like, come? Like that guy makes a really good yeah. point. I don't know. Why did they agree to sit on the rank or? Trap Why is it acceptable? Door? Why is it acceptable? Mm -hmm. I assume the they're lying. I abide. Why? Oh, okay. Why? Maybe why? Yeah, like Maybe actually, why? Maybe they're all lying. They. How do the creatures with ball sack mouths drink? Well, with their balls. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. Sand you literally just killed them all if he wanted to. Do you trust them? Well, yeah, they all voluntarily sat on the trust rank order. The prepare for war. Keep saying that. I have plenty of credits. What I'm short on is muscle. Credits can buy muscle. Oh, $20. I wanted a peanut. $20 can buy many peanuts. Explain how. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Woohoo! Money can be exchanged for goods and services. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh, okay. That's Mando's music. That's the, that's the noise. Mm -hmm. That's Mando's music. He's gonna oh, they, they're gonna, so yeah, they're they're gonna, gonna hire Mando. Hire Mando. Out. Uh, oh, boy! Mm. Oh, shit. So, hang on, just to be clear, I want to get this out of the way. The first question was, what's stopping us from just killing you? It's like, you're sitting on the Rancor door. And the next question is, what's stopping us from moving slightly to the left? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I was like, oh, I'm, uh, okay, I can't do anything about that. I guess he got us. I can't believe how we rushed through his, like, entire relationship with Fennec, but we spent, like, 5,000 episodes with the stupid Tuscans. The Tuscans. Yeah. Oh, it's so lame. She can speak! Concept art's always so much more interesting. It feels like so... Characters say things that have nothing to do with what's going on and don't address the root issue. It's like what we're seeing versus what the characters talk about is entirely dissonant. Don't... What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I do like how Boba just keeps employing people who break the rules and break the law and- And have previously tried to kill him. Things. They're always- they're yeah. always top of the list. Jeez. Going by what we've been shown, I'm pretty sure the, the show is trying to say we're not getting any more flashbacks. I really hope I we're think not. So. That was time that we've spent on the present day story. What is it? Maybe like 50 minutes out of the last four episodes. Like, it feels like less than half of the show. And I'm pretty sure yeah. that it is categorically less than half of the show at this point is present day mm. story. And that's a choice that you can make. I don't Most know of episode why, three though. was present day. You know, we got all that stuff about the bike. Well, yeah, but episode two was the long. I think episode two was like 50. 50 minutes or something and that was that was like like 90 percent uh the tuscans spent a lot of time with the tuscans in episode two and eventually we just don't have anything really to we show have for a it. very short amount of time there's seven episodes which is short oh. for a television show they're not all 50 minutes some of them are really some of, i think the first episode was only like 35 minutes yeah we don't have a lot of time and we've wasted a lot of time on things that we didn't need. And it seems like the, um, yeah, I, I guess the whole point of the Tuscans was just so that Boba could say, I'm merciful now I'm and different. weak yeah, and soft. And... But again, if it, it's really odd. You know how like when you talk about a story that comes along and it kind of forgets what actually happened when it totally recontextualizes events. This is like within the same show. The Tuscans abducted you and tried to make you a slave. They didn't take you in. They only took you in after you provided them with some utility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was with them for years, which it didn't feel that way at all. 
No, I oh, thought yeah. it was just like a week. <clears throat> it did seem like a week. It seemed like so and half of that was in slavery. And then he <laughs> had his you trip. Want even more. He spent years with them. Why? Yeah, years. And he's he wore the fucking clothes the whole time. Apparently, because he's a he had the same clothes on this whole time. Stinky boy. Din Djarin in the next episode. How exciting! That's really cool. We haven't crawled out of that pit where everything's just sort of things just sort of happen, and there's no logical progression of any event, be it big or small. Chasing droids in a kitchen. Oh, and just um, like every fight, nothing just seems to make sense. I don't. What even was the point of the Sarlacc scene? Like, what did that contribute to the story other than establishing we that the characters are morons? The seismic charge blew up. With the Sarlacc pit. Oh, is that, is that all it was for? Yeah. Isn't it really I, fucking I, I, cool that yes. he, that he forced so it a made, seismic charge down the Sarlacc's throat? How fucking cool is that? Made, made all the yeah, characters really was, stupid. Because he was um, looking for the, the armor that he lost in there, even though he, he crawled out looking... with it. And was You're awake when they got. Like, do, does, taken what does away. he think happened? Does he think he took his armor off and then left the Sarlacc? Like what? I was gonna say, for some reason, he's forgotten he had the armor on, and he's forgotten the jar was uh, knocked him out. Well, yeah. like, what what happened in his mind? Did he? He's like, okay, Nothing's I'm stuck in the Sarlacc. In Step one: strip off. Step two: escape. <laughs> we thought he was there just to kill the Sarlacc because he's a bitter yeah. old man. <laughs> he sees it all as like I hated my job as a bounty hunter because I hated working for people who didn't care if I lived or died or, or got me killed. And it's like, you know, that's kind of rare. They usually tell you what the job is, you can accept, and then it's your fucking yeah. like it's on you how yeah. you conduct the yeah, job. Yeah, in fact, generally your employers, especially because you're Boba Fett, they will set you up for success because they want the job finished. I know in Disney World or whatever Star Wars is now, I guess that just that makes sense, yeah. so it's not gonna happen. But if people want, it's like the army of the dead thing. If you want someone to complete a job, you want to tell them relevant information and you yep. want to give them the equipment they need to do it. And you're certainly not going to go out of your way to hide your true intentions to tell them to do a thing that will get them killed for some reason. You I mean, hire people because I mean, you want them to succeed. And yeah, you don't want them dead. Like, like the idea that he's like, oh, you know, Darth Vader never would have cared about me. It's like, I mean, he wants you alive. You're useful. So you can, yeah. Maybe Disney writing Darth Vader, he would have cared. Disney writing Darth Vader, he would have been like, Oh, but I think I love you. And they're back to tank. Oh, yes. Oh, no. In Darth Vader's black dome, they would have <laughs> yeah. filled up from the, yeah, it would have filled up and it would have been like come. Cirque du Soleil in there. Kiss me in the back to tank. That's what the episode's name. Would you? How can you kiss in a back to tank? Uh, you got those little mouth things on. Oh, you, you take do... it off for a moment. Yeah. Uh. You stick it in your butt. And it... <laughs> 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 it really is just. It's Mind awful. fails me to comprehend what I was what I was watching. <sighs> the Sarlacc is stronger than the engines on this starship. Yeah, well, you know the Star the Sarlacc is pretty strong, right? Clearly, you know, you very. Clearly, strong. don't understand Star Wars lore if you don't know. Wasn't that. it? I'm sorry. Yeah. Wasn't it struggling to pull Lando inside of it? But apparently, it can pull in a starship against its engine thrust power. <laughs> That makes sense, doesn't it? Lando's really strong. He's got big muscles. Oh, oh my goodness. I think the argument from judges from watching it, I think they want to say the button's in range of Boba, but he can't press it because he's just desperately holding on to the thrusters to push them back. But at that point, you're just like, wait, why isn't it? Why isn't the seismic charge drop a button you can reach from like because tension. your controls? And then because like she's in the, I guess, co, I don't even know if it's co-pilot. I can't tell. Yeah, I guess co-pilot. But the sure. way she reaches for it, it looks like it would be out of range for her if she were in the pilot seat anyway. Or, or else she just tell Boba Fett to do it. Which he I'm sorry, be the like, way what I are said you size... doing? Are you crazy? The... That would never yeah, work because of the angle we're at. Yeah, if it deploys from the back, and what if it rolls onto the engine? What if it yeah. just didn't, like, the way it projects, it, like, it, it goes there. boop, and then it very luckily slides down, slides, slides, and then drops right into where they need it. It's like, oh, you lucky fuckers. And then it explodes at the right orientation. Oh yeah. boy. I remember in Rogue Squadron yeah. when you had the seismic charges, whenever you you shot them out or dropped them, they would always be oriented the same way so you could align it to where you wanted it to be, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but this is just sort of, it, it's kind of like in Mando when they used it. It just so happens to be at the right orientation and goes off at the exact right time to do the things it needs to do. Whereas you don't even really, you, when it was used in the asteroid field, it doesn't really matter what the orientation was. It's going to blow up rocks and create yeah, asteroid far enough away. going in all directions. Episode bad. 
That was yeah. really, really bad. Yeah, jeez. But uh, we got and three left. War. Yeah! yeah, Mando, he's coming. And then Han so Solo's going to come too. Everyone's going to come. No. Ma Mando Solo. Oh my gosh. Boba Fett episode four. Whoa. Absolute travesty. Trash fire. And I bet people love this. I bet people love it. <sighs> okay, bye. What you bring me? Here we go, episode five. Get excited. I don't want to be here. Oh. I said get excited. I... That's an order. No. no. I am. I'm I like... refuse to be Pardon? excited. There was me thinking, we get together to watch this amazing show, and then you're like, ooh. Ooh, fun no, isn't no. allowed. See, I had a long work day. It was pretty busy, and all me, I'm getting me, me, me. Or, I, 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 all I'm all I'm getting is stupid Boba Fett. Stupid Boba Fett. He's quite yeah. smart. I'll have you know. <laughs> He's smart yeah. at being stupid. Whoa! I didn't know you can be that stupid. He hey, Mewfly, remember how we watched Arcane last night? That was great. Oh. And now I have to watch this, which won't be great. Are you so, saying that yay. Arcane is better than Book of... I can't even finish the sentence, that's absurd. It's a little bit better, just a little bit. Wow. Just a tiny little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit better. You're just biased because you play games. Yeah, you're nitpicking I, too. I nitpick and play games. Sometimes I do that at the same time. Yeah, nitpicking right. is the N-word. Um, <laughs> that's philosophical, I would say. Just some memes. Some memes I want to show you guys. I'm excited so, for memes. Are there any of them about yeah. here? So this one, actually yes, um, this one got real high up on the Star Wars memes subreddit, which is a oh, normie hell. subreddit. That's why it got high up on there. See, it says, oh, not that one again. These dudes look like Power Rangers. They ruined Boba's character. Quit having fun. Wait, it's this like, is about the bikers, or? Well, it's just about being critical of the show. That apparently you're the annoying person while everyone's having fun, and it's just like this meme has never really made sense to me because it's like if you're complaining that they they like barge into conversations to interrupt people having fun, then yeah, sure, but that doesn't happen. It's forums. It's it's the, the, the idea would be that you've got someone who's like just upset by the idea that someone's enjoying themselves with the show, which I'm sure you get. I'm sure you do get that, just as, you know, you get lots of people doing whatever, right? I, f I feel like the, the comic, it's like an oxymoron, because the fact that you're posting it means that you're not ignoring that person. You're not sitting there just going <laughs> on the screen. Like, you know that they exist also, and it upset you. how about we try the reverse, where everyone's talking about how shit it is, and someone goes, uh, actually, he is in character? Actually, the Power Rangers are pretty fucking cool. Quit hating. Mm -hmm. God, you did it. Just right. like that. I wonder if that's that's probably allowed, though. That's probably okay. Anyway, I just, someone on the, uh. the mall subreddit made this. I, I just, I'm amused by it. Like, I feel sad how a lot of potential was wasted with Boba. Yeah, his character's quite different. There's a lot of weird spelling in this. If you compare it to previous sure. iterations, especially his dialogue's very weak. Interesting. I agree in concept. Like substantiate that claim. Also, resent additions feel like recent additions feel like uh, they clash tonally with Star Wars. Why you guys like this? Let me enjoy stuff, and then shows the meme. It's like, yeah, you can enjoy what you want. We're only discussing. Oh my god, new Marvel movie! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Moon. Knight. Gary, are you listening? Are you even interested in movie discussion? No. Okay. <laughs> new Star Wars thing. Yeah. New Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. New Star Wars. Yeah. Long time Let's ago, see. a galaxy far, far away. Bring, bring you this gift from the twins. <laughs> Perfectly healthy rancor. Is it made out of C4? No. No, it's not. Okay, <laughs> do you want to work for me? Book of Boba Fett and Gary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Boba's a very good job haver. Yes. I like the explosion signs on the rancor. No, safety first. Not. Man, safety first. <laughs> C4 is written on its belly as well. <laughs> Good stuff. Then, then there's this. I've tried to decipher this comic previously with no luck. So Frank's okay. Fair H2O, and you got the tanks are mostly empty. Father, I'm so hungry. Oh no! And he says, Oh god, please, not again. Oh, there's, there's an iguana. <laughs> okay. So. Um... So I guess the child, their crutch breaks, mm. yes. and that's that's bad. Little Tiny Tim had his crutch <clears throat> break. 
His father has a gun on the desk, like he's considering <laughs> suicide. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> I think. And then the iguana. I imagine the implication is like the reality of the water selling guy, but I don't get the final image. You know what I think? He broke his wooden, his wooden thingy, and now he has to use the nose guana to get a new stick. I think that's oh. a stretch, though, because it's like why specifically the iguana? <laughs> it that makes sense to me, though. That actually, that actually is like, oh, like. I, I actually see a narrative in, in this series of images now. What? what am I looking at with, I see the guy, and then the iguana, but what's underneath the iguana? What is all of that? It's his house, where he lives. <laughs> yeah, that's the little wicker pot that they keep him in. Okay, yeah. alright. <laughs> oh my god, this is foul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think nature is foul, Rags. It's beautiful. The truth oh, is beautiful. My. Just a little bit of hot cream. This is yeah. disgusting. It looks like that purple creature from the Grimace. Grimace. <laughs> Grimace. Grimace is melting. <laughs> oh, dog Grimace. The thing is, Raz, it has to lick up the cream, otherwise it, it'll run out. Like this, it's like a yeah. cycle. <laughs> what is Grimace's thing? Because I get like <laughs> McDonald is like the clown, and then you have the ham burglar, and he's dressed as a burglar. But what is Grimace what is, is Grimace? Grimace he's is big purple. purple. Grimace is a character featured in McDonald Land commercials. He is a rotund purple being of indeterminate species, <laughs> with short <laughs> arms and legs. He is known for his slow-witted demeanor. Imagine that's like one of the first things it says on your wiki page. <laughs> yeah, that's just the most important thing. Gotta get that out of the way. His most common expression is the word duh before every sentence. Uh. <laughs> oh, originally Grimace was the evil Grimace with two pairs of arms with which to steal milkshakes. But after that first campaign, the character was revised to be one of the good guys and his number of arms was reduced by two. Wow, it's like Disney wrote this. Honestly, they, they character assassinated anymore. Grimace. They did. They character assassinated <laughs> Grimace. Oh. Maybe Grimace fell in a Sarlacc pit and he no longer craved the milkshakes of other people. What is McDonald's it about pit. having four arms that's too villainous that when he's reformed, he has to be reduced to two arms? Yeah, I would rather be, I, I, if I was Grimace, I'd be very upset. I'd be like, okay, I, I get the character change, but don't take my limbs away from me. Or do you think they, do you think they like took him into a back room with yes. a saw? Said, let's a make you a hero, hero Grimace. Yeah. yeah, that was the stipulation of the new contract. And he really needed a job. His family was starving. They Audiences. couldn't afford water. Audiences don't respond to four-armed heroes. They just, it's just no. Nope, I couldn't that. afford water, but what he needed is some hero to go and reduce the price of water on his behalf. So I'll show you this picture, and we can discuss. So there is a a chest full of hamburgers. Some of them are cheeseburgers. Mm. We have the ham burglar. I assume this is the chest where he keeps all of his stolen hamburgers, much like a Pokemon and a Pokeball. We have anthropomorphic fries, milkshake, and another burger. This one's dressed. The others are naked. You Why can is there see a their fucking buttons. duck? There is a duck on the left. Whoa, what the fuck is just the... What is the fucking the shadow, shadow creature in the background? <laughs> we don't talk about Mr. Grin. I thought right? this was leading up to the shadow. So He's I just like saying Uncle anything. Weston or something. <laughs> his name is... Yeah, it's <laughs> he's just the shadow. <laughs> All I can think of is like the, the custard and the, the, the custard. I was about to say custard and matchup. Ketchup <laughs> and, and mustard. Matchup. <laughs> Ketchup and mustard. The shadow creature is actually just representative of all the gunk and grease inside of a McDonald's kitchen. Mm. And that's the creature that forms. It's it's kind of like Grave Mind. We also have a pirate with a parrot on his shoulder. The parrot looks like he's going to fall down in a second. That's a... Uh, but maybe that's the oh, water one. Good grip. I don't know. I prefer Pirate the idea that they all just the there's a sitcom in a big house, and Uncle Weston is just this this creature that moves by every once in a while, and they acknowledge him, but they never speak to him. The sitcom should be they have to run a McDonald's, and everyone has all their jobs and stuff to do, and they have to deal with the wacky shenanigans of the customers in this upside down, topsy turvy world where hamburgers are sentient. Dude, that's dark. Actually, do the hamburgers have to reproduce to make children? Even the chicken nuggets have eyes on them. That night. Nigel Thornberry has there mm -hmm. all of the chickens the chicken nuggets have eyes they're like it's like a family I think he's like a nugget arranged. scientist it makes it when, when you've done too doctor. much world building and the, the the food is creatures now yeah like he's a he's a Nazi scientist who escaped oh no uh the Nuremberg trials and now he's performing experiments on chicken biomass anyone who would guess that timestamp for the rags Nazi clock 
<laughs> Bingo. You get you get ten pooch points. You want to keep point. those. You want to save those for later. However, it all makes sense in the lore that this gentleman is actually an escaped Nazi scientist because, of course, he went to find a job with the whitest creature he could find, Ronald McDonald. <laughs> He's pretty what yellow. If Ro- what if Ronald McDonald is actually red, and that's the only <laughs> part of his skin that doesn't have makeup on it? <laughs> 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 some, he blends in with the background. Oh, he's, he's, my eyes Ronald, are McDonald's get naked. here. What's you happening? I love looking at the pic- the family picture every once in a while. Just my eyes drift to Uncle Weston. Like he's just he's just there, so <laughs> vacant. There. <laughs> no one remembers him arriving or leaving. <laughs> but he's on really good terms with Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> him and Grimace get along. He's like the liaison for Mister Shadow or whatever his fucking name is. Grimace, like, what what is Mister Shadow? Okay, is he is he all right? Duh, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, he says so. He says he hates one of you in particular, but he, he's not specific. <laughs> he's very passive aggressive. He won't turn up to any of the parties, but he'll go to Grimace's birthday. He says he watches us while we sleep. So anyway. We're here to watch the book of Boba Fett. Oh, no. another Boba Fett meme. God, he, I don't even remember him saying this. There's an advantage of looking at dead, and then you, you have him literally like making sure the robot understands he is, <laughs> he is Boba <laughs> But uh, why? Robofet. Robofet. <laughs> Man, we're nice. on a roll today. Matchup and custard. Mm, custard. I will play these clips side by side to make sure this is actually a thing that happened, because I didn't even know. That sounds really stupid. Sounds like someone who wrote this wasn't thinking straight, you know? Maybe? Yeah. There's an advantage to people thinking you're dead. Do you know who I am? <laughs> I am Boba Fett. <laughs> Wow, that was an amazing clip. I didn't know. I guess he did say that. Wow. Wow, it must he did. Have been. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> 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 he would be happy with that. That's great. Apparently, you know, the, 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 I figure this would happen because it's such a great painting. But um, they're going to turn that into an NFT, you know. and Wombo and... painting an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw it. But, I grew uh, up surrounded by NFTs. The one made an adaptation of the image, which I think is very accurate. Oh, oh wow, nice. that's great. Let's see. Look at him. I stand with the lower class. class. (laughs) Very classy. I like that a lot. That's awesome. He's thick as a cane. (laughs) And yeah, the only thing I got left before we started up is actually a video. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. I can can believe that. Oh, there there it goes. Wait. But bo- Book of Boba Fett spoilers. Look at the title, man. Come on. It's too oh, late. Yeah. For <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I got wiped out while he was gone. That's actually really fucking sad. Oh, I like cry. where this is going. Massacred them. Should have seen what Anakin did to them, bro. You really would have been mad then. What about the chief, the battle master? The battle master. Battle master. <laughs> no. Oh no, not no. him. Oh my God, they killed the chief. I don't think anyone survived. They kill everybody. They ain't let no one live. Rest in peace to the most misunderstood clan. Uh, oh, fuck off. Can we go get let? Like, like, oh, just, fucking, no, just, the I, opening I, I, scene uh, is them enslaving and beating him with sticks. <laughs> like, it's sorry, okay. Like, it's, I, it's, I that's, their, that's their culture, Jay. Misunderstood. I don't buy the reactions. Most of them, anyway. What do you reckon they're fake? I'm just not sold on it. I don't think it's mm. fake. I just don't think that you care that much. Not really. Some of these people like, need well, to so slip off a cliff at Hitler's I, 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 I would posit that they ha- they know what reactions they're supposed to have at what scenes. And they knowing that, well, like something sad happening with sad music, they're like, I should probably I should probably cry. I should probably tell Anything is possible, right? Because it could also just be working on them. I doubt it. Yeah. But okay. Mahler, we just co- no, we Mahler, just covered Mahler, a video. This, is working, this show is working on loads of people. They literally defended slavery in the last EFAB video we watched. That's true. <laughs> um it reminds me of the um the Blood on Shield thing where it's just like, man, they just they just tell you what to feel with the shots and the music, right? That's it. It doesn't matter what's yeah, happening. That's what they do. Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yes! I hope they suffer. Oh, I'm so <laughs> fucking happy. Thank God. No one, no more people are gonna get tortured. Are they gonna slave? This shows like this is terrible. I'm like, no. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Sweet. That's a different one. Those Tuscans walk like men, but they're vicious, mindless monsters. He's, he's, he's you know, he's, he's biased. watching them. <laughs> Every day they came in and tortured her a bit more, prodding her with sharp spears, slicing her body, or beating her with the blunt shafts and short whips. It was more than a desire to inflict pain, Shmi realized, though she didn't speak their croaker language. This was the Tuscan way of measuring their enemies, and from the nods and the tone of their voices, she realized that her resilience had impressed them. He could feel her wheezing as she tried to speak, and knew that many of her ribs had been crushed. <laughs> You're an idiot. 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 You guys are fine. And you two <laughs> are the most mind-numbingly brain-dead ding-dongs I've ever encountered in all my life. And I'll see you in my office. Hello there, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Hi. We've been Anything. through this a couple of times where it's like, humanizing the Tuscans. Now that's cool. You can do that. Because I'm sure, you know, they've got their own stuff going on. I'm sure they're not all evil. Like, they're smart enough to, like, wear clothes and use blasters, right? Like... They like each they other. Must be, There's gotta be something there, you know? Yeah. Like, there must be something to... There must be something to them, right? They must have their own thoughts and their own feelings and all that, right? Whatever they've got going on, on, on under that... Like, they're not literally animals. They are people of a like like right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you can you can you can explore what they've got going on i don't understand why we're acting like even the ones from book of boba fett are, are cool now like if they want to show us like a cool group of tuscans to be like hashtag not all tuscans don't start <laughs> by having them enslave boba when they dragged him across the desert the sand with a sandstorm happening it's like he could have died they wouldn't really have, slowly. Yeah. They wouldn't have given a shit. They would have just gone and captured someone else. Yeah. Clearly, the slaves are disposable with how cruelly they treat them. Ah. We'll vanquish these interlopers who threaten our planet. That's yeah, it's time to vanquish some fucking interlopers. Neutral. Yeah, if fuck them. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember that conversation where he's like, don't betray me, and then they're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Remember when our friends were assaulted and their arm was ripped off, and you didn't, and then you hired the guy, and he's right over there? What's up with that, Boba Fett? Are you assuming that they're friends just because they look alike, Rags? Wow. <laughs> they actually hated those they, guys. Ugh, yeah, I guess. Those jerks having fun. Our our culture despises fun. Oh, I'm, I We're just an realized we didn't do culture. comment showcase. I forgot. Oh, god damn it! Could we do? Would you pause and do it? I guess it's too late. We'll do a double no, one isn't. next time. <laughs> oh boy! Do it after the end of the episode. We're, we're, the episode well, hadn't no. even started yet. I haven't collected the comments, I'm afraid. Oh, that's uh, okay. Ooh, meat. Yum. I love me some meat. Meat is so, like, we just got like a regular old butcher like place in the Star Wars. World. It looks <laughs> looks so normal, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks so I guess normal. on Tatooine, I guess that's how you do it. Somehow People, I doubt just, this is on Tatooine, but evil maybe. People here. Because it's because it's for... um honestly I think it's just because we're blue color makes it feel like it's not. Uh -huh. No. Yeah. He just stands there so everyone can see him, and then he comes through. Dude, so he's so cool, better. right? Come on. I, I would like to meat. purchase some meat. <laughs> they did that damn. <laughs> I, I want, want some. Feel like everything beef. he does, if he turned on the fucking light, it would go. <laughs> when he finishes peeing, it would make that sound. When he ejaculates. <laughs> this is very exciting. Yeah, this is really cool. How well, he's we got it. We got to fill time, so. Man, the cape doesn't work when you're wearing the jetpack, huh? You just have to, like, move it down to yeah, the side. Yeah, that's the weird one. Yeah. It ca must catch on fire often. Blocked. No, it's made of, uh, flame... I'm here for ...resistant, retardant. What makes you think he's here? Oh, don't bring it- <laughs> No, <laughs> no those things! What do you want of him? He owes someone important money. Important money? Important, important money. money, yeah. Unimportant mm -hmm. money. If I see him, I'll let him know. It must be hard to talk with yeah, that you can tell. stuff on your face. Mm -hmm. I see him right now. <laughs> <laughs> the 
That doesn't even look like me. He can't. How is the spear connected to him? They're not going. Magnets. Magnets. Way! Best, best gun magnet. Oh, he's indestructible. That's a fight scene's gonna be dumb. But you look like the practical type. Let's discuss our options. Oh, oh god, the music. He's really ah. struggling to talk. I can bring you in warm. Oh. Duh. I can bring you in cold. That's so cringe. What the hell? <laughs> Look at this! What a chat! <laughs> he bit him. Uh-huh. Yeah. How do you manage it? Oh, to oh god, he's parts. Why did you... Oh, he has a dark saber. That's so cool! Everybody aimed for his armor again. What? What? Wait, he oh my god, himself? he got shot! I think he cut himself. I th I, it oh, looked that's... like he did it to himself, yeah. Oh, that's stupid. Stop hit! All you gotta do is hit his asterisk! <laughs> We're moving towards him! You know- <sighs> Wait, now you gotta take both halves in. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be annoying. You're so lucky the plot can't have you fail. Honestly, I People leave. are screaming when they see this. It's At embarrassing. Least somebody bit him. It's funny. <laughs> Oh, I guess he's got the head. Oh. Yeah. Yes. I have no trouble with any of you. Whoa, There's they had a drop of blood there. The balls. Wow. The right it's to. green, so it's fine. You all can help yourselves to whatever you think you deserve from your former employer. Okay, I guess this business is done, or is it closing now? Uh, you, wait, do they think that everybody is here to protect the boss, or I just work here, yo? Help yourselves what you think you deserve. It's like, didn't the guy owe shit tons of money? I mean, he doesn't really have any. I don't know. They just maybe he was spending money on expensive stuff, and that's why he owes it all. There's loads of expensive stuff back there. Okay, so it's clearly going to be significant that Mando has a a, a limp. It's just straight up called Return of the Mandalorian. Fuck off. No. <laughs> He's been gone for like six months. Well. Oh my gosh, we're in space in Star Wars. Oh, oh my shit, god, it's you're Halo. Right. Well, it's Halo. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell is this? Glad we're off fucking Tatooine. Yeah, I was gonna say. Is, well, it's because oh, Mando's in the episode. Now we get to do other things. Sort of it's interesting. Genuinely a Halo ring. Looks like it's moving a bit fast to be day night. I guess there's a. Your fastest going. Holy shit. Yeah, it's gone way too fast. fast. Look, there's it's about to be daytime for Mando dark, again. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, the lights. Yeah, the lights seem really odd. Is the daylight why, cycle yeah, for the creatures so on this planet super quick? Like they go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep, wake up. Well, oh, the blood is to, gone. It works over by the time you get to work. Do you think they did that because they were like, well, we got to show it being cool and lighten things up? It's just like, yeah, but that's uh, that's not a how neat it works. alien. Have a funny that voice. A he looks alien. like um, he looks like the villain from Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> he looks like Chairman Drac. You're right. No Late one like on Mando me. walks into an elevator and expects not to be looked at. Really? Well, yeah, he's really he's wearing like a fucking a bounty. Man, this looks like a shit party. Yeah, this is a shit party. <laughs> well, he's brought a head to it, so that's pretty neat. I really like the visual des design of this location, which is just it feels like a shame. Don't put it on the table! Don't put it on the table! It's fine, the blood is gone. No, I can't take off my helmet. If you won't give me the information, someone else will. They really wanted that meal with him, huh? I can't see. I'd put that on ice if I were you. Also, we've done more in this. They didn't check to see if it was the bounty. Than we've done they just... in all of the show so far. I'm actually like not unimpressed. With yeah, I'm, what I'm actually so interested this in this to some degree. This is better than anything in the fucking Mando shows either, as well. Yeah. He's bounty he's hunting. Bounty hunter Can work? You fucking believe <laughs> it. And Did he's like been have... he's been injured you on the put job. Some cream That's... on that. Yeah. Or some, some, some hot cream. Some... Yeah. Hot cream. <laughs> Also, the camera's not cutting a lot. Look at no, that. It is. Yeah, this, this, actually, this, like, this actually feels like care and attention has been put into it. I'm really liking the location this is, design. Who directed um, this? This one is uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, actually. It wasn't the previous one, it was this one. She's the one that made the ATST right so episode rags in season one. Oh. Right now, it's better than anything in all three shows. Yeah, this is easily the best thing. So I feel like there was just that moment where we all just sort of simultaneously realized, hey, it's not been actually total dog shit <laughs> so far. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We've gone to locations. Yeah, oh, wow. we're just sort of... We're not on Tatooine! <laughs> Woo! Fucking like, I feel like we're just developing him by seeing him go through his day. Thank you for the noise. <laughs> They're wow. so desperate to throw that noise in. That was a tiny door. Let's see if the spear hits the top of the thing. Uh. Oh. It. Oh. Uh. Is the station really that narrow? That it's just space down there. Presumably, they've got the the same technology as the hangar bays do. Well, if you fall, you can use your jetpack, right? And you'll be fine. To be fair, you could probably just do that to get down. 
Especially if your leg's fucked, right? His leg probably this is an hoist. interesting concept for a space station. Yeah. Especially considering the architecture. You can't use straight beams in a lot of places. It has to angle so that it fits together. Oh, it's the chilling. blacksmith. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, she has a blacksmithing she's still, tools. She's got a smithing tools. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Dude, they're like religious right, right, right. implements at this point. They're not even. Like... Yeah. It's okay. What you? Can you just... can you fix my leg? Oh, He's really on. fucking ham hamming that, that up, isn't he? He's... He really is hamming that shit up. Oh, there's oh, more. You're alive, I guess. I don't even remember if that was one we saw before. Yeah, he's the jetpack. one with the big gun. Yeah. I'm sorry for your sacrifice. There are three of us now. Jesus Christ! Three Mandos left, huh? Wow! Well, three Mandalorians in total? I guess people who really like Mandalorians like this show, even though this show just dumps all over them in terms of intelligence. The Empire may lasted less than 30 years. Mandalorians have existed 10,000. And look at them now. <laughs> surely surely there can't be three uh, Mandalorians left, because we've got like Bo-Katan and shit, right? The Dark Saber. Are they not Mandalor- I don't fucking know. Do you understand its significance? Whoever wields it can lead all of Mandalore. Wow, three if people. It is won by Creed in battle. It is said one warrior will defeat yeah. 20. Yeah, what I meant. <laughs> Dude, she's such a lore dumper. <laughs> Honestly, it's a good-looking weapon. It's just, it's called the Dark Saber. And it's black. <laughs> scattered to the four winds. Yeah, that's fine. Jay, that's edgy. Mandalore will be laid to waste, and its people scattered to the four winds. The four winds like Earth? You couldn't have changed the number so that to imply it's an alien? Okay. It was forged over a thousand years ago by the Mandalore Tar Visla. He was both Mandalorian okay. and Jedi. Okay. I have met Jedi. Please I've met friend. Jedi. Why? He's just like Boba. <laughs> up surrounded by, surrounded by <laughs> Jedi. This is the way. Oh, the way up. shit. The way sucks. I hate There's three catchphrase. of you. Blood of Aren't you helping? Do you just Republic have a forge tribunal. here that you can move a bin see. and? Yeah. Okay. Age all right. Wow. Here's like you got all your stuff oh, too. You wow. had them already. Man, this looks wow. All right. Yeah, she was holding when them in her hands, and now they <laughs> she got them out of the shelf thing. It can block a light. Man, was serious. Like I found all these Beskar things. <laughs> You can also pierce Beskar armor. You can't wrist. thrust it hard enough, though. Like, there's no way you could apply enough armor. force with that spear to go through the armor. This is Star Wars. It'll take, like, a little poke. Wait, is he melting the spear? Yeah, I guess to turn it into something it's else. Armor. It's supposed to be armor, not weapons. Yeah. That's the way. Oh, okay. Mandalorian steel is meant for armor, not weapons. Since you forego a signet. I shall use the excess to forge whistling birds. Not weapons. The hilt is of a quality of Beskar I have never seen before. It was forged by the Mandalore Tar Visla. Not weapons. Have you ever yeah, heard of I don't know. I'd have a, I'd have a couple Beskar bullets, I suppose, just in case. Bullets don't seem to exist in this universe. That's, that's a big thing she said. It can pierce Jeez, that's Beskar. Keep that well, so surely he'd want to keep it then, because you know what if someone else has Beskar armor that he wants no, to kill? No, because that's the way. It's the way, Joe. <laughs> the way is working out really great. Well, you know what? If, you know what? If someone has Beskar armor that he wants to kill, he should probably stay in for their unarmored parts. Away. Yeah, it's true. Had our sect not been cloistered on the moon of Concordia? We would have not survived the Great Purge. Ooh. Yeah, because Mandalorians are great. They can't take on stormtroopers. Oh man, what are we doing now? Does the Mandalore not have an air force? Or a navy? Or no, they don't have Beskar like armor. Oh my god, it's a lot. Oh, it's a lot of empire, huh? The Night of a Thousand <laughs> Tears. <laughs> man, if I was in that situation, I would cry. Oh my god, it's the robot, yay. Terminator. Again, still way more interesting than anything we've had. Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah. The imagery of those scout droids is... I, I do really like them. I really like the way they look. Yeah. Honestly, this episode is bizarre. <laughs> this is a bizarre episode. <laughs> well, this is us setting up Season 3 of Mando. This is our... In our Boba Fett show? <laughs> in our useless yeah. motherfucking... <laughs> who cares, <laughs> Boba Fett These show. are like the same show, right? Like, you just... I don't think so. <laughs> This is the. This is just season three of Mando because you lack a lot of context with this. If you haven't, if you haven't seen Mando, 
Peace it feels like season three, episode show, one of Mando. It doesn't feel like Boba Fett because Boba Fett is much no, but cheaper. Imagine watching this show. Like, imagine watching the the Boba Fett part where he's just like he gets his armor back. It's like, oh, I just guess he has his armor back now. So you have to watch Mando to understand that. What shall I forge for the foundling Grogu? <clears throat> oh, you're making stuff for Grogu. Wait, so you're gonna get some What's... baby Yoda armor? <laughs> is that what we're doing? Yeah. Chainmail. Chain. <laughs> Cloth. It's best car, yeah, a a best, car, best car napkin. I'm sorry, how did the spear <laughs> fit into that, you know, melt it down? Uh, uh, there's other I'm parts. Sure I guess the other parts. Part, yeah. Oh, she's trying to train him now? Wait, so her forging tool's the best car? She spun around, I guess so. Cool. so. Yeah. Surely... Why is he so clumsy? Dangerous. Yeah, how does he still want to train with what? <laughs> how did he fall? <laughs> So they shit. only How had him fall so, so that they could jetpack him back up. That was so funny. <laughs> He's like, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> he just completely went limp and fell off. <laughs> Good. Don't hey, drag it! We're floor. standing on this! No, he, he said it's getting heavier with every every blow. Why is it heavy? How is it getting heavier? Oh, no, it's very it's light, like, right? This is bullshit, I think. She's so cool. I don't understand how it's How do they practice with like these deadly If he gets one cut on her then it will win if you fight against it. How is she stronger than him? I don't understand. Also, she's just doing fine. She's literally having forge tools uh lighter apparently. Assistance without insight will lead to the same outcome. Your body is strong. Apparently he's using it wrong and that's making it all heavy, I guess. What? Yeah, that's what I don't understand this. How is he fighting against the blade apparently? Yeah, he's swinging it like it's 20 pounds. The dark saber belongs in someone else's hand. Oh my god! Maybe. And now it belongs to me. Fight, fight, and fight. now I will win it from you. There's mm -hmm. three of you. Could you do this do you later? Agree? Yeah. He's like, I'm tired from the fight. No. I do. You know what? Fuck oh, it, just take it. I don't even care. Oh, okay. <laughs> What if he said no? Does he just get it by default? Yeah. It, <laughs> what happens? What if he just said fucking take it? I don't give it, a shit. It'd be funny if he said, stuff. I agree, and then the big guy just goes, Oh, I wasn't serious. Just <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs> I don't give a what, shit. What, what if he just drops it off the edge of the platform? <laughs> Go get it, bitch. No jetpacks, I'll be cheating. So they just know to. <laughs> whenever so someone small. duels you, well, you have to put your jetpacks off. Knock him off the edge is way quicker to Precarious. kill now. Guys, there are there are Precarious. three of you. Can you do this later? When one of you dies, there's only two left. No, you, the way is so fucking isn't dumb. He, isn't he tired from the? You have a knife. Oh. What? That shield is so It doesn't small, even cover your hand. <laughs> Man, you'd think you'd have seen those shields more. Oh, great! great wow, stop, you bro. are you are actually <laughs> stupid. You aimed, like, right for the shield, too. Of course. Hey, where's the shield gone? Turned it off. I think he turned it off. Oh no, the Darksaber. So this guy is way bigger and stronger than you. If you couldn't overpower that tired, woman, this yeah. dude is gonna fuck you up. The way he swings it around, too. It's like it's yeah. 20 pounds! Yeah. <laughs> Just throw it off the edge. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 you! All you had to do was wow. You threw him onto another thing. Does he not one then? Fate has brought this blade back to my oh clan. God, it's heavy for him too. I guess that's a thing now. <laughs> I don't understand why. Did Dude, say that's a fuck thing? it! Don't use the dark saber. It's clearly crap. Just beat him up. Yeah. I can't use believe the stuff you're good did, with. Was it always this heavy, or did they make that up? <laughs> They for me, up. they just oh, made that this. up. Oh, I didn't this is know crap. It was working fine for him. Yeah, the dark saber is crap. Ugh. You were doing great. He, he literally he lost up the dark because, saber. Because yeah, he picked up the special weapon that was shit. Have you ever removed your helmet? No. Has it ever been removed by others? Never. This is the way. So you can just oh, take his up. helmet off, and he can't be a Mandalorian anymore. Why is it so fucking important? Have you ever <laughs> He's like, your no. Helmet? Yes, of course. I have to like yeah. have to yeah, shower. Yeah, they have removed their helmets. We know that's true. Mm. What a loser. Uh, I have. Then you are a Mandalorian no more. Uh huh. Fuck off. And I don't yeah, want to be sure. one. There was yeah, there was fucking show. three of us. Now there's two. Nice. Yeah. Good, good job. job. This is why there's none of you left. 
A stupid rule. One may only be redeemed in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. What? He has the sword the that governs water. all Mandalorians. Why? What more do you need? To be redeemed, you gotta go on a fucking vision quest or some shit then. Yeah, right. We have off. to put a gecko in your nose, Din Djarin. <laughs> God damn You won't it. like the things you see. You know, well, things, things were great when I was just bounty hunting. You guys suck. Taking this with me. Yeah, because I still won. Just saying. Yeah, it's still fucking mine. Not a Mandalorian. The two of you can sit here and all. rot for all I care. Fuck yes, I will Mandalorians carry the are shit. Person. You're so on. shit. It's like the worst faction. Yeah. I she Civil I bet she feels so fucking proud of herself. Aren't I good? Aren't I the greatest lore master? It's like great. Now there's only <laughs> two of us again, and one of us is me. And the one who left is the one who has the sword that gives him the right to control yeah. our entire civilization. <laughs> my Mandalorian weapons are part of my religion. You can't board a commercial flight with your weapons. If you wish to discuss this with my supervisor, I will gladly book you on tomorrow's flight. Fine. Wow, you just gave this him up that easily. See. That easily. Wow, wait, wait, you didn't- No, get a new plane. Get a new thing. Just go get a new- Whoa, that's the way that those are disarmed? <laughs> Why are you not just getting on a different flight? Oh, it's so funny. It's just, I can't believe he's giving up all of this. This is amusing. Is it's a liberator pistol! It's gonna... a World War II liberator <laughs> yeah, pistol! Just... Really he's put it. his fucking grapple in this. It's That's rope. not a weapon, necessarily. <laughs> the dark exactly saber is just in this little dark briefcase. Saber in this thing. I'm... But I'm also non wow. now. Oh my god. god. It's, a, well? it's amazing, the <laughs> fucking compassion, or wow. the, rather the conviction. He's like, I can't do that, that's my religion. And it's like, do it. And he's like, okay. okay. Well, he, they said that they could book him in for another flight, like, tomorrow. If you yeah. could talk to the supervisor, yeah, which, if this is religious, you may be able to get some kind of deal. And he just... And he just got paid for a job. Just yeah. hire Han Solo or whatever yeah, to drive fucking, you someplace. Get a taxi, you loser. Yeah. Well... Look, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no way he's comfortable with losing all of that. Yeah, this, this, that's adorable. Uh, yeah, Lorian's a weird. Don't talk to him. Fucking weird, yeah. Just like the, it's just like, like in Joker. Her. Oh my god! <laughs> like in Joker, <laughs> he gives yeah. him a card that said, "I'm retarded." Please. <laughs> if you open it up, you can look at it properly. His back, his jetpack has a seat. <laughs> Oh, it looks well, you know, like you, it. You always oh, see that like person public like, like, their bag on the seat. Oh, Why were you no. just here? Agnes? Why here? <laughs> no! <laughs> no. no. <laughs> wait, so wait, he oh. randomly happens to be on this planet right after oh. Boba Fett says, I, I know someone we could hire. What are the well, odds? Very I, well, small. To be fair, I don't know the timeline yet. Or maybe, maybe, maybe Boba's already sent him a message, like, hey, no, no, no this is And again! This is the ship that the Pikes came in on. So he came on a, on the but same ship. Surely this is surely this is a regular transport though. Oh, uh, maybe. I'm pretty sure I recognize the same shot. That's oh wow! Probably. So that was just that was just the exact same one, huh? You think that they could afford better robots for their staff? So he actually didn't need to like him getting rid of his weapons wasn't a plot point. It just happened because. Yeah, just seen. No, go away! Oh, no. Why you? Why did you shoot? You're what are you shooting? Own, you're what are you shooting? shooting? Your own stuff. Maybe that's why the droids Don't you are have afraid. To aim? Do you not have sights yeah. on that thing? Well, that poor no droid it looks terrifying. Also, I don't understand. I feel so sorry for that little pit droid. Well, yeah, why, why is there a creature eating droids? How does that even work? How do you aim that thing? Do you just point and hope? Blood the bus. Yeah, it's a laser blast. Like this feels like a scene from okay, fucking Big Hero Six. Maybe it ran. Oh, is Mando gonna save her? Oh, Wee instantly, doo. right as I say it. Wee okay. Wee. Hey, look, everyone, it's Mando! Yeah, that's us. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, a great, that's a great clip for the episode. <laughs> it's just <laughs> us. <laughs> you said you found me a replacement for the Razor Crest. Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. Bring the cash. Why did that need clarification? Right um, Except for that us. That was... Strange. I count it? No, yeah. I trust yeah. you. What message? Oh, oh yeah, that message I sent you. Hey, droids, make yourself How did, are you gonna count that? Nope. Can you just and tell by weight? Oh, so you're telling her what to count it. Look at you. Right this way. Look at you. You're you're counting something that's been get, you're Maybe they agreed on it before, Rags, and she trusts him. Ready to have your mind blown? No, it's already too small. I could tell it's already too small. I have to fit, like, cryo-freezing chambers and... Yeah. I'd race him. 
Yeah. It can't be that See? hard to acquire a spaceship in Star Wars. How? Oh wait, that's not a oh, wait, no, This is a joke. Where's the Razor Crest? I never said I had a Razor Crest. I said I had a replacement for a Razor Crest. This is an N1 Starfighter, handmade for the Royal Guard and commissioned Is that the boost of it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a yeah, I felt joke. so. Do you want your credits back? I don't care what it is. I can't carry Those my stuff in it. I feel like it's so indicative of what's what gone wrong that, money. like, now you have to pillage no, the prequels as well yep. to get people excited. But, like, this is clearly not suitable While for my waiting, needs. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it may this well be a cool obviously. ship, but it is not a ship that I need. Yeah. This is just, yeah, it doesn't suit doesn't his work. requirements at all. It's like if I asked, hey, I need a van because I need to make deliveries. It's like, here's a motorbike. It's like, I said I needed a van. Hey, look, this is a yeah, cool this is, motorbike. It's like, yes, cool. I said I needed This need is a single seat Starfighter. I can't use this for long trips across yeah, the galaxy. I, I don't have any. Bounties. Yeah. Imagine having to sleep in this vehicle. Exactly. You're and if you have to piss or something, you don't have no a vac tube. God, I didn't even what think of pissing. Like yeah, yeah I, I will say that's a bit out of character. <laughs> well, those creatures even. Wait, that what fast? did you do that for? <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> it's like a Tuscan Raider. Look, oh, a bit fell off it. <laughs> this woman is clearly not trustworthy, and you need to leave. She's crazy. Go this woman is like destiny. There's Anna. clearly a lot more work that needs to do it on this shit. Mm, lots and lots. It's not got most of its bits on. Uh, well, she wants him to help. No, I'm yeah. not gonna help. Did he? Well, not, so he's agreeing now. <clears throat> of course he is. Just focus right here. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You have a light. Where did your light go? You put it on your helmet in season one, episode two. No. The Jawas had a turbonic venturi assimilator from a Galactic Republic era starfighter. Well, they didn't have it. They got it. From where? What? Tatooine is a Where do you fucking think? Yeah. <laughs> the Jawas. I gave him a list. <sighs> of parts. And they find no, them of, for you. of fucking dandelions. See if the Jawas are still out back. Do they remember oh, Mando? He got him an egg. Do they know he murdered many of their kind? Oh, wow. That's he fine. disintegrated most oh, of the Jawas. Oh, wow. Well, they're they're there. Wow. <laughs> they were just waiting <laughs> off they screen. They were listening. Like. If I give them a list of parts, could they get them for me? That would be Why don't you just go and buy a ship with all of your money, bounty just, hunter? He just writes Razor Crest on the they list, that's all it has. And just bring him one. The parts you want, the specs you need, and I'm gonna make it work, alright? I dated a Jawa. Okay. You dated a Jawa? You dated a Jawa. Why would you do what that? What do they look like under their hoods? I don't wanna know, I'm scared. Oh, I'm she scared. knows what they look like under their hoods. Yeah. Now this is Star Wars, it'd be a girl Jawa. <laughs> Why do we care? Why are you buffing the outside? Do you not have more pressing concerns mechanically? There's animals in there. Man, it's great that you paid her to work on the ship. <laughs> I know, right? I'm just, you guys, I feel like a starship is an extremely complicated and very, very difficult thing to build. Like, you need professional companies assembling these in factories. I don't remember him agreeing that he would have this ship, by the way. She said, like, I'll fix it and then you can decide. That, but... <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. Even though he's fixing it, too. <laughs> And it's still a one-seater starfighter that's designed up, yeah. for it. No, they're battle. setting up the exhaust manifold venting button. Oh, okay. Don't yeah, shoot that, it'll explode. That, oh. that plug position oh, wow, is that's funny, whether useful. it's the front or the back of the droid. I guess they gotta, they gotta amp up the cute I'm, now that they yeah, Is that the robot from the Jedi Fallen Order I know that I'm supposed to find all this shit cute, and I do, and it's annoying me. I'm sorry, Jay, they got you. You know how lucky you are that I got my hands on this baby? These are a lot harder to come by than some plain old Razor Crest. Yeah, but it's so small! I don't care if it's harder to come by. A diamond is harder to come by than a Chevy Silverado, but one of them has, is more suited for certain things that... You understand what I'm trying to say. So they remodeling like it silver instead of the original montage. yellow? Yeah. But a montage. More animals are How many out. animals are in there? there? Jesus. Are they gonna die when you take off? Yes. Are they gonna mm -hmm. die in space? Are they gonna fast. suffocate horribly? Oh look, it's the sticker sure. from uh, A New Hope. Is they they used it to try and stop the crash compactor. Is that stick? Is it actually oh, that stick? Really? Okay. Looks like the exact same one. We'll have to check in post. Is it just for the reference? Is that why it's sure. here? Thanks. Thanks. What? Are you kidding me? What'd you do that for? You're gonna spoil them. Not a quarter. Dar, he'll be dancing for hours. Are you trying to make me look bad? You already look. Are you trying to make me look bad? I gotta get an exhaust manifold ventilator button hatch. 
He gave them money and then checked if it fits. That's Can we great. be done with that now? Pterodactyl. <laughs> Alien pterodactyl. Yeah, there it is. That's not done yet, what? right? But this is not suited for your needs. You need yeah. it. Like, yeah, it's a cool ship, but it's yeah. a fun mm. Like, hey, you could dock this into your actual ship. Yeah. <laughs> floating. What happened to the droid port? I hogged it out. I figured with your disposition, you'd want to forego the astromech. Because <laughs> remember, allegedly, he doesn't like droids, but he got over that fucking he real quick. His, yeah. his attitude with droids has been extremely inconsistent in a bizarre way, because the writing that, in the show is crap. Is that on the back? Is that the little separate bubble for your kids on the Homer car? <laughs> <laughs> that's so that he can carry Grogu around. <laughs> Now that's a good reference, Jay. Thank you. We've had a Simpsons reference in almost every episode. I just wanted to say at the end, it's like, yeah, it's cool, but it's still so small. Give me another one. Yeah, where do I keep my stuff? How do also, I sleep? Also, you owe me money ready? because I helped you with this. I think she's ready? Ready as she'll ever be. Really? But there's like parts missing, right? Start her up. I guess that's... Really? Just that's how it aesthetic. looks. That's the aesthetic. Not she's finished. Like, you know, one of those, those cars that has like... Brokenness uh, aesthetic. Really... <laughs> Is half of this episode putting this shitty spaceship together? Well, yeah, it already has been. That's the sound of episode one. Oh, I don't know where the trigger is. Shouldn't we run a diagnostic first? Nah. Yes, yes. No, sure. it's fine. Don't worry about it. Send her the engine is wobbling. Dude, it's He's gonna man. fucking die. Like... The engine, <laughs> look at how much the engine's wobbling. I can't believe this. This is even the story. Like. Mm. Oh, she's got a replacement ship for the Razor Crest that I shall pay for. No, it's not at all that, and I have to build it. Oh, God. Are you allowed to fly this low to the town? Man, no, I would be surprised if you are. I imagine that, in, Dude, that picks crash. up an insane amount of dust. A little bumpy. You're used to a gunship, yeah. but she's a starfighter, so fly her like one. Okay. How come the, does that mean? good advice. Fly her like the ship that she is. It's gotta be really annoying if people do that over town. And it kicks up huge clouds of dust. Man, you Jeez, are... you are... It's a big wow. risky thing to do with a ship you've barely had tested or used. But okay, fucking, why don't you bullseye some Womp Rats? They're actually doing Phantom Menace nostalgia though. I know. Controls are real snappy. How's the maneuverability? Yeah, his helmet's like <laughs> bumping the top of the thing. To yeah, it's really... It's just like Beggar's Canyon back home. Narrow. Oh look, it's what, the Padres This is the actual place. fucking Padres track! Wow. <laughs> Man. Uh. Remember episode what? Now remember, Anakin is the only human who could pod race, but apparently Din Djarin is such a good skilled pilot, he could do this in a well, starfighter at higher speeds. Yeah, this wow! Is, really I just want him to get track, shot by yeah. Tusken Raiders now while he's flying there. Wait, we're going to space? Be careful, bro. Okay. Are you allowed to do that? Just take a starfighter right next to a commercial airliner? Do you think that concerned. they'd have an issue with that? Especially with the weapons. I would never fucking take this thing to space. Not yet, anyway. Oh wait, don't! I forgot to install the inertial dampeners. No. This can't be allowed. Yeah, like <laughs> this is very dangerous. Wow, they they do make that sound for everything. Yeah. Are you not gonna pass out? <laughs> Oh, uh, dang, I thought something might go wrong at some point. Thank God, uh, some fucking police. Is it gonna be Dave Filoni, Sav guy? Yeah. Again? Was I doing something wrong, officer? Yes. Yeah, probably. Yeah, literally. Oh, the they, they said it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank God, some fucking law enforcement in this galaxy. Sorry, Wait, this is Tatooine. What are the Republic doing here? Your engine model doesn't match your power drive. We're gonna need to see your title tabs. I'll head right back to Moss Eisley and get it sorted out. Relinquish your flight controls for remote control access. Uh, hold on a second. Surely the Republic has better things to do than be I was here about to on say, Tatooine. I'm surprised, actually, that they're putting this much effort in. Your voice is mighty familiar. That ship showed up on a transponder log back in Navarro in an incident involving Imperial remnants. You might answer Wait, so hang on. Is it a coincidence? Is he actually gonna get in trouble for that stuff that he did? Surely that they is, is it just that... a coincidence though that it's the same fucking X-wing pilot? Wow. Oh, what the man. fuck? What were you in trouble for? Well, he, he was... jump. Remember, he was asking questions about that place that blew up, right? The uh, the one that they blew up. Are we reporting this? You want to go back to base? Fill out reports all day. 
No, sir. Why are you here on Tatooine? <laughs> Isn't this? Aren't you like stretched thin? Is it Dude, that seems genuinely. Weird. Is it genuinely yeah. just a coincidence that he he met the same two guys that he uh, met? Yes. Like, All did the you just say it was wizard. Wizard. <laughs> yeah. Did. Wizard. Oh man, we just like. By, said she was looking for oh. An old friend of yours dropped by. Said she was looking for you. A friend of mine. Don't worry. I told her I didn't know where you were. Then I locked her out and engaged the hangar security system. Oh, Fennec. She tell you mm -hmm. her name? Fennec Shan. <laughs> Why did you crawl up there? System was Don't get away from me. What? Right Why back. did you? Why did you crawl up there? By any chance, are you looking for work? Might could be. Hey, is good. How much I haven't done the job yet, but okay. Lot? But like, what was even the story point of him hurting his leg? Like, what does that accomplish for the, the episode? Sure that the dark saber it. must be respected, Jay, or it will cut you. Tell him it's on the house. But first, I gotta pay a visit to a little friend. Uh. Uh, Grogu? <laughs> well, actually, no Boba in this episode. I just <laughs> like the great episode wow. of Book of Boba Fett. What a <laughs> That wasn't Book of the Things. Like, guys, you put the wrong episode in. <laughs> yeah, you mixed something up. <laughs> it, it just wasn't Boba Fett. <laughs> I'm starting to think they recorded this first, and then he was like, I can't make it for the rest. They're like, fuck, we need another replacement <laughs> show. Jesus. <sighs> what the hell? Because that episode was way better produced than anything in the Boba yeah, Fett show. Yeah, it was oh, yeah, very absolutely. expensive. He went to different wow. places. There were scenes. There were starships. And like the first, there was like five minutes of somewhat interesting content. Five and minutes then it of what we actually to wanted to see. Yeah. Doing bounty hunter stuff like a bounty hunter would do in a bounty hunter show. Then it just turned into Remember This, the episode. Yeah. It was so weird. It was just like, hey, let's have a ship building montage, I guess. <laughs> it really <laughs> ran out really... the, the runtime. That rat is way bigger on here. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> like, it, it, we really were just doing random stuff with Mando until the episode ended. Like... <laughs> Yeah, because the episode could have ended when he arrived at Tatooine and Fennec was like, oh, hey. And he goes, oh, yeah, hey, because so. she called him, you know? It could have been that. But I guess we do need to get him a new ship, and that's his new ship. But like, why spend so much time fixing it? Why not literally just be, yeah, we got your new ship, here it is. Yeah, it'll be done for you, because he doesn't even need to use it yet. So they could have just established that she had it and needed to fix it. Yeah. And that it would take some time. And so later, when you need it, she can be done with it. And why you bother do having it need stuff? to be fixed? Yeah, you didn't need to. Oh, no. I mean, I, I guess, have it be and, ready. Also, and it's and it's still not a ship that is appropriate for him. No, it's yeah, we never addressed that. We just didn't. It's just I'm, it's, it's a Nabu Starfighter. Remember Nabu Starfighters? Aren't they cool? Aren't they amazing? Now Boba, or sorry, now Mando has one, and isn't that so cool and awesome? What if he needs to get like people again, like in the first episode or whatever? So the way it was? you do it, is chop them up into little pieces, put them in a bag, and then have oh. the bag hang outside the window. Have the bag on your lap. <laughs> Yeah. What if I need to sleep when I travel in between planets? No. Yeah. no. What if I need to use the loo? Don't no, have one of those. No, what no. if I have to store a anything? Like, well, well your, I guess it's a glove box. Your bounty bag can function as your piss bag as well, Rex. Yeah. It won't. The bounty people won't like that, but that's okay. Yes, your bounty. I he peed he, a he pissed bit himself on it. when he died on his face. <laughs> it was. But really this is his weird. head. Yes, I know. <laughs> um, I guess the best episode of the lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It has no to be Boba Fett in it. It might even score pretty high compared to all the episodes from season one and two as well. Yeah, I would say so. It was like it's it's not good, but like it's it's still definitely got a lot of the problems that all of these Star Wars shows have. Yeah, just like I don't understand why a lot of the scenes progress the way that they do. Yeah, you never that, like we have to go back to Boba next week. <laughs> well, yeah, now that's kind of lame actually by comparison, which it's that like, sucks, um, doesn't it? I left the um, I left the trailer like that, not the trailer. I left the um, the episode playing and it just looped back to the start, and then I just saw like the footage of Boba on the previously trailer, and I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what. We're this is um, why this episode doesn't have Boba Fett in it. Here comes something controversial. I think I like watching Din Djarin more than I like watching Boba Fett. Yeah. Oh, I think so. Mm. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Uh, that he sort of does. Uh, they both suck, but like, damn, that's what you did to Boba Fett, I guess. At least yep. Din Djarin like does stuff. Yeah. He feels I like mean, his fights are stupid, but at least he has like fights or whatever, and at least he goes places, and the places can be interesting. So, that's something. Definitely a lot more proactive than uh, mm. Boba Fett. 
Yeah, I've never been I'm so happy to see something. the emptiness of space before. I just we, yeah, we were I want to get different... off that fucking planet. <laughs> Look, yeah. well, that that little halo thing that, that was more interesting than That's anything neat. we've seen in ages. Yeah, yeah and then I we really go right like... back. I, I, we Fuck showed up there, and I was like, ooh, cool. Yeah. This is an interesting place. And, and it was a new thing. It wasn't just like, hey, remember old thing? It was a new yeah. thing. That was shocking. They did I was stunned. back to old thing, but they did at least have new thing. They made sure to get out of new thing quick so they could get back to old thing, but <laughs> at least new thing yeah. existed in some capacity. The hell how funny it is if you guys scroll back. It's like, oh yeah, that intro action scene. He's gotten his bounties heading to that city. And then it just goes, Book of Boba Fett intro. You're like, wait, <laughs> wait what? <laughs> they, put, they put the wrong intro on this Mandalorian <laughs> episode. <laughs> Yeah, Guys, wrong good. disc, wrong disc. It would be it's so fucking funny good. if that were actually what happened. Like, they announced it, they're like, <laughs> so accidentally, we, we've mixed up the episodes. Sorry. I guess we yes. are still doing the thing that I find annoying, though, where it's like, I thought Mandalorian was going to be completely disconnected from, like, the main stuff that was happening. But now he, he's he was got like an episode. Shit. Well, half. Half an episode. I, I, this, um, I guess is what I mean, is like, why couldn't it be, why does it have to be a ship that was from the prequels? Why can't it just be, like, another ship? This is a galaxy, there's probably a lot of cool ships that you could have been. Absolutely. And it's frustrating because it's so easy to make something so interesting. We can follow, like, a person, you know, like a Han Solo, and then Mando, we follow him, and then Mando's sent after Han Solo. And we're exactly. like, fuck, I like these two, but I get why Mando's doing what he's doing, you know, that sort of thing. Standard. Yeah. Cool. Well, I guess this this is now setting up whatever Mando is doing in his third season, trying to uh, learn how to use the uh, dark saber I'm properly because it gets heavier almost, for some reason. I'm still almost and certain man. To do, going we're going to, to do, do a third his... season, but then he couldn't make it, and so they so only got because this it. super feels like season three, episode one. You get a new ship, you reestablish mm -hmm. exactly what he's up to, and he's got his. Uh, we, you know, we catch up with him in the middle of what he's been doing this whole time, which is just bounties, standard, normal bounties. Totally. Now, okay, so now, like, yeah. if you watch Mandalorian Season 3, when that comes out, right, you won't really be able to follow, like, you'll, there'll be loads of new no, developments that have actually. happened. Yeah. You won't because, be able to follow yeah, without watching Book of Boba Fett. Book of you Boba can't follow Book of Boba Fett. Ship? What? Well, He's... Boba Fett? You, you what? can't He's watch Book of him? Boba Fett without watching um, Mandalorian Season 2, because that explains how he got his armor back and stuff. It's like... That's important context. If you don't, well, if you haven't seen that, it just sort of cuts to him having his armor, and you're like, "Oh, okay, I guess." The correct name for Book of Boba Fett is Mandalorian Season Two Point One yeah. Dash Guest Starring Boba Fett. Yeah. No, like the Book of Boba Fett is like standalone DLC for a video game. You know? Yes. Like, yes. Yeah, you've got, that's like, perfect. The main game. It's uh -huh. like. It's like, yeah, that's basically and then, what it is. And they release these crappy DLCs, and we're like, boo, and then they put out the Mandalorian epi bonus episode DLC or whatever, and people are like, yeah. this was the content they were actually working on. The other stuff was bullshit from a B team. It did. It looked yeah. way better than the other episodes. It's yeah, not in the, it's exactly not in, it's not a part of the others. It's just not. It's not. It wasn't made by this. It's, <laughs> you yeah, this tell. is clearly yeah. a different I level. A, just, of money. A, a whole different level of quality. And the thing, well, to me, we don't even spending think more is... money on on Mando than Boba. Um, <sighs> it is actually, yeah. I don't know what to make of that though. It could have just happened not. in terms of because again, I, I'm pretty sure like it wasn't the plan to have Boba Fett uh, before Mando season three. I'm assuming they were forced into that position. So like, this is a I bit mean, of a rush it job. Explain a lot because yeah, Boba deserves way fucking better. For some reason, he doesn't get the production <sighs> values that Mandalorian gets. And it's like if you're going to choose one, you know. You'd think. But I guess because Mandalorian's been made this way for the two seasons, the, it was supposed to get the same shit for the third season. Because I, I bet you, if the episodes were like this for Boba Fett, people would be saying this is a good show. Probably. If people are. We would still be saying it's a bad show. Cooled. Yeah, yeah. But it would at least be more interesting visually like, to watch. You would go like, to different places, and we, it wouldn't all take place in two rooms. We can claim definitively the best episode of Book of Boba Fett doesn't have Boba Fett in it. Yeah. The fuck are we doing? Interesting, <laughs> but true. It's insanity, because we only set up all these things Mando is going to do, <laughs> and then Fennec at the end is like, "Hey, you going to work? Yeah, well, it's in the house because you helped me before." I feel like um, I would be more happy to accept an episode of Book of Boba Fett without Boba Fett in it, if Boba Fett was like the only Star Wars show they were doing. But since they've got like a million shows, it seems mm -hmm. weird to have an entire episode of the Boba F Fett show without Boba in it. Like, 
This character that we just have an entire episode focusing on, he has his own show. It's called The Mandalorian. Like he's already why... had two seasons, and this yeah, wasn't why... you know this this wasn't like a cool cameo guest starring thing. It's like he he had a chonker of an episode. It yeah. was an episode dedicated to him exclusively, and the story so, that he's embarking on. It had nothing to do with the Book of Boba Fett. The only thing that had anything to do with the Book of Boba Fett was the ending. Like, right it's what end. feels tacked on. It's just like, oh, by the way, Fett. A little right. bit, yeah. She's Adventure hearing... Time, like, and has that... um, occasional episodes that barely have Finn and Jake in them at all. But, like, those episodes... Well, sure, because, those, yeah, that's... Yeah, but like, longer. And, and that like, universe yeah, only like, has Adventure dumb. Time. That would be really dumb if it wasn't called Adventure Time, but it was called the Finn and Jake show, and then there was like a Princess Bubblegum show and a Marceline show, right, yeah. and and then but Marceline for some reason took over an episode of the Finn and Jake show. That would feel just dumb. It's like it's not the biggest complaint I'm sure that any of us have, right? But like, we're all just coming to how bizarre weird. the meta is right now. It's so interesting how let's say you're in Mando's position and you need a ship, and you're on Halo. And you are apparently going to Tatooine to Moss Eisley because a mechanic that you met twice has, I guess, she said she found a ship for you, but you didn't inquire as to what the ship was or its condition before you decided to trek across the galaxy and commit heresy to your religion so yeah. that you could go and see what ship it was that she wanted you to have. And he never investigated any other place on Halo, which seems to be, I mean, an interesting place to be. There's all kinds of stuff going on there, I assume. Yeah, go to the fucking ship store. Yeah, you didn't go to a ship store. You didn't browse the wanted ads. You didn't browse... Is there an Amazon the, in this world? Is there a space Craigslist or anything like that? I assume that ships must be in high supply for this intergalactic civilization, <laughs> you know? Maybe. Uh, well, they're in such high supply that they've all been bought and there's none left. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, but he, he never bought some hand-me-down something. Well, it, on, on top of that point, right, the fact that he was like, nah, I'm, I'm leaving, like when he sees the ship, it's just like, w was he actually just going to walk back to that place, deliver all the weapons again, and go back to Halo Land? Or, like, <laughs> what, was he just like, well, this trip was lame. <laughs> like... Yeah. yeah, like, did Maybe you not- Maybe he's gonna go to a ship store. Hopefully, yeah. Like, whenever, like, here on Earth, when you're only on one planet, when you browse through the want ads, or someone says, I might have a car for you, you don't blindly say, okay, I'll be over there Tuesday to take a look at it, and that's it? you like, what kind is it? Shoot me some pictures. But he has an existing work relationship with this woman, Rag, so he trusts her, you know? She set him up with the lizard frog. Person. But it's like their their relationship is he should not really trust her. She is clearly unstable. No, 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 no. But he does though. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose that settles that. Yeah. The Sarlacc like, pit has psychic effects on the people it digests, right? <laughs> she's she. Who knows who she was before she was eaten by the Sarlacc? Same food. That's just, everyone know. exchanges their Sarlacc pit stories. Oh, I was I was a whole different person before I the Sarlacc ate me. Like, yeah, me too, man. Well, didn't uh, Mando get eaten by the giant sand dragon thing? So maybe he's had some stuff done as well. Yeah, I can clearly tell his character is much different. Can we really say that we just watched the Book of Boba Fett episode 5? I don't think so. We watched, we watched Mandalorian no, we watched episode Mandalorian 3, episode season 1. Season 1, episode 1. Season 3, one. Episode, season zero. three episode season 1. Episode zero. Yeah. Episode 0. Yeah. Episode 0. This is the prologue to season well, 3. Yeah, kind of. Almost in a sense, too. You could have just had he turns up because they called him. You don't actually need all of this for Boba Fett. That's true. Yeah. They could have just messaged him with a <clears throat> piece of technology that allows you to communicate vast distances. Oh yeah, you don't need because this is just setting up Mando season three. This is well, setting up dark saber rock stuff and his yeah, ship, it, right? Yeah, we could have moved all of it to that theoretical season. That's why I'm pretty sure this was created before they decided they were going to be definitely doing a Boba Fett season. I think you're right. I mean, I think that the sheer value you can see in this episode, production-wise, it stands apart to a an absurd degree. Like, it was weird. This show was weirdly better. It was an interesting reminder of what we used to get, because I forgot, like, like when people were pointing out how cheap Boba Fett looks, I was like, oh yeah, it does actually, yeah, and we've barely been anywhere. It's like, huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's three locations and they're all shit. And it's just not a lot of stuff happens and they don't really go any places. They don't, they, I, I feel like with this, at least we're trying to wow people with new stuff to a degree. Like, Ooh, look at this 
Look at this new Halo place. Ooh, look at all of these well, costumes. Then, ooh, look at this fight scene. And ooh, wow, they're fighting underneath the space platform. Wow. And oh, look at this. He's flying through Moss Eisley and he's going through all these canyons and stuff. Like, at least they're trying to, like, have my eyes go, ooh, that's a thing. He's. You can see him chopping things in half and stuff. It's like, this feels like it has more teeth than Boba Fett as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah there yeah, was yeah. blood. Yeah, there was, there was some blood drips. There were some implications I mean, of people being chopped in half. There were some wounds. They showed some wounds. Yeah, which honestly felt weird. I do remember Mando weird. Season 2, though, when Ahsoka showed... Uh, sorry, Ashoka showed up. Ashoka. 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 Ashoka showed up. A Ashoka showed up. Um... <laughs> That when she lightsabered people, it, it was basically like she was hitting them with a stick. Yeah. And it didn't slice, like, at all. It was like, oh, okay, I guess you guys want the PG rating or whatever, right? Were they not Were they not doing that here? Because it did seem like the actual the dark saber actually did some cutting. And they showed a guy some, getting... They try to avoid showing too much. But they do show yeah. some yeah, bits. Yeah, they implied. Yeah, they 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 did the implications of what was happening. Like it cut clean, like the meat that was hanging. It chopped that in half, right? But that's a dead meat. That's fine. But when the dude on the table got chopped in half, they only just implied it. Yeah, they show the line um, go through him, but they don't show. You yeah, know, the, the separation. It this it feels very out of place. And maybe that says something about the Book of Fett that the one that, what, firstly, again, doesn't have him in it and that feels like it really does belong to an entirely different show is the best one so far. Yeah, and, and it's not um, even good. it has probably the best five minutes of all of it. Like, yeah. 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 It, it's, it's what I wanted. I just wish there was more of it because then we get back to the dumb, like, it's like Dark Saber, yeah. Mandalore stuff. But even then, we had, like, the planet getting bombed and everything. It's like, man, this is, like, something that would mm -hmm. be worth exploring. I guess but it's just... Like, like the, a world where um, that first five minutes is representative of, like, an entire movie that we got that started with those five minutes. And I was like, oh, man, I want to see that. That'd be cool. I would... Uh, I be, would uh, well, I mean, I'm, I will say, because as we were watching it, even despite the stupid stuff, it's like, well, I'm kind of paying attention more so than... yeah. At like least I, stuff I'm for me to see. Be, yeah, because we're I'm like, oh, they might engaged. be, they might be going somewhere. But yeah. with Boba Fett, we're just like, wait, what is even the yeah, fucking goal here? I, <laughs> what I are we that, doing? That's actually that's an interesting thing worth clarifying. You remember how, like, in episode one, we said that that Boba Fett's better than Mandalorian? I don't feel that way anymore. Like mm. Boba Fett fucking sucks. Oh yeah, I, well, so if you remember, we said specifically at the time that it was because there was less for them to fuck up. It was really like. Meh, yeah. there's nothing happening. Uh, at this but point, I'm pretty sure we've yeah. already said that Boba Fett is worse, because it assassinates just... <laughs> Boba Fett, which... <laughs> I, I think it's yeah. just, when you have this episode there, it's like, oh yeah, Boba Fett's awful. <laughs> like, I really <laughs> don't like it. Well, really, yeah, but really I do really want to like... clarify, this was one of the better Mando episodes as well. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, it was. Mm, I um, think so, yeah. There was... There was I, because I, I guess that's the thing is like let's not forget how many really uh not good episodes of Boba Fett there were. I think one of the reasons is uh, because when he's just walking around, there's not too much to fuck up really. He's just kind of walking <laughs> yeah. around, nothing's happening. Mm -hmm. When he's getting an exposition dump from Blacksmith Lady, I mean it's like okay, this is just an exposition about shit. That's not really anything you could really fuck up, I guess, in terms of this show. Mm -hmm. When he's sitting mm -hmm. in a Repairing like, a ship can't really go wrong. Yeah, Very like complicated it's complicated just... stuff. You're right. Yeah. It's not um, well, and, and the most complicated being the either. fights. They did get them. Like they were stupid. Uh, yes, but I mean, mm. even even how like a lot of our scenes connect, right? Like, I mean, the bigger men would, would be let's do a different ship, give him something that's similar to the Razor Quest in terms of Razor Quest, <laughs> in terms of uh, functionality. Let's let's have it be that he knows exactly what the ship is. And maybe, like she said, you know, she didn't tell him everything about how much work is needed to fix it up, and there's maybe a bit of a fight. Well, you could Not even... like a, a, a fight, but like, you know, an argument. I honestly wonder if in the writing room the idea was floated where someone said, Hey, well, you know, Han, he lost the Falcon around this time. I wonder uh, if that was that, that suggestion to give Mando the Falcon. Oof. That would be horrible, even for them. Oh, I bet. Um, yeah, I could believe that the, uh, yeah. The excuse they gave us was that he thought it was a Razor Crest because she said the ship is like the Razor Crest. But that's like. And what she meant by like is that it is a. Not at all like vehicle. the Razor Crest. Yeah. yeah. It's a, well, yeah, it's it's a flying like, vehicle. It, it's a motor vehicle, and it's like. Again, I wanted a van, and you get well, a motorcycle. And we all think to ourselves, he should be fucking clarifying that. 
you shouldn't just be like, oh, it's like it? Cool. I shouldn't yeah, travel the, that far. This episode had, like, no fucking structure. It was just something happens, then another thing, and then and oh, we're doing a different segment now. Oh, now it's time for a different segment. I feel like I watched, at minimum, two separate episodes. Like, the, the bounty like hunting a, episode, like but it's with a the variety Darksaber, show almost. and then... Yeah, and then the ship fixing episode. Yeah, here's our serious Mandalore. Oh my goodness! And now here's our our happy go lucky plucky mechanic thing. And now oh, this is the part where he kills the bounty in the meat factory. And you're like, you're mm. like, oh, okay. What I, like if, I. What if that is what it is? What if they've chopped it down? But it used to be because there's two action scenes. If you think about it that way, the book and the episode. And if we just stretch out some of the scenes a little bit longer, I think we would have a full episode. He gets the bounty, delivers it on Halo Planet, he goes to visit person, gets a lore dump, fights the guy in a duel, and then maybe we have like an epilogue scene where he talks about the future of Mandalore and the future of the show, blah blah blah. Next episode begins with him traveling in public transport, you know, gets over to Tatooine's, making the ship, and we get the fun... You know, like, this really could be two episodes, it may have been. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think you're you're onto something there. Because mm -hmm. you do oh, yeah. feel like there is that big <clears throat> that big lull in the middle where he has to leave Halo, and so yeah, I could see that being the start of a new episode. And maybe they did record two for season three, and then he was like, "Can't make it. Got to do The Last of Us." Or whatever what is, the fuck what's Pedro's this, up to? Is that is that actually why there's the delayed season three? I'm almost certain. I, I haven't got like an article to reference, but I've, loads of people have talked about how he was. He was just not able. It, it, if you remember, they had to struggle to get him back. I think because he was unhappy with how much FaceTime he doesn't get in the show. Because he has to wear a helmet the whole time. Yeah, which is so funny considering Boba Fett. They forced him to take the mask off all the fucking time. Well, yeah, I would. I actually prefer I'm people keeping their helmets on <laughs> more often As than not. Do we all? No, they've, they've already established that they can't destroy the helmet because it's fucking well, indestructible. You can punch it through the hull, hull of a spaceship and it's fine. Well, <laughs> not only can't you destroy it, but it's a fundamental, like, part of its religion. Know, well, that's, that, that was the that thing, right? Well, because um, that's, that's Unless they say you have to take right? the helmet off to take this taxi, and he's like, but it's my religion. They said, oh yeah, well, you might have to explore other options. Imagine they said, said that. You can't wear fucking helmets off. on thing. You'd just be like, oh, I guess, yeah. All right. By the way, it's like, is a very reasonable thing for them to say. Like, you can't cover up your face on public transport. We have to be able to know um, who you are. Like, the, the thing that I, I don't... like the, re the reason I'm saying, like, they need to destroy it is because of how established it is that he wouldn't take it off voluntarily, right? It's like, yeah, they'd need to damage it, right, to get him more face time uh, in the show. But they can't. There's no way for them to do that. They literally just melted the only thing that could, the best Gus beer. By the way, this is the episode where he got kicked out of being the Mandal and the Mandalorians. And he took it pretty well. <laughs> yeah, didn't really give a I shit. Mean, this, was his, this was his whole life, apparently, but he took his helmet off that one time. So you can't mm -hmm. be a Mandalorian because you took your helmet off. What if someone just, like, you're fighting and someone just takes it off? It's like, whoop, you can't be a Mandalorian anymore. Well, I mean, he's still so you... the dark saber, so he's, yeah, he's technically I... in charge. Of... Plus, you know, like, there's only two others, so he, he basically outnumbers them. Well, remember. Like, ha you know, almost. Well, he, has to he just has to go to the, little quest you go to to the, the rivers of Mandalore or whatever and drink yeah. the juice or something. Oh, yeah, drink the hot goo. Yeah, you have to swim in the <laughs> Mandalorian juice or something. Because I don't know how it follows that if you... It's just like, it's just presented, oh, you have to go and jump in this pool. And I'm like, but what, what does that have... What does that like, mean? <laughs> Can I just something? say that I did or, it? It's like, yeah, I totally did it. I don't, what does this mean? Why is What's Why do I have to jump off? in this pool on this planet to be a Mandalorian again? There's no establishment of his, what it means to da da da. Uh, it's like almost no benefit of doing it anyways. There's like only two people left. Yeah, why be Mandalorian, actually? Yeah. His his relationship with him being a Mandalorian is tumultuous at best. It is very up and down. He'll take the helmet off for this. He'll surrender his weapons for that. He'll, I mean, he, he's with some chick on a, in a forest for a couple weeks, and he almost, like, marries her. And it's just this weird, like, why do you care so much? Why would you so, care? Mandalorians suck. If like, just, what is it about this like, that you actually like? If he just, like, knocks the helmet off the other two, um, Mandalorians, would there just be none left? <laughs> it's literally like, a joke. Lol, that's a, took your hat. That's a joke in my, uh, my Mando script for season one, is if you, if he just went around and you just took the helmet off someone else, like, oh, you're not a Mandalorian anymore. No, oh, got you. <laughs> oh, and they're like, wait, oh, what, what the fuck? But that's not fair. He's like, oh, should have worn a chin strap. Um, 
1915, by the way, I'm just playing it over and over again right now, is when he just Year? fucking commits suicide. <laughs> he just jumps off the bridge. Oh, it's so right. funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's, oh, the dark like saber so is... Funny. Yeah, the dark saber is very heavy. <laughs> because... <laughs> The way they swing it around like it's twenty pounds, and like what, what, it, what? It should weigh like nothing, right? It just feels a weird nerf to give it. It's like I guess well, they I can re- write it so that it gets. It heavy. wasn't heavy before. I don't remember him running out of the steam well, so it, fucking it, quickly. Yeah, I don't know what's what's up. up with that. I wonder if that's like some I don't know, fake EU stuff that's not canon anymore, and they try to recanonize or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. But they definitely just made it up for me on the spot. It's like. Oh yeah, you can actually use it properly because it gets heavier if you fight against the blade. Whatever and that means. With it. Whatever that means. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. Love that fucking pratfall, dude. You can <laughs> like, you can see the crash mat he's jumping onto by the way he jumps. <laughs> well, there you have it. We yeah. Did thanks it. for watching, uh, everybody. Mandalorian. Yeah, see you next time. Three episode oh, one. We'll see you next time. Mandalorian. Mando. Mando. More like man. Don't. Twelve. <laughs> the book of Mandalore. Ian. <laughs>《Let's get ready to rumble! What does that have to do with Boba Fett? Let's get ready to rumble! The the rumble of the of the Sarlacc stomach. Rumble in the Sarlacc pit. Oh, do you think they'll finally reveal he's been in there the whole time? Yeah, it was a a fever dream. It was a complete fever dream. That's a robot chicken joke. Put that in the edit. Back from the dead, assholes! What are you gonna do? Oh, if only you could see what I hear. <laughs> Boba! The whole thing was just a dream? Rumble in the jungle only really works because it rhymes. So, you know, I think we need something that rhymes with desert. Rumble in the jungle. Or with Tatooine. Or with Jabba's palace. You know, like Flabber's Gallus. You know, that kind of thing. Flabber's Gallus sounds like a Jedi warrior. But it does actually. Flabbers Gallus. And he, he, has he takes flaps. everything very he seriously. Definitely has cheek flaps. Yeah, he would. He have does. Flaps. You wouldn't think that He's based like, on his very is silly name. Preposterous. <laughs> that's definitely who he is. And he eats his own cum. Yeah, no, he, that's, no, he doesn't. He really in. doesn't at all. No one does, does. that, Jay. If they do, Gallus it's by does. accident. Trying cum. to make a serious Jedi character, and you're coming yep. all over it. Serious character can have flaws. I think that's allowed. That's not Flabbers a Gallus and his tomb Gallus. Your own semen. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad we yes. got that on record. Especially for Jay. That feels like a character assassination. Yeah. What if the does, Jedi have yeah. their well, semen like this. extracted from them with the Force? Yeah, <laughs> see, with Magneto from X Men, except instead of too much iron, it's There's too much cum in your, cum in your blood. <laughs> <and> that... <laughs> too much cum in your blood. Mr. Lorio never trusts a beautiful woman, especially one who's interested in cum. It's, it's a little cum bowl so that he can break oh out God. of prison. <laughs> this changes <laughs> Mystique's plan a great deal. I have to inject him with cum, or maybe they just hire a guy to fuck him but when they were organizing <laughs> all this. Three minutes into the recording, we're already here, okay. I haven't even realized what happened yet. Here's a great fucking meme. Alright. What a great meme. Oh my fucking oh, yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> way, no way, no way. It doesn't, no, no, it no, doesn't no, no, get better no than way. this, guys. That no is way. 10, it doesn't really? 10 out of 10. 10. Doesn't get 10 out of 10. This, this is, is the real. Peak. 10 this out of 10. 10. Real. I'm not even going to act surprised. Why? I'm, 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 I <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by this. I'm surprised a little bit. <laughs> ten no. out of ten. I've seen I've seen enough of those we, movie verdicts that are insane. The so. amount yeah. of hesitation <laughs> we have on ever giving anything that kind of score because it's just like well, that's you know, just like you get a ten out of ten lightly. and you get a ten out of ten. <laughs> You're a nine. You get a ten out of ten and you eight and a half. But you ten out of ten. Hmm. I'm okay with any reviewer who wants to just use ten as like that. I liked it a lot score, but and, and they don't really not, reserve anything for perfection. Are, I'm not. So, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> well, so the thing is, is that I don't like it, but as long as you're consistent with yeah. it, in, in that that's what it means, that's okay. I guess the thing is, I've watched enough Angry Joe that I remember 10 out of 10 meant legendary by his scale. I, like, mm. legendary. That's pretty fucking high. Well, like, but, the obvious you know, question like, is, wait, you think it couldn't possibly be improved? Yes, that's the immediate one. It's perfect. But hey. 
like, fine. I'm glad he enjoyed it. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this water. This isn't going to work. I grew up around water. <laughs> He's wearing a little plaid shirt. <laughs> yeah, this is inaccurate. He wouldn't be wearing the helmet. He's yeah, like wearing I was about to say. Boba Fett is known for many things, and wearing a helmet is just not one of them. All right, now this. Top tier meme. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Tuscans? Do you give them a chance? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> what if the bikers are just like, yeah, I gave them like five chances. I was like, please return my son to me. And they were like, no, please. Or like, I'll shoot you. No, please. No. We'll pay you. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, we just want our people that you kidnap back. No. Well, I mean, I guess um, this is what your if, choice then. What if on a day of relaxation, he's taking an afternoon off of his very hard work that Boba Fett does. He goes downtown to a bar and he's enjoying himself uh, himself a nice Tatooine sunrise or something like that a, a Tauntaun extravaganza that whatever exotic a drink sunrise like. <laughs> that's true love you too and so he's sitting there at the bar enjoying his beverage and then a bunch of bikers walk in they say man that was sure fun how he killed all those Tuscans because that was us you bet it was and so then he's like oh shit I killed the wrong bikers yeah. I just saw oh, bikers and fun, I killed yeah. them and I blew them up and then here they are he's like oh my goodness gracious am I bad at my job and he's like oh, they all, no. they all just, no. those bikers they look the same and the biker's like, whoa. Whoa, wow. Oh like, my goodness. Bikers are a diverse race. All kinds <laughs> the of bikers. bikers. Race. <laughs> yeah, that's what the they're biker. racing across the Dune Sea. Yep. The racist. Oh, nice. The desert riders. Ride or yeah, die. Got and some... they, did, so, they did both. The show would simply not have been able to handle like anything. How Boba would have reacted if the Tuscans took another slave while he was there with them. <laughs> they didn't show that. That's exactly the kind of thing you have to show to explore Boba's relationship to the Tuscans if he's gonna be staying with them. Is oh okay, so how does he feel about about the kind of stuff that, that we've already seen they do and the thing that they did to him. Because if we had like a scene where the Tuscans were taking another slave and he goes up and like maybe uh, sort of acts all high and mighty above this slave, um, you might get an impression of, oh, you know, he actually believes in the whole, well, if you're strong and superior, then you'll be respected. But if you're not, then you won't. And that's his, that's his belief system. He actually respects the um, Tuscans' attitude of, yeah, well, fuck you if you're weak, but if you're strong, we'll respect you. I could see, you know, a mercenary like Boba Fett from the original trilogy going for something like that. There are loads of other interesting ways that you could take his character reacting to that. No. And that's the kind of thing that you need to explore to actually get an understanding of who he is in relation to the events that have happened to him and why he's apparently now cool with these people who enslaved him. Shut up, you clown. Sorry. You're absolutely I right. There's no freaking way they could <laughs> handle that. No, yeah, well, no, there's not. If I was trying to expand on Boba's character and already set with the events of episode one, it's like, yeah, he gets kidnapped by the Tuscans and then he uh, starts to uh, live with them and, and he like impresses them and he sides with them. That would be like, oh, can I write this from episode two? Like, because that feels like the best and most efficient way to explore his character beyond that. <laughs> 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 Why does this keep getting remastered? <laughs> <laughs> oh my I god, like look, at it, look at it. Right, look at it. sitting at the back there with the yeah, vomiting. You're vomiting with the banter. <laughs> the banter. <With> the <laughs> Imagine what foulness has to take place for a banter to vomit. Mm, it's I like the little cloak, it just makes it look more evil. <laughs> like, I don't want anyone to see me doing this. The, Even though it's in broad daylight. <laughs> Yeah, I love this image, and it's um very important, I would say. Oh, yeah. Terminator being like, I shoved a gun up a badger's ass. He's like, what? I shoved an explosive up a banther's ass. Amateurs. What was that, punk? Amateurs. <laughs> the C4 I shoved rancor. C4 up a rancor's ass. <laughs> it was just all C4, right? That was the plan. He's like, oh, What's good more. about C4 is that you could mold it into different shapes, which would make passing it through the anus of a rancor all the easier to do. You don't want it blocky. That's actually the reason that I normally use C4 as my go-to explosive. Yeah, yeah. Original tweet says, Explain to me how this is a practical ship for a bounty hunter. A bounty hunter who at one point had so many bounties, he had to keep them all in an ice tray in his refrigerator. Wow. It's almost like narratively they've set up the idea that Din is moving away from his life as a bounty hunter and is wanting to embrace his desire to have a family with Grogu what? and redefine what it means to be a Mandalorian. Media literacy, what a concept. 
So this is a sad person. Um, and I, I think there's this idea going around that he's not bounty hunting anymore, which is weird in the episode where he literally does bounty hunting. Yeah, yeah. that's how the episode yeah. begins. I don't know where anyone yeah. got this from. If the episode well, yeah, we, about to we, watch we, has him not give up bounty hunting, I'll be like, where the fuck did that come from? Let's yeah, see. you well, just made that shit up because you have to clap a product. Hunting, though, like he, he wanted a Razor Quest. That's what he wanted. He wanted he a, razor want a razor quest. quest. He said he wanted a, a razor quest. That's right. <laughs> because and that's what he said because he wanted. Mando does two things in this last episode. He bounty hunts and he travels long distances through space. Wanted. How can you argue he doesn't want a razor crest anymore when he literally came well, there for well, a razor they're, crest? They're, they're not arguing he doesn't want one. Maybe they're arguing that it's a subconscious desire. He doesn't know what he down. wants. That's right. He, he doesn't know what he really wants. You know, it sounds knows, like to me is you try to. He knows that he wants a star. You try to justify it. getting a Nabru <laughs> starfighter. That's well, it. I'm just, what, like I like do, what I like to do is um, as soon as it becomes that absurd to even try to steal man someone's position you've just got no hope i i just like the appeal to like you're bad with media literacy it's like you're making shit up you're That's making not... shit up yeah <laughs> yeah this, how can i explain that that it's it, this is perfect this this is just the well, perfect thing I, oh I like let's it's... make let's make shit up about he doesn't want to be a bounty hunter anymore I think this sure. is uh, just uh, emblematic of, uh, I guess, a sort of a problem that uh, I think we tend to notice, which is that it's like you're looking for maybe what they intended or what you want out of the story that works, but it just does not line up with what is in the story. He said he wanted a Razor Crest. Because yeah. that would be a good ship for him based if he on didn't its get many, many the... things it can do. Well, well, I feel like the easy thing is, if he didn't get offered a Nabu Starfighter, am I supposed to believe that he would have fought for one? Like, a ship that would have been better suited for- And and also, how is this even a better ship? How is it not better to have the Razor Crest so that well, Grogu so can have, like, a little room while you travel around on your adventures? Yeah, so like- Instead, he has to sit in a little pod. So, yeah, yeah the that's, that's the big question, right? Is apparently he wants to become a family man? So he, and needs, he wants to buy he a, a Nabu Starfighter. So like, you want to- A nimble well, Starfighter with mounted dude, weaponry. It, 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 it's literally like, hey, I, I want to, I want a, a nice family car. Well, look, this two-seater Ferrari. It's a pretty with, great choice. No, no, no. It's, it's a one-seater Ferrari with mounted machine, machine guns. guns. Right. Yeah, it's the the worst car that you the, like. This is a vehicle. A, a starfighter is. It has one purpose, which is to blow up other little ships. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's, that's so he what wants the purpose to move away from is. his desire to hunt bounties. <laughs> It's so like, generally um, parked like, near where you want to use it because you know it, it's docked into a bigger ship or it's like uh, on planetary defense and it's kept yeah, on yeah. the planet it's defending well, it's, it's, and you're locked into this little pod. It's like the oh. Simpsons episode where <gasps> Homer Yay. buys Marge a bowling ball for her birthday. Happy birthday to you! You bought that bowling ball for you, not for me. What? No. You had your name engraved on it. So you'd know it's from me. Homer, I'm keeping the ball for myself. What? But you don't know how to bowl. And the fucking media literacy people are like, well, you don't understand. It's actually what she wanted subconsciously because she ended up bowling with it. It's like, did you watch the episode? <laughs> that is not what happened. <laughs> like, think about the first two seasons of The Mandalorian. How many things simply would not be to. possible if he didn't have the Razor Crest or and instead had a Starfighter? The perfect ship for Mandalorian, as some people are apparently saying. You cannot take anyone with you. You cannot take anything with you, really. You have so the Razor Crest had a bed to sleep in, perfect for traveling long distances through space, which he did in this fucking episode. It has an armory. Uh, it has an armory, which, which has all of his guns and equipment that he doesn't Never really use. use, but they're there for him anyway. He has the little mini carbon freezing chamber, so he can store all of his bounties as he goes he out. Keep food in it. He can keep food in there. He has Multiple room to prisoners. move around. He has a bathroom. In he there. can keep all his guns. He Where has he room guns for other fighter? people to bring with on his, him on his lap. Well, yeah, it's on his lap. Because well, yeah, because what if what if Mando needs to pick someone else up? Well, some of it, like, you know, some of it could be in the uh, in the astromech slot in the little children bubble. I think. Yeah, I think imagine that's Gina Carano inside of that little bitty pod back there <laughs> when he hired her. When he's like, "Hey, I need your help to go do something," and she she fits in that little thing with her head poking up. Like, yeah, oh, like, I can't move, and I have to pee. 
a Nabu Starfighter is really cool. It just ain't. It's not it a no how much you try and justify it. Don't make sense. So shut up. It's just not. It useful. is sad and yeah. pathetic. Well, I guess Stop we'll have to see how he it. uses it going forward, right? I mean, <laughs> I can't wait to see how many situations that there definitely won't be oh. where it's just like, man, wouldn't a ship that you can put things in be really useful here? Wouldn't it be useful if you like need? Especially well, gonna, if you well, don't have thing, a place to live. Ignore how long it takes to travel across the galaxy, oh, like they've been doing yeah. for ages. And again. He doesn't have a home. He doesn't live anywhere. But like, nope. so I, I I, that, yeah. is he gonna live inside of that seat on the? Yes. The, yes. Or is is he gonna pay for accommodations everywhere instead mm -hmm. of a Razor Crest that has a like a lockdown security mode in a bed? Like, what what are we Jabba's fucking Palace doing? Is now his home. I wouldn't be surprised if in season three he steps into the 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 starfighter and it's just a whole big room in there. And he's just like oh, no, like malignant. <laughs> yeah. well, I was about to say that too. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> the outside of the house is much smaller than the inside. It's like the Doctor Who. It just keeps getting uh, bigger. Phone booth every the time. <laughs> we see in Tatooine fucking constantly, and then we try to like speculate why that could even have been the way that it is, and. Uh, the subreddit was like, you know what Luke has to say about Tatooine and the OT? It's just like, get the yeah. fuck out. There's a bright center of the universe. You're on the planet that it's the farthest from. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> man. Oh, and no. yet, we spend all the time at Tatooine, which I assume we'll be seeing a lot more of it again today. I don't know. Um, I fucking hate Tatooine. We someone like the thread that was on, I think, some Star Wars subreddit about, like, what's the worst nitpick you've heard of Star Wars? It's all this comment. There's Maulers, why do stormtroopers have laser versions of medieval weapons? It's not like the most iconic thing about Star Wars, the laser sword or anything. I'm talking about laser axes, which are retarded. It felt to me in TLJ like an idiot had taken over because they're like, well, you have laser swords, so why not laser axes? And it's just like, but that doesn't serve the same purpose. Could you imagine a Jedi walking around with just the laser axe, where it's that tiny piece that's lasered up, as opposed to the whole sword? And so, like, trying to maybe block blaster shots, so that would be pretty funny. Well, that is, that does entirely defeat the purpose of the weapon. Lightsabers are kind of dumb, too. The only <clears> reason they work is because they're kind of engineered by the plot to sort of work. I'm more than happy yeah. for them to work in conjunction with a Jedi. I don't think they're viable with normal people. Um, if it means that you have such a focus that you're able to dodge and block uh, like laser blasts, I can see those are scenarios where that's really, really good. I don't know that normal people are able to do that, though. Um, this person's tag is Dave Filoni likes TLJ, die mad about it. <laughs> he he <laughs> seems I, to be just as I, bad of a writer as Ryan well, Johnson. That, so that, that lines understand. up to me. Of course he likes TLJ. Yeah, of course he? he does. He's the, yeah. the garbage I've seen him write. I mean, the there are definitely going to be some people who are mad about that, right? The um, sure. Amanda yes. was great. But... Some people think he's talented we've done something at some point i'm sure that in the next episode he directs one of his cartoon characters is going to show up in the mando why would you Boba say Fett that show. <laughs> i have not i i um, i have i was thinking about like that uh, that, uh, that i was just like oh yeah i should have read the the response which uh says the laser axes are a little silly since axes rely on weight to provide force for cuts and stuff which isn't needed when you use a laser they could have used a vibro sword or something it would have been better then again, Star Wars is a franchise about space wizards and space Nazis. Who cares? Oh, you had such a good force. <laughs> you had force. us in the beginning there. <laughs> oh, you were so good. It's a, oh. But so you do cares? care, because you posted this. <laughs> Star Wars just has a crashed magic right system, into a so wall. It. it doesn't matter. You had it it's all in your hands. Window. The whole thread in concept is like, what a nitpick. So, what, so implying that there are there are criticisms that are for real and good. And it's like, nah, who cares? It's like, well, you care. Everyone in this thread cares. Well, what I mean, mean, yeah. Does that fit into the definition that we use of nitpicking that it's a very small, valid criticism? I think so. I think that the axe is silly and, and wouldn't be made in that universe for that purpose, but ultimately it changes fuck all. So oh, especially because um, we just see it as an executioner's weapon, right? It's not actually being mm. used in the field as far as we see. It wouldn't matter where it's being used. I'm, I'm suggesting well, yeah, know, it doesn't exactly. make sense it's, for it to have been created. It's stupid, yeah, it, it's stupid for it to be created, right? But at least they're not using it in the field where it would actually be... Um, well, yeah, like if some legendary Jedi was to be, f well, legendary fucking guy, whatever, uh, and that was his weapon, I'd be like, what? That's silly. But, like you the know. Uh, lightsaber umbrella from Legend. Yes. Not Legends no. from uh, Visions. Le uh, Visions is cringe from everything I've seen of it. It's really cringe. And now, comment showcase, do the noises. No. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so you're going to evolve that into just going. <laughs> <laughs> screaming <laughs> oh, God. Just screaming at the top of my lungs. No, Fennec. I can't hire Mando. He isn't trying to kill me. 
<laughs> Maybe <laughs> that would that would be the good uh, plot of an episode. They have to try and get Mando to, to kill, kill Boba so that yeah. Mando can <laughs> kick him, kick him, stop it, stop Boba it. thinks like, for whatever hire reason. Me. Hire me. <laughs> no. Honestly, can we go back to the Boba Fett dies in the Sarlacc pit version of his story? It was somehow less humiliating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everybody would say that. Bit, yeah. And I, that, would I would say that's the incredible legacy of Star Wars where they Disney managed to make it so that you're like, please go back. Please, please just go <laughs> just, back to Sarlacc yeah, pit. Don't do it. Go back to the thing I hate. <laughs> Jesus. We're smarter than them. Proceeds to fly his ship into the mouth of a Sarlacc and forgets that money can solve many problems like not having to fight. Not having people to fight for him that aren't cut content from Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> I saw so many people say, like, that boat with the Sarlacc was not only just fucking awesome, but also really meaningful as, like, how far he's come and shit. And I'm just like, he's a moron. The whole scene is embarrassing to watch. How does it represent growth for him? Well, because he used to be in there, now he's floating above it with Slave One. Exactly. You know? So, in a certain oh, sense, you can oh, okay, say that's meaningful. Yes. It's Jay, how far I've come is often represented by growth. I mentioned the Star Wars comic that I'd read that had all the Boba Fett stories in it. And one of those Boba Fett stories was he was relaxing at like this space spa, and he gets attacked by a bunch of hooligans who want to kill Boba Fett. And they show up, and they're like, "Yeah, we'll get him when he doesn't have his equipment or his armor." And uh, he doesn't have his armor, but due to his his fighting skills and his tactical know-how, he is able to kill all of the all of the hooligans, all of the the raider people without his armor. And even one of the one of the guys takes his armor and puts it on, and Boba is still able to beat him because he is that talented. He's that deadly and proficient. Oh, right, you even want to show to suck armor. his dick, Rags? Yeah. Well. It was a neat con I, I don't know if it holds up. I know as a kid when I read it, I was like, wow, this is really cool. Boba Fett's amazing. Now, like a bantha. Yes. I've grown up and Boba Fett ain't so cool no more. Make baby banthas. You can never go back. What if we all did a oh, word? Yeah. Let's do that, yeah. We'll start with Fringy. We'll go down the line. That interview. I'm surprised you actually agree to this, Fringy. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Mahler is this, a uh. sourpuss who is raining down on our parade. Shut up, you, this is bat cave level cringe. <laughs> like a bat cave. That interview was painful, I feel so bad for Tamura Morrison. He no, 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 today's the day that no, way really better than the writers and directors and wants to do better than he's allowed to. Also, this show is constantly making me think of that gif of Squidward bashing his head on the cash register over and over again. Every minute of this show is filled with suffocating levels of stupid. Agreed. Mm -hmm. I, I would amend that analogy well. very slightly. Squidward is the audience, you, and Disney is bashing your head into their cash register, which is Star Wars. Yes. Hey. To be clear, the best episode of Book of Boba Fett is the one where he doesn't appear for a single second, and one of the better episodes featuring Mando isn't a part of his actual show. But the really weird thing is that this episode feels like it was thrown out there to satisfy the bad backlash the first four episodes got, which doesn't make any sense because they were all filmed months ago. But did they make the first four intentionally bad so Mando would get a better reception? Did they take, uh, did Jade Skywalker Boba Fett just so Mando would look better by comparison? So bizarre, confusing situation no matter which way you cut it. I assume that they actually intended to make the Mando ones, and then they threw yes. in the Boba ones to flesh out the show because they didn't have anything else. Mm. It definitely feels that way now, especially with, yeah, episode five, because it feels like now we're actually doing a story, whereas Book of Boba Fett up until this point has felt pretty, uh, scattershot. Yeah. Um, I'm very curious about this next one we're about to get, like... Same here, because, man, <clears throat> I don't know, yeah. Several people are trying to kill Mando, and they all aim at his armor. Mando himself accidentally hits himself where he doesn't have armor. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty funny. <laughs> it's so the it's only crazy. way we get, a, we get him to get injured is when he hits himself. I think I compared it's it ridiculous. to the Omnidroid. <laughs> it's the only way we can damage it. It has to be itself. <laughs> Does that mean that... Does that mean on the floor of that meat processing plant, there's this little slice of Mandalorian that's just <laughs> Ooh, this little thin, yes. little thin <laughs> little Mando thin. skin that's and just remember, on the ground? remember, it's a butcher, so someone might mistake that for food. It's I don't yeah. think they will. Slice of kebab, nice. Someone out there has eaten Mandalorian. <laughs> Mando ham. Accidentally. Mm. Mm. Yeah. What's the uh, the zinger like that's printed on the packaging for Mando ham? Uh, this is the way? I don't know. <laughs> this is the... <laughs> 
This is the I, ham. I guess. This is the uh, ham. This is the not ham. not a clever pun or anything. Just this is the ham. This is the <laughs> ham. <laughs> I love how they kick him out of their religious sect and don't confiscate either the priceless Mandalorian edge sword or the supremely valuable Mandalorian forged armor that identifies him as one of them. Okay. Yeah. I would only want to clarify, I suppose those things belong to him, but it does feel like there's something funny going on where it's like, this sword will allow you to rule us, but you're kicked out. You can't also, be one of us anymore. You're not part of our super duper club. And so, yeah, I think Rags makes Ooh. the joke at the time, but it's just like, man, will be like, I I'm keeping this. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping it. Um, uh, you know, I, it's an interesting bit of development to have the Mandalorians value that over... I was like, there's three of y'all, and one of you wants to fight to the death, and then you excommunicate one of them. <laughs> It's well, like, I, am, this, I'm dumb. I can't remember if we went over it, but uh, Mando only considers what he did with the droid to be taking off his, his helmet in front of a person, right? But he took his helmet off to eat food in episode four, and mm -hmm. they said, have you taken it off at all? Have you ever removed your helmet? No. Has it ever been removed by others? Never. It's like, well, he's allowed to take it off to eat food, right? Or are you guys not? I hope so. In which There's case, gotta be. He has that a that long straw healthy. that he uses, um, he plants well, his food, he, he took and, it and off. he has a straw. So, you know, I guess he broke it then. He's just referring yeah. to that. He wasn't even talking about the, uh, the head healing scene. Hey, no, hey, hey, hey. Learn media literacy. We're supposed to assume <laughs> that, she, no. that she means something that isn't stupid. Are we sure? Uh, <laughs> well, sorry, we're supposed to assume that she means the less stupid version of what she, she says, could be saying. You ever taken the helmet off and the big guy's like, never. It's like, never? <laughs> but I assume, so I assume that means that all Mandalorians have very bushy beards and long hair, and it's just once it gets under the helmet, they just, zoom, they just laser it off. Mm -hmm. So each one of them has a perfectly helmet-shaped do underneath their helmets. <laughs> And then someone will be like, well, obviously they can shave. And it's like, ask her that. It doesn't seem to no, be. No, it isn't yeah, obvious. It's not obvious. It is, nothing about the Mandalorians is obvious other than they're a bunch of cuckoo weirdos that I'd never mm. want to be. Say, for example, he'd killed the big dude in the duel. And then she tells him about the helmet thing. She's like, you're not a Mandalorian. Then he just goes, you're not a Mandalorian. I am. <laughs> yeah, at that point, there's only two of us. <laughs> yeah, the like, fuck, the meaning of it like is dictated by her. You're like, well, fuck you. What if you I fall disagree. off a platform or something? <laughs> he just like, pushes what, what her and he's then? like, I am the last Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am the ruler of the Mandalorians by default. You have to you do cannot, a robot voice. Doc security, you cannot board a commercial flight with weapons. Mando, I grew up surrounded by weapons. <laughs> I grew up surrounded by weapons. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> there was like a like a like a priest or something who'd been in uh, a clergyman for decades and decades, and he has to take a taxi to the other side of town. And the taxi guy says, "Uh, uh, uh, I have a special rule: atheists only. You have to renounce your your religion if you want to take this taxi." <laughs> He's like, but but my religion is everything. I'm I'm a I'm a priest, and I I love the Jesus. And crawl. And I would never I'd never do that. And the taxi's like, yeah, but that's the rule of the taxi. And so the priest is like, okay, uh, <laughs> hail Satan. Uh, I, I give it all up. In fact, here and he starts pulling out rosaries and holy water and wooden stakes and just all kind of stuff like that from his pockets. And He's a vampire in the hunter. Trunk. The cab driver yeah, has priest, like a little priest are vampire compartment hunters. to drop these in for all the customers. He's like, come on, yeah, just throw them in. He says, but my religion is my religion. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, something the EFAB crew missed about that redemption where We Mando would never miss anything. ...has to jump into a lake or whatever. They both mentioned that Mandalore uh, and this place are destroyed, so they literally have no uh, way to redeem him for his helmet. They're legit idiots. Yeah, um, so a couple people were saying... she'd come no. up with a spot or something, or like a task. Still, I think my reading of that was, yeah, it probably doesn't exist, but I bet you it does. Like, it, it still does somehow. Like a piece of planet um, floating out there with the river on it or something. Well, it's like, <laughs> <Mandalore's> <laughs> being I, I, I figure that it exists in some capacity, even though... Yeah, like, should. it didn't get vaporized. Like all yeah, so It's a river, right? So I'd assume that there's still water there. I have there. no idea, because this is apparently... In, was this in the Clone Wars that this happened? Oh, okay. Well, I... Yeah, then... I, I guess what I mean is, uh... I can believe that it doesn't make sense, but I'm guessing that we're going to that we'll place find that out. still exists yeah. in some capacity. Yeah. Well, maybe it Mando Season really... 3 is going to be about getting there, right? Like, could be. Yeah, pr well, that seems like the hook, right? There's all this man Mandalore. Uh, God, I can't Mandalore wait for an stuff. entire arc based on him having to apologize for taking King off Mandal a hat. 
King Mando. <laughs> yeah, that's Mandalore. really meaningful. I can really uh. connect with that as an audience member. Oh, I sure do hope that he gets to be a Mandalorian again. That would be really bad if he couldn't be one of them. The crazy They'd have people. to change the name of the oh, show. Yeah. Then he might have to... Well, he might be able to take his helmet off. You joke, but like, is he allowed to be called Mando now? Shouldn't it be Bob or whatever? Or Din? <laughs> to the ways of the Where are we going? Jedi Ooh. must forego Jedi. all attachment. That is the opposite of our creed. Loyalty and... Solidarity are the way. What shall I forge for the No, family? that's not true though, because well, if you take your helmet off, then fuck loyalty and solidarity. It means that you've been disloyal and dis so the, the other thing. It must be really You've been liquidy, be you've been really dis easy to steal a Mandalorian's identity. <laughs> yeah. I like this previously yeah. that's not showing the last episode. <laughs> Oh, I guess we're going back to Boba then. Yeah, of course. God damn it. I have plenty of credit. No, don't show this part again. What I'm short on is muscle. No. Why does his breastplate have like lights on it? Oh, yours doesn't. No, no, I don't want people to see that. No, you need money, Mando. No, he's not. You have to buy a new ship. This one is clearly not suitable. Boba was nice to him. Oh, okay. Why even show this logo anymore? Lucas, there's no point. Yay, we're on Tatooine. Hooray, Yay. I'm so excited. I sure hope that. What a shit fucking place to live. Good no wonder Luke bikes. wanted to leave. Oh, it's oh, a no, treasure chest. It's full of treasure. Loot boxes. Do you know where you are, gentlemen? Oh, look what it is. Think it through. Oh, it's yeah. you. Cobb something, right? Well, okay. it's Timothy Oliphant. Cobb Poplar. I'll give that you the that gun down. has totally You're fallen out of the hoster. Here. Where did Cobb come from? Is the most <laughs> hell <laughs> did he walk all the way here? He's walked all the way here. What's with his shirt? Well, it's the like one all thing he does Marshall, in the story is walk there. through the desert really far. Oh, yeah, he did that before. Out here, I'm the one tells folks what to do. Has only one of them got a gun? I think they all do, but he's going to shoot them all and they're going to die. No laws have been broken, far as I'm concerned. Just so why are you here? Problem. What are they doing? Where you came, we can chalk this one up to you guys reading the map wrong. So why don't they just leave? Why, why is this a confrontation? Why don't they just say, yeah, all right, if they've got a deal to do, they may as well just right, leave. We're gonna yeah. leave. Yeah, just leave. Wow. Why? Why though? Hang on, hang on. He, he shot twice. He shot twice. Yeah. Three with no, two wait, shots. that's how. That's how fast he shot. <clears throat> Replay that in slow. If you were. See, you're the smart one. No, I'm the lucky one. I'm the one. slow one, actually. Yeah. The one without a gun. <laughs> Tell him I've heard of the syndicate. Wait, Anyone so he's heard of the Pike, so why this is gonna aggravate the fuck out of him? Will be lost forever. Why is running spice bad? No, you haven't a why no. is this bad? It just seems like a business that you do. Trespass. Trespassing, there you go. It's worth more than your town. Well then maybe I'll retire. Okay. So are you a good marshal or a bad marshal or somewhere in between? I'm not entirely clear on what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what were they doing that was bad? Were they running spice? Why didn't they just? Why did they choose? A door. Can he? Can he like be like? Can I, wait, can I have a ride? Actually. <laughs> His shirt is the opposite of in intimidating. I like the shirt. Well, I don't like actually. But I think it's fine. I accept it. It'd be better well, if he's, he's just. He's just straight cowboy in Star Wars. Yeah. That's what the Mandalorians are supposed to be, right? Oh, it's spice, right? Yes. Oh, it's Coco. No, close it. Or the wind is gonna nice. blow it away. No, what are you, no, doing? What are you doing? Is that? I think that's bad, like, Didn't they say it's worth more than his entire town? You could have. Why? Why? Just why? Everything? Yeah, you have why it, is it now. Why is spice bad? Why do you want to get rid know. of it? I don't know. I don't know. Spice does. <laughs> that's the know. problem. It makes your food taste better, and that's just illegal on this miserable <laughs> yes. planet. That's literally yeah. it. So, that's all it is. Oh, so we're just. Oh, is that green? Not Tatooine. No, it's Tatooine. It's green. Wait, how, it's oh, also what? Bob how are Fett. you here? But <laughs> how are you here? But no, you I were. I don't care. Not Tatooine. How... Green. Trees. Green. There are green trees. Bushes. It's cloudy. There's Look bushes. I can smell I the bush. fresh air. So. Mm. Okay. Did he just sit in this seat for the I get, entire he's, yeah, trip? Yeah, he said he wanted to see Grogu first, right? So. Wow. Oh fuck no! I don't want to see that fucker. Uh oh. Wow. Okay. Man, yeah. we're, we're, we are five minutes in. We've had two big cameos. The so really does this big. Are we gonna see Luke Skywalker? Don't. No. He's gonna have dialogue, and it's not gonna make sense at all for his character. Just like the last time we fucking saw him. How is that ship spaceworthy? I don't why believe. Is, you. Yeah. Why is it not? Why, don't you want to finish it? 
No. It's just no, it's it looks finished. cooler without all the body panels, so... Hello, friend. For yeah. You're not friends. Bounty Hunter shows up hit. wanting to see Skywalker. I can't remember. It's was a he, message. Is he fluent with droids? Because he hates them, right? I he just... does hate them until he doesn't. Well, of course no, he doesn't. He, he likes R2-D2. Oh, God, That's God. why he hates them, because well, he, he knows what they're saying. <laughs> he does. He knows, he knows what R2 is on about all the time. R2 like right is... now, R2 is on a very strong rant about R2 it. is a white supremacist. <laughs> yeah. He's... Oh, look, a creature. But... Oh. That was a rock, you idiot. It was a rock. It's, it's a, a rock spy... mover robot. Oh, wait, no, it's an ant robot because it has six legs. Mm -hmm. right. It's an ant robot because it has six legs. Well, I, I, I was going to say that. spider, but uh... I'm sure it's called ant robot. Yeah, Man, yeah they got a lot of oh, there's a lot of robots. them. It's a whole ant robot farm. Oh, it does. It does look like Yeah. Is that. this the most efficient way to? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's one of those things from oh, TLJ. They're building the Jedi Temple. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a temply temple. Where the fuck so do you I get guess... all these droids from? What? They're all just finding rock. They're. Indivi this cannot be efficient at also, all. So wait, 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 wait. You need a connecting agent, right? I think um, I'll like build I'm pretty sure something. it would work. It just is odd that you would have incredibly advanced robots building a pretty rudimentary structure. Yeah. <laughs> is this an? Is this Mandalorian season three episode two? It seems like it. And did they just add in the Skywalker. Timothy Oliphant scene to remind yeah, us that this him. is meant Boba Fett? <laughs> meant to be Boba Fett. Well, he's a he's a Mando character. So. She is a Mando character, but it's all uh, Boba Fett waiting? stuff with his pikes and all that. I is guess. Here? Is that a bench? How long will I be waiting? Is anyone here? Anyone alive? What are we, uh, what are we... What are we doing? Oh, so anyone alive, so Luke or Han are gonna show up. R2 turned Wait, off like he did in fucking TFA. Hunter was like, fuck this. Well, I guess I'll just yeah, wait. Gonna... What? what? <laughs> well, at least there's something to look at. Oh no. No, oh, it's him. No, it's him. Oh. oh. He's the body. No. Oh. Don't you? No. Oh, no. Oh no. He's gonna get killed by Kylo Ren. Don't you have other students? Nope. No. Oh, this is the first new student in- Cyclops frog. Hi frog. Come on, leave him alone! He's gonna eat it. He is gonna eat it. Because funny. <laughs> That's actually the music they're playing. It's the same music that they played as he it's ate his, all the eggs. It's his, his eating music of, of creatures. <laughs> oh god, he actually might do something oh, horrific man. to the frog. God. Don't look, Fringy. Come on, what are you doing? He just wants to go for a swim. Yo, Grogu is hungry, so... Luke's gonna stop it. Because Luke is... Something Luke will save the frog, right? right? Luke will save the frog. He is trying to eat the frog! Grogu... Oh, he didn't even notice until he opened his eyes. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Book of Boba Fett. No That's lines. the name of the show. Say something! Do something! No, I'm, don't uh... say anything and don't do anything! Just sit there! Like an asshole. He's looking way better than he did in Mando season two. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he a lot is. more. They hired that YouTuber who's made it so that he looks good. They now. hired Corridor Digital to Corridor do it. Corridor Digital, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was that shot of just his arm? Like, in... he's he's doing force stuff, Jay. Pay attention. But like, no, geez. but is it no, but is in the shot that was just like his arm out of focus, obscuring Grogu. Like, get why the shot no, is off. Oh, he's had like, enough. Like oh god, the frog what are we had doing? Enough of your shenanigans. Oh wow. Oh jeez. They just want to frogs. chill out in their he's, little he's pond. Gonna, he's gonna funnel them all into Grogu's. I don't even know how there's a <laughs> pond up here on the top of this hill. Why? Why would? Why? Why? Yeah, we're just standing watching the frog. What is this? Oh, frogs! What the fuck am what I is? watching? What are you doing? What's going on? All the frogs are like, dude, this is not cool. Yo, <laughs> this is not fun my little for us. froggy mind. It's not fun for us. Dude, is what, is this, what is this time clown timeline I'm living in? What are you doing? <laughs> Put just, down what the is the scene? I... He doesn't even set him down gently, yeah. he just pops him back. <sighs> Holy shit, we've jumped oh, no, another no, five minutes and nothing's happened. <laughs> yeah. Let's go for a walk. You should probably carry him. He's he's he has to he's make a little go. baby. <laughs> he keeps he's, up with the I'll edits. walk as fast as you. He keeps it. Oh he's jumping. <laughs> jumping. Oh my god. How did He's doing the Yoda thing. Oh my god. Wait, is Luke doing that? Yeah. yeah. Just pick him up, fucking hell. Why do it like that? What? <laughs> Stop it! I want to tell you about someone you remind me of a great deal. His name was Yoda. Talk. You remind me of the only other guy of your race that I've met. 
He would say. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard anyone talk like that back home? Do you remember back home? I'm a child. I have no cons. I don't even know if I'm sapient. It feels so <laughs> awkward to watch this when it's meant to be kind of happy and stuff, but we know where it ends. You also, know? yeah, yeah, Gru is set to be killed by Kylo Ren, so... Well, unless they find a way to get him out of that situation. Which they mind mind well, they, they will, right? But I, I guess it's just awkward to see, like, Master Luke Skywalker training apprentices when you know how it ends. It's just really awkward. Not to mention, um... Grogu's not gonna be, like, a character for another, what, a hundred years or some shit? Wait. Probably a hundred years. What? What are we- are Oh. We... Uh, Remember the... Oh, he's got his lightsaber backhanded, so he'll do triple damage. Dude, the era we've entered into where you have to pillage from the prequels That's as well. Yeah. Man, they well, I mean, I'm happy that they're keeping in continuity with the prequels. Yeah, That's I just find it good. funny, that at all. Like, yeah. they never wanted to touch these in 2015. How did- how did Baby Yoda escape this? Okay. I guess we're not gonna find out. Is we knew, is we knew Anakin that in the, in the, in the raid them? on the Jedi Temple they killed no. all the kids. I yeah. think Anakin's gonna Anakin maybe Anakin save Grogu. Why would Anakin save Grogu? He killed all the other kids. I know, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. They're gonna do it. Is it Mark Hamill doing Luke's voice here? Could be. I think so. Because he, he actually doesn't... sounds young. Mark think, Hamill is a pretty good voice yeah, actor. Yeah, he might be able to impersonate right. himself at a younger age, sort of thing. No, oh, no, go away! Another one. more cameos! Yeah, Jeez. we get we, one per five I minutes. I told you! It would be another cartoon character showing up. I, mean, I thought you meant, like, a new one. Oh, it probably will be. Keep At this rate, we'll have, like, four more new characters. <laughs> yep. What is this place? There's nothing now. But will someday be a great school. It's gonna be a school? Grogu oh shit. Do you not have like, so, can you not get some Republic funding like or something? Doing. So you can get like air conditioning this maybe? Is, this is the planet He's where everyone fine. gets killed. And Grogu is his first nice. student. I want to see him. I know you do. Let us take a walk. To the kid or just... Well, whatever kills time, right? So. We, we, yeah. we, I'm, I'm glad that we're not doing Boba Fett this episode. The I'm gonna be well. Well, what are you gonna get like, back to some stage? Like, no, I'm happy to not see him that? anymore. But it's his show! I don't care, They, I don't like him. Kendall <laughs> 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 must be really, really hot in that outfit with the armor and the helmet and mm -hmm. covered up there is fully. No place in the galaxy more safe than here. It's gotta be really sweaty. No place more safe than here, really? I don't, I don't understand why you're all right with Skywalker's decision to train the kid when you wouldn't. Because it was his choice. Then it's my choice to go and see him. Are you doing this for Grogu? Or are you doing this for yourself? No one knows why he's doing anything. Yeah, no one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I really don't know why he's doing anything. I don't know who Mando is. I want to give him this. Mithril. Why? A napkin. So he will remember. That's the only napkin on this planet. No. Guarantee you it's Grogu there's armor and there's going to be... It should be, it should be more it's, than what's in right. there. Because it was a spear's worth. I don't know where the... Re maybe the blacksmith has the rest. I mean, she does She's going to make not weapons with it. This armor will protect him. Armor? Yeah, it's gonna be chain It's a very armor. small piece of armor. If you're set on it, then allow me to deliver it. No, fuck off. Fuck you. I'm gonna give I it to him. This way. Bitch. Oh, there's not much in this conversation at all. He's there's right not much there. in any of them. Mm hmm. Go, go, yeah, go give it to him. Fly go over use your there. leg. You can't catch yeah. you. Grogu misses you a great deal. Okay. If he sees you, he will be happy. It will only make things more. <laughs> we can't have that. Oh, is he just gonna take Grogu and we'll have another season of him no, and why Grogu? No, can't, why can't Mando just visit every once in a while? Hey, Grogu, it's me. How you doing? You keep it up your studies? Are you studying? Suck, right? Are you make reading it your sad, Jedi text Grogu will be sad. It's sad that he gets to see Mando every once in a while? Yeah. Make sure he's protected. It's... Oh, there you go. He's not gonna see oh, him. Oh, fuck. Himself. It's so stupid. If you came all... Fuck, this show's dumb. I like how everything... Uh, every organization sucks. Yeah. In Star Wars, every well, organization. They tell us the, the logic here is like, Jedi. if you see the baby, it'll be sad that you come and then go. It's like, well, yeah, that's how that works. Like, yeah. that's how visiting works. I don't know. <laughs> but it'll be okay with Ahsoka. It's not. Yeah, she'll just give him the armor and say, I, I don't know, I made this. <laughs> I found this on the ground. The, the red imagine, that you. imagine being told that Mando showed up on this planet in person, but you weren't allowed to see them. No, there yeah, there you go. Like, He's don't gone. piss me the fuck off. All right, then. I'm glad. I, I'm glad Kylo Ren killed these people. I am too. He was <laughs> Kylo Ren was right. Fucking kill the Jedi. <laughs>
bunch Kylo of assholes. President. Kylo for Galactic little backpack. It's like when he was carrying Yoda on the backpack. What are you gonna train him? In? Why are we still here? Luke, you're gonna be dead by the time this kid is like five. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you jump. Really? So it oh, can't understand. He's a fucking baby. <laughs> jump, and as you do, feel the force flow through you. Force what jump. does that mean? Force jump. Do it. Little shit. What if he just like shoots into the fucking atmosphere? <laughs> nice. Yo. Oh, I guess we're done with that training. Like, so we, we are just doing this but reverse now. Why would Luke Well, not running... reversed, actually, but still, yeah. yeah this, it's well, what if the baby it's, flew it's, out? It's, <laughs> we'll sink you. <laughs> it's, 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 we're, we're doing, we're doing Empire, but it doesn't make any sense because... Luke, why is Luke doing this? Luke is doing... Well, well, how does Space Baby Yoda benefit from Luke is doing the Dagobah running, and now it's with Baby Yoda this instead of you. I guess he's. I guess he's just keeping fit. But How are you holding that? that? There's no way that's strong enough to hold you. Oh, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. <laughs> Look, the wide world exists in balance. Feel the force all around you. So lame. What are you thinking right uh, now? I mean, it's better than most of what we've got. I don't know that you. Are you sure? Or does it just look uh, nice? I mean, here? God, scenes, think about what we're getting. This just scene, yeah, you're just happy to see a tree. True, I am. Which I am as well. Why are we still <laughs> here? What are we doing? What we're nearly halfway through ground? the episode. This is if the we count, if we count the credits, <laughs> what is he? What, is what, what? what? I feel so bad for this kid who. Like, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Well, he, can, he can lift frogs out of the water. He'll let him watch some cartoons. Jeez. Better. We're still here. We're still watching it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kill that baby. It's, it's funny, though, because, like, the stupider the, this is. It's just stupid, but when it's like when it's even approaching being in character and faithful and, and nice, it's like ah, I know how this ends. Is he gonna give Grogu the lightsaber? Wait, the dr he's gonna give him the little shooting robot. I mean, well, we're not doing well, this well, yet, are we? Jeez. Look, remember the things. Remember the stuff. Yeah. Remember the things. It's, it's, remember it's, the what, things. Going with it. Is it football? No that, is, no, that isn't how it works. Yeah, stupid. Well, but the Luke, fucking kid doesn't stupid, know. Stupid fucking baby. <laughs> fucking infant. <laughs> So what is to is monitor Luke and his treatment of this baby? <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I'm starting to think is like, is this the Luke Skywalker show episode one? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Is this the is this the <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ? Get back up. Always get back up. Always get back up. He hasn't even had a chance to get back up yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm shocked. I'm a little <laughs> infant child that's been shot at by this robot. <laughs> I don't want to live with you what anymore. The, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh my god. Oh, you oh, have the actual fuck. Is <laughs> that, was fast. that was real fast. Look at him go. <laughs> it's like, I don't feel like we're getting a montage here. I feel like it's no, just, it doesn't feel like a montage. It feels like it's been one day. Yeah. Well, yeah um, what we want is like we want this as a montage with like oh he's wearing different clothes and like, Grogu is gonna day, be killing right, people with lightsabers by to, the end of this show. Like is this supposed to be like remember when Yoda jumped around with fighting Count Dooku? It's like that yeah. or something. He's he's Yoda. Look, he's jumping. It's our only one. It's the only one we got. It's the only one we got. It's the only one. It's the only oh, one we have. Oh, you no, that's the only we have you asshole you put those fucking like baby you have a lot of anger in you creature I, you've taught him well it's more like he's remembering that i'm actually teaching him anything sometimes the student guides the master Go sometimes on. the student guides the master yeah sometimes you can't <laughs> disagree here. with that rags it's the context of her she's saying she's this here about a baby uh, yeah they, that's the real problem they've, re they've recreated a young mark hamill for this entire episode she hasn't even what, given like, him the thing yet this was a day uh, it's been about a day. It's yeah. been an hour at most. <laughs> I mean, that sun has been dead yet. Yeah, it feels like it's the same time of day. So much like your father. Um. Okay. Sensitive subject. Yeah. I guess almost, that's just honestly, was that a reverse shot? The look that he gave it came across reversed. as like that's not your fucking business. God, imagine yeah, Luke, that was trust your instincts. I'm glad they've it's got, so like, to tell you that. They've got a very serviceable de-aged Mark Hamill. Imagine if they did something good with that. What is so he... disappointing. What does this oh, have to do with Orbo Fett? We're almost at two-thirds. 
Wow. Man. It's a Boba Fett. This is a seven, an ep- this is a seven episode show, right? Yeah, the next episode's the finale. <laughs> of, the, of the Boba Fett show. I, I cannot and we're back. Who oh, are you? Back with Mando in the Boba Fett show. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't have to. So I guess I guess trip. we just had like a 30 minute oh. detour of here's Luke for some reason. Like, okay, so now we're back. So now we're doing the actual plot of the show. Okay, so this is where the episode would have began if not for our, some bonus stuff we had filmed <laughs> already. <laughs> oh, he's got an axe. Be careful. What you doing, parking here, boy? We don't like your guy around here. I like how their security for their their airport is a guy with an axe. I was gonna say, right, isn't as it? if he was gonna stop Mando. Oh, not the yes, uh, the cyborgs. Have you never been to an airport, Rags? Whenever the insecurity, the there's just one dude standing there with an axe. That's yeah. On the runway. Yeah. Can I just <laughs> say just how a guy cool walking it is. outside with an axe on the runway? Ain't it really cool how we've collected all these awesome characters throughout the show and they're all getting together? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's great. This is the Avengers Assemble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're our cringe team. There's the Three black chrysanthemum, and those are the cyberpunk. Cyber 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 that's that's hatless Boba. This is the Mandalorian Din Djarin. Hello. I'm Thanks way more effective than all of you put together. I'm actually not a, Mandalorian, not a Mandalorian anymore, by the way. The mods have done a thorough job of surveying the streets, but we lack the numbers to cover our territory if an all-out war comes. This is like, well, of it. course, you only have yeah. like eight people. Yeah. We need foot soldiers. I might be able to help with that. I was, I grew up surrounded by soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> but Boba Fett didn't say anything in that scene. <laughs> he didn't he say anything. and got his way. <laughs> Maybe they finally listened to him, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, is up, he right? gonna recruit Jawas to help him? <laughs> How do they know that no, it's you? you? Right? You killed their. Friends. Well, no, but he, no, he gave him coins. If you give him, yeah, if you he pay him, him an sure. oh. he did okay. give him an egg. That's true. No, he's flying away from them. This they have like memorials to Larry and around. Jerry oh, so and Adam. Knew, and they knew that Steve. was Bando. Like, it was waving. How could they have possibly known? Also, you're about a minute behind. I always have incredibly one. good vision. So he is going to recruit uh, Timothy Oliphant then. Mm. I mm-hmm. guess so. Yeah, we'll have him in the team. Why not? Why does he hire a guard? Well, wait, but if this scene is like five minutes. We're almost done. Yeah. You want to park your starship? <laughs> what the fuck is this show? There. You want to park your starship? You gotta do it out there in the flat. I'm looking for Marshall Vance. I don't think you heard what I said. I heard you. I'll take it from here, deputy. Where did you come from? Wait, oh. Did you not see him? <laughs> How did he just fucking disappeared out of thin air. How did you just come from? He was just, just standing in a way that he was obscured by the other guy from the <laughs> camera. The camera. <laughs> every, yeah. every single angle he was moving he behind was the right guy. Right there. He's much <laughs> taller than him, too. That's what it's... Can I buy you a drink? So that we really, this isn't their only scene. We're gonna have several. The, the Boba Fett. Show. Oh. Hey, Boba Fett was in this episode. He, he didn't, didn't say, say a word. But he was in it. Yeah. No, but, but he was there. <laughs> you know. Far ever. Can confirm he was there. But it's all oh, do you think that planet. they put the skeleton we here and then they built the building around it, or oh. they found a way to fit the skeleton into the building? Not a problem. Well, it's it's that Family Guy joke so with the couch, like trying to squeeze in the fucking. Right easy, now. easy. What are we doing? No, stop, 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 stop. Twist it. I am. And we're gonna What's have the that Star Wars edit. thing, right? Yes, it was. That's why it works on multiple well, levels. I'm not sure I'm gonna find a way to put it in the edit, but we'll see. The Pike Syndicate has us outnumbered, and we need your help. The town wants no part of it. I'm gonna recruit city, your town's fight. population as warriors to fight some random. What I mean, the just, fuck? Just grab call. Why don't you? Do? The rest. Surely well, Star surely, Wars yeah. is not devoid of people who want to fight for money. Surely, like as a as a bounty hunter, you know of yes, mercenaries and like no, maybe like a band of mercenaries. No, he's only aware of the people we've seen him meet in this show. There's no easy way to ask for a favor. I'll tell you what, things are tough around here, but I'll see what I can do. I mean, I, I, I'm not against people. the idea of hiring Cobb specifically because he's a he's a gunslinger. gunslinger he's pretty good. Yeah, but him like, specifically, sure. I don't understand the whole like, yeah, I need your people. Like, they're a bunch of random like they're miners, aren't they? Like, leave yeah. them alone. Remember what happened last time you recruited yeah. the townspeople? They all got to melted. He should recruit melted. the banther. He should recruit the banther. He can eat <laughs> the enemies. <laughs> We're up surrounded by. Oh! 
Really? Oh, is it a bad gunslinger man? Really? He's, a, a, he's a Clone the... Wars guy who's coming. Yes. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay. You can tell already. But I'm already. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The cowboy he's hat. Got a, he's got a yeah. very distinct look. Um, where the hell did he come from? It looks like he just walked in from literally the did desert. He walk in? <laughs> and the only reason he noticed is because the wind chimed. Yeah. Why are you well, you that see, hat? he causes wind to happen. Are, are, Christ, we, doing, are we really doing desert. more of not Boba? He just came Honestly. in from nowhere. The middle of the desert. He just appeared. <laughs> he's getting here. He's, he's getting. He's yeah, going. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> I don't oh, know who that is. It means oh, nothing to me. Deputy's going to get shot to establish that this new person There's no is way. Bad. Yeah, they're telling us the deputy man is aggressive, so he's definitely dead. Why are those down there? Yeah, I was about to ask. <laughs> Bit of an annoying reach, yeah. Whatever Fat is paying you will match. And all you've got to do is stay put. Hey, the marshal ain't for sale. Wait, the marshal ain't for sale? Didn't he just get hired by Boba <laughs> Fett? <laughs> shut up, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I think that's what Cobb's face was. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'd be careful where I was sticking my nose if I were you. You don't have a nose. You don't have a nose. <laughs> hey man, that's just what his people's nose. He never has to be careful where he sticks his nose. I would, I would love it so much if the fucking sheriff replied, "You don't have a nose." <laughs> you don't I would actually right. really like that. Boba Fett is a cold-blooded killer who worked for the Empire. Wow, those blue guns are distracting. Never give I know, him right? Armor. Uh oh. So the second guy just didn't shoot. Oh yeah, I guess he just didn't do anything. And I guess. Oh my god, his fingers are so flumpy. Flumpy fingers. <laughs> Very Tatooine flumpy fingers. Belong Tatooine belongs to the syndicate. As long as the spice keeps running, everyone will be left alone. Oh my god, he's so cool. Guess it's time to walk off. all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> so they brought him back just to kill him? What if also, dude, he's facing his back to the whole town after killing the yeah. sheriff. No, uh, he's not well, dead, he's just hurt. Well, even even still. Oh, no, this fight is all problem. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, that's so, that's yeah. what they're going to go with. The whole town's going to fight now. Cause... Oh, I love this one. Just, 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 just. I, I, like, I love this one. Be quiet. Where's Max? I don't really mean anything if Max isn't here, yeah. Oh my god, did you see how poorly the fucking musician was miming in the back? That was hilarious. He was just vaguely wafting his hand towards his guitar. Can we take your helmets for a cleaning? No, that's dumb. I want to clean my helmet. What kind of fucking... What the fuck? Kind of a thing? <laughs> Imagine if you walked into a, an establishment and they're like, do you want us to clean your clothes? Like... <laughs> No, and you I came right here for a drink, to not to clean my shit. <laughs> That's not real liquid in there, and those cups are clearly glued to the tray so that they don't fall off. You're nitpicking, Rags. Yeah. They put a bomb Did, in there, didn't Yeah, there was like a bomb or something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They weren't out yet. They're oh, dead. Not, not the sexy Twi'leks. I can see that all of us care about this. Wait, what happened? <laughs> I'm just glad something happened. Oh, good. Well, oh. we're back here again. Why are we here? Was, it, was there a character what, what in the show called Boba Fett? Relevant. A Boba Fett show? Is there a character in the show Boba Fett? I don't think so. I think the end what do you eat? How do you the, cook food? Just at the, why can't they admit they just want to make a generic, like a generically all-encompassing Star Wars show? Star Wars like, show. just yeah. admit it. Just, just be honest with yourself. Oh, he's and gonna like, take it's out all unclear the when we start before. an episode of the Star Wars show which characters we're gonna be spending time with, and that would be fine. This is me thrill. Bilbo yeah, said it it's uh, it's worth so more than the wall of the Shire, and he's Off gonna grow out of that. Scales. Hang on, hang on. Was that the entire Beskar spear went into that? Yeah. I've been well, saying this. No, I don't. No, there's there's no. Oh, what are you giving him a little mini lightsaber? A, a little tiny. Give him sting. Oh he my god! Sting. No, no, <laughs> don't give him a little. No, it's his first day. This is a lightsaber. Please, Luke. Please. <laughs> Luke, no. This is very oh, irresponsible. Wait, 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 wait. He just said it belonged to Yoda. It's Master Yoda's. That's, how did you get that? How did you get that? How did Don't you give get it that? to him. Don't. Do not oh, hand this off. to the no. baby. What are you doing? No, no way, shape, or form. Can't you just make a that. new sword? Do we just need to get someone else? It's so irresponsible. Give the baby the lightsaber, please. You're a terrible parent. Can I choose only one? <laughs>
Fuck you. you know the other green this is the this is the lightsaber i wait really if you choose the armor you'll return to your friend the mandalorian however you will be giving into attachment to those that you love and forsaking the way of the jedi but if you choose the lightsaber i will train you to be a great jedi why are you letting this tiny child make these important how is the baby, life decisions? How is it supposed to understand the gravity of this decision? <laughs> Give him the lightsaber. I really love that he's giving like he's giving him Yoda's lightsaber. I imagine him going up to like Finn and saying, "Hey man, here's Lando's blaster. Why give me Lando's blaster? Oh, you, you know, I feel like it. Would no be, reason. No know, reason at all. It will take you many years to master the ways of the Force, and you may never see the Mandalorian again." You are not prepared to make these decisions. Yeah. You just do not just understand the gravity. incredibly irresponsible on yeah. this is, part, so I yeah. guess he's still in character. Which do you choose? Oh, right, that's going to be our hook for season three. We don't know. What the That'll fuck? be the, the bait. What, what was that? What that was that? Dave Filoni. That, that was a... That's... What are we doing? What is happening? I, what are we I, doing? I'm, what is I'm just, this? What a dumpster fire! It's been two episodes since Boba Fett said any words in the <laughs> yeah. Boba Fett show. Yeah, what like this is not done? the Boba Fett. This is not the book of Boba Fett. This is the Mandalorian season three. I How does Tamara Morrison feel about It's the Star this. Wars show. It's generic as hell. Right, We're just getting is. Star yeah. Wars stuff. There's Luke. There's Ahsoka. There's uh, it's Cad Bane, right? That's his name. Yeah. There's Cobb. Yeah. There's Obviously, bad. It's though. everybody. We're doing. We're, it's everybody. We're getting the whole crew together. And I guess next episode we just have an army to fight the Pikes. Yeah, but we're we doing a big, a big fight. It's just gonna be a big fight in the last episode. Yeah, and then they'll okay. be like, join us for season three of Mando. <laughs> with Boba Fett presumably will guest star. It, Boba Fett, he guest stars in his own show. It feels I've never like seen the this only reason like, that scene was in there was just to remind you that, that, that this is what we're doing. <laughs> Why do we see the Jawas again? Was that just <laughs> saying uh, hi to the Jawas, you know? I'm hey, legit we just curious to, we what to Tamara Morrison feels about. They are, they are like holding the skull of the sandworm. Yoda getting shot by the fucking... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I feel like they had to make up for lost time and making the syndicate or whatever like bad. Evil. Yeah. Yeah. Let's we just still have don't know why. Bar, I guess. And I still don't really yeah. know why. You interrupted their be, yeah. their business well, the, and they've attacked you as a result. That seems normal. That's the problem we've entered into though for like the finale. So we don't really know who the syndicate are and and the pikes and what they want. We don't really know what yeah. spice does. We don't really know what the state of affairs is across Tatooine or the outer rim or anything. Yeah, or like let them... the hot spot or anything. We, we, we the just, we're just gonna have. It sounds like they level. just want to move spice with their gun train. That's all it sounds like they want to do. Basically, just let them yeah. do it. Just and all the, we what, have to work with off your back? is that they apparently shot at the Tuscans, which presumably that could have started ages ago that they shot at each other. We have no I idea. I bet the Tuscans started it. I wouldn't be the, surprised. Yeah, the, most, the, the most evil thing we've seen them do is still the gun train, and that's basically still all we know about them. And, and even still, and Cad, and we're, Cad Bane and has next turned up. Next episode the finale. Cad Bane turned up because he would have been told that three of the Pike Syndicate were killed and their operation was stalled by some guy in the middle of Moss Pelco. So he clearly came here to tell him to fuck off, and he offered to pay him, yeah. and then they end up in a gunslinging fight. So I'm still sitting here like, I don't really know... Who I'm supposed to be rooting for? I'm a little confused. Yeah, yeah but it's Boba, I because he's the good guy. Well, he's yeah, called the Book of Boba Fett. He's Cobb is also the good guy. You know, we should be sad that he was shot. And I'm just like, I don't fucking know what happened here. I don't. I, I don't, don't know what care. happened. I feel like it's a problem that you've had. You've made a show about a crime boss, but like you don't want to do a. Uh, you don't want to do. It's it's black and white. It's just like, a boss. The good it's guys. just a boss. It's he not a crime a vague, boss. You're right. He is just a vague boss of things, and the Pikes are the bad guys. There's not a back and forth. It's not a steady escalation. It's not one mistake. Someone gets killed, yeah. and then it causes a blood feud. Like we're not. What, why is it meant to be a crime lord show when there's nothing of the sort in this? And then we spend two episodes on Mando instead. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is insane that so four, four of the episodes were spent on. What did we achieve in that? It's like we Mainly found out we learned that he liked the Tuscans. Yeah, the I know where he got his sticks from. So that's cool. where he got his stick he from. Got his tick. And he no killed the Salak. He killed the Salak. He, he forgot that he drove his ship into it. Hmm? Should never have seen this coming. What a Frankenstein no. of a show.
Yeah, I would say that mad. this episode in particular, like the last episode just felt like a Mando episode. This one felt Frankenstein. It felt like they put the Cobb stuff at the beginning and the end to remind you that it's Boba Fett. And then they had that little bit in the- And then they put yeah, Boba Fett in I to remind you it's Boba Fett. I yeah, still stand exactly. by Cobb Van to me comes across more so as a Mando thing, not a Boba thing. Yeah. I guess in a certain sense, it's just that now he seems to. This was like them connecting I, a Mando like, thing to Boba, you know? Yeah. So this is this was clearly supposed to like it wouldn't feel out of place for him to appear in the Boba Shet uh, Boba Shet Boba, Boba, Boba Shet show. Shet. Like if Mando didn't appear, I could still see this decision where he appears, right? And you'd be like, oh, I know him from Mando. Whereas, like, like if you cut all the Mando stuff from the episode, I think he'd probably still end up in the story that they'd write. If they didn't, if they weren't splicing in the Mando stuff they've already filmed, I could totally see him still ending up in there. But it's still, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. That's pretty bad, though, that one. Well, so I've, I've been hearing from a lot of people that this episode is great and easily the best. I, and I'm, uh, because it's obvious. Lucas why, it's obvious. Because of the last upside that. down clown world. The well, last one was the best one, not this oh, one. Yeah, yeah the last um, one I, th I still think it's now. better than any of the uh, the first four. Um, I don't know if I agree I'm not with sure. That. Any, I, I really need All to try and separate Luke this out in my head because it's like, is it good just because of the fact that Luke is being like, training is good and you should be nice? And Well, that's the stat. Like, but then, and that that, yeah, that then puts he, it above other shit we've seen. Except at the end mm. when he says, hey, little baby, uh, make a decision that will impact the rest of your life. Do it. Uh, here's a sword. Here's yeah. a sword, here's some armor. Sorry, like, here's, no, just to be clear, here's an object that's far more dangerous than a sword. Well, yeah, I'm the, the training true. droid that hits you with, I know they're not lethal, but they're still blasts but still, and he's a baby. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. what's Ahsoka doing? Is she just, she's just around. He's just, yeah, she's just around. Yeah, and, and then she thing, left I after. Even, I can't even say I mean, that they brought her in because she'll be in the final. I don't know why she would be in the final. No, I, no? she'll be in her Ahsoka Because Dave has to bring in all of his guys' characters. No, yeah. it's, it's it's just to remind you that she's gonna have her own show. That's but it. She will, oh, yeah, they are it. making it. Um, yeah. Right, because she's so exciting and interesting. Yes. How many episodes of the Ahsoka show do you think are gonna have Ahsoka in it? Uh, I think that six. she'll get the whole treatment. She'll get all of the episodes and all the stuff, because I think it's because it's Dave Filoni created that character, so... I wouldn't be surprised if, she, I don't know, she got special treatment. That's what I've Imagine heard from a lot you're... of fans, that she gets, like, protections from Dave Filoni quite yeah. a bit. Whereas Boba Fett, we just don't give a shit for some reason, which is Boobie insane. Feet. He's not my toy. I, I can't believe how much they've just discarded Boba Fett, though. It's pretty wild. Got his wish. What's interesting, too, is imagine you're Grogu, and you have all these adventures with Mando, and then you get taken away to a planet, and this weird guy... Like, he, he shoots you with laser beams from this robot, and he makes you do all this jumping and working out, and it's this wee's weird task, and he's like, I mean, you can go back if you want, and the baby's like, fuck yeah, I want to go back. This is shit. You're shooting lasers at me and making me do flips in the woods? I don't... Mando never made me do any of this. To hell with that. He what sat if, me down uh, in the classroom and fed me cupcakes. What if, what if uh, Mando just arrives and sees Luke putting Grogu with the droid that shoots at him and it's like, wow, I'm taking this guy back now. Yeah, this is, I'm going to call the Republic, actually. They need to know what you're doing here. You can't be you allowed to You gave him a sword? You gave, yeah, you gave <laughs> you him did a what? what? It's, it's worse than a sword. It's a fucking it's a, no, it lightsaber. It's distinctly worse. Like, it's like, it's like, like, if you can touch a sword re... and you're fine, right? You can touch it. That's, that's fine. And because we need all those member berries, it had to be Yoda's sword that he I guess, has. Yeah, I guess. And wants to give to Grogu because remember, he yeah. really likes Grogu. I, I don't know. Lightsaber? I guess the Emperor hang on to it, put it in his little... What, 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 what's the last time we saw it? Did it he got, drop it? got it? zapped out of his hand in Coruscant when he was fighting the Emperor. And it, and it fell in the yeah. Senate room, right? Yep. In the, That's the right. Senate so room. somehow yes. it went from there to loot. It's not impossible. <laughs> I mean, him having that is something that I'm not... I find cringe. I don't think it's, ho I, I don't think it's I, horrible that he has it. I think it's I cringe. Could believe I think it, it is. I, I agree. I think it is cringe. I think um, it should be, I it's, created it's, this lightsaber and it's modeled after my master's. That's simple as that. It's just, I think it's cringe that he's giving it to Grogu. More oh, so absolutely. Than he has like, it. With no yeah. question that is, on that. Of course. Yeah. That's the Grogu. fucking hook of the episode. Like, whoa. In the book of Boba Fett, do you think Yoda will, baby Yoda will pick the lightsaber or the armor? I'm sitting here like, I don't fucking, what are we doing? What's I don't, happening? Not only do I not know, I don't care. I don't think I care, because, like, it's a baby. I don't give a shit. It's, I don't, there's nothing to attach Wait, myself in which to. Which way will this baby, baby flop? 
I don't know. I just, yeah, I do not care. I don't give a shit. What a disaster. I'm sure people are lapping it up because, ooh, look, the blue cowboy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh, it's Ahsoka. Oh, my gosh, it's Luke Skywalker. When she said, oh, look, R2-D2. When she wow. said your dad would be proud, I'm sure people are creaming over that. This all began in 2015 when everyone loved The Force Awakens. And everyone creamed for it, and it made fucking two billion zillion dollars, and everyone said it was the best thing ever, and it was Star Wars done right, and in it that that's why we're here. We're here because everyone loved The Force Awakens. TFA is an interesting beast in that Han Solo was almost as disrespected as fucking Luke was in TLJ. I don't know that it came across as easily to a lot of but, people. Yeah, but people didn't. They just, I guess people by and large just didn't notice or care. And I didn't notice when I watched it. Well, neither did I. Um, yeah, me neither. Yeah. It just, yeah, I just wasn't like I am now. Well, but like Mando's season two finale, it's like that was there. The I it just seems to line up right. Like TLJ was like what an experimental idea Nails to do with the this coffin. character. Then everyone hated it, and then they were like, okay, so what if we just show you Luke? Fucking slicing about robots, and everyone went nuts. They're like, "So you guys just want to see the stuff, stuff that you know to be the way it's supposed to be? It doesn't really matter what we're writing, as long as they just they come across as what you remember." Unless it's Boba Fett. Well, yeah, I, I don't know what the fuck's going on there. I think maybe we're applying too much thought to their decisions. Maybe it's more so an instinctive creature that doesn't even understand, like, the concept of why it would do a thing. It just, you know, it's its, it's behavior is entirely based on instinct, and like it just behaves. The land droids that are building that hut, they're trying to build a franchise, but they don't know how or why, they're just told to pick the bricks that people pay for. I think, well, yeah, we're all of the writers... too much intent to the algorithm that created this show. I'll, I will say, it still uh, feels completely sterile to me, if that makes sense. When I s see any of this there's stuff. There's no heart in any of it. There's yeah. no salt in any of this. There's just no meanings and no... Nothing feels well-crafted. We could write a new story that tests Luke in a new way. Um, that he's not, you know... Maybe a kind, of, you know, a, a kind of trial that he's not been through before, and moral questions that he's never, he didn't have to answer in the OT, stuff like that. You can see him go through all of that, and that would be really interesting. And it would take talent to write, to and it would be the kind of, it's the kind of thing that you want to see happen to your established characters that you already love, is them go through things that you've not seen them go through before, so that you can get more of the character, but without just having all oh, the same story again. That's exactly how you do this kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Where did baby jump on a rock? This this episode had two action scenes, but they weren't like typical action scenes. Um, for, yeah. The first one was the yeah. training, right? The first one was the shootout with the pikes, and then the second one was the Cad Bane thing. Oh yeah, both of them were gunslinging like. Yeah, uniforms. they weren't like s uh -huh. s really long winded fights or chases. That's nice. Also, it's fucking terrible to me that they keep having people just turn up in areas when it's like. On set, when filming, it would make sense because everyone's just in the room and it's like, yeah, just turn up. But it's like, guys, you're supposed to be trying to convince us this is a vast desert. They can't just walk up to yeah. each other. It doesn't make any yeah. fucking sense. Yeah, it, it's like they've forgotten. Walking. It's like, wait, so this is in a city, right? No, no, in the desert. <laughs> no, so a uh, in city. the middle of the desert. No, in the middle of the desert. Nothing for miles around, probably further. If you had rode in on a banther, I guess it would have made a little more sense. Well, because well, he's he's have a star epic ship. shot of him walking from really yeah. far away. It's so funny. Like, it's just funny it's to me. It's so, yeah. so fucking easy to parody, right? Like. Well, it's the shot is beholden, like, the story is beholden to the shots and the spectacle. Who cares if it ma doesn't make sense? I wouldn't be we surprised if shot. people say, like, it's an incredible shot because it shows just, like, the vastness of the desert and yet Cad Bane is so powerful he can just walk right through it or some bullshit like that. I mean, it is a cool <laughs> shot, but it doesn't really, like, follow in terms uh... of what's happening here. It amuses me. He's probably very tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then just turns around and walks all the way back. It's great. Hey, what are we going to do in the final episode? What are we going to do? We go one just gives a shit. One left. We're just going to just going to all meet up at a point like, "Oh, this is where the pikes are. Fight, have fun." Oh my. You know what? For the first time ever, let's have just a little post episode memes. It's wild to think we could be getting a Grogu appearance next week. What's even crazy to think about is if Din travels to Luke's Jedi Temple, we could even see Han there with a young Ben Solo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Fucking oh. hell. I know what all of those things are. <laughs> it's so nuts. Oh. The best mm -hmm. thing. Yum, 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 yum. Eat um, it up. Eat it up. Eat um, the slop. Speaking of that, um, there you go. That is, sums up this. 
Yeah. Yeah. I like that I like that the three soys in the middle are just like an amor- amorphous soy jack blob. Yeah. <laughs> the soy creature. <laughs> um Book of Boba Fett, episode six, hard to believe. I don't know, I don't know what we're doing. I'm sad now. S- s- Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Remember how in no, the no, Mandalorian, I, I guess, yeah. Baby Yoda couldn't understand the concept of an arm wrestle, and so he almost chokes yes. Gina Carano's character to death because he he didn't have the mental faculty to understand an arm wrestling contest. And now he's being given fuck it, just fuck it. Goodbye. Right, say goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, you gotta say oh, goodbye, goodbye, and then I can hit the button. Well, I could, no, actually, I have power now. You already said it. No, you. Like- Get back up. Always get back up. What'd you bring me? Uh... I have some trail mix. Awesome. I have some mix. <laughs> Do you guys have trail mix in your parts of the world? What is I it? Know. I think so. What is that? I, mean, trail I think mix it's just here. nuts and raisins and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's like yeah, it's, it's like you mixed nuts, like that, cashews, but... almonds, peanuts with some dried oh, um, yeah, grapes we, in we there. Got... So we call them raisins. Yeah, we, um, we have that. It's M&Ms. Called that. I forage that from called? the woods. <laughs> is that something you do often? What's Jay it called? Yeah. In the woods to forage wood stuff. I go into the woods to forage for nuts and berries. Like every time I on the trails. In Jay's off time, he lives a double life as a squirrel just running <laughs> around getting nuts this one's actually what i was doing minute. wait do you tend to find m&ms on the first. trail yeah <laughs> oh no they're sure cherries they're they're M&Ms. M&Ms. Mom's spaghetti. The i like spaghetti yeah no spaghetti find spaghetti on the trail <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti is one of my least favorite pastas <laughs> you're walking uh, down a trail you know in the what? woods it's oh. just some fucking spaghetti bolognese you like, know what hmm. rags oh, yeah, yeah. i kind of agree i prefer uh like the the other types of pa- i like ravioli a lot more than spaghetti yeah ravioli i like um, i like her with the other I like I said with the other yeah. type of pasta, which is like five hundred other ones. <laughs> Pasta's cool. I like, really. um, Sp- spaghetti is the worst type of pasta. I like noodles true. though. I kind of like spaghetti. Oh yeah, I love noodles. Yeah, I love noodles. I like bucatini every now and then. Um, is it bene or penne? Uh, which which one is it? Penne. Bean. It's pronounced peen. <laughs> Beanie. It's Beanie peen. Oh, they, but oh, yeah, I'm just, raviolis, lasagna, mm, yeah, rigatonis, lasagna. and That's love right. tortellinis. So Tortellini many of these, great. so many of these sound like you're about and to I, be like tortellini by balls, Lamau. Even like macaronis that are like the big old elbows. I love those. Those are great. Going to Google and just looking up types of pastures, man, the variety in pasta is pretty staggering. <laughs> yeah, and spaghetti is the actual matter. worst. I don't know that. It's all just the it's worst. just different shapes. It doesn't really taste that different, does it? I wonder I, if the shapes make a difference in terms of well, yeah, because tortellini has foods. stuff in it. It has cheese in yeah, there, and you can put mushrooms in there too. Oh, that's true, and that's fucking and great. Ravioli. I, I really like and that. ravioli. Yeah, and you can fry ravioli, and it's delicious. Gives it a crunch mm. on the outside. Mm. Speaking of pasta, do you like you like rigatoni, right? I do, actually. So, how do you feel about bofa? Bofa over these nuts. No, fuck. Wow. Why did we that did kill it, metal it. specifically? <laughs> <laughs> was a sick burn, bruh. He's a big fan of Bofa. <laughs> big fan of nuts. He's, he's, he's glad to find yet another Bofa enjoyer. Imagine if you were gay, but just for balls. So we're watching the Book of Boba Fett season finale today, aren't we? No. Oh, okay. No, um, not. We're probably stream about something else. Mandalorian <laughs> season <laughs> three finale. Well, the season three. Episode three. <laughs> that, well, the, the, yeah, to be fair, at this point, part of the premiere. it's the Star Wars variety show finale uh, yeah. for this season. Because they can't think mm-hmm. of what to name this shit anymore. Uh, uh, this is the holiday special for the 21st century. Don't you know what a book is? They have different chapters about different people. Okay. Yes, that is something that books do. They have different chapters with different people. Except for the books where the POV is fixed on one character. <laughs> like in all mediums of entertainment where you could do that. You don't know what a what book is, Stringy. That is such an odd thing for someone to say. Books have different POVs. Yes, yeah, so do like everything. <laughs> like, if you, what? 
<laughs> Do you really think that my problem with this is that it explores multiple points of view and that's it? I just don't ever want that to happen. You know what, yes. guys? It was called The Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, like, it is a bit odd when he doesn't show up for, like, two episodes. For two episodes. Well, yeah. To be fair, he Which does is... show up for 30 seconds. That's a th like... entire show. He's just not in. Like, wait, episode, there's only seven episodes, right? Yes, yeah. This is yeah, so end. that's just under a third of the show. He's just not in it. Yeah, like, legitimately. Uh, and it's not even that he's not in it. It has nothing to do with him. Episode five is entirely about Mando. And episode well, six is primarily about Mando as well. We're about to find out if that was actually setting stuff up for the finale or not. I don't think uh. so. I think that that was setting stuff up for uh, Mando. They almost certainly were, but... Hey, maybe. Maybe. We, uh, this one's an hour, isn't it? So it's long compared uh. to the rest of the... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I want to throw out a clarification immediately. A lot of people in, in our communities have been like, man, the show's so embarrassing. They're all convinced that spice is like human earth spice. We can <laughs> infer that it's something bad. It's just that the show hasn't told us what it I is. Never, like We're I've only joking when we problem. say it's put on food. Like, yeah. yeah. I've I've never never been 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 as far as we know, it could be, though. Well, it could yeah. be. Maybe and it's spicy I'm takes. Like, I'm actually like about oh. to lose my mind because like, the Silk Road, people vied for control over that over the course of centuries to trade things like spice and silk and this is the, um, this is the problem. ceramics. Yeah, this um, could be any any good, any product, depends on where it is and who's supposed to have control over it. It, and how many it doesn't have to be some quote-unquote illegal substance, because yeah, be I don't even be. believe it's illegal. It, How can it, will it be? be though, it? It'll, be, it'll be a drug or something. In or... fact, it almost seemed like they were doing that with water in the show, maybe. Like, there was going to be some wars over water, which makes complete sense. Sure, you can do that I'm if you want. Yeah. Water doesn't have to be bad for you no, to they be wouldn't fought do that. over. It would make sense. <laughs> so yeah, like, I just wanted to make sure everyone understands. We don't, like, not understand what Spice could be. It's just we've been waiting for them to tell us what it is and why trading it is bad. I think That's you all. could describe, you could say the same thing for much of the show. Who are the syndicate? What are their objectives? And why should I not like them? Yeah, because other than rushing it in right at the end of them blowing up that bar, the show says there's violence now and things are kind of things are turbulent now. because of the syndicate, which is, I don't know how to describe that other than, yeah, that's what happens when there's a power vacuum. Yeah, I thought we were watching a, a crime boss show about a, a crime lord mercenary. So that's really interesting. I was yeah. actually going to bring this up, right? So the first thing I wanted to bring up is because a lot of people have said with Clone Wars that you learn that spice is as bad as meth. It basically like ruins people's lives. It causes like horrible things for societies and cultures that it's around okay. and being traded with. You know, it's worth so much that it attracts a lot of crime. And then I was going to be like, oh, crime the thing he's the boss of <laughs> yeah the thing he's yeah well, said i am a crime lord i'm the crime lord he's supposed to pay me so like but he's he just a, a guy that, in yeah. a big house from what i understand he's like a i, he's I don't a vague boss. He's a vague i don't know boss what he does things. what do you do he doesn't do anything he just well, sits around i guess people, and has random problems he, he, with he certain accepts people? tributes from people that are totally legitimate shut up he lets people assassinate him and then he hires them when they fail well, yeah, he has plot because armor. we've mentioned this before but if you're a crime boss what are your rackets like like, what is your business? Do you do protection? Do you do trade of any goods? What do you do other than sit in Boba's palace and then get money from people for nothing? The other thing to be brought up was that um, we didn't really talk a lot about it on the actual video. We've talked about it on streams and stuff, so it's worth putting in here. Uh, Mark Hamill, this rather Luke Skywalker, the whole robotoid thing where he's entirely synthesized, like his voice and his look they're at the point where they basically can almost recreate anything they want we kind of knew this already but there was a huge like back and forth uh, with all the different kinds of people complaining left right and center about it just curious what you guys thoughts on it are exactly because um we'll get it out of the way that mark hamill would have given his permission or rather let's just assume that that's the case even if it's not what do you think about that i mean it's impressive on a technical standpoint but man, guess in the future you don't even need people anymore to do your voice lines because you can just yeah. CGI them in and then put the voice over there because you're all filtered, filtered. Well, all the voice lines that are out there already. Maybe uh, one just day. filter those through an AI and then just <laughs> put them on their faces. Here's the interesting thing. We might be like 20 years ago away from someone just dropping their like their fan sequel trilogy script into a computer and getting a fully realized version mm -hmm. of it back out mm. uh, in like yeah. two hours. We are heading to the future of computers are going to be able to generate art at a scale that is impossible for humans we're to We're all going to get replaced by computers. I, I, yeah, but we're not Absolutely. doing that conversation. Drawing it back, what we have right now, I actually think is a little bit awkward. Really? That's all you got? Let me help you. Have you heard anyone talk like that back home? Have you heard anyone talk like that back home? 
There's something weird about the way Luke's talking in, in that episode. Mm, and it's not mm. something that we were all really focusing on because we, we were thinking more mm. about the event. What should I do about him? What should I do about him? He's got like the exact same tone and delivery for every single line. Would you like to remember? You will find balance as well. Get back up. Always get back up. And from what I've gathered, it's because of the fact that the AI doesn't know how to actually create like a human delivery. It just knows that this is something he said this way before. This is him saying it now. And it makes him come across as fucking deadpan robot. Do you remember back home? I will teach you to protect yourself. No, that isn't how it works. However, you will be giving into attachment to those that you love and forsaking the way of the Jedi. Wait, so Mark Hamill, the voice was a computer, or it was? Yeah, yeah. it was a computer that did it. Yeah, it wasn't him. There what? Was no Mark Hamill involved. I feel like uh, except for I the feel like it's, oh. it's definitely cyberpunk. <laughs> it's weird, man. Uh, right? I, I don't you, like you basically, that. Basically, using a computer, you can just take a real person, put them in your story, and have them do whatever you want forever. Because there is a creepy factor there. Uh, yes. The idea, and, uh, this concept that an actor or actress sort of has some level of power or some level of ownership over the character and the sense of its presentation is, I think it's a special thing about acting. It contributes greatly to the artistic nature of what it is. You're trying too hard. Don't try. Do. This is a training remote. Feel the force all around you. Can you imagine a Gandalf who isn't Ian McClellan? Can you imagine <laughs> a Tony Stark that isn't uh, Robert Downey Jr., you know? And these characters, by virtue of who's playing them, change in their universe because a certain actor is portraying them in a certain way. If you remove that aspect from their portrayal, then there is going to be inevitably a change in universe with how that character acts and sounds mm. and is perceived by everyone else so this isn't even purely a meta thing your thoughts betray you father i feel the good in you the conflict let me help you have you heard anyone talk like that back home i will not fight you father really that's all you got as soon as it's now plausible to just recreate an actor's performances forever even if they're not as good necessarily right if you can do that there's now no limiting factor on how many performances that you can get out of someone playing the same character right there's going to be media where um instead of us getting a new wolverine right now that hugh jackman has stepped down or a new batman now that ben affleck has stepped down i'm concerned that we will end up in an environment for media where you just get the same actor having digitally pumped out performances over and over again and there's like a thousand Ben Affleck Batman movies and we'd never get to see any new interpretations of the characters. And it's, it's a confuse, it's incredibly fuse, confusing continuity that no person can keep track of because there's a thousand movies that are all just being interjected at random points in the timeline. I've seen a lot of complaints. Um, that's definitely one of them. I've seen people say you'll never get the human reactions and emotions. Oh, and even, the, so this is, the, this is the funny thing to me. Better. I'm just sitting there like, look, we've just been talking about how Arcane's expressions are fucking phenomenal. Have you forgotten how she left you? Who found you? Who cared for you? Gave you a home? And in t mm -hmm. at times like, could an actor even do better than this? I only wanted to help. <laughs> I only wanted to help. I only wanted to help. I, I told you to stay away. I think it's just the technology is far from perfected. That's that's what's yeah, wrong. Just give it time. What you know what's just much time. more concerning to me <laughs> is the idea that these machines will be able to fully capture the idea, the um, the the emotion and the soul of a human um, in in a way that a viewer can't tell the difference or even do it better. That's, well, so that's way more concerning to me. Even in the video, I think uh, someone asks, is that Mark Hamill's voice? And we're all pretty much in agreement. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, it's going to be his voice. And it's mm -hmm. just like, we didn't even... Though I think if we were all told to listen to it and then we put it in an environment of guess if it's Mark Hamill or not, we might have been able to pick it up. Um, maybe. But, but I yeah, think maybe. we chalked it up to Mark Hamill but that's trying to give a young version of his yeah. own voice. That's the thing, though. Most people aren't going to be thinking about these things when they're watching it. No, and so that's like, where I actually wanted to go, was that there, there's a tweet that has like 40,000 likes or some shit, where it's just talking about how uh, anybody complaining thing. about this doesn't understand that this is our hero in his, like, best form ever, and you should be thankful that we even got to see it. Cyberpunk. I'm just sitting there like, oh, no. Cyberpunk. 
the one you don't that understand that the thing that you saw happened. Remember the part where you gave an infant a, a, a lightsaber? Yeah, I see he's in top form, I'm sure. Well, and so that was going to be the second conversation, because the first one was that, just the presentation oh, and the scariness of it, and just like, nah, get away, mm, creepy robot yeah. Luke, but also, hey, maybe they'll retcon it and real Luke will chop him in half because he's an android sent to destroy <laughs> the Jedi. <laughs> <They'd be> like, <laughs> that could work out. So the second thing was that he says to Grogu at the end, that choice, we were all complaining that he would even give a fucking baby this choice, but the rest of the fandom were complaining, why the hell is Luke telling Grogu that attachments are bad? That's not something yeah, Luke, Luke believes in. Yeah, Luke absolutely doesn't believe in. the Jedi, in yeah, Luke true. is definitely not a person who is on the idea that you have to be detached from everything and everyone. I honest, guess like, just, just before we continue any further, I, I guess it's really worth stating very plainly. This is Disney's second assassination of Luke Skywalker. Agreed. Mm -hmm. I don't want that to just sort of slip under the radar. Oh, well, that was That's what this the is. crescendo of all of this discussion, I think, was that people are calling this his grand return again after fucking Mando Season 2. Too, but it's just like, uh, no, they've completely fucked him up again. And funnily enough, I was on, I believe, Open Bar, and Az was saying, like, does this not line up with TLJ? Like, is that the idea? He's gonna, like, dogmatically believe in the Jedi stuff, it's gonna fuck everything up, and then he's gonna hate the Jedi. Like, that's how, that's well, how we I guess get to TLJ. Would be, issues there. I guess it would be consistent in its breaching. Um, well, that's, that's, I think that's the point that he was making was that, yeah, we should expect this because they, they're not retconning, they're not decanonizing the sequels. We're sending Luke there. Right. So. And, <laughs> and even then, that's just, it's, it's such a bizarre way to do it because the way that Luke should be behaving in the Book of Mandalorian here is not how we, because last time we saw him at the end of episode six, what we see here just doesn't follow. How would you possibly say this to Grogu here? It, it doesn't make any sense. Regardless of whether you're trying to make it lead to the sequels, the problem is going... Well, it, all you've done is you've created another gap, which is even more of a problematic gap because that gap is much, much smaller and the breach in character is massive. He's credited, but obviously it's for his... Uh... Yeah. Lightness? Yeah. 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 So he's dramatically out of character, but there's one saving grace... And that is, I've seen several people suggest this, it's a fucking ruse. It's gonna be a point he's gonna be making. It's not actually a choice he's giving to Grogu. Gonna that be what could a, help a lot. Which, I mean, even if they retconned that. that part, you still have Luke Skywalker oh, yeah. like building a, a, building a pile of rocks to live in on some planet. So I was and he's, about to raise a point along those lines. It's, it's The Mandalorian is set five years after uh, OT? Uh, Return of the Jedi. Right, yeah. so what has Luke been doing so for the last the fuck five have you years? been doing? <laughs> five years ain't a short amount of time. Five years is what the entire uh, OT took place within. So what the has moment, been doing for five years? Luke should be getting letters and messages from all over the galaxy of people who are force sensitive and who, who know force sensitive people who want to be trained by him. He Absolutely. wants to restore the Jedi Order. The idea the that after five years he happened to cross some fucking baby that had force power and he devotes every single thing to this one student and is just now building up a rock hut to live in on some random planet. What have you been doing? Jacking it. We're gonna bring these topics back up because we got a sh comment showcase on the way. But until then, we'll just, oh do, just do some memes. Just a little, little meme. Oh, I love memes. A, bit of memes. Mm, a little bit of memes and then uh, before the comment showcase. How mm -hmm. very exciting. Ha! <laughs> 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 <It's> disgusting <laughs> creature. Why uh, does it keep getting remastered? <laughs> it makes me just... My little doggy shoulders shiver. Like, ew, I get goosebumps. <laughs> this one's kind of just funny. I saw on the subreddit. Leia trusted me with her son. I took him and a dozen students and began a training temple. It's like, uh, I mean, I built it and had a student mm. six years prior. <laughs> Like, wait, what? <laughs> like, I, I fucking, whatever. Some people take these things as evidence of retconning. Like, evidence that they're going to get rid of the sequels. And uh, I was I was talking okay. to Jay about this a little bit. And Jay was just like, wait, so they see inconsistencies as evidence of retconning? It's like, man, we've Welcome got a lot Star of Wars. them. <laughs> like, I guess they retcon the OT. Huh? Oh, easily, many times. That's not canon. That's the most, the most uncanon one right now is the OT. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one a lot. <laughs> Oh, that's, I'm gonna have to edit that in now, aren't I? You have to. Yeah, edit you that have in. to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice. I'll do it. <laughs> I, I, 
I'll make the sound effect. Why? It'll be in the clip. It's part of Monty Python's movie. This is what people were talking about with the Disney canon. That's Yoda's lightsaber being tossed into a furnace and it gets destroyed. Fucking um, God, he's like, he looks evil. He didn't look this evil. <laughs> he's in a beard guy, oh Rex. He's a beard guy. There's like 50 different people writing canon for Disney. None of them have met each other. No, They've never met. Never. They don't even know they exist. They think that they're the only one. The only they one. Think <laughs> a, they think it's a special honor that they get to write the canon for Disney, and they don't know that there's 36 other people who are doing it. Look, it's just in our rotation, okay? This is an amazing meme. Whoever found this meme <laughs> is a connoisseur of memes who has incredible taste. It really does feel like it would have come out of our community, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I saw this. Blow. <laughs> I saw this in the words, and I was like, ah, oh, this is EFAP. This is EFAP distilled into a meme. It could this be, is it. This would have been made on, like, TKO. It's a warrior of some kind. Yeah. <laughs> Shrunkle Scrimblo. <laughs> Jedi Master <laughs> Shrunkle Scrimblo. Yeah, which takes us. To comment showcase. The first one is from Twitch. Yeah, I just saw it while Metal was streaming or offering. I can't remember whose stream it was from, but I saw this and I was like, pretty funny. I love how Luke was lecturing about how Baby Yoda needed to rid himself of attachment right before he hands him a lightsaber that he specifically states belonged to his old master. Yeah, I remember that. Sounds like an attachment, bro. That's no, no, no. That's it's it's just. It happened to be that one. It's oh, the only lightsaber oh, he had apart oh. from his own. It happened to be Jedi Master Yoda's. How he got it, I, I don't it was know. the only one he had that was small enough to give to an infant. Yeah, to a baby. Yeah, and it just happened to belong to the only other member of his species, like, co coincidentally. He works really hard to get to cars and to get that lightsaber, picks it up, and like his companions at the time are like, man, you really attached that lightsaber. And he's like, no, this is... No, no, no this my is, precious. This was just this on the floor. What? I don't know. I saw it. <laughs> so Using this as evidence is great, by the way, but I just can't believe we're talking about whether or not Luke Skywalker is okay with attachments. It's like, did anyone watch the OT who's making the current stuff? That's like oh, what his whole story is about. I don't remember those things. That was a long time ago. Okay. People don't actually remember oh, hey. them. They Rags. remember thing. They remember the idea of them, but they don't actually remember them. Rags, you'll like this one. This is George Whitaker. Rags makes probably the best point about Mando not seeing Grogu. I like this one already. Mm -hmm. This is an astute I'm observation. I'm Imagine if Grogu was told that Mando came to the planet but didn't bother visiting Grogu in person. To me personally, I'd be asking a ton of questions like, why would he come this far to see me and then not see me? Why even bother to give me something if you're not going to give it to me in person? Does he hate me? Does he think I'm ugly? No! I, oh, I gotta take this phone call. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. That's not what it says. Bring it. This is gonna be a long boy. I hope you know that. Yeah. I We're know. looking at probably an hour each at least. Uh, hey, there's a lot you can just cut out like this bit. Is he going to come back again? Was he told not to come see me? And then all of this would set huge insecurities in my mind, which are the antithesis of Jedi training. Doubt, fear, resentment, desire, etc. are all paths to the dark side. Good job, idiots. <laughs> this is just completely <laughs> true. Uh, that they, They're it's like, you can't go see problem. him because of attachments. Just like, but, he, but it's a gift from your Mandalorian friend. It's like, what? Yeah, but, it's, it's a stubborn... I, this is a really good comment. It, it really does sort of flesh out what Grogu would think because this stubborn attachment to this concept of you can't have attachments, ironic as that is, it causes problems. People aren't really built to be like that. Um, well, that's what the prequels are about. <laughs> having Grogu grow up to have to choose between his attachments and the Jedi Order, same thing that happened to Anakin. Anakin had to choose. Apparently, they can't coexist because that's yeah, cause how things married are. Married in secret and shit. And then, I mean, the OT is completely different. Of course, we already talked about Luke Skywalker. There is no conflict. You couldn't bring yourself to kill me before, and I don't believe you'll destroy me now. Using his attachments and his, his, his relationship with his father to defeat the Emperor. I mean, it's it's bizarre. It really is like you have 36 different people writing this stuff and they don't know each other exists. A huge payoff is Yoda being like, bro, don't go to your friends. All you'll find is death. Continue training. Only a fully trained Jedi Knight with the Force as an ally will conquer Vader and his Emperor. 
And then he's like, I gotta go help my friends. Oh, I can't keep the vision out of my head. They're my friends. I gotta help them. It is you and your abilities the Emperor wants. That is why your friends are made to suffer. That's why I have to go. Like, ah, yes, Luke. The non-attachment bro. It's like... We're missing chapters again, and they've gone further back, and they're still missing chapters. How does this happen? At least it's five years away. So we've got so whoever's going to make that prequel can fill in the gaps, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. those gaps are getting smaller and smaller, but I'm sure they're up to the challenge. Yeah. So one day we'll be saying, "Well, what what happened in those ten minutes?" <laughs> yeah, I yeah Luke, something could have happened in those ten minutes. Oh, it's Indigo. It is Indigo. He's all right. <laughs> it's funny, a lot of people were like, what do you mean? The OT was well written. It's like, <clears throat> Boba Fett did not grow up in the OT. Luke, all the new questions all the about new Yoda to another one of Yoda's species, Ghost Yoda. Ask me, you could have many answers to your questions. Oh, <laughs> you just, fuck, I didn't even think about dude, the Force, force Ghosts. Force Ghosts oh my constantly God, fuck up everything. <laughs> oh my god, why did Force... Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe I'm... Is it better that they're not uh, present? Because that's just more people he would have fucked up. I have no clue, but man. I don't know. There's no reason why Luke should not be constantly calling upon the Force ghosts of Jedi past to guide him in this quest. Literally generating a new de Jedi temple. Like, they're trying to rebuild the entire religion slash society. It's like, maybe, maybe you could ask Yoda about it. Yeah, he's sitting there, he, he's sitting in his, his, his fucking rock hut, and he's making baby Grogu choose between the sword and the armor, and at that point, we should get a forced Yoda go, oh, no, choose he must not. <laughs> Instantly, that should set off red flags. Yeah. You you will. <laughs> it's such a mess. Maybe that's why the force goes on, turn it up. They're just like, oh, God, look at this. Um, it's we're done, it's over. Jock. Uh, mm -hmm. We're totally going to get force Qui-Gon Jinn in that Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Oh, Yay. it'll be great. Liam Neeson returns. Why would he want to live in a drafty stone hut and not be allowed to eat frogs for the rest of his life? Didn't let Grogu watch him kill people, bought him soup. He got... Hang <laughs> on. <laughs> Can you not make it through this one? <laughs> he got to go through space with him, and sometimes he got to eat passengers. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, Baby Yoda is going. It's not what it says. Baby who? Baby. Baby Yeed. Of course, Baby Yeed is going to go with Din and not stay with the guy with a robot programmed to shoot Baby. <laughs> <laughs> also calling it now. Mace Windu saved Lil Yida from the clone <laughs> troopers, and he and Boba will fight in season two or three of Book of Boba Bobby oh. Pete. They'll probably bring that back Mace Windu. I don't see why the fuck they wouldn't. He was sent out the window yeah. without an arm. He'll have a robotic arm and a scar, and he'll be like, I didn't yep. die then. Yeah, if, 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 if oh, fucking really Darth going? Maul lived, Yo, Mace Windu's <laughs> fine. Mace Windu's fine. He don't have anything to worry about. Pa Rex Palpatine <laughs> lived. That's true. I don't know why my... Palpatine, I guess my brain... Yeah. Is, yeah. Literally atomized, but he'd survive. <laughs> twice, they, they Rex, have created, Twice. <laughs> they've created a scenario where they are creating their own future payoffs because they elaborated on <laughs> through memory powers that Grogu was in the Jedi Temple. So you know they're going to use that to have someone save him and it's going to be a big special thing. Um, so they're just waiting to cash that check they wrote for themselves. Yeah. And this too, again, you have Grogu spends, I guess, a day with Luke Skywalker, who makes him work and do exercises and sit around. And get shot and at. He, <laughs> yeah, he, he shot, shot him with a robot. <laughs> He has this scary sword he pulls out. He has to live in this hut where there's just cracks in the walls and it's going to collapse in a stiff breeze and there's no air conditioning and they have to eat raw frogs. And he was like, fuck this, Mando. We had a ship and a bed and there was indoor plumbing and air conditioning. And I went to school and I ate cupcakes and there were kids to play with and we went places. Like, what do you think a baby's going to choose? Fuck the hell with this i don't want to live on this in, yeah. the, in this stone hut um doesn't even have a bed that was it wasn't that i thought it was impossible to build something without a connecting agent it's just that i didn't understand why they would be doing that when they have technology yeah yeah why would you live like is there a deliberate nice irony in having sci-fi robots build a stone hut that was like fucking prehistoric well i would assume it's supposed to be a traditional thing right that's not true remember the 
prequel trilogy? Well, no, but like, not not necessarily all of them. But some of the Jedi temples would conform to this. I, it's of all of all the problems that I would have with the episode, it's incredibly low down. I just think it's silly. I, I had something. Yeah, it just seems bizarre that you would have all of the. There were dozens of these robots moving one rock at a time and climbing up somehow. I know they did. They couldn't have shown it because it wouldn't have made any sense whatsoever. So they climbed the structure to get to the little, top. Yeah. Yeah, these ant robots who are stacking rocks up to make a. a rock dome that no fuck this <laughs> like i said yoda's hut was nicer than this solus luke with his dead eyes is the epitome of disney star wars <laughs> yeah it is indeed. that that is yeah. that is oh, yeah. epitome for future reference no i no, no. i like epitome i like epitome <laughs> epitome the guy who had attachments to his oh. friends and family all of his childhood and still turns out to be one of the greatest jedi who ever lived tells his student that he can't see his adoptive father ever again, probably the only person Grogu will ever have this strong a connection to, because the old ways forbid this. Fuck off. Luke from the Legends was smart enough to understand that it was exactly this kind of bullshittery that destroyed the old Jedi Order. Filoni's work was only downhill from the Clone Wars. He lost his touch when he tried to do a really childish cartoon. I don't know what touch he ever had, obviously. Uh, I don't even say that to make fun of him. I'm, I, like, I don't know. Can we go further than this? He literally saw attachments save his father from the dark exactly. side. <laughs> it saved he the has, universe. Like, he has, saved like, the he, universe. Um, Vader, was, Vader was withdrawn from the dark side through via his attachment to Luke. Yes. That was the fucking point! Luke, make a life-altering choice you can't take back, small child. Grogu <laughs> 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 Shits himself because he's an infant. <laughs> it might be a cut scene, you know, like, but I think that would have happened at some point. You assume that he Make shits your in choice. His he has yeah, because he can't fucking, he can't do that stuff. He's still a baby. Imagine Mando shows up in his fucking stupid Naboo starfighter, and he puts him in the little astromech bubble, and it takes days to cross the galaxy, and like jesus christ like a baby in there and you pain. can't get to him or like change him or where is he gonna yeah it's still a reality that the show would never deal with because everything's so fucking sterile anyway yeah that's what that's why well, it's the, gonna put grow gonna, though, guys the way we're gonna deal with mando having a starfighter is we're just going to ignore at the um the idea that he would ever need to bring anything with him or yep. um yeah or the tra traveling between two yeah, places sorry. would ever take an amount of time yeah. he's just gonna leave and then it'll cut to something else happening and then he'll arrive next time we see him yeah and then he'll have all of the stuff he needs somehow we're just gonna flat out ignore it or invent a plot that's totally different than his uses have ever called for in the past i'm just imagining there might be a point where we cut to him like t saying oh yeah sure you can come with me and then we just cut and we don't show the journey and then they arrive together with his like and his stuff like it was just there well remember i can totally might, see him doing that they've set a precedent when Cobb teleported from behind somebody that people can just get oh, anywhere they want with whatever they want Star. <laughs> it was funny though <laughs> It looked deliberate, it like they would have framed it. Like the director was like, yeah, this would be really cool him. to have you almost yeah, appear from behind him. Do you think the actor was like, this is, what? This is strange, but okay, yeah, I'm getting paid. Surely so. you would think that these actors sometimes would just, like, like they would voice their concern that this doesn't make any fucking sense and it's bizarre. Mm -hmm. My favorite part is probably when Fennec says they need foot soldiers. Mando doesn't even consider any other options, but immediately seems to think, there was this village I passed through eight episodes ago where half the villagers <laughs> died helping me kill a giant sandworm to defend their town. Surely the surviving inhabitants would love to abandon said village and become mercenaries in the city. I've got this. What the fuck? Not only is it stupid, but it goes to show the galaxy is only as big as the last season of Mando. Oh, mm -hmm. such a good comment. That's a really good comment. A, exactly. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. True. Nailed it so hard. As if Tatooine wouldn't be just a hotbed of mercenaries chomping at the bit to no the fight to get money. The mining town, right? Yep. Who were ravaged by the sand dragon that they for some god don't remember how stupid that episode was. It'll be scared off by ships, but we can't have a ship here or anything to replicate the sounds or effects of a ship because reasons they will be scared of ships oh so that's your solution no no <laughs> um, by the way that was their reason have, like, for why he couldn't use the ship to attack it it's such shite writing you would oh, think that they would have ptsd from watching their friends get like eaten and remember it had like acid saliva and yep. it would like melt people yep. like fuck me
That should make them traumatized. They're like, no, we're not going to come in. The last time we helped the dude with the Mandalorian helmet, Steve and Rags. Regina and Adam got melted. You see, unbeknownst to fucking Mando, they were attacked by cowboy alien, and so now <laughs> they have a, they're emotionally invested. I hate that I'm saying this, but with everything um, that was set up in the first four episodes, surely it would make more sense for him to go to the Tuscans. Not dead. the dead ones. Just, no, <laughs> not, not the dead not ones. The de just... A sect of Tuscans and em employ their help. Surely that would make sense. More and so Tuscans than I think it makes more sense. But um, I don't think the Tuscans would agree, would they? I guess you'd have to pay them. Or just pay them. Literally just pay, pay them. Slaves. Off just of say slaves. Oh my god, slaves. can you imagine? He's like, he's got a no, bunch of Trandosians to hand over. Like, you could have these No, no, it's, it's the syndicate. He's like, all the syndicate that you capture, they could be your slaves. Oh my god. See? And that would be crime lordy. Go over, like, find a sect of Tuscans that are also on the gun train route and say, hey, we're gonna, we're <laughs> killing the people, we're killing the people doing this to you. Do you want to join? And they'd be like, yeah, I, yeah. I imagine. Imagine being the boss of the syndicate and then someone comes up to you, he's like, the gun train's been fucked. And you're like, oh God, like, what attacked it? It's like a bunch of people with sticks. <laughs> Like, no, really. It is like, no, really. Last... The sticks they found when they were high on nose lizards. <laughs> <laughs> Last comment for comment showcase. Who wants to take it? I'll take it. This is by Gene Learns English. Oh, that's good. Boba is like a player who wants to get through the evil route, but can't force himself to be rude to NPCs. <laughs> so you know fucking what? Now true. That, I, that I can relate. Yeah. You're like, I'm going to be a bad guy. And then someone's like, help, I fell over. And you're like, oh no, let me help oh, you. What's I, up? I, I, exactly. <laughs> I relate to that experience quite a lot. I'll help you, but I'll frown. I'll be evil about it. <laughs> Just press the sarcastic I'll, option. I'll be, yeah, I'll be sarcastic when I help you. That makes me evil, right? Gene? I have no idea. You seem to saying. have learned English pretty well. Yeah. You did have a great, great grasp on the language from what I've seen. Good job, Gene. Oh, Before boy. That, I have to um, relieve myself of fluid from my bladder. Oh, very well. Yeah. You know what? While he's doing that, I'm going to go pee. <laughs> While he's oh. peeing, I'll also go pee. You know what? I'm going to go pee. <laughs> Wait, no, no, come back. <laughs> Mel, you better go pee. <laughs> I don't need to. You have to. I, to I thought the opposite. I fill up my water. Get shit on. Everybody's gone. Get fucked. Oh no. It's just you and me now. I'm legitimately super, super I'm curious to see what happens. Saying, yeah. I'm yeah, it, it's for purely <laughs> meta reasons. I don't give a shit about anybody in this show. I'm just I just want to know what they do. Because it's such a weird, bizarre, disjointed season of a TV show. It is a, Nobody knows I'm back yet. It's a weird one. All we have to do is wait for Jay to get back and we should be good. Nobody knows I'm secretly an elf. Oh my god, Jay is actually here? And an elf. Are we ready? Wow, we were in the middle of a conversation. You're just like, well, start up. You said this was an hour. It's 58 minutes and 41 seconds. You lied. When me. will the lies end? They won't. Are they lying and they will end? Oh my goodness gracious. Discuss in the comments. There will be another ready. comment showcase now, though, because that's the end. Yeah, there will. Oh. Hi, Syndicate. Woo! Sand. Oh, do you think Boba will be in this one? And has flown Yo, oh, that's all I mean, mean maybe. Is about he's in the previous I, it's, He's gotta be. Do you think Tamura's just like chomping on the bit to be in his own show? No. Who'd want to be in this shit? Oh, when he said that Boba shouldn't talk as much, this is what they did. They just took him out of the show. <laughs> Where were you when I made that joke like twice? I mean, Boba Fett didn't say anything in that scene. <laughs> He didn't. Tamara Morrison got his way. <laughs> Maybe they finally listened to him. Yeah. Who? Sorry, what? I fucking hate you. <laughs> what are they putting on him? It's a laser bl shot. Why are you putting a blanket on it? <laughs> right, the mayor. I totally okay. forgot about that. Oh yeah, the safe mayor guy. Yeah. Oh yes. Don't betray me. We totally won't. <laughs> Oh, that's the same dog creature as was in the um the 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 meat shop. They love yeah. their meat. Oh no! Oh no, not her. Well, she was one of my favorites. Um, she, she was so you know. Well, all caught up. We could have yeah, just watched the last episode. They didn't have anything. <laughs> you really from episode. like? Let's be oh, honest. You can skip the first four. <laughs> skip the first six. Skip the. Just skip it. <laughs> just skip it all together. So excited. I'm having. Dude, anything could happen. All people could cameo. Well, there's, you know, there's a bit of crap everywhere. We're at war. And no one died, apparently. <laughs> We're at war. <laughs> nice. It was inevitable. <laughs> was it? I see your helmet's off again. But then, of course. Yay, Mando, our favorite. Play the sound. Aw. 
No sound. I think so. Oh, and the mod people are here too. Yes. What price did you negotiate? Free. Free. He's been holding off the spice trade single-handedly. I told him we could shut it down. Okay. That's most of Jabba the Hutt's business. Are we That's only now addressing wants. this? There's a lot of credits to be made <laughs> from that orange powder. In the long run, it is better for us as well. Spice is killing our people. Oh, there we go. Let the people of Freetown Free know. They have my word. Yeah, they call you himself. Tell Cobb Vance Didn't himself when he arrives here. With getting into the, the politics well, of you the actual like efficacy of banning come. drugs. No, for a split second they just mentioned drug bad. If he does not, yeah. We are doomed. Also. Yeah, we have no guarantee Cobb's showing up. We know he won't be, but... Didn't Cobb literally say, like, oh, I'll have... Oh. Is that so? Oh. Cobb said he'd think about it, basically. Forces. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, which to me doesn't those. sound like he's delivering them urgently. Yeah. It's a big yeah. deal. If you get a bunch of civvies with guns, maybe sticks, I don't know. That's not gonna help you in a war. We'll lock down at the palace. It's a bad idea. The palace offers greater protection. If you want to abandon Mas Espa and hide in your fortress, go ahead. We're staying. The people who live here need our protection. But he just said we should shore up into the palace, the fortress, and then she said if you want to hide in your fortress, go ahead, but we're staying with the tower. It's like, he, no, just bring everybody into the palace. Okay. Everybody just uh, goes into the palace, right? Yeah. Oh, it's fucking uh, thingy uh, again. Yes. Wait, so we're gonna choose to defend this this horribly useless town instead of a fortress because it, it would be mean to go to the fortress. That sounds great. I mean, the pikes want to take over, it's not in their interest to destroy the whole city anyways. It's not good cover. Yeah, that's it. I'm saying, they should just go to the fortress. <laughs> yeah. You won't have to worry about Freetown. Did you convince the marshal to... No, you probably did well, the no, You probably do, because you already shot their leader. You used to live among a Tuscan raider tribe in the desert. Oh, there you go, Jay. They no longer <laughs> exist. We destroyed them ourselves. It's oh, like one are. outpost, there there's more Tuscan we, raiders. Yeah, <laughs> he has no idea. Lol, that means he did kill the bikers for no reason. Wait, where, oh, what's is he just now? gonna go ahead oh. and shoot the fuck out of the? Oh yeah, yeah there okay. he is. Yeah, that's okay. That's what we're doing. Oh wow, it's just funny that he's decided they're evil and worthy of erasure compared to anyone else. <laughs> what? How do you know these are the ones? How do you even know? <laughs> Whatever. He meted out his revenge on them. In his mind. The matter is resolved. <laughs> I <didn't> True. Realize <laughs> so Fat Gatra is taking refuge in the ruins of the sanctuary. It will take extreme measures to remove them. Will it? I think uh, I have an idea like, how to draw six guys. the Fat out. Does he, does he just talk like that all the time? Yeah, apparently, yeah. They're in a bird building. Do you guys have Throw difficulty grenades with in there. Just, yeah, like, you could do anything. <laughs> Get another bomb in there. Admittedly, they do have armor and shit, but... Wait, is that R2-D2? Right. That, was that R2... Okay. What? <laughs> okay, I like the, the one uh, droid. I like them too. I'm trying to avoid letting my brain fuck me over on that one. Pit droids are cool because they look like they're trying real hard. Oh, look at them. Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> and Luke bringing back Rogu. Wait, there's no one in there. Yeah, there was no one in there. Did you already get out? Is that the joke? Don't tell me it's just Grogu and R2-D2 just flew him here. Yeah, I bet you it is. Oh, yeah. go fuck off. <laughs> just, oh. So Luke just sent him with R2-D2? <laughs> just put him in this X-Wig with R2-D2. It's like, what I can't be hell? fucked. How's R2-D2 meant to get back? Well, I guess... Does he have to fly himself? Yeah, well, that's the idea, because Grogu ain't flying that thing, so... Yeah. yeah. But the problem I just have is, like, so Luke was hoping to deliver Grogu to... Mando. Mando, yeah. How does he know where Mando is? Because so, yeah, R2-D2 doesn't know who this woman is, right? Yeah. Um... Grogu? Whoa! So, Luke's instructions must have been, R2, take Grogu to the... To, to Mos Espa and entrust him to the nearest stranger that you've never seen before. Yeah, because... Bring him some dung worms. She dung worms. This is disgusting. I mean, you can just leave. You did your work. R2, you suck. Yeah. You should have locked the ship up and said Mando's the only one that can access it. First of all, the only reason they didn't bring Luke is to come be asked to fucking deal with that budget. Like, crisis yeah. of getting yeah. all that shit together. But secondly, that fucks over Luke a little bit, I think. Yep. Yeah, you know, probably a little bit busy, you know. Oh, yeah. he's city. putting his bricks together. The truce then, we negotiated yeah. with the other families of Mos Espa will ensure that they will remain neutral and allow us to gain oh, the upper look hand at his power stands. the arriving soldiers. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so cringe. <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> 
they're awesome and you're wrong. The Gamorrean guards are posted in the Clactunian territory at the starport. Oh god, are we do oh are we doing like a we're sending all our people Ocean's in different places? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chrysanthemum is in Trandoshan territory. Oh look, he brought his blaster this time. Okay, why is cool. We're just waiting until they attack, I guess. You only see have where like come from or something. Why not just keep them all in the fortress? That would have been a great idea. Uh, it's it's a good yeah. job though. It's a good job that his main henchmen aren't really conspicuous. Yeah, that's good. All our flanks are covered. Nobody is. Yeah, with like two people <gasps> each. People Nobody's sneaking up on us five people. <laughs> you don't even know what kind of no. power you have. It could be like five people coming from Freetown. What if they send in like ten thousand people? Yeah. <laughs> There is someone here to see you. Why are you here? Man, imagine how far you have to walk. <gasps> Rags, what do you think about the things you saw? Jesus Christ, like, there's so much to discuss. I'm really trying not to yell in frustration at, like, <laughs> I... this internet timing. Because holy fuck, that was a dense ten minutes of just crap. I don't even know, like, where to start. Jesus Christ. Boba Fett's being given battle tactics by some fucking Randys. Using this place as a fortress instead of... The palace, because the people was like, no, we're going to stay here and fight. Like, Boba Fett should be telling them that that's suicide, and they'll, they'll definitely die if just two of them sit here in this place. Agreed. Instead of, uh, instead of being at the palace where he can, like, survive. I think it's hilarious that it actually turns out that the Tusken Raiders were killed by not the bikers. And we joked, joke about we it, made yeah. several we times. We joked about it. <laughs> and sure enough, it happened. Boba Fett didn't do any research. He didn't try to find the right people. He just assumed that, oh, this is them. And so, boom, took care of them. So, good job, Boba Fett. Imagine that scene Great from work. the biker's perspective now. Literally, oh, hey, it's the, the Dinamo. What, what do they call him? Daimyo. Daimyo. Da it's the hey hey hey! It's the daimyo. He he's supposed to be here to protect us. Oh God! Ah ah! <laughs> That's literally their POV in that scene. They're slaughtering us. They're, They're killing us all. Why? We didn't do anything. <laughs> they, they, several of them would have died wondering what the fuck is this? Like what? What? <laughs> why? What in the world? Yeah. Why? I wonder if you'll ever find out that doing that was a fucking he bullshit. Will, it'll make him angrier at the pikes. Like I'm saying, he should have he a moment of like, like, wow, him. I'm a fucking yeah. asshole, aren't I? What it will happen is that he will find out, and he'll be like, that blood blood is on your hands, the pikes. Right. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. He's gonna he's gonna be like a pike there as he he finds out, and he's gonna get really cross, and he's gonna shoot them. We'll slap him. Give him a slap. Luke Skywalker decides the course of action that needs to be taken is that he needs to put Grogu inside of an X-wing his X-Wing, put R2 in the back, and then fly Grogu to Tatooine, unaccompanied, essentially, to land randomly at this one place and just hope that everything goes well? I, I, what the I, fuck is Luke doing? I'll do one worse. R2 seems to just be like, you're not Mando. And she's like, yeah, that's fine. And it's like, oh, okay. So, <laughs> Luke baby. didn't even have the common... Luke, Luke would have given you one, one specific order, he which would have been... Come. This is the thing. I think it's a fucking out of character thing for him to do anyway. But if we take it to be literal, he's like, only hand Baby Yoda to Mando. And Artie's like, sure thing, boss. <laughs> it's like, Wait a minute, there's some old lady and, here. And how do you find him? You're you're a droid in a ship. How do you like talk to people? Do you just randomly land and ask, Do you have you seen a Mandalorian around here? And then you take off in your X-Wing and go to where that place is? And you know what? You know what you could have done instead? I don't, but this, by the way, I wouldn't have expected this act in general, but you have her run out. And then the X-Wing lands, it opens up, we have her POV only, and then she goes, oh. Like, she, and that's it, we cut. And then later on, we, whatever we're doing with fucking Baby Yoda being here. Because, like, I understand that you don't want to have to do all the fucking Luke Skywalker work again, uh, in terms of post-production. You didn't have to show him. He could have been there. We were saying last time, this is how they're going to have Luke meet Boba Fett. That Grogu, of course, chooses the armor, and so Luke has to fly him there. No. Nope. But now Luke <laughs> just doesn't give a fuck. Luke's, Luke has more important things to do right now, I guess. It could have so, been anyone. It could have been Ahsoka. It could have been... Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, Luke doesn't have anything bad to do. Now his only student is gone, and he was just I like, just, yeah, fuck off. When he put... Baby Yoda and fucking thing, and then sent R2 off. Do you think Ahsoka was like, Luke, that's kind of dangerous, man. Just saying. A little bit irresponsible. You're a bit weird. You're acting a little weird there, Luke. Baby Yoda and runs away. What is R2 gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> she literally <laughs> does. Bad, Walk so the fuck off. Care. And then she says, keep your, keep your dome on or something. And it's just like, uh, no, not chill. This isn't, no, not cool. 
Then she probably starts feeding just, Baby Yoda to someone else's offspring. I can't believe the damage to Luke's character continues, and he's not <laughs> even just here. Keep doing it's not it even just here. keeps happening. They're so desperate to have Luke Skywalker, and everything they tell us about him is damaging to his character. However, you will be giving into attachment to those that you love and forsaking the way of the Jedi. It's worse and worse. The truce you negotiated with the other families of Mos Espa will ensure that they will remain neutral. Ensure. I mean, we hope they That's will. That's not how that works yeah. at all. That's not the fact that they agreed yeah. to it. If you remember, we were critical of that scene and several people were like, they're lying. That's why it's not stupid. It's like, it's still <laughs> stupid because that means that he would have fallen for the fucking lie. Yeah. These are, this is like a third of your army the right here. The These yep. goofy losers and their fucking yeah. silly ass bikes. But, but Rax, they look so confident and cool. What Morian are your Gamorian nipples look Dude. funny. One pistol and they're all dead. Yeah, I don't know why they look at the Gamorian guards as like a super useful element of their team. And oh, that you're just so looking around. Warm. And they've shit. Yeah, it does. They've said, by the way, like, what is Chris Santon's job? And it's like to stand there and just sort of hopefully everything's look around. going chill. It's like, okay. He doesn't talk, does he? He hasn't said anything. Is he supposed to call and say I think something? He just yells. He King says, Shark <laughs> would be more useful. Yeah, so is the point here that everybody's I mean, just around? Yeah, kind. <laughs> Of. This is a great <laughs> plan, everyone. Scene for that. You know what a bit of shit plan? Gathering up all of your townspeople into the palace and then having everybody stationed ready for a war. That would have been really stupid. Why would the Pike Syndicate randomly destroy the town? They need it for, like, exactly. money and stuff. Exactly. Why would they destroy it? Mando You're here! Did you walk? Yeah, yeah that's what, that's what <laughs> yeah. I said earlier. I was like, what are you doing here? <laughs> His fucking legs. I've never seen that. I've never noticed how flumpy that droid's legs are before. They're they're a bit odd. <laughs> what if they just fucking shoot I, him? I think Boba's armor looked way better with the uh, the light gray undercoat. Yeah, or the black makes it look mm. bad. Yeah, it doesn't work with the black. It doesn't look good in I black. I agree. Oh, black nice gray look better. So for a tense. Job, you're late. No, attack him. You'll get a job. <laughs> Wait, have did Boba just try to hire him? Syndicate. He said he's too late to get a job, which is unreal for his character at this point. Gutless murderers. Damn. If that's not the quack to call in the stiffling slimy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Something? Okay. What? We know they're out. I wouldn't be counting on the people of Freetown to be coming anytime. Oh, yeah, they renamed it Freetown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The irony is that you could probably coming. count on it more than you ever could because yeah. he fucking killed their sheriff. You should have never left him without his armor. Okay. Just shoot him. Shoot him now. Yeah, just yeah. I don't know. Oh my god, him. they're so conspicuous. That was, by the way, that was Mando's friend, not Boba's. I don't know if Boba will care. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> How could this have happened? How can we deal with them when we have another Mandalorian and a sniper? They have armor too. No, just shoot him. Shoot Cad Bane right now. Get him out of the picture. Just shoot him. You may him as well, him. yeah. We'll shoot him and yeah. then Fennec Get him out of the picture. The other yeah. Fennec can shoot like five people uh, in three seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually inhuman. What do you propose then? Kill. <laughs> Crush. Destroy. You mean the one that massacred your Tuscan family and blamed it on a speed bike gang? Wait, why would he say that? Yeah, why would you? Why would he say why that? Why would you say that? The whole point. Show, the guy okay, said that remember. it's good that he didn't know. He wants a fight. I bet you feel like an idiot right now. But like, that those, wasn't Cad Bane that did that though. So it's not gonna make those more. flashbacks, man. This show thinks we're so. <laughs> why are you leaving dumb. cover? Why are you? Why are you leaving cover? cover? Right now. Oh god, flume fingers. I mean, you're gonna lose though. Yeah, he basically is. He's got all, well, yeah, like this is the thing. You could theoretically win, but you won't win against not him in this now. show. We fight on our terms, not theirs. Are these not your terms? I can take him. You're emotional. I can take him. We need to adjust. Listen to your woman. You'll have <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're oh, emotional. No, it's so tense. You you can't, how can he possibly be die. faster than you? You killed the people that enslaved me. Yeah. <laughs> Negotiations are terminated. You're going soft in your old age. You don't have a nose. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, that's mean. So what are the guys on the roof for? There's only in, one in, left. In, oh, I they just duck four. back behind the balcony. Yeah, they'll just chill there. Why is this guy still in the show? I don't know. He wants to get in close with Boba, I guess? No, I just mean why did they choose to have this character in the show Understood. at all? Come in. Something feels strange over here. Have the pikes arrived? Something, something can you feels be more, off. Can you be less can you be more specific, yeah. please? Yeah. What's, what's tri what is the thing that you've seen that makes you feel that oh. way? Oh, oh, so you're dead. You're dead. Yeah, you're they, they just ambushed well, they you with pistols. Now. That's good. So what's feeling strange? Oh, you know, everybody's pulled out pistols and shooting us. I thought we had a treaty. 
So did I. I thought we had it. Yes. Also, I'm Yay. sorry. What a terrible ambush, by the way. You had all the advantages. <laughs> this is the shittiest ambush. Yeah, what if you shot at them before they noticed that you had weapons? He has two scopes on his gun. Oh, is that one for each eye? Dude, dude everyone's gonna get <laughs> ambushed. It's they pulled out knives wrong. at that distance? What are they doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't want to fight shooting them. them. Knives! Just shoot them. Shoot, shoot them. Shoot them. It's like infection you have on a Halo. Gun. You have a gun. Don't look confused. Use shoot them. Use the gun with, with the, the gun train. Looks oh, so no. Fucking bad. Oh, no. The Gamorrean okay, so gods. Wait, why, oh, why are they here? One pistol and they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, he's the using his gun! The one guy with the gun and they're running at him with sticks! Gun. Oh, these guys didn't have guns, so they can have a melee fight! What the hell? Where's everyone's guns? <laughs> Where are you guns? Is this the war they're talking <laughs> about? Oh, they gotta push them off the oh, edge! No. The oh the piggies. no! This is not nice. Oh yeah, there they go. <laughs> what? How did wow. you lose so easily? <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> Why did you keep backing up towards no the cliff? And yeah, that was the really the wrong decision, honestly. Yeah. The magic has flagged. It's a coordinated attack. We'll have to gather our people. Does the Pike Syndicate still operate out of Moss Eisley? It's difficult to say for certain that... Moss Eisley? Yes, now that I think of it, indeed... Why would he lie? I guess because he works for the Pikes, right? I don't know. Well, well he works for the Sort of, I guess? But... Mayor's evil, so... Oh my god, I'll take my speeder. Okay, alright. Uh, Wait, how are we here now? What? What have you been doing just... in the meantime? Oh, they took the gun. Oh I don't no, see... he's got Dude, his Dude, seriously, dusters. I don't see how they stand any chance at all because of how fucking... Oh, I guess they're hugging What him. are they doing? They're just grabbing him. What Zombies. happened to your weapons? <laughs> oh, okay, that was really Fire! weird. What the fuck? How oh, the bikes oh, did that guy die up? again? That Seriously. Again. <laughs> they should have won this fight instantly if they'd done it right. Yeah. Throw a grenade. <laughs> yeah, but she won't die, Rags. None of the main mod people will die. Oh, I'll just, just kills them all. Yeah, Fennec's gonna wipe them Guys. all out. Okay. Oh, they just run away. Or okay. Is this Fennec or? Oh, yeah. they have a weapon. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, did someone actually did shoot with? Sorry, was oh, that nice, a gun? Was that nice four? Puppet. She killed four. Yeah. That was and the it. other that ones ran away. We, yeah, okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> what did you do? Why did you flip it was so for? fucking okay. unnecessary, holy shit. Hey. Thank you. Manners. I like it. What the fuck? How yeah. did yeah, they not see you get- or, How did they not see you arrive? You parked like, right next to them. Well, what yeah, if they, what how if did they, they not see what you if, arrive? What if, what if they come back? <laughs> also, yeah, You're that's right. true. No, how did that make any sense at all? there. Oh no, now this is happening. Oh no, not- not this. more pikes. Oh no. Yeah, I I guess this is bad, I guess? Dude, this is just war confusing as hell. Like, logistically, I have no fucking clue what's happening. They're here. On account of them God. standing out in the open? Why don't you just shoot them? Yeah, start shooting them. Just you have, like, them. little windows you can take cover in. Yeah. Also, you have a And they can't see you. inside because of that's how light the works. Uh -huh. They can't see inside, but you can yeah, see outside because the inside is darker than... All three. I suppose you'll be heading out. I'm not. Where do they want to go? If <laughs> he dies, it's it's, it's so half a dozen losers. Out front. He's on a bound to this cold. It's the but you don't you don't think you're gonna die here? This is pathetic. Just shoot them and be done with it. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna lose. Yeah, yeah. it's like the it's show like won't what? Let you. Six guys standing out in the open, shoot them, kill them. The way I see it, We've really earned this last choices. stand between these characters who have made These two have been man. They go back. They really do. We wait until they get into position. Launch a siege on their terms, or we rush out there, catch them unaware. Why would you rush out there? How catch them unaware? They're staring at you. Just shoot them now. Shoot them from now, from here where you're standing with your guns. These people are counting on me. Okay then, we'll both die in the name of honor. <laughs> both <laughs> die for <laughs> honor. Okay. <laughs> Why are you so stupid? <laughs> this is the way. If I may offer an alternative, shall I continue? I'm so glad I watched the scene. Well. With what? Your tablets. I will write out my statement and what I'm willing to pay. He's gonna say fuck you or something. Yeah. Why are we doing this? Just for the joke you. of I guess, yeah, he's gonna bring the. Yeah. 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 He's gonna bring
He said we're Bantha fodder or some shit. Read it. And read it. And read it. Gonna, read it. Kill it. Gonna, read it. What you've done is you've just got a guy killed, probably. He didn't read it. I am unarmed, but for this tablet bearing the terms. Joke doesn't work. <laughs> He's like, you can see this coming a mile happen. away. Read it, uh. tailhead. Oh, because of. Wow, slur. Yeah. You've got little fucking droopy bits on your chin, mate. You. <laughs> <laughs> Someday I hope to see the fabled obsidian cliffs of Obadiah. Can you shut the fuck up, dude? Hold they on. are really extending God. this joke. I, Boba Fett, do present the following offer. Oh no, what does it say? Read it. Nothing. You will leave this planet and your spice trade. If you refuse these terms, arid sands of Tatooine will once again flourish with flowered fields fertilized with the bodies of. He wrote all of this. Yeah, he's very quick writer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wow. So, I really like Why would you leave pun? cover and fly through the air? Yeah, this is cool. just gonna shoot nah, you. I can, We're doing, I can um, see the wires. I, like, said, I said they would do this back in season two, the back to back Iron Man 2 thing, but with these two. Yeah. yeah. Finally. Yeah. For reference, I actually feel like this is so probably on point that I want to reference this is before the episode's out, okay? <laughs> but there's gonna be a scene where Boba and Mando are both like, do you know, like Iron Man two, where War Machine and Iron Man are just r fucking. Oh wrecking. yeah, and they're back, back. They're gonna do that with Boba and Mando, either yeah, a hallway absolutely. or an arena. But they're both just gonna be shooting their guns together. Mando might say like, "We make a good team," and then and then Boba's like, "I work alone." This is what everyone's wanted to see, Rag. Aren't you excited? Just out in the open. And it's they can't so hit fucking you. stupid, but it's cool. Why did he put up his arm like that? Notice Ban Mando just put his arm up. Shooting Why? Him? So if he sent out the, the negotiator as a distraction, wouldn't it have been better to send He's him stuck. out? With actual oh, one of oh, you no, my armor. No. Uh, <laughs> <you're laughs> <good>. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, there it wow, is. Yeah, that it was. They're just spinning around yeah. and inhumanly shooting people. Yeah, there it is. Ding. So cool. Well, there's no. Why did, what are you doing? Did you there's mount no him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> oh no! Why are you running around in the open like Don't that? Don't waste those. Whistling birds. Best car is only armor, not weaponry. That those, missed those guys really. that You guys explosion. think you're so fucking cool. Ding, oh ding. god. Wow. Why? Why, you why, why are you doing, doing that? You just cost yourselves. What, what are you doing? Oh no, oh this no, was, but they're gonna oh, get saved. A low point, a low point. Who will save them? Yep. Oh this no. Is invincible. Low There's no low point, point here. Shot. Oh no. Oh, this they're is just so oh, cringe no. to watch. <gasps> Who is it? Who's the one that saves them? Where did they get that? <laughs> Who the fuck's this? It's free town oh, it's people. the free oh, town. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. When did you when get did here? Get, how did you get that? It's how did you just? Here. How did they know any of friend. the? How did they know what was even happening? Oh, oh this is so terrible. <laughs> how are you aiming that? Uh, oh, now it's blown up. Oh, how did that oh, happen? They just shot it. Well, right, there's explosive rounds, maybe. Oh, are those laser that's sticks bad the firing? I, I love how they're all cowering as if two people there are just immune to fucking... Yeah. Uh, whatever. I'm sorry about the marshal. Gunned him down in cold blood. Wow, alright, I guess he's dead. What if dead? he's another he surprise reveal? No, they didn't say he's dead, they said he gunned him down in cold gunned blood, so there's gonna be another surprise oh, reveal. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> How, why did they not shoot you? You're dead. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> God, these guys suck. Did they not continue to shoot him? You can't pull off being cool on that thing. Stop trying. You're in the, the, oh, look look the mini arm. It was like bent the wrong way. <laughs> you don't have any cover. They're just going to kill you. All you did was arrive God, to be shot at. Armor. What was the point of that? You could have flanked them. You could have done anything. You're all just... Dude, oh, your he's head. Wookie man. Somehow he escaped being crawled yeah. upon, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so bad. <laughs> oh, is he I dead? shoot his places that don't have armor, you fools! No! They're it's only a, hitting him in the. He's out in he the dies. open, he's dead now, surely. surely. He's dead. In the armor again? They They're taking the piss. Fucking armor. They're like legit taking the piss right now. In oh, the no, they the Promote that man! <laughs> Give him a raise! <laughs> Oh, stop doing your shitty little payoffs. Fuck off. What the fuck is this? 
doing? No, you you saved die, him. You know? They're all the just fighting behind this one little van. Ew, it's wow. gonna get all hairy. Yeah, it's totally oh, fine. Oh. oh, we did it, everyone. It's a good thing that the bad guys God. just can't hit fucking anything. No, man, don't Are they going to come back with a tank or like an ATST or something? Oh, yeah, what there is you go. that? Remember his visor that sh that can see through walls? I'm glad they remembered that. <laughs> one grenade. We should, we should get inside. We should get inside. Yeah, we should definitely go to cover. You should definitely guys, get inside. Guys, go to cover. Go to you cover right off. now. We got real Why the problem. fuck didn't they I'm open with and run? Oh, yeah, look at those things. They, they look like they're from Timidea. What are you doing? Okay, Put your guns at it, run! Honestly, th guys. this feels like um, a Jack and Daxter thing. Oh, they have the <laughs> fucking shields They have shields well. too. Okay, so oh, now is the time to leave. Yeah, this is the time to uh, fuck off. atmosphere. Hello, <laughs> Man, you are real <laughs> stupid. <laughs> guys, do they know what shields are? Man, if I had the pipes at open, they fired. Why haven't they shot? Yeah, whatever they do, why aren't they doing it? Or do they... Is it so like basically, they... basically droidicas, right? Yeah, yeah, big ones. They're big boy droidicas. <clears throat> That's not gonna work. Why did what a why? That's it's probably not gonna work. It but... didn't do anything. Obviously. I mean, for the show, it isn't for dramatic effect. I don't know why the robot stopped shooting. They're I guess all it was of a sudden quiet now or... too. Yeah. No, it didn't do yeah, anything. that was just a total waste. Wow. Oh, now oh. they want to shoot. Yeah, I was okay. going to say, if they had shot a little earlier, jeez. How are they missing? We'll distract, them. We'll distract them. Good luck no, with go that. inside! Why are you walking it? <laughs> it's yeah, fucking okay. cool. Why did away. it not... Oh, oh wow, I would have opened that? with that. You know what? I would have opened with these things, actually. Yeah, jeez. Whee! Dude. What are these we doing? Be... Oh, That's easy. Where's right. the fish in a barrel. Fish in a fucking... How are you missing? Okay. Why yeah, so are you so What? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> what are you trying to so oh, We're gonna get them to shoot each other. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, they are. No. No. Oh, dark no, no, no. oh. 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 saber. Not even the dark saber can get through. Man, these shields. Oh. Fucking hell. What are they made of? Why are the robots not shooting them? We need to harness yeah, this technology. I saw that. Yeah, I noticed. This is the shittiest fight scene I've ever seen this in is, my life. We're pretending that the enemies aren't right in front of you trying to kill you. Hello? Oh, are they missed? How are they missing? Can you protect the others? I can distract them for a spell. We don't have to distract them, just... They'll miss you, I'm, I you promise. You know, making them shoot each other is actually a much more interesting way to defeat them than whatever the hell we're doing right now. I assume that's what they were doing. Oh, bye. How is it missing? Wait, how are, how are they still really being bad. chased? How are they behind cover already? It's not working. Where did they, oh, that one is really far away. Oh, all it's gone. Wow. Guys, well, turn, turn a fucking back. corner. Turn a corner. Turn a corner. How many times are we going to show us that's not working? Firearms do not work. He's trying to figure that. Oh, wait, what's that? <laughs> it can flump its shield with electricity. Man, imagine oh, if the oh, no, it didn't kill him. With these, it, it just walked off. Ran out walking off. Oh, does it, it not care to off. shoot him? Where did they come from? How did they get? What? Oh my god, this is <laughs> fucking hell. Awesome, <laughs> bro, <laughs> man. What are we doing? Are these actors was, not embarrassed? That was so embarrassing. Oh my god. How? Never Jesus again, Christ, please. the plot armor! It's actually. Uh, yeah, I guess we haven't been covered. Like, everybody should be dead by now. Oh, Several super dead. Oh, you're here. She, no she did not uh, bring Baby Yoda into a fucking war zone. You did not bring fucking Grogu. You don't hear the fucking gunfire! Yeah, I can't hear you over the gunfire! I wonder what you're saying! Yeah. What should I run away from? I can't hear you. <laughs> what? Baby Yoda's gonna save the day. Yeah, I got the feeling it that's gonna happen. Again and again and again and Whoops. again. Can't hit anything. How is it gonna keep up with it? How could either robot Why keep up with either target? It? Yeah, but how could even how could the one chasing the people do it? Why did you do that? Why would that Why not make it be going as fast as possible? There's no way it's keeping up. Live? How is this are possible? Running in a straight how, line how are they the keeping city? up? Guys, just it's turn a thing. corner. They all just walk in the same direction, like. Well, it's fucking... got like explosive rounds, so that's not gonna do anything. What is she doing, holding her gun like that? 
I love how they just continuously do anything. Why are you shooting at it? There's no point. It doesn't do anything. Sling it over your shoulder and run for your life. They're all like doing it like they're aiming specifically for part. It's just like it doesn't work. It's a city. You can just Cover go doesn't matter. And it can't hit you. Yeah, she, it, you there, there is no dead end. You can just go forever. Keep turning yeah. fucking yeah. corners. So what if they throw a grenade? You're dead. What if they throw a grenade? Hold the You're line. Dead. It's been true for most of the action Snipe scenes. It down. Hold the line. Down what? Tante, we need a cycler. Good luck. Wait, why, why would the laser? I, I don't know why. I guess we'll find is out. Is this a sharpshooter? Is down she a one up there? But the shield is all around. I don't know what the fuck the plan. I don't. Know. Are they not in the clear? Oh my god, he's actually here. Oh my god, did you hear that reaction? What? What? He was like, what? what? Fuck me, you can act, man. I know you can. Okay, little guy. I'm happy to see you too. But uh. I am surprised that we got resolution on this in this episode. Just a moment. No, no, okay, so now when you watch Book of Boba Fett Season 3, he'll just have Baby Yoda back, even though the last season ended with him leaving him. <laughs> Do you mean Mando mm -hmm. Season 3? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why is it- how is it still How shooting? is it still keeping up with them? How? How? It's just it's just with you? you? It's, it's going at like why? half a mile per hour. Why are you shooting it? It doesn't do anything. You need to be keeping your head down and driving in diagonals. Wait, did Baby Yoda just kill oh, the he droid? Broke. I'm not sure. It looked like it, but I don't think that's what they were going <laughs> for. How did the droid die? It just got shot, I guess? I guess it got I, shot it for a thing. Didn't look like that Stop was How is it right it? next to them already? I don't know. Look how so slow. Kill them all! Shoot them! Shoot them! Shoot them! Shoot them with your gun! Shoot. 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 Shoot with your gun. Oh, oh, the Rancor. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, oh just no! Rancor and kill it, right? Yeah. It's wait, 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 wait! You telling me Boba Fett went off to go get the Rancor and didn't get and Slave came One? Back. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! You are he fucking came kidding with the me, right? Rancor, not Slave One. What? Why does the robot? So the robot's just gonna kill it, though. It's yeah, just gonna shoot it. And that's kill a, shooting that's it. an easy kill. It's an animal. There's a reason that, like in warfare, you don't see. I see your armored truck, but I present a to you a <laughs> Is easy. It's just gonna kill him. Why is this robot so it's bad at aiming? Just, it's it's so still standing big. target. It's what is huge. this? How are you missing a rancor? How do you miss a rancor? <laughs> yeah, it's absolute insanity. Stop! Don't stop what shooting. What are you doing? Shoot. How is it missing? <laughs> what? what? It's what? right in front of you. Like you can't miss. Yes, why did the shield? Why, why did hitting the shield flip that thing over? Oh, now is your it's chance. The back of it is weak? I don't. This is back so of it's weak. bad. It's going all red. Like, what? You stupid dark saber. It's Fuck just off. shooting the, the Rancor's fine. Just kill the Rancor. It's still... Why are you not killing the, the Rancor? It's the idea that when you apply more pressure at the front, the shield has to work harder at the... Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, why'd you... F you could have just chopped the legs, but okay. Why is it not Man shooting? Why isn't it shooting? Why isn't Mando doing know. anything? Mando. Oh, yeah, it can it shoot. Oh. Oh, oh, wow, okay. look at that. Well, that was easy. <clears throat> wow, hey, I would have started with If we that. have a war, it's gonna destroy the city. Not like this Rancor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did it, Patrick. We <laughs> saved the city. <laughs> oh, landing what? on that backpack. That must be painful. Yeah. Well, if he'd been fucking faster. Yeah, oh, that looks good. Dude, shit? that's like Do fucking Team America diaper? level puppetry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, crush it. Yeah. Comparison on screen, rest yeah. of it. <laughs> How is Baby Yoda powerful enough to do anything? He had like a day of training with Luke, it's fine. Wait, you, <laughs> oh, are you fucking kidding me? It, it, the the one place it went for was How his armor. How did it not crush his leg yeah. though? That would have crushed his leg anyway. Do these people not understand what force is? Like, no. not that force, the other force. They think that this guard will save you from falling off a cliff. How are you that strong? Whoa, that must have. That so have you. Just took a Why was Mando you, not moving at all, by the way? Okay. Yeah, what? just shoot, shoot him. him. Shoot him. What? No, How? Wait, why? Oh, did no, you, the you went. You back. went off to the left, and then you came back from the right. Oh, hang on, how, how many minutes did we spend just fucking around with these two droids? Like twenty minutes on the scene. Oh, we're still not yeah. done. The other one's left. Yeah. Do it. God, this is so embarrassing. This is. You have all these resources, and you can't make anything. Oh, oh yeah, see, this is now. still happening. Oh, that wall looks like yeah. a match for that kind of fire, yeah. Why are you sticking your head out the top? Use that your thing explosives. is invincible. Explosive stuff. Blow up the walls. 
Why on Earth is Cannon Look at the explanations that Wall is withholding, Yeah, that's arbitrary what is fucking lying. What are you doing? You don't have to zoom in. What was, yeah, the, yeah, what was the point of uh, that? What? <laughs> you can see them just anyway. Just his bionic eye thing. What are you doing? No, that's how you get shot in the face. That's, yeah. Can you pick off some of the fighters? I'm used to desert hunting. Wow. The one just Dude. looked at the book. Uh, what oh, are okay. you guys doing? That I can't was... miss it this it's range. Out in the open. The desert, out in the wait, open. desert hunting means that at close range you're more accurate? I have no fucking clue what that meant. No, it's so still another just waiting you. for you to stick your head up again and they'll shoot you. Oh, we just got the other. Okay. It's Rancor. Okay. Oh, we saved the city, We Patrick. saved the city. <laughs> 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 did it. <laughs> oh, they ran away. I probably would have too if I saw a Rancor. Oh, this is so lame. That's, it's that's... going to come out and they're going to have to fight yeah. it again. I want to ride to Rancor, and here we go. But I wasn't already tired of watching these fucking morons defeat these stupid robots. How is it alive? Wait a minute, after that? shooting it hurts it? That's a crazy what? idea. What? How is it missing? How is it missing? How is it missing? How is it missing? It's missing so many times! Okay, that was. Its works. legs are more accurate than its guns. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead. Just it's keep gotta be shooting. dead. Keep How shooting. It? It, 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 had a, it had a little plate in front of his belly. Oh, I think. it had some metal on it. Okay. Yeah. Well, you've been shot in the arm it, and it, it got best. shit all. Uh, I can't tell. Guys, the shield is gone. You can start shooting it now. Yeah, though, though this would be the time. You to can shoot use it, all actually. your guns to shoot it. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Uh, Star Wars fans are probably cumin, I guess, because of Rancor. I'm. <sighs> Yay, we won the battle. What a fucking stupid thing to have chosen to do, and the only reason you won is because none of the robots could shoot suddenly. I can't believe the reins yeah. are attached to a nose ring. Yeah, uh, we they won. just got them to shoot each other earlier. So oh, where's, um, yeah. where's Cad Bane, then? You were holding an infant, dude. Where Put is it? Cad Bane? No, that's fine. Yeah. Is he going to have a rank well, or Maybe two? don't hold the infant in this situation. <laughs> I am not a threat. Get behind me, pretty face. Oh no, are they gonna be a th Oh no. Why would you leave cover to be behind her? It's broken. What? You don't need that, to destroy oh the city more. Oh, that was, that was not so necessary. necessary. We really <laughs> saved the city. How are the blasters not really hurting that Rancor, Dude, honestly? Rod. I don't know why they're even trying. Why bother? You cannot win. The show they're will not allow you there. to. Yeah. What was the point of that? Oh, more destruction. Uh, well, oh, and they did the stream! He was lying! Oh! Okay. Oh no, it's Cad Bane! <laughs> Where have you Where been, oh, no. my dude? Cad Bane is gonna kill the Rancor with a pistol shot. Well, Shoot nothing him, works, so I don't understand what he's gonna use. Okay, well, just so, shoot so, him with your gun. Oh, all right. what, you, okay. have, you have a jetpack. Oh, okay. okay. Why did you throw your gun away? What if the Rancor Wait. just swipes them? He's dead. Oh, no, oh okay. It's afraid. I, I guess it's leaving. Right. It's leaving. Fire. It's, fire. It's, it's fucking off. I wonder how. I wonder how many innocent civilians it's gonna kill. I guess it doesn't. Back yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't care about its peer bonded father. No. Yeah. Cad Bane, you are surrounded by dozens I don't of like people. Fire. You're you on cannot your own. Win this. Why has he got his gaffy stick? Does he? Yeah, he's never had that attached to his armor before, has he? Uh, I guess he's gonna fight. I don't know. What's your angle? Obtuse. That was a good response, right? See, thank you very much. But he just said, I'm very proud of that, actually. Because Cad Bane's just like us. No fucking clue why Boba's doing any of this. Does Cad Bane think he can kill all of them? He's probably got like a dozen rifles pointed at him right now. He probably thinks he's still in episode 6. Doesn't realize the plot armor's gone for him now. You are an old man. I'm still faster than you. It may be, but I have armor. I'll it's just shoot where your armor out. isn't? Yeah, just uh, Cad Bane can do I'll something revolutionary and shoot him where his armor isn't. That'd be so satisfying if he just fucking killed Boba. Oh, yeah. Please kill him. Keep, oh, shooting. keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Shut off to your back to Keep death. shooting, please. This is my city. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my flamethrower! Oh, we're doing great. Just keep shooting him. Just don't stop. Shoot, shoot him in him. the legs. Keep, shoot him again. Use your knee shoot rockets. Shoot him again. Shoot, shoot him. Wait, shoot. why does Boba has another a new rocket on his back? Blood, 
Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's he restocked. Hit him with me. Oh cad, you're getting Why too is close, he still buddy. Weak from that? He's getting too How close. Is he so weak? He's been shot twice. Where's his friends? They're all gone. Where's everyone else? Everyone's dead. Are they gone? <laughs> Fucking They can't be gone. Oh he's gonna he's lose. Gonna knee rockets and shoot him in the dick. Shoot him in the face. Look out for yourself. Anything else is weakness. Blam, he gets shot in the back. Oh, he's giving up! Oh no, I guess he oh. is. Oh, oh there's a uh, stick from okay. the top. Oh, was the stick. If only he had... Yeah, at least he has a stick. This is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't anything. That's You just won. Oh. Oh, uh, his face uh, is uh, funny. He's doing mm. funny faces. He, he really does look like Crypto from Destroy All Humans. Are people upset that this is how Cad Bane dies? I was about to say, oh, they I just killed Cad Bane? Because that was, that was yeah. lame as fuck. That was that the was lamest feeble. shit I've ever seen. What is this? What are these shots? We keep cutting like, between weird different angles. <laughs> another <Yeah>. one. <laughs> oh, wow, another one. I don't care that it really he's dead. really feels like an amateur... Pro like, what the fuck is this angle? Like <laughs> <laughs> His hat didn't even blow away like a Those tumbleweed. The cross fades look so... Also, oh, look, the red guy's running oh, around the Did you catch <laughs> his line? He said something like, um, you know, you should be alone, only look out for yourself. Rancor is on the loose. The death is just trying to eat the Curly Rancor. blasters will fuck that thing up, right? Oh, wow. wow. Oh my god! Wow. Jesus. Wait, so killed, is the like, Rancor the them. final boss of this episode now? Um, you're not in charge. Seriously though, oh, on like a crawling King up Kong the here. tower. It's King Kong. Yeah, there's there's your Long Kong coverage right there. <laughs> I can't wait for the biplanes to start circling. Oh my god, we're really doing Kong. Yeah. <laughs> it's just King Kong. What is this? Keep him safe. Here. What? Okay. Now here, it's my we're doing knob. this now. What's he gonna do? Know. Hey, Rancor, please no. stop. Oh, so what is this, this going to do? It's just going to grab yeah, you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Wow, okay. Well, <laughs> Ooh, yeah, wow, I guess. Right. Right. Oh. I, that makes sense. Oh, so he's <laughs> dead. Oh, you're dead. He's just oh, dead. You're fucking Bro. dead. You just, you're dead. <clears throat> think of the force needed to crash him through that. He's don't dead. Don't worry, don't worry, kid. Your old man's crafty. <laughs> <laughs> what are these sound effects? <laughs> what was yeah, that? He's crafty. He's wearing a helmet. Wow, he's really lucky it didn't bite him at the seam. Keep doing it. Keep doing that fire thing. He's fine. He's fine. You've got to be dead. He's fine. Don't Eventually, you're going to die. He's fine. Okay. And fucking baby will save him. Yeah. Oh, it really cares about Mando. You go? How did... How? How? Uh, how? Wow, you're negative. She was shitting her pants. She okay, didn't notice this. This doesn't work, because she doesn't know what Baby Yoda can do, so she would immediately run to try and save him, otherwise she doesn't care about him. She's, yeah. I don't. I don't feel like she's running in that situation. No, it was closer than now. Now it's a bit late because the rankle's right there. Yeah, yeah. Do like, like your little play thing. Force music. Everyone's force kind of ex machina. It. No, it's like when uh, Anakin did it in in Attack of Clones. Remember? No, it's like when Ray did force heal on the worm. That's what. It's no, happen. fuck that. Anakin had like <laughs> Anakin calm down the three horned beast. Jay, that's a better reference. No. How did Baby Yoda learn how to do this? Uh, this is really good he was taught course. it probably because he was did he taught just everything. Do it? Right? Remember, Luke said he's he's remembering more than I've even taught him. Oh, did he give it a brain aneurysm? Oh, I guess he did it to the <laughs> mud horn, kind of, and just crushed it. Well, he no, he lifted that fucker up in the air. True, but that knocked him out, if you remember. Sort of, and then Mando stabbed it. No, no, no. I mean, it knocked out Baby Yoda. Oh yeah, but this is but he had a day of training. Right. Right. He jumped on some rocks on a stream. I'm guessing there's not going to be a barbecue. Um, no. People hey, are going to be very Boba upset. Fett's pet. Oh, he's going to sleep. How cute. And then we showed this. Okay. And that's a weird <laughs> cut. <The original> yeah. <laughs> the syndicate forces have pulled back from Mos Espa. Yeah, something bizarre happened. All of our people died. I don't really know how. <laughs> Half of my men were either shot or eaten by a rancor. Is that what you call hospitable? Oh, they were shooting ah. already, so... <laughs> oh my goodness, the guards are dead. Yeah, my order- my first order of business is this guy would be to leave what this place gun? right away. <laughs> what was that edit? Where are those shots Where coming from? They're indoors! Where are they uh, coming from? Little windows. The roof? Little tiny windows. 
They have little tiny windows for little tiny fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> How are you strong enough to... Oh, oh he's my dead. god. Oh my god, you wow. hung him. You hanged wow, him. Wow, you hung him and yep. you broke its neck? Can you even do that to that creature? I guess so. Is this Jeez, like a okay. group of people or one person? Yes. I don't even know. Wait, from behind? What? <laughs> oh. Uh, How did you, you pull? Where, oh, yeah, where were you actually? She used teleporting trick. Ah. Uh, I guess she's the not in charge. She thing can't, can't, on that top was her thing that she was doing. Right, okay. Because she was doing nothing else. Oh, that's the... Oh, that music was weird. Yeah, that was weird. That whole... All of, oh, this has been so weird. This whole episode's been bizarre. This has been fucking bizarre. Was that the war? Are we, are we done? Yeah, I guess we're done. I guess we are. Aftermath time. Yeah. They're gathering, they're dead. It's time for Boba to appreciate the work he's done for this wonderful community. Look at him smile. Yeah. He's so smiling. Thank you now. for destroying Thank you so my much home. for saving our town <laughs> from those spice runners. By the way, was that Rancor <laughs> yours? Thank goodness there's no spice on these streets anymore, but as he's yeah, holding a piece of rubble. You should take a nice soak in the back to tank. That's all you do is soak in a fucking back to tank. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be unusual for wow. him. He's been shot twice by a blast. Base wheeled barrows. How is that building still standing? <laughs> Here, we found that we managed to find a little bit of food in the rubble to feed our starving orphans. It's my, it's my, it's my, it's my sister's arm. She was killed in the, <laughs> in the rubble. In the collapsing building. That's all we found of her. Man, it would have been crazy if they had drawn the battle to the, uh, the palace, you know? That would have been a really bad idea, huh? Yeah, yeah. it would have been really bad if some of the palace took some damage. Oh, don't show these guys again. They cringe. It's sad that they survived, but here we are. It really is. He Why didn't even bite it. Music? It's still all there. Wait, I thought Chrysanthemum was the one in the back to tank, he just said. Oh, yeah. They have a rubble cleaning droid. That's who's, useful. Uh, who's in the... Maybe Mando. Did Mando he, get injured? But Mando wasn't injured. Yeah, Boba was it. Well, I guess man. Oh, uh, do we get our shot so. with Grogu oh, in the little yeah. dome thingy? So in the so, what if Grogu has yep. to take a shit in that little thing? Yeah, there is. Oh god. Oh, that looks bad. It does look bad. No, don't break it. Do you think it. he's gonna get claustrophobic in there? Like, legitimately have a panic attack? It was fucking Being stupid stuck in there it? for days. It's so stupid compared to how it could have been. All right. This is the last time. Oh my god! There's not inertial oh dampeners god, in there? We've really reset. Mando is gonna hang out with Baby Yoda for another yep. season. Did they say Boba Fett? Is that what he's saying? Oh, they are saying Boba Fett! Fett. Are they saying yeah. Boba Fett? Now they're saying hum to dum hum to dum 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 hum to dum it looks so much better here because he's got the gray on instead of the black. Mm. The they are saying up. Boba Fett. Oh my God, they are oh, Boba, yeah, Boba right. Fett. Oh my God, <laughs> dude, do you think that's Boba, treated Boba, as like the music had an arc? It's <laughs> 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 comical. That is that is comedy gold. Oh God, this was bad. This is embarrassing! This is the funniest comedy of 2022. <laughs> <laughs> and it wouldn't be anywhere near as what funny if happening? you didn't know the people Matt tried. Barry! That's how you know it's a comedy! It's got Matt Berry in it! You said that like you were shocked. You know Matt Berry was in this. I was just excited to see it, the name of an actor I like a lot. Yeah. Skywalker, Luke Skywalker. Can you Yoda, put the blue Yoda, guy Yoda, into the, Yoda, the Yoda, back Yoda, tank? Yoda, Yoda. Oh, that might be it, actually. He put Cad yeah. Bane in the back to... Fuck. Cad Bane, Cad Bane, Cad Bane. <laughs> Cad, <laughs> Cad, <laughs> Cad Bane, Cad Bane. Rags has been Cad broken Bane, by the music. <laughs> it's like a Pokemon. Rags is trying to recover from all of this, I understand. This has been garbage. <laughs> Rancor, 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 Rancor. <laughs> oh my god, no. Ah! Is it Cad Bane? Is it? it gotta be, I don't know who Cad else. Cad Bane. Cad what if it's Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan in the fucking back to <laughs> tank. <laughs> <laughs> he was on there and fell. Oh, it's so uh, oh, it's Cobb. Oh, it's Cobb. Cobb. That's oh, the stupid okay. as Cad Bane. It's corn over Cobb. Oh, it's, it's, it's the, Cobb. um, the mod guy, right? Yep. Wait, oh, so... I'm gonna give you an, uh, I'm gonna give you a robot stomach. <laughs> So he you got have shot a without. Is that it? That means they brought his body injured to the, but to the palace. Remember, yeah. it was news so to that... Boba Fett that this had happened when they arrived in the battle. Yeah, but yeah. you know, so stuff. 
Well, there was no one at the palace. They could have just waltzed in and did whatever they want. You're right. There would have been no one at the palace. How did they know there was a the backup no tank at the palace? I don't fucking... Whatever. That was the end. We did it. Man, that was horrible. Oh my right. god. Is that Guys. the worst of the three seasons, or what, what are we looking at? Yes. Guys, what? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, th oh I feel like I think I think it's literally impossible to choose another one because they ruined Boba Fett and Luke Skywalker again. Yeah, again they ruined him again a second time. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck was that? This is insane. What did we just watch? It was so bad. What the hell that were their was one ideas? Of the worst things we're gonna I've create ever seen in my life. Like this is just a basic lesson in stakes. We create big things and large amounts of people because then the audience would be like, "Oh no, how will our heroes survive?" But then we make them inept and they can't aim and they don't shoot. Like, well, then why would we care? This yeah. film, uh, this thing, cr cr thing, this structure, it. Well, I've never seen plot armor like this. This is nuts. This, this is just nuts, a yeah. flat out refusal of enemies to have basic aiming and just shoot, not even aiming, just shooting. It just won't shoot. Standing it's a, out in the open. Yeah, they just wouldn't shoot. All of the pipes stand out in the open. And whenever Remember they do shoot, one, they miss dramatically every time. Out. Episode one, those droidicas roll up. The first ones roll up. They deploy, shields pop, and they just pew, 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 and they just don't stop. They just don't fucking stop shooting. The Jedi shooting. run away. And then the Jedi are like, oh, we gotta run away, because this is bad news. And now we have super mega droidicas who just refuse to shoot. They will not do it. Can you believe it? And that? they cannot hit these just the blatant targets running right in front of them. Yeah. And these things can even teleport, too, apparently. Oh, I was about to you, say that, too. <laughs> you're talking about that when we spent, like, before those even existed in this episode, we spent ages watching Boba and Mando just keep getting shot in their armor over and over and over and over and over and over and mm -hmm. over. And they're trying to make it, like, this dramatic thing. It's like, no, they're it's just, just like, falling over, like, bumbling idiots. Season like, 2, episode 6, same exact thing. Do you remember when Mando got shot, like, 20 times in the yeah, middle of the fight, matter. but didn't change anything? Anything. It's just like, why even bother? They're just indestructible. He could be crushed through buildings. The, that so fucking tired. robot steps on his leg, like crushes his leg, but it's fine because he's got Beskar, a Beskar yeah, plate like, on the fr for, on the top. For some reason, stepping on Beskar like makes it lance off instead of just crushing his leg underneath the weight. Of, and then, yeah, getting thrown through buildings. Like, the Beskar should have gone straight through his leg into the sand with the weight of that robot, and it just doesn't because... No. Yeah. At what point do we just? How how how? At what point is it too stupid? At what point is it so stupid I that would, you just like would, snap would, out of it? I would posit that you shouldn't feel embarrassed if you like this. You should be embarrassed if you like this because you think it's smart. That's yeah. The, oh yeah, that's, like it's so because, yeah, yeah, it's so absurd that you could like how stupid it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had fun. Um, but oh, I, I kind of had fun. As I was yeah. saying earlier, only under the knowing that people intended this to be dramatic and interesting like that's what's making it so funny because it's just so badly done i i think i burped and inhaled that was weird um so no luke skywalker he sent he sent grogu here in a taxi and thank goodness he did because grogu apparently has the jedi force training and power necessary to tame a rampaging rancor and to Prevent Pull the death metal from, pieces. Yeah. I can't imagine the sheer raw strength it takes to pull a piece of metal from the inside of a a machine like that. I don't. I don't think that Obi Wan could do that. I don't think Yoda could do that. I don't think any Jedi has the um the, has the power necessary to pull a mechanical piece out of that like the the whole the, the thick ass metal piece from that leg. One of the last things Cad Bane says to Boba is like, "Let this be my final lesson that um you should always be in it for yourself, otherwise like you'll never make it or something like that." So like if that sums up Cad Bane that he's only ever selfishly in it Morality for himself and stuff. Flaw. Like, don't you want the demise of him to be connected to Boba Fett having friends, not he just hits him with a stick? Yeah, because it was it was a one on one. So, like, I I assume that's what you would want to do. It's like Cad Bane is like having friends is shit, and then he's like, nah, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. He's like, no ratio. <laughs> 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 Blocked. So Cad Bane uses his flamethrower, and that makes the Rancor so fucking terrified that it runs away. And Mando uses a flamethrower inside of its fucking mouth, and it's and just it like, oh, dude, that Rancor is gonna be. Please don't for a do while. that. Yeah. 
Imagine just breathing fire. Like, I don't see how the Rancor isn't dead a dozen times over. Oh well, oh, the thing well. is that this was Rancors are big, which means they're indestructible Rex. That's how and they're really works. hard targets. Yeah, as well. we should okay. probably have mentioned that they made the Rancor immune to just everything. That's, That's the only way it works. They made it more immune to damage than the like super advanced droids with magic shields. By the way, yeah. remember what killed the Rancor in Episode Six? Oh yeah, Return Game of the Fella's Jedi. Head. A door fell With on spikes, it. spikes, yeah. And But this Rancor, who's a, a juvenile, apparently, can just absorb what essentially is tank laser shots and blaster fire, well, and it could see, go through buildings. Rex, what you don't understand is that a door falling on you, that's a lot more uh, thats a lot more force than um, a tank shell. You just need to learn this kind of stuff if you want to I, I guess media. I do. It's embarrassing that you don't know that. The door was heavy yeah. and big, I love Rex. that part where one of the robots finally shoots it once and it falls into a building. It's like, yeah, maybe if you just, like, tried that a couple times, you'd win. That, you know, I don't know. But then when we shoot oh, the also, ro robot one time and then it's like, oh, that clearly doesn't work. And they um, shoot it again. It's like, oh, that clearly doesn't work. And then it's like, okay, let's try that a thousand more times. So. I guess Mando mastered the, the sword. It didn't look very heavy, at least. He, no. was, uh, he was swinging it a lot in that <laughs> first fight. I think they were trying to make it look like it was hard for him when he was using it against the droid the first time. I think they were trying to make it look like he was struggling with it. This whole episode, man, it's just like so much garbage. I don't it remember what It was happened. like a condensed nugget of shit. Uh, I, yeah. It, it, really, it wasn't even that condensed. It was like really it, overextended. God, it, it was felt just, like a three hour fight scene. Yeah, like three things mm. actually happened, but it. It was literally just they show up, they fight, and then they win, right? But we have an extended sequence where there are these two droids that it takes them like a year to kill. Yeah, nothing about it is clever, so why the hell do I care? Because it's just a matter of waiting for them to fall over, really. Yeah, that's what the fights are, is people shooting and then other people falling over, and there is absolutely no care or attention that is paid to cover or positioning or good aim or just... And there's no semblance of tactics and strategy. This weapon doesn't mean anything compared to this weapon. It's all the same. I've played a lot of like shooters. Anything that could make combat with guns interesting has been stripped out of this show. Oh, yeah. And it oh, sucks. Just... And it's not even just guns, man. We're dealing with all kinds of awesome weaponry, and they just, they just fumble it. Everything. The people that they hired to try and kill the black chrysanthemum is are the are as a bunch of little weak people with knives yep and sharp sticks and they they try to bum rush him instead of sending the guns after i i you can't have even one begin. sniper aim for his head while he's just looking I, around exactly Boom. yeah that's the thing one shot will kill him all you have to do is just shoot him in the head and he's just standing there out in the open just have one guy who's behind him just shoot him in the head and, remember, and that's remember, that. There is a guy who ambushes him from behind, but he, he hits him with a stick. Yeah, he hits him with a <laughs> stick and it doesn't do anything. Where Boba gets a stick, it's like 45, 45. That's like, unironically, 15 cuts in a span of like five seconds. With him and Cad Bane? Yeah. It goes like, that was Jesus <laughs> Christ, you're they, right. They, they, it's they did insane. like a thousand cross What even is happening? Cad Bane being dead. Wait, wait, hang on. I just want to look at this frame by frame. He like lifts up his arm and gets shot. In the armor, question mark? Yeah, I guess... And the then, like, blade. manages to swipe that whole stick past him enough to hit the gun out of his hand. That's what they want yeah. us to think happened. Then he spins, because he's super cool. And I guess hits him, yeah, in, in the belly. And then grabs up his leg. And then the next pistol comes out. And he grabs it off him with a stick. Right, that that was absolute cancer to watch. I've seen people saying uh, more so this one than the others that the directing has been really crap, and it's just like it seems I'm like glad it's just, eventually you notice. <laughs> it's just rushed as fuck. It does feel rushed as fuck. Hey, chat, right now, those in chat who like Cad Bane, was this satisfying for you? Man. Fucking yeah. hope not. Oh, oh, Cad, oh, I was is so good. Cad Bane canonically an idiot loser who monologues before he gets stabbed by a stick? I mean, he definitely was. He definitely did that before. Like, he totally was a guy who monologued before. His voice was everything he said. Was like he he had the edgy voice. That was the most. Edgy he did have the it. ultra edgy voice. He's mega edge. If he went I'm around talking going like an to talk for a while. Yeah, if you went around just like talking, and maybe you know in the same accent, but just like a normal person would talk with that accent. It's like 
I would be a lot more receptive to his design overall. He's on the phone. He no, you stupid computer. I said customer service representative. <laughs> he shows up at the end of episode six and then dies. Episode seven. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. If we've been honest here, he should have been here from episode one. They could have established anything about him over the first four episodes. Or hell, even the first six. Fuck that. Make yeah, him the villain. Cause... Make him the main villain. Make him... Because yeah, yeah, as it stands, he's just he's just a guy who shows up. Or super weird for us, because like we're close to having zero additional context, or close enough yeah. anyway. So it's just like, to... it just comes across as cringe to us instead of the way it's supposed to, which is like, oh, it's so fucking cool. I'm looking. sure if we'd watched The Clone Wars, we wouldn't think he was cringe. He's probably not dead. <laughs> it's uh. like, you stabbed me in my mechanical heart. <laughs> no, Luckily, I went one. to the mod shop guy and he gave me a not mechanical yeah. sternum. They are loving that they've introduced that, aren't they? They're like, haha, we don't have to kill anybody ever now. No one can ever die. They'll be here no forever. Really Man, I'm really happy that Mayor That's Assassin right. Guy is still alive. And he was look, my um, favorite character. Remember how with Vader surviving, he was like, he was severely burned, but like, yeah. the Emperor, it took the Emperor's like personal facility to save his life. And then he fucking, he was like forever, like he could only live outside of his life support in like a special bubble. And he he had like a permanent respirator and all that shit. You remember that? Let now you can you just have some guy give you a mechanical stomach. But let me ask you this: in the history of fiction, has any character actually been killed by vaporization three times? Probably. We have hit a new bottom. I feel shell shock. <laughs> this was it awful, was, it was guys. Really bad. It was. It was really bad. This was off. This well, was worse than I ever hey, imagined. Look. Hey, but at least we can look forward to what's next. Oh, yeah. oh boy! It's I remember when I remember movie. when Disney Star Wars was new, and I was hyped at the prospect of this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> How do those even looking... aim? Do you just do the left? No, there's the in this. That's the left down. hand makes it really funny to me yeah. as well. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, so I just wanted to, these are these are some post episode memes. I figure I can. Oh yeah, they're, they're gonna chew me up. I'm sure. We just oh, watched man. a 58 minute meme. So we did. Here's number one. Check that out. Okay, these two characters are actually interacting, and it feels like a fucking dream. Hashtag the Book of Boba Fett. Who are they even talking about? I think it's Boba Fett and Cad Bane when they're like. But they've amazing. all interacted before, haven't they? In the well, not Boba. in live action, so. Yeah. He then says, I am just sitting here in absolute fucking shock. Hashtag the book of Boba Fett. Well, on that, we agree. Yeah. With, I yeah. too am sitting here in absolute fucking say, shock. I am a little bit shocked. That was really bad. I wasn't shocked by how bad it was. I was just like, yeah, that, you know. I wasn't expecting to show, to show Luke Skywalker again. That did come out of left field. Because I, I, they had the perfect vehicle like, to <laughs> have Luke Skywalker meet Boba Fett, which is what I thought they were going to do. Doing, um, doing shit but, like we could go in the fortress to defend ourselves or we could stay in this ruin. Let's stay in the ruin. So stuff like that. Like, are you fucking Mahler, really? And they didn't even stay in the ruin. Yeah, <laughs> they went outside. Of they the didn't ruin. even do it. Oh, flanks are covered. Like, okay, good job. They didn't even. Why do must it. you torture us this way? Why do we even need a place? The to, only people just... who died were the fucking guards. The two green guards. The the. <laughs> oh yeah, they they. No, no, just, no, a like, bunch they, of mod people died too, to but live, nobody with names. Oh, they'll be yeah. back in the next. No, none episode. of the none of the ones with an actual on-screen bike in one of the four main colors yes, that exist yeah. it'll be retcon to or something they'll land it on something soft but and um, so they'll be okay that last tweet is the one that really gets me the i haven't reached the fucking title card and i'm completely losing my shit it's like god damn who is this ugh. joker well there's a lot of these Jared Leto. i didn't like this meme you actually Wait, I, a better one. I will now show you a meme that is representative of the current star wars community i'd like to thank the person who brought star wars back for the new and old fans alike to enjoy and it's like sit down jj we ain't talking about you we're talking about dave filoni oh, of course god oh, no fucking... he's a joker oh. it's like oh. no one <laughs> of the most embarrassing like force awakens isn't that like embarrassing it's bad Bad, but I don't find it embarrassing. Dude, it takes. Like, yeah. This is one you of the to, most to, embarrassing. You have to dig around to seen. find the flaws of TFA a little bit. You have to do a little digging. Yeah, it kind of hides it under just its simple. The sheer confidence of TFA almost can, it can blind you yeah. to how terrible God. it is. It's, like, it's so think, confident in, the, in itself. In the level of embarrassment for each film, I think it is um, a consistent rising from um, TFA to TLJ to 
um, yeah, because Tross was very embarrassing. I'll agree with that. Like, and then I think this is more embarrassing than even Tross. I think you might oh, be right. Yes, yeah. this is more embarrassing. I think that this is more embarrassing. So yeah, they, they're just sharing memes about how he's saving the entire franchise, which I was just blowing my mind. But check this one out. Hey, you know what? Yeah, uh, Fringy, when you read this, as though it's your own point of view, because I'm sure it would be. Okay. This is Fringy's actual opinion. Yes. Unpopular opinion, Star Wars is currently at its best since the original <laughs> trilogy. I like the not pause counting, there. <laughs> yeah. Not counting The Rise of Skywalker, the other new movies, particularly Rogue One, The Mandalorian, Boba Fett, and all the... Uh, this is an interesting sentence. They haven't and even existed the, yet. Uh, all the upcoming series are truly the best Star Wars I've ever seen. <laughs> the way they're exploring new territory while also expanding on some of our favorite characters, I think is genius. Sure, we can nitpick some dumb choices made, like colorful speeders on Tatooine, but as a whole, it's really everything this can could <laughs> ask for. Man, that's a that's a easily you know, can. You know how happy I would be with the show if my biggest problem with it was that the speeders were too the bright colors. Too yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, that's how that's how these Listen. people are. That's what people just well, laser I think, in I think on. Just, I think it confirms the disappointing thing, which is that episode three was poorly received, not because it was stupid, but because of the bikes. Just we the bikes. Because people don't fucking give a shit about writing. Yeah, like, the colorful bikes being colorful is what? Like, number 643 funny, on our list of issues? It's, yeah, yeah, it's like, it's I don't like meme. it. It's a but funny it's not even, it's, it's not even, like, wrong. No, it's just, it looks tacky. <laughs> yeah, it just looks weird. And I do, I, I feel like uh, that sentence of all the upcoming series are truly the best is, like, yeah. that's pretty telling of, I guess, the mindset. How can you like, not yeah. call well, this just, a consumer? Yeah, the shows that well, aren't out are I the best he's ever seen. Well, I think, I think it's just the standard problem that we see now with specifically, like, big IPs. It's always forward-looking. It's never really, like, what's happening now. It's always speculation on the potential going forward. Like, the idea of an Obi-Wan show is enough to make you, like, happy, regardless of what it even is. Yep. Sludge pipe. Sludge pipe. Sludge it is, pipe. It, it is very much... Th th dude, this is, this is, like, sludge. This whole show was just sludge setting us up for, like, the next thing and, and just getting it out there to make sure that there was a show on Disney Plus for this period of time to make sure that people retain their subscription. Feels like that's why the show exists and why it came out now, because it wasn't done. Clear, like, clearly rushed. There was no story. He had no, no story. No. Yeah, at the last episode, he just said, I'm good. The yeah. last episode did nothing for him. It was just, we've expedited the character development to, okay, we got Boba Fett now, he's changed, the Tuscans changed him, and then he killed Cad Bane and wrote a Rancor at the end. That's yeah. it. You saw how he made his stick, though. We did yeah. see how he Nose made his stick. Really we spent cool. two fucking episodes with those goddamn Tuscan Raiders. Yeah. Wasn't it three? Oh, two two and a half, I guess, sort of. I don't know. Two and a half? I yeah, I don't remember anymore. I don't want to remember. I missed the gun train. And it all amounted to fucking train. nothing. Someone posted this on the subreddit. It was a really big video, and it was basically just celebrating everyone's reactions to something that happened in this in this show. I just wanted, I plucked a few of them out because I was just so um, enthralled by them. So, uh, oh if we just, you know, just let it show you guys this little video. Captain! 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 Oh my god, it's him! Oh! <laughs> oh! Yes, you were right! Oh my god. I've never seen someone just, so just, clearly no, asking to be turned into a soy jack. No, I, I don't, I don't, no, no, no. I, I, it's, it's played up. It has to be played up. It, like, sure. Oh, wait, wait, you let think it, that, right? do, do the whole thing and then have a commentary, right? Because there's a couple of these uh, that are, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> He's got a. Oh my god, it's Oh my god, oh my god, Yo! Dude! Jesus Christ. Dude. Oh my god, I can't believe he's a lesbian! Oh my god! Ugh. Are you kidding me? There's no way! <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Does he have a Batwoman no man? Fucking way. <laughs> no way. That's him. Oh my god! That's fine! Oh my god! I think that is Con Bean! That's Con Bean! He's so loud, it's clipping the microphone. That's fucking Con Bean! Calm down, please. Call him Con Bean. Call him Con Bean. Con Bean!
Yes, that's him! Ah, yes, Cad Bane, bro! Oh. And who might you be? It is! I like that the image is what cut What the fuck is that hat? hat. Guardians of the Galaxy. Shouldn't it be facing the other way so oh other people can God. read it? Live action Cad I want to hear his voice. God, they're just bringing everyone in. This is Filoni at yeah. his best right now. Holy oh, fucking man. shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! God I don't damn. believe you're that excited. I'm so yeah. sorry. I have this a hard time believing that. At the start of this compilation, I was like, yeah, you know, I could see us reacting that's this lot, way. Yeah, if, like, if there were like normal, five good yeah. seasons of a Star Wars show, then I, I don't know. Like, I don't even think that. Amazing it, seasons of Star Wars. Nothing. Then, like, I don't think. I don't know right, what it would know, take to make me react this way. way. I don't know. I don't well, think yeah, anything I, can do well, this. Well, there's an example but, in a by the, by the end, really, By the end of like, no, we'd never react to it or anything. There's an example in a certain really cool show that uh that has something similar. Right, but you don't react like this. When I didn't react. No, that's what I'm saying is I didn't react like this it was more like ooh. well you know, let's think back let's go to something we've all seen let's go to spider-man no way home when they yeah, introduced I mean, I james did, did. garfield and james toby james mcguire <laughs> yeah james james garfield and toby <laughs> mcclintock and, <laughs> and like i See, that's, that's, it's, it's like the context is important i well. smiled well, like, so, i was like oh hey well, yeah, a lot of people the, in my cinema cheered well that's the thing when, yeah, Matt, when matt murdoch cheering, showed up but... plenty of people in my cinema were already cheering and i was i was just smiling Cause that's, I yeah, guess, I was I was smiling too, and some people were like, oh yeah, hey, yeah. but this is the thing though, right? Oh, like, because it's just this fundamental. Because we had to deal with this at the end of the last arc with Mando. It's not that people can't have fun, all right? It's never really been about that at all. It's that, um, first of all, let's just assume it's real for the sake of the, which I'm very, I I'm happy to put into contention because like there's an <clears> industry built so that you get more clicks and views the more you react, right? But if you yes. take it for what it is, it's like a real happy reaction from fans that are just happy that their show is doing things that they want. It's like, yes, but it sucks for the people who think that this is killing Star Wars like entirely as an IP. Yeah. Because of course, if you see this as a writer after you just wrote that fucking pile of shit and you're like, whoa, people loved it. Wait, oh. next season we just need to get more. What did we say when we watched, um, the end of season two, we were just like, they're gonna, they're gonna take the wrong lessons. Yeah. They're gonna take the wrong yep. lessons. That's and, exactly well, what happened. and the thing is, well, from a certain <coughs> point of view, they've taken the right lesson because it worked. Well, that's like the thing. How long can we call it the wrong lesson if, if the goal is well, to make yeah. money? Yeah, it, it, they're only doing what people are receptive to. And it seems like it is just cameos and, hey, look at that guy, isn't that cool? Look at him go. When people say, like, you, you really just hate people enjoying things, huh? It's like, you do too. Trust me. There are things that people Absolutely. can enjoy that you will hate that they enjoy. I don't hate that these people are having fun. I just look at it and I'm like, oh, they're gonna do this again now. They're gonna keep fucking doing this every time, mm -hmm. every season, every episode will have a new cameo. I feel like episode six was better illustrating this than episode seven. Episode six was just it, every five minutes it was a new cameo and people mm -hmm. would have gone nuts over it. It's like, do you fucking believe it? <laughs> when Darth Maul shows up again in live action, whether it be a movie or a TV show, whether it's the Obi-Wan series or not, people will go nuts. And I'm pretty sure that is where he's gonna yeah. show up because uh obi-wan and him fight in rebels or clone wars or something when they're, they're both much they're older rebels. so they're gonna milk darth maul probably yeah and people will go nuts again and there won't be a fucking story there won't be characters you won't need them yeah we don't need them anymore just they just show up it's, people just clap at the the cardboard cutouts of what could be characters because they recognize the visual and that'll you know, be I, that we could have some hope maybe for, like, for the Obi-Wan show. Maybe right, it's made by people good. who care. Maybe it's made by a different team. You know, on the bright side, with what we were talking about at the start of this video, though, with um, soon you'll be able to just fucking type your fan fiction script into um, an AI and it'll be able to spit out a full live action version of it for you. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that kills this shit. Because when people can get, when people can type something into an AI and get all the fan service they want, they're gonna get overexposed to it, and that'll stop them from caring. Fans of TLJ, big fans of it, hate this shit too. By the way, they're on like our team, wow. and of it's uh, interesting it. yeah. to look into it because well, yeah, the thing is, they like TLJ because it's like, and this is, this is gonna be the most controversial like, part of the video. Get ready. Uh, TLJ like was doing stuff with characters. It actually, oh, it was doing original. stuff with characters. It, it intended to arc people and develop them and grow them and have a point to make. Yeah. Which, by the way, is like neat. That's like a thing we want. It, um, it failed at it though. That's it did the, really that's the badly at it. This show it is like not. It's not risking anything. It's like no, no, no. We it's have like, we have Boba Fett shooting people down. We have Mando shooting but, people down. This we thing have it is. Up. It is. It just doesn't realize that that's what it's doing. 
Um, oh, yeah, it's it accidentally Boba, done it with it Boba's Luke. character, yeah. It fucks Boba, it fucks Luke. It just doesn't seem to realize that these, like, hefty changes. It's just like, yeah, I changed my mind because, like, the people who were employing me, they were bad. Yeah, I'm also talking about, like, the biggest payoffs or all the stuff that the TLJ people were like, you guys just wanted a big shootout with giant yeah. robots. It's like, yeah, and look how successful this is now. Apparently that so, was yeah, what most people the, wanted. The, the TLJ fans, this is the straw man that TLJ fans were saying that people who didn't like TLJ wanted instead. And look, we're um, still pissed. And we get and comments every once in a while of people being like, you guys will never be happy. And it's like, damn, these were our two choices? This was what's on the banquet table? These two? Someone saying that you will never be happy with anything is just such an explicit, I am coping. <laughs> I am coping with the fact that you don't, that you are not impressed with this. Because there's no way that I genuinely believe that you will never be happy with anything. But I just need a way, I just need an easy out to dismiss your criticism and the fact that you think it's bad. That's, I still what, that, think, that's what anyone's um, saying was when they say that. I still think these will age like piss as well because like there's just nothing that attaches to your heart in this outside of really superficial shit you talk about it now but i don't think it's gonna have any enduring well do you think that legacy. let's say we get five mando seasons I mean, in total TLJ. and three boba seasons in total will people even be able to remember what happened in each one i don't know i think it'll be the same mm -hmm. problem that the mcu has had right where it's like what happened in ant-man and nobody knows nobody or knows. like what happened in <laughs> captain marvel and nobody knows they have a vague ask... memory of enjoying it but they can't tell you anything Anything about it, which is definitely not what I want out of the stuff that I like. Well, let's take all of the the clown people that we just saw just cooming in their pants because they saw a cowboy, right? And just ask them if you could right after the show, this episode ends. It's like, could you just give me a, a just a general overview of the plot? of this show, like what happens. Can you, can you tell me about a couple characters? Thing, can you right? tell me about their traits, well, maybe? I'll probably about tell to you say, what the okay. show idealizes itself to be. They'd be like, it's a really interesting crime show, crime lord show, where Boba's trying to, you know, blow, they, they'll give you all the crap, and you'll just be like, give me they references. They probably would say a crime lord show. Well, the thing, I was, <laughs> the thing I was thinking, right, was, okay, so if we had seen, like, if Cad Bane was, like, actually the most interesting and nuanced character ever written in Star Wars writing, None of us knew that because we'd just not seen the Clone Wars, but holy shit, that guy, really interesting character. Maybe I'd react that way. Maybe I'd react that way, that, like, you know, maybe not exactly that way. I'd probably be able to Wouldn't. control, like, myself, <laughs> but I probably would have a strong reaction to seeing him. And then I realized, but I'm seeing him in the Boba Fett show. I would be like, oh no, they're going to fucking ruin Cad Bane with these incompetent clowns. They've brought him, the most interesting character who I love so much, into the show. So yeah, that's how I would react if I saw, like, my favorite character showing up here. Wait, I, I seriously can't believe them. Cad Bane fans would be happy with what just happened in this episode. No. That was embarrassing. I mean, it's the big concern with Kenobi, right? It's like, what are you going to do? What are you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to a, a, a lad? The, he managed Bane to get through episode, three mate. prequel films and not be assassinated, so... Oh, no. Yeah, he was, yeah the biggest issue because... was just that he, he was as stupid as everyone else in that trilogy. We've reached a point where it's like, man, the prequels, it's like, at least there was something there. I was going to say, he doesn't work, have you know, like, anywhere near as many instances of stupid in, in the prequels well, as because a lot of people do in any of the Disney be, shows. Oh, yeah, yeah he's, he's relatively, yeah. Standard, he he does he does some stuff that's just straight up like we've we've reviewed him and just been like that was yeah that's normal that's, that he yeah. decided to do that <laughs> like, stuff like that you know there'll be people in chat who'll be like yeah you should bring back lucas like no that's just let it die just let just, it it's die. time to stop it's time to no stop. you know look, uh, just decanonize yeah. disney shit right that's the that's the and honestly if they decanonize disney stuff and they brought back lucas and some other people to like say okay give it a shot don't prequel it though i'd be happy to give it a shot well, this yeah, point, I, I'm also, it. when I say let it die, it's because I know exactly what we're going to be getting, which is all this shit. But mm -hmm. ultimately, like, the really, the truth is just like, it would be cool to give Star Wars as an IP now to a lot of different creators and just let them come up with something until one of them strikes gold. Because Star Wars, you got so much potential, oh, but yeah. you keep fucking it. And people are blown away happy about this. It's so bizarre because, like, it's just such a joke to us. All of it's like a farce. Like, nobody would really make this, would they? And then everyone else is like, what do you mean? This is, like, some of the best content like a, we've had in ever. Well, it's like a nonsense show. It's not a story. I feel like I'm barely watching a story. It's just things happening for no rhyme or reason. And all in service of, well, what's next? Stay tuned. Welcome once again to a very uplifting episode of EFAP Mini. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll talk about how great Star Wars is doing right now. Balds. Thanks for watching. Remember when Mando fucking shot his five it. flamethrower at the shield? That was funny. <laughs> that was really funny. Like he did the like... thing with shields that Boba didn't do, but in this case it was stupid. It reminds me of a- you know what it reminds me of is um is the scene in the Simpsons movie of all of the characters trying to um, destroy the dome. I can't take another minute in this dome! 
and Ralph yeah. is blowing bubbles at it. <laughs> and it goes in his eye. Take that! Oh no! Blowback! <laughs> yeah. That's that's what that was. That's um, exactly what that was. Hey, hey, that was our Simpsons reference for the episode! Oh, thank fuck we you did that. It, yeah. Holy <laughs> shit, we nearly went through the whole episode without a Simpsons. We were, I, I told Free we had to make sure we did that. So nice. Yeah. Bye, Rex. <laughs> Rex did not like that. All right. That's a perfect See ending. You, Thanks for watching, everyone. That was it Good for Boba Fett arc. Bye-bye. Oh, We're finally free of it. Whoa! <sighs> hey, that was awesome. Ah, uh, you missed it. What? Oh, just, um, the character did a spin. It was like a cool spin. It was the whole reason I was showing it to you. But, yeah, it was, it was just kind of cool. Remember Mos Eisley? Remember the Rancor? Remember... Remember Sand People? Remember the Cantina? Remember... What'd you bring me?